is anyone in your team good at table tennis? I can bet ten thousand dollars on Gary against any of the uh, Spanish players on ping pong. How's how's Fallen been? You been enjoying having him in the team? He's he's a good leader. He's a, a really good friend. Uh, it's really good to be around him. Uh, he make the the vibe good. Uh, he seems like a like a, a guy uh, that it's like the fallen, the, the legend. But he's really cool guy. So it's really fun to to have him uh, in the team and be uh, with the, with him. Like help him leading the guys. Uh, it's a pleasure. Yeah. Okay. How how's it going? Like where do you guys think you are in the the potential progress of this new team? Yeah, we are uh, two months together. So it's 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 a, just a little uh, bit of time that we we are together. So I think um, we need to think in the long run. Uh, we are not here to uh, don't want to just try to win one tournament. Uh, it's for sure it's our first goal, but we want to to build a, a really good team. Uh, I think we are struggling a little bit with uh, a lot of things to do like different styles different things that everyone thinks uh, uh, uh for example uh, yuri casarato and art they are uh, always thinking that he can react and really fast and uh, fallen sometimes we need to freeze so we're getting there we need some some more time oh this could be it cello for the game pressure on now great return from fallen oh and cello he's taking him here we're gonna uh, we're gonna do the loser interview first. Uh, Fallen, how do you feel about that match against your former teammate Cello, who I feel will now be dumped from Furia? Feeling very tired. Now I'm gonna have to kick him from the team, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. They gotta let you win, man. What's going on? Yeah, exactly. We're not winning the server, we're not winning the ping pong. What else can we do? Yeah, but you look. You, you've you've fought hard here today. Uh, there is gonna be the table tennis uh, of pro league going on. Would you want to throw your hat in the ring against some of the best that pro league have to offer? I could give it a try, but I'm going to get destroyed. The guy I bet that can win this is our coach, Gary. So you'd nominate him. If you had to nominate one person from Furia to take part in the table tennis tournament, it'd be Gary. It's Gary. I have seen two professional tennis players in my life. One is Gary, second one is Fur. Both guys insane. No chance for anyone in the world. Okay, so this is huge. This is huge. All right, I've heard like, I have heard the Movistar riders, guys. Some of them are not too bad. Would you? Would Gary be happy to take on one of their representatives? I can bet ten thousand dollars on Gary against any of the uh, Spanish players on ping pong. Okay, all right. That's you've heard it here first. It's the fallen, fallen exclusive. All right. Well, that's huge. That's huge news. Uh, let's transition to Counter Strike here, fallen, because I think we've got you in a good place right now, sure. mate. The Counter Strike, you know, you're mixing the styles. You've got the Furious style. You have got the Fallen style. How's it going? How's the mixing pot going? Yeah, uh, it's gonna take some time for us to really adjust, to really get uh, it going naturally, which is important for us to feel comfortable in the server. But it, a lot of good discussions, a lot of good point of views, and I'm learning some stuff from them and vice versa. So I think within time, there's a good chance we can have good progress. Yeah, well, I think uh, you know. You see, have you seen Wally? He's back on Twitter. Have you seen Wally? He's been tweeting. Yeah, yeah, I have seen him. He's out here saying he reckons old boys. You know, we can still go. So uh, how many years are you gonna push it? You're gonna try and push it like the late 30s. We're gonna. How far are we gonna go? Yeah, right now I'm 32. Uh, I don't know. A couple more years, maybe two years, maybe. But more, you're still smashing it sometimes, mate. I tune in. There's a fallen 30 on the NWP. I'm like, yeah, okay. Still hitting the young guys, right? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's been pretty fun, but uh, for me, it's more about. For trying to find a sustainable life where I can focus on the gaming career, of course, which I love. But also, within time, you have your family, you have other goals in life you want to achieve. And this life we, li we live is awesome. It's one of the best lives I could have asked for. But at the same time, it does restrain you from doing some normal stuff. Like, I am marrying at the end of the year. And Congratulations. Yeah, we're trying to change our lifestyle. And Leticia, my wife, we probably... Uh, going to live together next year in order for me to accommodate both lives, you know, at the same time. So it's, it's a little bit tricky, but if I find enough balance, then I can stay for more. But I don't want to put any numbers there. I have I have done that in the past and it doesn't work. I have to say, Blame Matt, this is looking like uh, the happiest Astralis I've ever seen. And that's saying something. You guys have, like, as an organization, as a roster, have done some great things. But the last two years, I don't know, I haven't seen this sort of vibe, this sort of happiness. Now, what's the, the secret formula? Is it just uh, the team squad together? Are the younger guys bringing in a, a brush of fresh life there? What, what are we talking about? I definitely think that all the young guys are bringing in some, uh, the new in some new energy. And I also think that we just have a more healthy environment as a team. Yeah. But we also try to prioritize spending time with each other and everything, maybe more than we did before. So I think that also helps like going out for team dinner, team walks and doing things together and making sure that we go to the gym together and all that stuff, you know, so just a lot of time spent together. I think you just automatically like people more.
I see the boys are getting bigger. They're starting to inflate, especially the Vice. Are you kind of behind that as well? I, no, I would, maybe maybe I'm helping a little bit because they see me go every day. But uh, yeah. I would say a lot of them are training actually because they want to. I think actually, especially Boss is trying to like beef up a little bit. He says he like he wants to fill out his frame and everything. And I think he's honestly doing a good job so far. So he's doing a great job on the server as well. Like I thought his performances at the last event were fantastic. Like some people were saying like career best. Can we expect more from that from Buzz? Are we just seeing like uh, an insight to what he's capable of? Yeah, I think so. I think everyone has shown already that they have like great peaks yeah. and uh, that di like different players can take over different games. But I think we're working towards having like a lineup where everyone can attribute more than maybe we had in the past lineups. But obviously you have some people that are like you have a star orb and everything. So of course, some people will look better than others. But sure. I think we're trying to make sure that everyone can have a great impact. All right. Final question for you, at least. NIP, first game. You made very light work at them last time. It's a bit of a bit of a rivalry there, a bit of Scandinavian pride on the line. Are uh, you looking forward to the game? What are your initial thoughts on that team coming through? Yeah, I'm looking forward to the game. I don't think we're not going to make the mistake of thinking that just because we beat them last time, that it's going to be the same. I think we're going to go into the same mindset as last time, that they can easily win the game and we can easily win the game. It's who they're going to play the best. So, yeah, it's going to be a good uh, match, but definitely a, a hard matchup. I think they're a good team. Don't take this the wrong way. I would say your career, looking back at it, like since the heroic days, you, you haven't been in the, the tier one spotlight as much as you'd like to be, but you seem to be thriving and kind of taking the bull by the horns right now. Is there anything you've had to change of your individual kind of routines back home? You had to up the level? Or are you just kind of f following the, the process set by Astralis? What have you done from a personal side? Uh, well, definitely I've learned a lot uh, by being in the in the tier two scene for yeah. for quite some time. Uh, there's a lot of gimmicks down there. And I was uh, I yelled by Bird from Sky. He's a very clever guy, so I haven't been far away from like very good counter-strike i'd say yeah. uh i guess that the level is like not as great as people think at this point especially like you said as well they they have less time at events and more time to innovate as players and come up with new gimmicks and new approaches to the game so i guess maybe it was a blessing for you to kind of reinvent yourself as a player and bring some new experience to the table no i definitely think so i uh, like stepping down from the tier one it brings a lot more time as you said like i could really uh, focus on myself and on my role so i could perfect that okay. to oh, uh, yeah. a, a higher level so i can perform at tier one right how are you finding being in the spotlight? Being in Astralis, it can be a blessing and a curse. Like you've got a lot of fans who come with it, but a lot of haters as well. Um, how are you finding the, the tier one spotlight? I mean, it feels amazing. Uh, I don't really care about the haters. I no, think no, mostly no. I, I just get like uh, love from the Astralis fans, which I'm very happy about. Uh, again, of course, there will also always be hate. Also, my old team as proud, even though it was tier two, right? That's just how it is. So just more fans, which just makes it a better experience, right? Yeah. And I've got to say as well, in terms of like building a culture and a good vibe, I've just heard you guys cackling with laughter all the time. Like who is the biggest jokester in the team, would you say? Jokester? Yeah. I mean... Who's uh, going to keep that vibe up? Is it you, the younger guys, I, or the old dog? I think Slim F, and then Device is also adding on some of that. So all right, fair it, enough. it's both of those two. They like to do some good jokes, for sure. You're a, you're a wiser lad than I've ever been, mate. You can speak three languages. You're playing on all different scenes. Now you're, you know, you're playing the Spanish scene again. You know, which has been your favorite, the Romanian or the Spanish scenes? Uh, to be honest, I think the Spanish one because I like when I started my career, I started in in Spanish team, so it's more uh, comfortable for me. So the language or just the people? Both. Both. Yeah, both, both. So you're happy to be back uh, in, in a Spanish roster after? All right. So you're a Nexus. Like I'm looking at your profile. I'm like, man, are they speaking English for this one guy? And I dig a little bit deeper. I'm like, no, of course not. You know, this guy speaks. So did did you, were you born in Spain? Did, did you learn Spanish at a young age? What happened? No, I like I moved to Spain when I was uh, 14 years old, okay. and I've I've been on Spain for like eight years, and I learned the language. Okay, easy. Well, you make it sound simple, man. I I can I can barely speak English, so I think you've made it sound nice and easy there. Okay, uh, what about the team? Right, you're one of the newer additions. You and Just actually, right? So, yeah. what what are, what's the what's your feeling of the team at the moment coming into pro league? Is it is it good? Is it bad? What are you, what are your thoughts? I think uh, we're gonna do some good results because we are pre we are practicing very good lately and yeah we are confident and we are here to <clears throat> enjoy the the tournament is anyone in your team good at table tennis i think uh, alex is good um i don't know i, I played yesterday with just he's not he's, he's not good okay. and um yeah alex is the best the, the best here apparently you're the best table tennis player in the team is this true Mulder? Oh, yeah. No, no, not me. Oh, really? So there's been, a, there's been a challenge thrown down. I was stirring the pot earlier. I was talking with Fallen. And I said, you know, maybe you can take on the Spanish guys in table tennis because they were playing. He reckons he's nominating Gary to be the representative of Furia. Now, I don't know if Fallen's serious. He's throwing big figures around. He said $10,000.
He's throwing. I don't know if he's being serious. He's throwing it. Would would Moby Star Riders? Would you be the representative to take Fallen on? Or not Fallen. Gary on from Fury in table tennis. Yeah, I think. Take it. I, I I think I can. Yeah. I can. Alex versus Gary, the headline fixture. But I think it's better coach versus coach, right? So you want you well, you're the look, mate. You get the final say, I guess. So what what do you want? You send your coach out there? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, Galder can play against him. So coach v coach. Yeah, instead of me. You're taking on Fury in the opening game. You know, you you're going toe to toe with that. They're struggling a bit. How are you feeling about the matchup against Fury? Mm, I'm feeling confident, yeah. to be honest, because uh, I think that the, with the change that they had, uh, they are going to be even better in the future. But right now, they are just uh, still uh, making things like us. So it's a really good matchup because uh, both teams are working uh, from from the bottom right now and uh, coming just trying to to create a, a system inside the game. So right now I think we are we are it's, it's a really fair match. Yeah, oh I think I think looking at it, I think I have the same kind of opinion. This is like a really good chance for Fury or a bigger name, but for you guys to to maybe take him down a peg. I like and I, I think it's gonna be fun seeing you and Art in the server. Because you both you're not as crazy as Art, but you love a good crazy move as well, pushing a smoke. I'm not crazy as him because Calder don't let me. <laughs> well you got a you got a leash on. If uh, if he will let me just go around the map, I will be even crazier than than Art. Is, okay, so you're stopping him from being as crazy as Art. Oh, shit, here we come. Don't, don't speak about this thing with Mopas, please. I'm trying to I'm trying to say like it, and against Fury. What if yeah. you need to let crazy versus crazy, right? Should you let him off the leech against Art? He has all the freedom that he wants. Oh, uh, is this true? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Might be, but. I don't feel that way. Oh, do we not need to do a therapy session here? Okay, what, what, why, do you, why do you get that impression? Wait. <laughs> we got a mouth full of apple here. I mean, I have, a, I have freedom inside the game, mm. but if I die a couple of times... Oh, you see his like, eyes in the back Don't give yet. any more entry. So I just say, okay, okay. Yeah, we've all been I'm there, though. Stop, okay. How many is the limit? How many entries can you give up before you know you're fucked? Maybe two or three. That's it. <laughs> Come on now. But it's, it's because uh, I'm giving two or three, and the others I'm give, uh, are giving another one. So it's like it's, it's like too much chaos. Who's the biggest culprit, though? Surely it's got to be you. Um, You're always involved involved in the smokes and the fights. You love it, mate. I see you out there. I, I like the. Yeah. I, I'm going everywhere. Just, uh, the chaos. Yeah, I, I I I like that way just to play because uh, I feel comfortable doing that. And I feel like uh, I'm the kind of player that, like, uh, that if, if you know, if you need anyone just to go in first or doing something, I can, I can be that player because I don't really give a fuck about the the things, the stats. Yeah, uh, I mean, I care about it, but <laughs> but if I have to do it, I'm gonna do it. So I think it's fair, you know, a lot of people are gonna see you play for the first time and stuff. So can you tell us a little bit about how the team got together? Um, actually, I was not even part of the team at first as a coach. Like uh, they played like some online cups, and they kind of felt like okay, it feels good to play together. So they created a team, and they needed a coach. So I basically just jumped in, and we have just been starting from here. Like you know, the grind is hard, so yeah, we just keep going. All right, now tell me, tell me like what you feel is your strongest thing as a team, and what you would like to improve at the most. Okay, so I think our strongest is probably like the individual performance, in my opinion. But I think uh, we need to like be better at the communication. Uh, also, get the Polish guys to be better in English and stuff. So, so it's like easier for them to understand everything that's happening at every moment. How is it for you? You, you know, obviously it's been a bit of a roller coaster trip. VP. How did you end up with the, with these guys? I don't know. Just only uh, asked me on this team if I wanna try out with, with uh, these guys, and I was like, okay, because I don't get like any offers. So I try with them. I also bring uh, HS to our team, and HS bring Tenski to our team, and we have like mix Polish, Estonian, and Danish uh, people. Because uh, you are four Polish and one Estonian, you have to speak English, you know. <laughs> yeah. so you speak English for for one person. So tell me how. So the Polish CS scene, right? Okay, now there is nine. But there's like so many teams that are lingering around, you know, qualify for this, qualify for that. There seems to be so much talent. When are we seeing the Polish super team? I have no idea. Like every good Polish team, they maybe play like only for one year. Then like some people go to Europe, EU team, EU team, you know, like for Europe, European team. So I don't know, like, so it's hard to say because maybe we never like get 
super team in Polish. Nine is close, of course, because they are winning some qualifiers, they are winning some matches. They are also they are also playing tier one now. Were you always an in-game leader? Like, did you always like to do that when you started playing in teams and stuff? Actually, I used to be normal uh, rifle, like the entry. But uh, in my previous teams, we uh, we are struggling with uh, roles. We actually didn't have this uh, in-game le leader who who lead the way, who show us wh how to play, and uh, and guide us. So I took this role. Maybe it's because uh, I used to play football as well, so I have this mentality, and I think uh, like I'm doing good. And also, I think that uh, my players are, are also happy with this, and and yeah. I talked to Veggie, he was happy. He was like, oh, this guy is good. I was surprised. So who knows? Uh, who came up with the name Orcs? <laughs> it was actually in inside the joke because when uh, we are playing uh, some HLTV game and after the game, uh, it was some comment that uh, one of us looked like Orc. <laughs> and, we, and we were like just uh, laughing, uh, laughing on the team speak like super loudly. And, uh, and yeah, and that's the, that's the name of our team. I saw it was like someone's a massive fan of Lord of the Rings or Warcraft or something, something like that. All right. Shout out HLTV one time. Uh, a lot of interesting things in there. Uh, how was it for you? You know, were you a little bit surprised to qualify so quickly? I mean, you guys weren't together for that long. How did that work? Actually, I wasn't surprised at all. Our first week uh, with this lineup, like even Veggie was uh, talking. We, we were uh, actually testing out a lot of players like uh, also polish players and they were uh, and it was like super good like we had really good uh, re results uh, even without uh, practice before like for example when we were playing one map uh, in uh, in the one day I, I just took one air on the on the server just show how i wanna call how, how i wanna see how i see the game and we played and we were destroying tier, tier, tier one teams like every day it's like it never happened to us also like uh, Veggie was saying that he, uh, he's playing like uh, first first time with the, such a results with only one week. Like obviously it's uh, we can we can call it honeymoon, etc. We uh, recently we had bad results, but overall, I think in my opinion we play, we play really good CS. Like also on IM Katowice in this year we had like a really good run, I guess. With the I mean not good run with the results, but the rounds the rounds with, which we played because I watched the demo after, uh, I was actually happy but not satisfied satisfied uh, of the way how we end the round, for example. And now I feel much better with the firepower, with the experience, and uh, we are so confident. This is the the, the most uh, important. And actually, I don't care. We play vitality. We're gonna destroy. Wow, I love the confidence, man. Do you feel like your strongest uh, thing with your team is the individuals, or? I mean, it's overall. It, like, I, I don't know. The the we only weak point is uh, is the communication, I'd say, because it's we are mixing now Polish with uh, English. But actually, when we are talking less, it, like we are then uh, then we are more more focused on the game. So it's like it's not. I, w I wouldn't uh, call it uh, as a weak point actually, but overall. Like our individuals, uh, team play, it's it's really good. So Vitality is the number one ranked team in the world. You're telling me you guys have a chance? D do we have a chance? Of course we have a chance. All we need to do is to play our game. And like I'm, I'm that serious. Like I know what uh, this team is capable of and I'm not joking. We talked to a couple of your guys as well. We talked to SNX, we talked to Veggie. SNX, dude, I think he's thinking your guys are winning this tournament. Do you, do you share this uh, level of confidence? Secretly, I think we're going to win. <laughs> All right. I mean, you guys uh, sound really confident. I was surprised a little bit because, you, first of all, how did you end up with these guys? It's, it, from the outside, it looks really weird, right? Like four Polish people and one Estonian. So uh, I actually played like a couple mixed tournaments with Milky and Veggie. And it turns out they really liked playing with me. So they, they even were willing to uh, take me instead of one more Polish guy and just talk English. So it's, it's I feel I feel good like because they seem to respect me a lot and they appreciate me for who I am. So uh, that's how it that's how it happened. All right, that's cool. I mean, you're a long ways away from your times in Optic, man. <laughs> that, that was the last time. Like, I mean, I remember those days because we used to work that that team was also interesting. But that's a whole different story. So Milky, tell me a little bit about how you're feeling coming into Pro League. I share the uh, opinion of my team. Let's win this. ESL Pro League is brought to you in part by Intel, Asus Republic of Gamers, DHL, the United States Air Force, 1XBAT, Monster Energy, and Gaming Malta.
Welcome everybody to ESL Pro League Season 18, coming at you live from the beautiful island of Malta. 32 teams competing across four groups, but only the top four from each will make it to the playoffs. And you guessed it, back by popular demand, the blue screen returns. The most hotly anticipated request coming into this- No, 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 no. We ain't doing none of that shit. This is Pro League. Yeah. I'm the captain now. Tell We're sorry. taking it over right now, right here. Yeah. Malta is ours. We ain't going back to no green Never screen. Again. You ain't taking me to no Game blue screen. Back. Hell nah. Base clan. They're really taking care of me here. It's a Grand Cru Classé 2022, of course, one of the most prestigious award that wine has to offer. You can smell that bouquet. It's complex. It's mature. It's deep. It's truly something special. go and the frags come in we go three maps triple elimination it's a five-week league no matter where we go dinko one headshot one headshot he's down to 40 hp harry russell needs the headshot oh, oh, oh this is a tense one henry knows if he collects this kill he's taking chad out of the competition oh, wow. henry g comes out on top Friends, colleagues, and loved ones, thank you for joining us today. We're gathered here to celebrate the life and mourn the passing of G2's nuke streak. We'll never forget the sacrifices and effort made by this squad. They gave us the best six months and 16 maps of their lives. You want to know your balls and you want to get them in hard and fast, all right? What a technique! We've never seen this before in the bowling alley! Oh! It's, it's into a strike! That's actually insane! Three, all three, onto the volcano. This could be quite the time here from Rush the Ranger. Up and over the top, but he stumbled here! <laughs> you all have your own place and what? Sorry, sorry to interrupt, but uh, the guy is back. So what seems to be the problem, sir? I mean, this food is shit. I'm not playing for this. CS One Plus has so much competition out there right now from other esports titles. Well, what's what you got in your hand there? That looks nice. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Malta, everybody. It's ESL Pro League, and it's 18th season. For numeral fans, that's going to be X, V, I, 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 and no Karumba necessary. But this is going to be your camp orientation. Plenty of things to go over with. Uh, and in doing so, I've got fellow camp counselor here. He goes by the name of Sponge. So we'll just put him up right up top. I'll is that the official, official terminology? Camp counselor Sponge, that they need uh, to refer to me? or? Well, I was thinking like camp counselor, troop leads, okay. uh, something like that. You uh -huh. know, So that's Sponge, uh, or Chad Burchill. You notice he has a... Uh, hello. Uh, <laughs> I think everybody knows we will be uh, playing some Counter Strike matches here today. Oh! Uh, 
that right there with the red card system might be coming out earlier. But is this a better idea? You think that, that actually sounds hard? a lot cooler? Yeah, this isn't too bad, yeah by it? far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So I'll be the other camp uh, troop leader here for my own team, shooting me with uh, blaster bullets yeah, from across off the way. Yeah, to a good start. We're in some pretty cool digs right here, though. I would yeah. say. Uh, the, Show them the boots, Chad. Yeah, well, uh, you bring the land stompers out for something like this. You got the the, the khakis on. Yours have seen a bit more of the world here. Uh, you said I'm wearing these like a New Yorker. Yeah, I, I have seen that people in a bodega wearing those. So okay, so makes I'm, sense. We're, we're, uh, we're doing we're doing the right stuff here. But uh, well, we got 32 teams. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we've got a lot going on. The camp vibe, you know, obviously there's, there's a lot to go into with that. You'll notice uh, we're wearing orange. They're wearing the gray. That's team counter. I think it was this meant to be blue, strike. but I like our color better than yours. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I should be picking up trash on the side of the road in this. But uh, We can get you out there. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, great. Yeah, uh, yeah, community man, service. That can be one of the badges, I think. It could be. Uh, there are a couple of rules. We can't just kind of go over those right yeah, away, yeah, yep. Chad. Uh, maybe you want to point out as I Well, as I uh, highlight. yeah, look, as we can see right here, guys, obviously no biting. Uh, wait, hold up. The camera's like, Trace, hold up. Oh, I've got to work go. out this whole camera no, situation. No, now we're good. There we go. All right, all right. No biting, right? That's that's self-explanatory, Trace. That, that's, that's an easy one. That like, is for Harry, considering his history. Yeah, knowing uh, Harry's history, yeah. yes. No heavy hands. Uh, we've seen Yanko punch Jason before in a style of a cream <laughs> pie, right? Yeah. We, we no heavy hands. And fun, this is yours, is mandatory, apparently. Yeah, fun is mandatory, which is going to be on the docket for everyone involved. See a lot of smiling faces wearing both gray and orange shirts to my left and right. So. And more teams. We got Fury, yeah. we got Movi, so they're coming up first. But look, some of this, the orientation, 32 mm -hmm. teams, four groups, 15 partner teams. We got three via the world ranking. Uh, we got the rest of them, you know, national championships from all over the globe, Aussies. Mm -hmm. We got people from China, everybody coming in. Five weeks, 26 days, 850K. And, uh, well, a lot of fun, hopefully. Yeah, that's 26 days of Counter-Strike being played. So if you haven't gotten your fix by tomorrow or the day after, you're going to get it by the end of 26. And we got some upgrades from last season, right? What we get, Chad? What we get? Uh, so look, this, this area, is, it's, it's changed this orientation, not this orientation. Uh, it's, you know, facing <laughs> a little bit of a different direction. Not there's this. a spinny wheel behind you. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, true. That'll come in later, but there's lots of fun stuff. And uh, there's two people who we know of, who uh, have a lot of fun on microphones, yelling. There's some upgrades that have been made over there as well, and apparently they're your teammates, right? Yeah, they are my teammates. Some would say they're my little brothers. Uh, and let's head over to the casting area. Perhaps we, we see them. What's going on over there, dudes? Thank you. Thank you very much, camp councillors. Yes, it's uh, good to be back, of course, in Malta and here the at the hat casting looks desk. looks ridiculous, Harry. Ready to make some no, I don't know. It's what working. a style. Yeah, you He's know, I, I had to try to get it on somehow. Minus it's very points. bright over here. Red Man, flag. we've we've got the dream casting setup. Uh, we've got we've got a collection of monitors. We've got everything going on. But I think more important than, than all of this and how sick the new setup looks is, uh, you remember last time, Hugo, we I had do. we had the, the third mic for when the, when the pros could come on. You remember that? That was, yeah, that was fun. I think I do. Yeah, and it does get the oh, this double. Is this is Shady. This is Shady. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. And Rob gets the oh! oh! What? That is insane. Did you see what he was screaming? What the f? I, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want people to know that I'm from Israel. Okay. So I, I made like a personality yeah. that he's from England, and I used to tell every taxi driver I was I was uh, with. I'm from England. Can you give me your English accent? Yeah, it was basically like, uh, hello, my name is Daniel Jackson. I'm from the west coast of England. No. That's Where's actually good, right? Yeah, keep talking, keep talking. Hang on, good. hang on. Damn, you clever, boy. Yeah. Oh, you clever, boy. You guys smart. <laughs> you should play pro or something. I was considering it, but I quit early. Ah, good times. They were good times, Harry. Yeah. We'll have more of them as well, of course, as the later we get into every single group, the more players will be eliminated or qualified to the playoffs, and hopefully we'll be able to grab them and put them on the mic. Boys, who do you want to get? Who, who would be a prize Call possession in group We need eight. some Call repeats. We need some repeats. I want some of the more Miles boys back again. Yeah. Frozen was hilarious. Sertion was really smart as well. They're not in yeah. group A. What about no, Hampus? I, mean, I, I, think, I think we bring Ooh. Daniel Jackson and Flames Jackson, back, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Right? Like, that's, that, that's, a, that's a clear favorite for me. Also, I kind of want to hear from Apex. Yeah, yeah, can we get Apex in? I think we need some new boys. I think Apex would be nice. Yeah. Just yeah. Run back the yeah. old it would boys. be. Fallen? Yeah. Stop blowing. You get in with Machine and oh. Henry. You can do Fallen blowing other people's minds. Wow. Yeah. That's like blowception. Yeah, Wait. sorry guys. Didn't mean to interject uh, there. You, no, that's back fine. To your, back I mean, to your thing. we've got a big room. We've got a, we've got lots going on, Chad. So let's throw it over to another side of the room. Let's see what Freya's up to. Thank you very much, gentlemen, because look at all this room for activities. Eagle-eyed among you will have noticed that this space has doubled in size, and this is where you're going to find all the cool kids when uh, the games aren't going on, or sometimes actually when they are, right, Yeah, Henry? we've got plenty of room here for the players and the talent, of course. Lots yeah. of famous competitions over the years, and so much space, like you said. Maybe you want to bust a move, maybe flex some muscles. 
or perhaps Freya, you want to spike the ball, and that's <laughs> going to be our spike first ball? area here on the tour. Can so, you give me a bit of a TLDR of what spike ball actually is? Oh, what a great I've question! Never played yeah, it. You so, you so you're going to start here. Okay. So you get the ball, and it's basically a kind of a miniaturized version of volleyball. <laughs> Consider like <laughs> the sorry, wing, what? <laughs> the net on the ground. The, wing, the <laughs> yeah, wingman it's, edition it's of volleyball. Right. So uh, Max has set me up with a spike here, and the idea is to set return. Set you up it. with a spike. Yeah, set me up with a spike, oh, and I'll show you how to handle it. I'm actually one of the upcoming players in the spike community, as you can see, like that. You want to kind of. Keep control of it. And anyway, I that's basically it. it's a two-on-two two game. It. Uh, a lot of the Scandinavians play this, so watch out for them. I'm sure we're going to develop this as time goes Great on. Great energy from them. No, I don't know. Who this. could forget the EPL them. Pong League? The legendary Pong Who could forget that? League. Uh, who, who was the champion last season? Lucy. I, uh, Lucy I lost in the grand, I lost yeah, in the grand yes. final, unfortunately. Look at this. I'm going to be Mac. representing her in this tournament as well. Max so just, you know, I'm playing. Is this a popular game in Australia, Mac? Oh, no, I just haven't played it since university, so it's been a couple of years. I was trying to give you a compliment. I'll sub in some different Australians, I think. Okay. One last rally here. But you can see already the energy in the room building from the so ping pong much. here. The people bloody love it. So watch out for they that. They really do. We've also got a little uh, tribute to Daniel Jackson over there for the eagle eyed among us. Uh, we Daniel, can see Jackson. Daniel Jackson. Daniel Jackson. He's Otherwise in the building as, as well. Whoever did this S. Mad props. You remember doing that, Henry, back in a uh, school? the school book? Yeah, yeah I don't absolutely. Know how to do it. Still school. don't know how I to do it. I still don't know either. Yeah, maybe do we you can have know? a lesson. Who knows? I can tell you. It's the three strikes, the three strikes, and then you just connect them. Yeah, it sounds easy. Like we we might need a tutorial about that one later, Matt. Okay, a bit later. Oh, oh, Next stop. Let's the counter strike. Area. Okay. This is the one v one setup. So, a um, lot of hearts broken. Lot who remembers this? Max, maze. you're representing the country here, mate. Don't who let remembers us down. this right now? And oh, strike. hold up a second. I do remember that. Okay, there was a very infamous. The king of the rats. A very That's infamous Dinko. winner last year. It was Dinko, of course. Not here yet, but coming back soon. There was a very infamous game between himself and one of our casters over there. How are you with us? I hate this guy. So. If you're yeah, not aware, we'll be playing a lot of aim map here for other tournaments. Yeah. I'm just revisiting that old memory. Harry entered as the number one seed. Mm. Hit the swagger of Colin McGregor. That's Connor's brother. Not quite as good a fighter, <laughs> but he has got a great walk. Um, and he was going in with Deagle only against Dinko. Yeah. Thought he was going to be wiping the floor with him, but unfortunately, it all went wrong, and he made himself look like an absolute twat, didn't you, Harry? <laughs> well, that's a pretty eloquent oh, yeah. way of putting it, Henry. Uh, <laughs> like you know, uh, I, I, ju I just want to say, I want to take this time to say, yeah, I've, I've never liked you. Uh, uh, and, and, and this is why. Uh, team yeah. counter how about, no, how about no, we take it out today? No, you fancy no, a 1v1 no today? I'm tactics. Down. No, I don't want a 1v1. You, you I, I only 1v1? 1v1 human beings, man. Oh, like, uh, oh, okay, oh, he went yeah. there. He went there. He knows I don't like being called an alien. Hey, not that I don't love you already <laughs> throwing shade to the other team, but yeah. we still have more of a tool. We oh, that's showing, true. Right? This is Mac's favorite area. Lovely faces already. So Mac promised me a bit of a front flip, potentially. We got this Don't injure yourself for me, guys. Take one. Someone who's breaks late. We'll double these up just in case. Who's I'm worried on about. First aid? Okay, yeah, here we go. Oh, so I don't this like is all this. Worried Still about fired. the sound packs. Look, no, I'd be more worried about your so neck. So a, a chance. Come oh, on now, I don't, I don't know about this, Henry. Where's, that, where's the whistle coming He's from? He's got a bloody mic pack on and stuff. <laughs> there it is, Look ladies and that. gentlemen. You've done it. Wow. There might be. The Trace. first stunt has been completed. The Give this man a bag. Working. The that microphone's still working. The microphone's still good. You've done it. And I think, Freya, You've... that might conclude the tour. Get us out of here. <laughs> yeah, I've got that bombshell. Let's be over to the mixed use zone with Alex. Yes, indeed. It's time to uh, <laughs> start my gymnastic performance. All right, you ready? As soon as I said I knew he was going to do it. Uh, <laughs> it was a great no, Thank you. Yeah. No injuries? No, no I'm, I'm okay. actually quite I'm impressed. Just, I think Henry's just having a conversation, Alex. I'm okay. sorry. Guys, can you shut up? We're sorry, trying to hey, do a segment down. over here. We're trying to work Right. Sorry, hey. Alex. Thank so, you. Sorry, Alex. Welcome Mila, back Mila. to ESL Pro League X V I I I. Haramba. I am yep. excited for this. Right. We've got Jacob Pimpinicky. We've got none other than Yanko YNK Paunovic. And I have a board with nothing written on it. You can see where this is going. <laughs> We're going to start with some writing. We've been theory crafting. I like the animal theme. We're kind of in the jungle out here. Uh, and Yanko, you were telling me you like lions. Kings well, of the jungle. Lions, the king of the jungle. Yeah, it's very Alex. easy. I like that. So we have lions. I hope this is the right marker. We'll find out. It's pretty good. I think we checked him. I think, I, think we're, I think we're safe. Well, now I'm thinking lions, tigers, and bears. They're oh all my. scary. Hey. Can we get something a little bit more meek? Yeah, okay. those are all apex, right? Yeah, so what's Predators like a it. kind of a slightly more meek, but still quite scary? Like a snake? Birds, birds a snake can be, a bird? 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 Yeah, birds like can a, be like quite an scary. Eagle. Yeah. Name, name a bird. Like a swan. An eagle. Like an eagle. Are you scared of eagles? Fine. They can kill you. More? Th oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Maybe okay. you. Come on up. We can put a pan there. I heard there's an eagle like flying around the studio every now and then, too. we got to watch out for that. What about... um? 
A I've fox got... is kind of scary, but not the scary. I'd say a, a fox is cunning, not scary. A fox is cunning. Scary. Yeah. Well, it's not. Uh, he doesn't want to be seen. He's not, a, he's not an okay, aggressor. What about See if you a, can spell it. What about a dingo? <laughs> I, I, I don't like know the traits of a dingo. Can, Are they enchanted? Listen, it's like we, a we have a lot of fox. interference here. We had good ideas. Yeah. So, right. for the, we have wild cats. Yeah, okay. Those so are I'm going to say tigers because it still keeps with the thing. Lions, tigers, and bears. Oh, my. We're sticking with that with felines. Is that what we've got yeah, with we it? We have we'll to just go just with cats. Lions are definitely more scary than tigers. All right, all right, all right. Maybe What's the not? difference. Yanko, yeah, show us where this is going, mate. All right, so we have a, the, the lowest one is the ants. The ants. Because the ants okay. carry more, a lot more than their weight, right? So they're punching about their weight. I'm doing four. And okay. But in numbers. So we've got lions, tigers, something, and ants. So um, <laughs> we could bring the eagles back. Yeah, I think the eagles can't scare me. All right, the eagle. But like, obviously. A tiger and a lion are going to wreck an eagle, aren't they? Ooh, debatable. In a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, sure. Squirrel. I, 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 squirrel. Well, not, guys, a, not in the air, obviously. I have this just is done the a little easiest Google. part. This is the e yeah, go on, Harry. I've done a little. So apparently, uh, scientists say that in a fight between a tiger and a lion, there's a 90% <laughs> chance that the tiger will win. So well, this is not okay. <laughs> scientifically, <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, on this one, yeah, you know, I, I think on this the one, I think the tiger and the lion should be the. Then you put you add you know that damn science get in the way, man. You add a couple more people in. And suddenly everyone's got an also, opinion. How have they tested this? Harry is a, sci <laughs> Harry is a scientist now. <laughs> All right, so like, the tiger, obviously, with a 95% certainty. I just want to know what's going, going be below lion. ants. Like, what, what, what do ants lose? Yanko to? has Termites. a pretty good explanation, actually. Oh. Yanko, the ants. Yeah, the ants, they carry more than they weigh, right? They but punch they weigh about a their, bit. Yeah, they punch about their weight. They are hardworking, yeah. you know. What's they weaker than all the time, Yanko? You know? And yeah. then the last one is like a sloth. Okay, so I'm going to grab someone who's useless. Three teams <laughs> to start our conversation off. I've got us orcs. Oh, they should be the category of their own. They're orcs. And Moffy start riding. <laughs> Placing them. I'm looking straight at orcs, right? This is the uh, uh, orglus, the only orglus in the group. Uh, that's a bit of a conversation itself. But they were so confident in your interview. I was surprised when I did the, the, the lobby with them. You know, they're like, oh, yeah, we actually think we're pretty good. Like, we can beat these teams. You know, they've been together for a month, a little bit longer than a month, and everyone's so confident. I'm like, okay, I'm going to keep an eye out on these guys yeah. because they, it, it sounds real coming from them. Yeah. I, I don't know. Seeing HS back as well, Jacob, that's, that's like kind of funny. You know, was it 17? Yeah. He was in Uptick Gaming, and we thought he was a, a next coming talent, and yeah. now he's finding himself in the Orcs. I feel like they're kind of resembling the Eagle thing right here, you know, where they. They think they can probably beat the lions. They think they can probably beat the tigers, but they'll get absolutely shattered if they try to. Oh, okay, okay. So in terms of where they place them, mm. they see themselves as a bit of an eagle. Interesting. With a Polish court choosing to integrate HS and speak English. English. Yeah, I, I, I mean that as well. I don't know. He just got messaged one day uh, on Steam. He's like, "Hey, you wanna wanna come <laughs> play with us?" And they like liked so much the vibe they had with HS that. They ended up playing with him over other Polish players where they had an opportunity to yeah. play with someone else. So. Does that mean Milky's on our team? He was wearing our colored shirt there, Alex. He had yeah. a you, what, what's going on I, there? I mean, we can have him as an yeah. honorary member. And uh, speaking to a rival member, actually, I wanted to hear Max's opinion about this little dog on the dog on the board. Are what we being I? realistic or are we being biased? Oh, we're being realistic. Well, Always I, realistic, man. Yeah, Super realistic serious. with a biased twin. <laughs> I wouldn't... Oh. I wouldn't put them at the bottom. So they're not happy. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put them at the bottom, you know. They've been, they've been on a boot camp. They've been over here for a while. And they're not going to be jet lagged. A couple of the other times they've gone to these international But they lost their bags again. No, they no, got back. Oh, okay. They came they finally, back to they finally jet lag. Okay. Okay. All right. So they do have their gear. Thank you, Alex. They've got their jerseys. It's That's all coming together. Part. Yeah, you know one together. thing? They don't have to play against the best seed team in the tournament for the what feels like the first time in a long time. I think True. last time they had to play against like Vitality or something ah, in the first round. Oh, that's a they point. Have a, they have a quote-unquote easier opponent this time round. Respect underdog. Okay, how about I'm, just put, I'm putting the, the nose of the Greyhound into Eagle. All right. That's, They're sniffing the Eagle. That is yeah, a sentence that's that makes sense. Sniffing yeah. the Eagle. I'll well, accept it. The riders. What are we thinking about the riders? I These feel like going with your analogy. They they have been pushing about their weight every time they've been a pro league. But apart from that, they they kind of suck, you know, in a way. Online, <laughs> they don't do well. Right next to it. Really, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I feel like they're the trying game. to punch about their weight. But I mean, they also league. they also made changes. But they're a much better team on land than they are online. They have a winning record on land in the last six months, but a losing record online by a large margin. Ooh. So I think that's a perfect uh, sort of group they're, for them. They're on laners. They, okay. exactly. they okay. called through Melbourne at Challenger 2, and they look yeah. really, really good in Melbourne. So. Yeah.
Brilliant. OK, so eyes on them. Now, in terms of uh, the big names, I've got them all in my hands here. Who do I start with? Let's start with the GL. I think that's an interesting one to get the, the juices flowing. Jacob, let me pick your brain on that. I feel like they are punching way above their weight. I think when we saw the roster chains after the major, we all thought they were going to go to, to shit. To be completely honest, they couldn't do much. But I've been impressed with one the way they've been playing so far. So <laughs> I feel like they are a bit of an eagle, maybe a, a bit above the Orcs as well. And, and they're kind of, you know, they're not quite aligned just yet. But if they can continue that development and continue to, to play way above what we expect, then why not? Where does it look aesthetically pleasing? Like that? Uh, yeah. Poking their nose into Lion? Yeah, I'd say so. Poking their nose. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Way better than expected. What's that? Like NIP? Can we do NIP next? Yeah, we can, bro. All right. So here's the, <laughs> here's the joke this whole time. Here, here's the trick. Lion yeah. is the king of the jungle, but it's the lioness who does all the hunting, Alex. And the lion just sleeps under a tree, does nothing. I don't know what Free. the lion does. Oh, yeah. That's NIP. They've, they've done nothing, Alex. Bloody Put them next to the lion. They've done can nothing. That's okay. They've been making yeah. roster changes. Oof. It's Son just a whole lot of nothing in there. It's a nothing pie. Tell us how you really feel. It's a no. nothing no. sandwich. Pie. Okay, a nothing pie, but they're still a lion. Alex, because are you okay over there? Do you need, like, because they're throwing some venom at you. They should have put snakes on the board. No, it's nice. It's, it's throwing Yeah, but we don't have a logo of you, Chad. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We can sort that no out. No one's Hold disputing up. NIP as a lion. We actually have, so we still have expectations for NIP, even if they yeah, are they're nothing. Yeah, the, the org, you know, the, yeah. the, the days of old, 87 and 0, but it's like an old lion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And he gets his missus to go hunting. It's like, Scar, time. help me. And they say, no. Yeah, OK, respect, <laughs> respect. So uh, that, what does that make for Vitality, then? Surely, we're, we're, these are top dogs. <laughs> yeah. Can we be, yeah, but can we be nice about these they guys? Are, they are, Alex, they are a mutation. They're not oh. even belong on this list. They're a combination of float like a tiger, sting like a bee. Of course. <laughs> Float like, like a tiger. tiger. There it is. Swimming animal we know them to be. Alex, number one ranked team in the world. Best player in the world, according to some in Zaiwu. <laughs> according to some. <laughs> according to many. Uh, according to most. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And he's coming for the cultural zeitgeist next. Up uh, next we have <laughs> Astralis. I'm looking at the game for this one. Yeah, Astralized. they're getting better, you know. They're they getting are, better. No, they, they're are, they are playing some, some decent Counter-Strike devices in particular. Very, very interesting. So I feel like we have to put them up there with the Wait, Lions. We, we oh, have yeah. one, more, one more category. Can you put Dolphins? <laughs> dolphins. <laughs> OK, well, I'm, I'm <laughs> Another yeah. like dolphin? sort of predator. Put, put but, Dolphin uh, okay. in there because you are right, Jacob. Astralis does make me excited, and dolphins are the only other species that has <laughs> oh, no. sex for pleasure outside of humans. Oh, boy. That's true. Harry's going to fact check this right now no, as well. No, I think that's true. <laughs> that's why <laughs> Flipper's dead on. I already know that's that. That's why Flipper's always smiling. <laughs> so, so to clarify, because... They get you excited. They get you excited, and dolphins also does have sex for pleasure. Does Astralis get you excited, or does the vice get you aroused? Oh, Ooh, actually, the whole, actually, this aroused. team is like, I, aroused. Aroused. I, me like he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've, they've been way better like, than I expected. And also, I mean, the vice, obviously, also a part of it. Like, he's been playing Insane. Lights really out. well, like top five players of the year, mate. Yeah, and I mean, I, I, can, can we have a show of hands at the big busy sofa? How many people expected the vice to just show up exactly as he left, if not better? You expected you did, that, did I, mean, you? I, mean, I didn't expect that. I wouldn't say I expected it. You think he's going to take Improbable. You think he's going to take a year off and then come yeah. back <laughs> and just be as good as he was? It was obvious. And for all the doubters, put respect on Underdog's name. That's true. <laughs> I was watching <laughs> under, under Overdog. Yeah, device the Underdog. <laughs> device the Overdog. All right. Okay. Well, and Chad the Updog. But can't argue with it. I guess that, that is what it is. Okay. Trace the Savant and Furia, the last team. <laughs> Captain Stunlock over here. What are we? <laughs> Stunlock to you again. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear more from Yanko on this one. I think. Yanko, Furia. I know a team that oh, is come close on to your heart. I think. Uh, Fury are probably an eagle. Any disputes? It's going, it's touching. I want to hear I his rationale first. I've heard a lot of this. I've heard a lot from Yanko and Furia, so I need it's to true. hear why well, he wants to put them in the eagle category. I think actually we would need a different category for Furia, and it wouldn't be a panther, it would be like an ogre. Okay. We've already got orcs, yeah, so now orcs. we have ogres. ogres. But orcs, because they have two heads, you know. Oh. Yeah, oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Furia right now. Has a two head, sure they're like head. this Siamese twin or <laughs> whatever, yeah. with yeah. art yeah. and fallen, so you never yeah. know who's the strange. dominant <laughs> twin. Yeah. To be continued. Yeah. I kind of wanted to put yeah. the slot on the list as well. It's like the two, you know, a lot of countries have a two headed eagle, including yeah. Serbia as their crest, put them as the eagle. They're a two headed eagle. So you're worried they may, they may have like too many cooks in the kitchen. There might be too many voices and it lacks direction. <laughs> For example, did you know the old adage, Yanko? that if you don't know what port you're sailing towards, every wind is favorable. You never know which wind is favorable. Or that. Yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> almost, <laughs> almost. You nearly <laughs> had it. Where was I putting this again? Eagle. 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 But all the way to the right, like, yes. 
Okay. So we've got a couple of mutants on the board. Yeah, we have animorphs. I think is yeah. what we've come to here. Yeah. The tiger, the tiger bee, uh, the the old, well, the old lion that doesn't do anything. Sits under a tree. The dolphins. Who the, can forget those? Well, you've got the tiger that floats. Yeah. Can't forget that. Yeah. So floating like, tigers and a couple of ants. Hidden killer. Eagle. Like I don't know. Fire yeah, ants. Tiger I, I think like. it's interesting. We're putting orcs above Movistar and Greyhound. Like, any comments on that? Oh, yeah. Hugo here with the checks and balances. Yeah, I need to make sure the dolphins are Unproven. clearly. At the top. There we go. I don't think you can erase that. Uh, I, don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> that I don't think that's part of the whiteboard. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Day one. Day one. It's functional. Uh, no. It's functional. So, yeah, the dolphins obviously above the tigers because they're quite exciting. And we've got Vitality as the top dogs. NIP, they may be boring, but they're still expected to also, do something. Also, I'm not explaining myself to Hugo. Screw him. Like, we can talk over Let's talk over a BO3, Yanko. Let's do that. Well, exa exactly what's coming up after the break. We do have a best of three. The first of many here at ESL Pro League. So we are going to get out of here, get changed, chopped and ready as we prepare for Movistar versus Furia. Get out of here. Love it, you wear it. What's your style? Get your merch at shop.eslgaming.com. to my arch enemy, I would give him the teleporting skills so he can get out of me. <laughs> Best skills, I'm gonna bring my guitar. I saw the wallpaper on the PCs and they have a, a CS character playing the guitar, so I'm gonna have to bring it. Which song I'll play uh, Spirit Bird. Uh, I don't think they know the lyrics, but they have been listening to it, so I think they will recognize the list. Uh, we, we will throw Yuri at the bear because he has more meat, so the bear is going to be <laughs> very busy for a long time, so he can run. 
<laughs> it's gonna take some time for the bears or for us to run. I have not been long enough with them to know who can cook well or not, but I strongly believe that none of them can really cook, so I think it's gonna be up to me and I'm not that good at it either. If I had to cook to them, I would probably do rice and steak and salad. That's pretty much what, what I can do. We are the best campers in the group uh, because we have some old guys in the team. I think life experience it goes quite far in the camping things. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the pre-match quiz. That's right, we're putting our two teams to the test. Before we do it in the server, we've got Alex of Movistar Riders, we've got Fallen of Furia, and let's see how well you know your opponent. Yeah. Ah, yeah, that's right. So, fingers on buzzers. If you're confident you can answer this question, I need you to hit that big red button. Okay. Yanko is here to give you the answers if you don't, don't know. <laughs> For, uh, first question, can you name the whole roster of your opponent? Hit the buzzer. Alex, what have you got for me? Fallen, uh, Caserato, Yuri, Art, Ancelo. Boom! One point to Bro, Alex. Okay, okay. I Fingers on buzzers. He has to press only the ones that press first speaks? Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I mean, you know points here. He, he oh, was okay. too quick. You gotta go fast. Okay, up next. Second question. How recently did your opponent make a roster change? Come on. I know who they changed, but how, how long ago? <laughs> How long ago? I would say two months. Two months? I lost. <laughs> I'm going to pass it over. <laughs> yeah, when I when well? do you think they made a roster change? I mean, before, uh, I mean, in the, in the summer break, I think. So about? Like two months or one month? One month! Uh, bing, 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 bing! Fifth, seven days, bro, to be more exact. That's closer to two months than one month. Yanko, I need your help on this one. 57 days. I think we give it to Fallen because his answer is also, it's the same, right? It was the player yeah. break. Okay. So yeah. okay. It's 57 days ago. He, he's right. He, and he knows it into the days. So. I haven't done the days, so one point to All Gryffindor. Right. Okay, 1-1. One, one. Up next. <clears throat> this is a hard one. This is the hardest one. What is their permaban map? <laughs> Alex, I see it. Uh, from I'm, who? I would say from, from your opponent, bro. From your opponent, bro. I mean, I'm sure you know your perma ban. <laughs> You'll never know. What you said. That was yeah. good. You shouldn't have let him. You should have <laughs> let him answer. We yeah. didn't finish the question. Yeah, they are, they are banning right now Anubis. Correct, Amundo. And okay, just out of yeah, interest, okay. what did you think Movi's perma ban was? Because uh, it's it, it's a bit interesting. I just asked. Uh, you just Gary. did the veto, right? I just right? asked Gary, but I forgot. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I think it's. Mirage. Okay, that's All what right. I, that's what I wrote down, yeah, but right? it was a bit okay, yeah, 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 it's a bit good. up in the air. Oof. Good, good, good. Okay. Close. Last question. Who has the highest overall earnings on your opponent's team? Overall earnings. On the opponent's team? Yeah. It has to be the guy who's been playing the most. Which is obviously Which gotta be him. Ah, uh, that's yeah. points to fall and what is the final score? That's our job, Yanko. We're supposed to know that. Two. Yes, he won. He wins. <laughs> Fallen wins. No, I mean he like Alex. Alex, oh, well, uh, yeah. Let's be more specific. <laughs> yeah, they Alex win. wins. They win. And let's see if they can do it in the server. You guys it's have a got tie, a game to play. Right. Thank you guys. <laughs> it's a tie. There's no prizes. There's no points. It was just a bit of fun. Thank All you very right. much, Thank guys. You guys. Good luck Thank in the guys. server. Cheers, Knuckles. Let's throw it on back.
See ya. Good luck, bro. And I've just got to say that the adjudicating body there in his hat and sunglasses was uh, a formidable force. Very official, Yanko. Yeah. They, he wins. Yeah. They there, were no, there were no winners there, right? He, he no wins. Nobody, okay. nobody it was won. a tie, actually. It was a tie. That's because fine. there's four questions, so maybe... We do five no, next time. That's though. perfect. Yeah. Five next time. Actually, that, but that works out nicely because it is a tie. It'll be settled in the server. Oh. Yeah. Right? I like it. I'm okay. In. So He's pulled it back from the darkness. Yeah, they, right? yeah, yeah they are going to play a match of Counter Strike, so that all could, right. I guess, determine who has more knowledge because they're going to win in the video game they're all here to talk about, I suppose. So that's not too bad. How do we feel about that? Ah, uh, sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, nobody really wins if everybody loses. So. Well, we have to get Can't some housekeeping. Be we got to get some housekeeping out of the way here, gentlemen. Okay. Uh, so as everyone can see now, if you missed it, we are in silly colors for lots of silly reasons. But one of the things we have to do is determine who gets which teams because there's going to be these badges which. To be fair, we're learning about today as well. So it's going to be an experience that the people at home and us as the, the camp so can learn about. So there are team rewards and individual rewards, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, I, th I think Trace in his little clipboard right there maybe has a couple of them written down. But, actually, uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and grab that. Yeah, okay. Actually, so uh, our teams are made up. We've got, uh, we've got, we've got five, five players on, uh, on each team here of the, of the, the crew, okay. right? Uh, it's Henry, it's Machine, it's Sponge, it's Freya, and Pimp, right? You can see team counter, the, 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 gray yeah, colors. Yeah, team counter. Is it gray? What's well, the official I color? I think it was meant to be blue, but all right, bluish hue, like purple, it's gray. The bluish hue, I like gray it. Shirt. Yours is very in your face. Yeah, it's like a traffic. Cone. It's like a, a Trump color. Almost. Yeah, you, you see, you <laughs> like want a Trump card. Oh, ah, okay, oh, yeah, Trump color. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, yeah, good one, Mister <laughs> America. What do you even mean by that? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <stunned> <laughs> nothing, but it's provocative. Look, Captain, I, I've done it all here. Captain Stunlock, back out here. Yeah, what's 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 uh, Cap? Your team looking like? Y and K. He does sit on the end. Yep. We've got Harry and Hugo. They kind of sit together at all points of the day. Doesn't really matter where they are. Don't. Spoil the fu future That's them weeks. shouting now. Uh, we do have Mac <laughs> as well. Yeah, yeah. Mac uh, mate. And then we have Pimp over here yep. uh, for your side. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. But we need to determine where the teams are going to go, right? So we're going to mm -hmm. spin this wheel. Pimp, spin this wheel. If it All lands right. on counter, uh, we pick first. If it lands on strike, they pick first. Okay. So we're picking the teams from the group High here because uh, these are determined the badges. So we want. Did we then? Uh, Did we? Wow. Well, we wow. want. Was yeah. that yeah. a full yeah. revolution yeah. of the wheel? Yeah, we're going to take Vitality. We're going to take Vitality. Yanko, Trace, who do you want? We can go all the teams. Let's do all the teams. Um. Come we, on, man. If you're not picking Astralis, what are you doing with your life? We want Astralis. Yeah, take Astralis. Right. Take some time. I don't know. The orcs are always... Now, <laughs> boys, we got some conversations <laughs> to be had here. Choice. Who do we believe in more? Gamer Legion, Fury, or NIP? Um, I like NIP. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, okay. I know it's NIP been rough for well, them. Yeah. I think yeah. they've had time of hampers now. Mm. I think safe, it's time. Safe. We'll take Give me NIP. Fury immediately. If anyone's going to get two knife kills in one best of three, it's going to be Fury. Fury. There's a badge step. available for knife kills. Oh, there we go. He's spoiling some of the badges. All right. That's uh, pretty smart, actually. Uh, what do we want? Do we want orcs? I like the confidence from the orcs, right? Can they come in a surprise? I guess. Why not? They probably got a knife people as well. Okay. Orcs. We got the orcs as well. All right. Give us. Gamer Legion. Yeah, I was thinking the same. Oh, yeah, fair enough, yep. Major yep. finalist. <laughs> Trace's safe, favorite huh? team. Uh, uh, okay. What's there, the last uh, choice? Yeah, uh, Mobby Star Riders or Greyhound? So oh I feel like, because Max, like, I would like so, to take Mobby Greyhound Riders, if we could. Yeah, they've only played 11 maps with this, this lineup. Yeah, it's a land debut. It's a yeah. land debut. Yeah. So look, we'll, take, we'll take the boys. Greyhound is going to be better. Yeah, sure. we'll take the boys. Yeah. Give, me the, give me the Spaniards any day on land, baby. You didn't have a choice. You didn't know you were getting them regardless. I always have a choice, That's how this works. I always They were the last team and you were getting them. A choice. Okay. And now movie star, we pick you guys. There you go. Well, you're filling it with confidence. I pick you. It's great. That, well, look, the game is going to start in about two minutes. Did we, did we oh, fly the veto in yet? Yeah, fly the veto. Did we fly the veto Let's in? Let's find out what maps. That's kind of important. I think the general. No center, Mirage, no Anubis. Yeah, look, we did the we did the band yeah, in an interview form. Aren't we crazy? That's crazy. Oh, man. That's Probably wild. some, you know, the classic that comes on out in every series. It's, okay, so we got the overpass. We got the nuke. Inferno third. Seems likely. It would be the Ooh, Ooh, yeah. okay. Ooh, ancient. ancient third. All right. Okay. Uh, I, I thought we were going to get such us. a normy map pool because we have overpass. New guy figured that it may as well just slot it in with a bit of inferno there. The only other thing. Overpass we could have isn't really a normy map. Come on. It's a normy map these days, Yanko. It's I, an old map. Yeah. Okay. We do enough. have just a couple extra minutes. It's an oldie map. So uh, there's a little bit of a tech thing. So you know, yeah. kind of oh, disregard. So that uh, timer down the bottom, you want us to ignore it? Uh, to a yeah, to a degree, I think is okay. the safest place. It's interesting to see, like, Moby start pick. Uh, overpass, I, they've always been a good overpass thing throughout different iterations of the roster. It just seems like the in-game leader, Alex, also has a good knack for doing it. Mop pause, sneaking out of monster and doing all those tricky plays. So they always find a way to make we, it work. For Fury, it wasn't a great map, but 
since Fallen came in, it was a great map for Imperial. So they're trying to There's sort of like they've been, a lot more structure. They've been yeah, forcing yeah. to play it more, right? To get good at it. So it's going to, I think it will be an interesting. I always map. feel bad for the underdogs when they have to start on a T side like a war pass. Like you could ruin well, the entire have game. To, for I guess them. they yeah. could have picked any other. They map. could have picked something else, but they didn't. Right? So <laughs> I'm it's noticing gonna be a bit of an issue here, Chad. We can't actually win any points in this first game. They've got both Furia and what we start. Yeah, so. but well, we have the B stream that's going on as well, where we yeah. have we have Greyhound. So there okay. is the, the you know. All right, so we have to keep our eye on that But they stay for the whole day, the whole week. I know. So you know, just unfortunate the first. First game, you know, could have had a bit more. Bit of well, we got, got three out of the four teams, Trace. We got Vitality. I think we did well here. It's good we enough actually, for yeah, me. That's true. We, we're not doing well. Who are getting through? You think you got three out of the four teams getting through? It's not. You don't get badges for teams getting through. Oh. What do you well, it's the badge for. Well, well again, I haven't read the badge list. We haven't quite who's read our the ba who's, badge. Who's going to do our badge stuff, Henry? I think I'm going to have to take the, the wheel on this one. Yeah. I'll, be, I'll do the farming for the badges. I'll go for the, the Easter eggs, the loopholes, the exploits. Okay. Well, who are they? Cheating, who, are you? who are you putting <laughs> on We've that? put our best mathematician and, quite frankly, one of the nerdiest, smartest people I've ever met in my Rushley life. Rushley Ranger. Absolutely not. He does not get an orange shirt. I don't want that guy no, squealing the microphone. he's not on a microphone. team. He's an adjudicator, Well, I we think. have Hugo as our badge collector. Oh, you've got Hu oh. Hugo versus Henry. That was okay. it. Hugo Classic. Byron. It always had to be this way, I yeah, suppose. Somebody <laughs> had to settle the score. Yeah. Oh. Between the two. Be. Let's do this, though, guys. Uh, Wait, I are appreciate we out of here? all of your time and stuff. Yeah, we're going to go to a quick break. All we're right. going to come back with that first game. Uh, and we'll do just that. See you on the other side. First cast of Pro League, and it's always a special one. We got Furia taking on Movistar, and we've got a third person joining us, Hugo. It's kind of highly anticipated, really. Everyone's been asking, when's Yanko going to be back for the trio? I'm back, baby. And the good news is, it's right now. I'm so. Back. Yeah, this is pretty sick. And we've got a we got a banging game coming down the pipeline. Uh, we we've had a couple of little tech problems here to open up, so we're just kind of ch big chilling right now. Everyone's in the server though, so game should be starting just oh, a moment. Right. And oh. It's nice to get the band back together, boys, all in orange as well in our in our prison jumpsuit era. Just escape from <laughs> what the, are you uh, in for? High yeah. security. What would you be in in prison? What do you? Okay, let's do let's okay, play this. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. do you think Harry Hugo would be in prison for? Um, well, immediately I went to something like money related, you yeah, know, say, like fraud, fraud or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah. I think you go. What about like Harry? Fraud, what would you fraud. put Harry in there for? Harry, uh, public oh exposure. Ah, yes, that's that's right down your alley. <laughs> something like that, like you and know, you, what, public, public intoxication, in indecency, public intoxication. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the city, Is I guess. It, well, that's like. I know, that even that's carry a half sentence. Yeah, you'll that's be in, there in Serbia, you'll you get a out. high five for it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, well, here we are, back in ESL Pro League, and man, it's nice to be back in the studio with 
lots of teams coming through with five weeks of gameplay with Bai Wu back on the intro. I'm mm. sure we won't get sick of that uh, like we did last season. I uh, well, hang on a moment. I don't know if anyone got market. sick of it. No, I think that's a bit harsh. It. If anything, you know, that's Hugo. I don't know if you know it. That's us. Jewel. That's actually oh, us. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. Is. Um, yeah. And I think it was quite highly requested, if I'm honest. So I'm glad that that's made a return. Uh, what do you What do you make of the the maps? Because you guys didn't really get to talk about on the yeah, desk. How do you feel about the video? I, I yeah, talked okay. a little bit about overpass. You know, Movistar. You go back to when I was still coaching phase. Like they they were really good on overpass. They just sort of feel good on it. I think Alex and Mopos both, like Alex is the in-game leader, Mopos is sort of a, the X-Factor player, the, the star player, you know, towards that B-bomb side just has a lot of impact and can have a lot of influence on the map. So whenever they mix and match players, like those two guys in the coach are, are always there. So they just keep sort of teaching the philosophy to new players and they would come to play to a high level pretty quickly, at least on that map. So, and for Furia, right, it's Somewhere in between, obviously very good for Imperial while Fallen was there. Um, also has uh, a great understanding of the map, but Furia didn't really play it often. It was only picked to punish them, really. Um, so I, I think it, they need some getting used to, to the map. And we saw that already with a couple of close losses against some teams that you expect them to beat. But that's normal while, while they're still in their early days, right? I expect them to get better on the map. And we also heard from Fallen in an interview saying here, of course, they're, they're looking to get to the next stage, but they just want, he wants the team to play their own game throughout. And then at least even if they end up with a couple of losses, they'll have some valuable lessons to learn from and progress and keep getting better. Well, you say their game, and that's, that is the question right now for Fury. Whose game is their game? Because over past, yeah, they played it six times in the last 12 months. Obviously, you know, it's been a classic for Fallen throughout his career, but Art's been vocally against it for a long time. So you hope that uh, you hope that the in-game leading is right back on the man in your screens, the man on the left of your screens in Fallen. <laughs> that is why he was supposed to be brought yeah, up. I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, for me, it's just a little bit strange when you hear from it, even in interviews and saying, like, we share these duties and I want to bring in some stuff from Fury and implement some of my own stuff. It's like, yeah, I'm here to change their view of the game. It's like, well, it can't be both. <laughs> you know, either you're going to change their view of the game and sort of force some things through, or you're just coming in and, and basically doing what they were doing with a little sprinkle of something else. So and I mean, that's what Fury were trying to do anyway towards the end, right before they brought in Fallen. They, we remember back at Paris, they played a completely different style. It fell flat on their face, right? At, you know, trying to implement that so soon before such an important tournament. So yeah, it was about the time that Fury wanted to make changes, not just in style, but in, you know, players as well. But no more waiting around, folks. It's overpass map one of the BO3 series here to open ESL Pro League Season 18. It's Movi Star's choice. Likely going to be seeing them on the T side. Nuke to follow and Ancient to finish if we need it. And sure, this Movi Star roster is like new and hasn't been doing great beforehand. That's why they made the roster changes. But they've always been a team that struggled online, struggled to you know make it to tournaments through qualifiers. But when they actually did make it to a tournament, they were surprisingly good, right? And even when, you know, online, nothing's giving you any reason to believe in them. They come to land and just play good Counter-Strike yeah. and find ways to win. And remember how they got here as well. They came through the Melbourne uh, event back in Australia, an event they weren't even meant to be at. They were a replacement team for the Mongols. So they've really grabbed that opportunity by the horns. And now they find themselves here in Pro League and ready to rush B. Yeah, they're going to be moving straight in. The Util going over Art. Oh, the dual Berettas don't deliver for that guy, but Kay Serato will be getting some assistance over towards Short. This is a nice looking pistol for Furia. They might have lost that first man, but they've quickly turned the tide. And now for Martinez and Mopoz, this is a bit of a rough spot to be in. There is a route open to try and go with that bomb up through heaven. They've only seen two though. footsteps. I know that Furia are here, and I wonder. They try to duck out with this bomb. They're going to be fighting, and now they see all three. So Mopaz, he's just going to get a move on. And Furia start to realize this as well. They know that bomb's going up towards A, but there's no way they can stop it. At this point, you're happy with the plant, right? You just know you have Khalil's next round, and that's all that Mop, uh, Mopoz can hope for right now. 1v3, they're going to wait for that flank to come through. He's not got much room, nor much time, and these clocks are not connecting as Fallen trades to find the pistol round for Furia. 
look for a second there like he has a chance, right? If, if he could get quick two kills and then focus on Xerato. But what I like here the most in this round from Furia was when, after that early trade with Art, how quickly, you know, Xerato and Fallen both peaked from short. They didn't let, they didn't sort of wait too long. They didn't let uh, Movistar plant the bomb and, and position themselves for the post plant. No, I'm going to flash and let's, let's fight them a little bit more, you know? I, I think teams... There's this meta where there's a lot of patience and all this stuff, so I, I like it with teams that are a little bit more aggressive on the retake. And we have those Galils coming through early as well, so don't really see any T sides eco round two after getting a bomb plant. This is such a powerful buy to be running early. Fallen's aggressive on long. He has no support, no help. Yuri could right. throw a flash all the way back from Divider, but he's not pivoting to do so. And Fallen, the sooner he goes, the sooner he realizes that this was just a bit of a default towards A and back into a B hit. Now, for the badges that we're competing for on the side, I'm looking at Mopods right now with that Mag-10. If he can get four in this round right here, right now, we get a badge early. Nice, Harry. Yeah, well, proud yeah. of you, bro. I'm just. I'm, We're all I'm on the same team. I know exactly. Yeah. I know. Yeah, that's good. I'm saying that like. You I know, mean, we the, have the Furia biggest and up. Movistar, so we're basically winning. We're just winning no matter, matter what. what we just stay winning. That's yeah. kind of what we're used to. Damn right. Here they come. Star coming out into the open. Cello up close. Let's deal with just. There's Alex with a reply, and he's going to take it one step further. Okay, Serato shooting ghosts and. Now going to need a bit of a helping hand here. There's some weirdness with the flank that Fury are embarking on as well. Fallen just went right past Adam, but he's heard that. Okay, Serato's continuing to resist. Oh, okay, Serato. Another from him. And look at him make quick work of this. That was This is the weirdness with that wraparound. Adam heard that, so Fallen is just shot in the back. And now that gives way to the 2v2. I don't know where Mopoz is yet. With this MAC-10 over towards short, he's going to be the guy facing first. Fury and need to try and locate both of these remaining players. They've seen Mopoz, they do a lot of damage, but Adam's still here. Oh. He's going to deal with Yuri. It's just K. Serato, the man who kind of kickstarted this whole thing, is not going to be there to end it. Uh -oh. Gets out of it with three in the round, but it's Movi Star to steal that one away on their force buy. K. Serato survived in Monster. That's a surprise. The bomb radius is pretty large on this map, but he had the health to do it. Mopo's not the same. And hey, you take that if you're Movistar Riders. What a steal away. Keserato with two crucial kills in the B bomb site. And there was no one even close, right? We still had Adam on that big no! T-spawn wrap round. And Bloody Crichton hell. Movistar are getting loud already. <laughs> that was so loud. Bringing some energy here early in the day. That one hurt. And that's why we see those Galils come through so consistently. Furia. It, it's tough, you know, when you when you play that sort of a retake on B, but you don't have a kit. You're really, really relying on some of those early exchanges to go your way, and a couple of great kills from Alex stepping up in that second round. And this has suddenly got very difficult for Furia. All of a sudden, they get a con smoke in, but they will retreat back to the bomb site with three. Try and let that rifle play first, perhaps. Movistar in no hurry, clearing out the connector around the minute mark. And a lot of ground still yet to uncover. But again, look interested in just going back to this B bomb site. Meanwhile, Fury going for the jumping MP9, the Astralis of old. They didn't hear the jump. This is very accurate midair. Oh, oh, he gets headshot on the jump by Alex. Good catch as Movistar now. They can commit, they won't. They reset back up con. Boost on boost. Keserato doesn't have to jump this time. This should at least be good to take things back into a four on four, but it is so much on the back of Keserato, the one rifle in this round. Well, they've teed him up for it. Boost finds one. Smoke goes in as well to try and give him an angle. This is nice, right? Selling the idea that the boost has been dismantled and that they've crossed back behind dice box. In reality, they've just reassembled that boost. Movistar will look to get away from it, putting some distance between them and this top site. Now going down lower, Ooh, and as the Utel goes in, there's very little time here. One kill from Cello could be enough to win the round, but he's not able to find it. And so Movistar will get the plant that they're looking for for Furia. This might just be a save now. They're very far removed from this one. They only had that lower hold fall to just one man, and everyone else was stacked over on upper. So Movistar have done well. 
I'm glad that Fury are committed with that stack. You know, they, they had three from the start of the round, especially when Movistar get a B-pick and don't escalate. Fur Fury are just get convinced to keep that stack on top site. But as soon as Caserato, who you know is the one rifle in that round, gets a kill from an awkward boost, Movistar just think, I don't want to go near this guy. Some good rounds out of Caserato so far early, though. That's a, a great sign. Obviously, he's been suffering recently from illness. We saw him in Pinnacle Cup final, where Furia lost to the new 0-0 Nation lineup. Um, not the Brazilians now. And you know, Caserato had to sub out mid-grand final and let Gary play, who we've seen in pro leagues gone by before. And still, yeah, Caserato coming back here on land, looking good to open the day, but Mo Movistar still control this T side of their map pick. Well, we got a little tech pause coming in. Uh, it's my understanding that there's something for offer here if we're able to to get a hole in one during the tech pause. So we're going to send Hugo out uh, to try claim this badge. Shh, don't let the other team know. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, Hugo. Tech pause. Go. Yeah, I think. Is there any way to validate this? Do we have a camera? Like, that we should be showing? I'm going to wait. I got it. We're just going to record it from here. Go on, Hugo. Get that hole in one. He's not athletically. Gifted is Hugo Byron, and that's demonstrated oh, that's in the part. Damn. All right. All right. <laughs> you see what you did? Look, Chad's there lying. Dude, Chad's lying, Chad's on, lying the, on the thing. Is there anywhere we can show this, man? This is so, this is obstruction. <laughs> We're oh, getting Max, Max in the scene Wait, now, like pulling Max's him out. This is madness. We're getting this. This is actually We're getting mad. It. This We're is getting content. it. Chad is actually fighting for his life. Start out there. yelling, you know, like World Star or something, and then we can upload He's this. He's taking the whole golf thing. Wow, man. Talk this about so that. Oh, broken. Wait. Hugo's finding ways. He's found out. Dude, Hugo's not good at golf. Hugo is not good at golf. That's what we're learning right now during this tech timeout. <laughs> we, we picked the wrong guy for it. We can see him. He's... I don't know what he's doing. He's letting other people go. He's letting the other team go. I'm going to go over there, man. I, I, yeah, you I'm just not go believing so him. I, I, I got you this. You can just solo... <laughs> yeah, I'll solo cast <laughs> this, Harry. Don't worry about it. I'll talk about it. I won't go past. over, but... I'll talk about the economy. He's letting the team down, man. No, you let the team down by talking. Why did you say it out loud? We talked about this before we went live. Okay, the game's going to start soon. But listen, oh, the thing the with the, going the, back live. the thing with like games sometimes, right? Sometimes the game is not even about the map or the teams. Mm. It's about like CS as a game and the economy, right? Because what the, what the thing is here is movies are early got you know winning the second round is mm -hmm. the best thing that they could do and breaking fury early so you know with this round they're going to win this round let's say and that's three one up for them and then the buy you know for fury after this it's not great it's plus 2400 so fallen can have a glass cannon up or something like that so those rounds you call them differently you approach them differently on the t side you know that the cts have to take some sort of a risk right so that gives you an advantage even coming out of freeze time you obviously have all your weapons all the utility and if you end up winning that as well, all of a sudden it's 4-5-1. And you've already done a really good job for your T side. Obviously, you have a lot more confidence. The other team is losing on the CT side, right? It's going to play differently. So all these things matter and they come into play when, when you're on your T side, right? That, that's why we say the economy is so important because it affects the way you have to play. When you don't have an op on the CT side of overpass, it's a completely different round that you have to call and how you can react in the mid round depending on what's going on compared to when you do have an AWP. Movistar are being very methodical right now, though. Holding on for that B push, they're going to group and just execute straight in. Adam is solo faking long. And again, he spots this rifle that has just been running around the place, jumping on Furious heads. The second Movistar get that info, they just go, 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 and they win the round. There is almost nothing here to stop them. Fallen Steagall back in CT, and it's removed immediately. So Caserato might just continue this deathless game right now, as he is once again so out of position to win the round. And he's the one guy that obviously had a quiet sort of a month or two or, 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 or whatnot, dealing with some personal stuff. Also, even had food poisoning a couple yeah. of days ago. But I think we saw him uh, even in uh, Gamers 8, you know, he had a sort of a better game. And I think he's starting to find his form again, mm -hmm. probably getting a little bit more used to uh, this style with uh, Furia and Fallen and the timings and whatnot, right? He's a player that's very dependent on knowing what his teammates are doing and, 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 and what's going on so he can pick and choose when to strike.
They also picked up Nuke there over Na'Vi. Obviously, they lost in the first round, I think. But uh, that was dominated. Yeah, taking taking Na'Vi down on Nuke. Yeah, new Na'Vi, sure. But uh, that's the second map of this series, so it's a good sign for Furia moving forward. Max getting his warm up on, which is what we like to see, because I can't golf apparently. Yeah, did you get it? No. How many Chad attempts? Was did you I had one attempt, and Chad lay on the golf pitch. So he's yeah, blocking our yeah, I said that's Harry's fault. Why yeah, is he Harry talking about it? On? it. Well, I, I kind of figure it's a some capacity that this has to be verified, right? Otherwise, we could just be like, oh, Hugo got a hole in there's one. A, there's that's an important. honor system here. I, I, I wouldn't cheat. I wouldn't lie. You so would. <laughs> but uh, anyway, look, we're right back in. The rifles are out now. And there is that AWP you were talking about. It's glass cannon, though, for Fallen. Some limitations having to come through as a result of how the game started. Constantly want that info on B short, so jump spots, boosts, anything, flash peaks, just trying to gather how many players are here, but it's high risk, high reward, right? Probably higher risk than reward, but Fury keep the pressure on with a Molotov and spam, and Movistar don't catch a freebie. Adam, he's been left to his lonesome a lot, uh, working up on this A bomb site. He's doing it again, and he could catch Fallen here on good timing if he just walked in. Fallen scoped towards the deep bathroom side. But again, looks like Movistar kind of want to get going towards B. Adam is their get out clause, their backup plan. And he might hear Fallen rotate out. Movistar flash their way in. Great utility. Cello can't see a thing. And he's set back to the lobby just with a double entry. And Adam starts to move up on A. K. Serato's boxed in, might be fielding his first death. I don't know, man. K. Serato, the invincible man. No one's been able to deal with him. So yeah. And Adam walked past Fallen, by the way. They both snuck the entire way. No one saw anyone. So Fallen might actually get away with his AWP unless Adam quickly reads it and reroutes long. But he's making sure that Fallen's not attempting this round first. It's a bit of an awkward timing, but it doesn't matter when Movistar go into a four-man hole to B and just cut it apart. This is a, a really good, you know... Foot forward put by, by Mobby started to open up this series, right? <laughs> didn't didn't catch that the first that time was around. Shot. That was crazy out of Mopoz. Uh, you know, I think it, it is interesting because you said it on the desk. You've said it a bit over here, Yanko, and that's the idea that they that they struggle online, but usually when you kind of get this this team on land, they actually put up good performances. And I mean, hell, I, I even have memories of, you know, last Pro League, admittedly, not with the, the same full five for Mobby Star, but, um, you know, a kind of similar vibe there where expectations were fairly low for them coming in. And then I, I think they surprised us with, with how well they played. Um, you know, I, I think as well, kind of the, the environment of Pro League is interesting for that, right? You, you get to play a lot of LAN games. And so for a team that, that like those LAN matches, that like that sort of environment, this is this this is perfect yeah. for, for Movi. And last season, Furia were the team to eliminate Movi Star from Pro League as well in the lower bracket. Movi Star won a game against Cole, but otherwise it was just close matches. Ard's got another orb now. He's the one going glass and he's locked down in the pit. This could get awkward very quickly. Movi Star know where he is and they're dunking nades in. In. Double entry from the Spanish side, but Fallen still picks one from behind. How are these double orbs alive? I don't know. Okay, Serato threatening with the 5-7, but he will fall oh. mid-air for Alex, and he jumps down, finds Art, and now it yeah. comes to the 1v1 yeah. at Fallen a with a big reposition here. Alex was making that rotate over towards Upper. He's decided against it, going slow now, and both players just stop in their tracks. They're, they're waiting for one another. And as Alex goes back in down towards B, it looks like he's read this one well. He's just waiting to see if Fallen gives him anything, but I can assure you Fallen don't look like he's going to budge. He's stubborn in this. He's just hit the crouch key. And the longer Alex waits, the more uncomfortable it is. He might mm. have to start putting in some fake plants because he doesn't know where Fallen's coming from. He makes the gamble, sticking it for short, reading the reposition perfectly. And Fallen now getting encroached upon with no kit either, he's on the clock, and Alex has a very strong position. Oh, looking over towards short. Yeah. yeah. Back, and he will deal with Fallen as he moves in. It's a bit of a stalemate 1v1 where both players are trying to get ahead of the other. But it ends up being Alex to see them through. Movi Star pick up that round. And you see why they're, you know, on LAN as these guys get loud. They're screaming it down right now. They're trying to get in Furious heads. They're hyping each other up. What a great save from what was a, a very uncomfortable double orb round. And I correct myself, Fury didn't eliminate Movi Star. They pushed them into the third last chance bracket last time. Movi Star picked up wins over Saw, over Big. 
and we're even uh, into the playoffs, so... The saving grace was they knew where everyone, all three Furia players were once Fallen got the kill. So in a 2v3, they had good information and then they just cleaned up the B-bomb side. Important clutch from Alex to keep this momentum going. And also, the two important rounds so far, Movistar won them both on B by going massively through Monster, and Fury didn't play close Monster. You can Ooh, see they're just gonna keep coming yeah. until they stop him, and Cello finally gets a couple of kills. They felt like no one was playing Monster though. Those flashes didn't even come through till after the players left the smoke. What? That's a wall bang. Not seen that one before. Oh. Getting peppered here by the AWP. Wait, that was, was his teammate. That was his yeah, teammate. Wall banging. Yeah, <laughs> Interesting stuff, but... I mean, the round was already pretty cooked before that. Three on five. How do you do this one, Yanko? I think here you're looking to do damage, right? To keep pressure on their economy. You don't want to really save because you have money to buy regardless. You know, you can rebuy an, an op on Martinez. You want to get two more kills. If you die and get two more kills, this is still good for you in this scenario if you're Movistar. So I like the fact that they're still searching. They're still active. Like, you, you look at the economy on a bigger scale, not just, oh, we'll, well, we can, we'll save more money than... We have to invest. This is such a nice spot. Art is even lower in that little pit. It's not where your crosshair is going to be coming around the corner. Look at him. It's a little goblin. So small. Oh, but he of peeks course. out ahead of it. That's art all over. Yeah. Great position, but he just, <laughs> after about 20 seconds, he's like, man, this is boring. Screw like this. this. <laughs> I just, I can't, I can't. I just can't, guys. I'm going for it. I'm, I'm going to check if they're here. And keeps five alive, so why not? <laughs> yeah. So I, I think here is like where things get interesting right like that's you can even cello now i don't know if the plan was after this smoke to go left side monster um and play close like change the setup but that setup is pretty strong but you just need to be really on point with the counter flashes and defensive smokes and whatnot and sometimes it can be frustrating because if you miss the timing the t's are already in your face and you're losing the bomb site Ooh. He has oh no idea. Yeah, he just he's did. landed the leg and that scared adam out of pushing mid that would have been fallen dead right yeah. so that tag is important doesn't continue the aggression out through middle with the flashbangs after he gets legged. And Adam takes the orb because he's low, but then Mopoz gets spammed. So he's like, hey, anyone got an orb for me? Even and, lower yeah, Mopoz is lower on health yeah, I mean, by two. So, you know, the law dictates he's earned that orb. I mean, they're both one shot. So the, the logic there, you know, if the orb was one shot, he would keep it, right? At a certain point, Adam, sorry, mate. Oh, I'm up long, too far away now. You stay down in connector. And uh, Movistar look like they just want to group for an A hit. They've not tried anything towards this side of the map in a gun round. Not from this routing, at least. Martinez getting smoked out. Fallen. I've seen many a clip from this man in this position. Can he catch them edging into the corner? They can't. Fallen just misses that timing. They're getting closer. And they hit the shot as he walks in. That's so awkward for Fallen. I'll talk of edging, it's delayed gratification here for K Serato as him and Yuri wait for the long smoke to fade. Oh, one bullet onto one of these low players at long would go a long way, but instead Yuri swinging out on the fade of that smoke is fed to the wolves. Alex and Martinez open up, K Serato doing what he can. Oh, he can do a lot, they nearly line up for him. Uh, that was looking like it was going to be a. Uh, a classic case Serato round there for a second, but Movi Star deal with him. And they continue building upon this lead, now up 6 2. Yeah, that could have been just a double kill into a 1v1 for K Serato with both of them tagged up. The key right now for Movi Star, these flashes are destroying Fury on both bomb sides, with the exception of that cello monster walk round where the util comes out late for short. Movi Star, no! both players no! up in that bomb no, side, no, full blind. No, no, no. And me. Sorry, what was that? What? Sorry, what? I no, 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 no. Hugo, I can't hear you. What are you saying? I can't hear you either, Harry. Can't hear myself. And Furia, back to the drawing board, back to broke by. I think the problem for them is like, even if they have decent information, like that previous round, you sort of fall and trying to come back into toilets, lost the timing, lost the angle. That was a little bit. Too brave uh, uh, for him, a little bit too risky. And Fury has the read. I mean, they're, they're pretty much four guys there. Mm. But as Hugo said, Movistar has these sort of endings to rounds with just a couple of pieces of utility, you know, a couple of flashes, a molly and a smoke, and they have a way to end the round. And so far, it's been working out great for them. 
Yeah, this has been a, a very, very good tea side. Uh, Fury are uh, kind of struggling with uh, with the answers, as you say. <laughs> Well, there's the flashes we talk about. Now, <laughs> yeah. imagine if, you know, Adam was a, a Furia player, how screwed he would oh, have been. Be there, but yeah. Yeah, and this is not the half that Furia should be having issues with, right? If there was going to be one on a new edition map in their pool with a new leader and new pieces in this Furia puzzle. Fallen, though. We need him to hit good timings. We need him to hit shots. Very patient. And this patience leads ang leaves angles open, right? Toilet completely contaminated now. Needs to get a clean up in here. Mopos is moving past Fallen. Oh, and I feel bad for Fallen already. This could go very wrong. He hits a shot, but it's not enough. They're around the corner. Oh. Right, there, there we go. It is. Finally, the killing blow for Fallen. He's landed so many tags across these last few rounds. This time he delivers one. Bomb's going to go down over towards A in the first place in case Serato tries his hand at the spam, but nothing connects. It's a, a CT side plant, so they've got to try and take some of this real estate over towards Bank, over towards Dumpster. Right now, they're holding it down, waiting for the smokes to fade, but eventually they might look to take this real estate. Martinez posted up, looking down towards the banana as Art moves in. Going to catch Yuri first. Art's a little closer, right out the front of the toilets. Alex is holding for this rotate in through Bank, and... Cello fed to the oh! walls, missed shot from R, and he's immediately punished. It's only K Serato, and he's left saving at the end. A lot of these rounds kind of go in this way for K Serato. Left in a pretty impossible 1v3 when it begins. So he'll run for the hills. Movi Star in that post plant, despite losing that first man, despite getting punished by Fallen and Co over towards the toilets, they end up closing that out in a three on four. It's pretty crazy. I mean, Furia, okay, let's say up until this round, the problem is maybe they're not aggressive enough in the mid to late round, don't go for information plays. Now they had, they did, they had two guys on the flank, but just couldn't really communicate and, and execute the retake on a high level. It was a bit strange with all the positions, and Movistar just showing some great composure, great team play, hitting some good shots too. They just hit different on land, man. They really do. A contender, perhaps, for the group. Because I feel like this is an exciting group because we don't have, you know, like three top 10 teams or anything. We have a lot more of an open field where it's not clear who's going to be that maybe third and fourth team going into the playoffs. The first two more so up for debate. Yeah, I think it's going to be a pretty interesting group in that regard. Never know what to expect from Nip. Can Astralis keep up their cologne form? Gamer Legion, who... Honestly, could have made it to playoffs. We're mere rounds away from doing so against Cloud9. Back mm -hmm. at Cologne as well. Orcs, surprisingly confident. Yeah, I was <laughs> I was pretty shocked by that. Oof. So it's very open. And Movistar want to be that team in the front line. Again, just walking out B. The flashes, they've been key. That barrel was spotted. So Keserato jumps to his death. Good target chasing for Alex. A player locked in at barrels. But with a smoke down, they know he's here. And Alex goes back for more. He lets Art pick up the gun, only to put him down with a third kill from Alex. And Fallen now just trying to save the day with the scout. I like the scout, but it feels like he's had to tag everyone twice with the AWP anyway. So this is well within the wheelhouse right now for Fallen. One kill already. Yuri on this backstab, Ooh, spotted, nice. but he wins that with the 5-7 uh -oh. and a missed shot for Martinez. Even getting whittled down here one now shot. makes that scout a one-shot kill and Fallen delivers with it. That's the AWP upgrade and that's finally a bit of a turning point here for Furia. As they put a round on the board, a low buy, they didn't have a lot to rely on there. It wasn't even a round where, you know, Kay Serato with the hero gun had to massively pop off. He gets that one early kill, but then is immediately traded. The rest of that falls into place. Fallen and Co. in the 2v2. I said, give him a scout, man. Look at what he does with it. Yeah, they still need to build off it, though. Though You say it's a turning point. It's more the potential for the turning point here for Furia. If Ma Movistar come right back in with a reset round, it's uh, it's going to be a very dismal half for the Brazilian side. But uh, maybe they can get some recovery rounds here at the end. I mean, it means a lot because the previous round was also a little bit closer. You can see the money on Movistar. They can buy here, but they're going to spend pretty much all of their money, right? So it this changes it from looking like it's going to end on a terrible uh, half for Furia to something that maybe they can salvage. You know, if they win 
seven rounds would be great. But even if they eke out six rounds, right, maybe they can get some momentum of their own on the T side. Obviously, in that sort of a scenario, a pistol or an early force by win is a must. Well, this is a pretty good looking round for Movistar in spite of the uh, the economic problems looming. Ooh. Okay, Serato trying to flash Yuri in for a fight here, but it gets a bit awkward. Him having to extinguish that molly, he still commits on the back of the flashbang, but but because of the, the kind of order of that sequence, it just comes through a little too late. And oh no, now the Deagle picks up one as well. Even though it's returned, this is not a good spot for Furia. Fallen kind of has to put a leash on Movistar here. They actually respect this for wow. a moment and they've let him back all the way no up. Way. Fallen goes back in for a second. And that's where Martinez will at least get some sort of revenge here, giving way to a 2v2. Fallen gets away with way more than he ever should in that position. That's unbelievable. And the flash play wasn't even necessarily a bad swing you know, through the connector. That front rifle was blind and spraying. That's why he went for it. But Martinez was at the back with the orb covering and the flash didn't get him. So somehow the orbs have managed to trade this round into a very tight affair, two on two at 35 seconds. This is such a strange 2v2 though. It was a minute on the clock and Movistar doesn't have water control, doesn't have toilets control, has no idea where the two remaining players could be or what they're going to decide to do. So it's it's tough to, at this point, you just need to make a call and believe in it and go with it. You, you can't possibly deduce what could happen. Okay, Serrat has heard the little hints. The util being pulled. Martinez will close the distance, but left it to chance with the no scope. Is it? Oh, the knife was pulled for Keserato there. Now he's just wasting time, and he'll hunt it down with the USP to close. Beautifully done by Keserato in what was essentially a, a 1v2 for him over on upper. No scopes sometimes let you down. Could have had that first shot, but wanted the speed. He would have for sure had the plant, which would mean a lot for Movistar in this scenario, but gets away with one Serato. Played great so far in this first half. No! Couple of entry kills in that round where he had the save and for the, the, the first win for Furia. Finds the entry being aggressive. Oh, mow down for Yuri. Love an eco. Go on. Oh, that's beautiful. Love that little tap with the USP. Go get the ace. Art, don't steal it. Art, don't steal it. Every bone in his body telling him to steal it. <laughs> and so he will. Art gets the last one. And that's a quick, clean anti-eco round there out of Furia. So that round a couple ago felt like a bit of a turning point. It's been capitalized on by the uh, the Furia squad. And they're quickly amassing some CT rounds here, building this up to... Something they can look back on and, you know, actually feel like they recovered, right? And that they've got something to work with in this second half. I think this this round that's coming up really gets to define, you know, whether or not Furia have found their footing in this first half. As you kind of said, Yanka, you know, if they were able to get seven rounds, you'd be very happy with that. And that all hinges on winning this one here and now. They can make it very easy for themselves towards the end of this first half. You can see also with there by Movistar has to take some risks. They decide to sort of sneak bathrooms, right? Banking on the fact that the op is going to be towards long and they're right. So we'll see if they can find good timing with Furia rotating over a third player towards the A-bombs. They just want to explode here. Yeah, the flashes have been key on this T side. Good spam. Case Rato put down low, but he took one with him. And Yuri can now hide in behind that smoke on the boxes. Bombs coming through. Planting a little wide, so the spam on truck doesn't actually find it. Fallen wait for that smoke walk. And this is a mess right now. Movistar just trying to bail water out of the boat. How do you save this round? Even playing above the smokes here is lovely. These are a lot of weird angles oh, you're looking no. out for, but Martinez has found a way back in. Over towards Long, just as even committed to this wrap round. Fallen's gonna go check for it and we'll get rid of him. They're on this bomb. The spam will not connect in time for Martinez. And so Furia managed to strip that one away as well. And now building upon this streak, looking to finish the first half on a bit of a high note, considering how this game started. That was good awareness from Fallen too. He was long himself, but to understand the timing and that someone could go behind, you can see just here trying to, to get there. He could have won the round if, if, if you know, Fallen wasn't holding for that. 
Now Fury feels like they're starting to get into it, you know, a, a little bit slow to kick off this game, but now feels like they're communicating better, these retakes are looking better, players are stepping up individually, so I think we'll have a game in the second half regardless of how the score ends. Yeah, they might even win this half right now. Streak of four in a row. Money on their side. The two guns in this round down to half health already. Martinez trying to jump spot long. Fallen is there, but he's not on top of the boost. So Yuri taking his time to miss the timings in middle, as has been a bit of a Fury classic on the CT side. Scout the orb, and Fallen eats the bullet this time. He will catch a player moving back. Fallen still stands at least, but at what cost? And we are growing again Ooh. over towards the, uh, the short side. Oh, it's dear. just the tag. K Serato is able to finish the job. But now they know he's aggro over here oh, towards oh. short. They might just walk this timing at toilet, and they're out on the long side. K Serato is dead. Me, one from him on the turnaround. But that's the end of the line. Art gets here just a little too late. How much of a say? He's not going to stop them spilling over into the bomb site, and he can't knock out anyone else. It's all left on to Cello. He is moving in. Last round coming up next, so, you know, he's going to give this a go. They've got money to buy. He can try his hand at the 1v3. That's a bit of a deceptive dink, honestly. Might think you've done more damage than you have. Cello is still very much in with a chance, but going to require dealing with this, this trade setup. It's just ready to come through. Everyone's ready to triple swing as he goes up the dumpster. And so they will knock Cello out of a chance to leave much to talk about in that 1v3. That was huge for Martinez. I mean, first headshotting Yuri, who was full HP, and hitting Fallen twice to, to win out on a scout versus the AWP. Hey, hey, no! scout. Talk about value. You look Serato getting caught a little bit out of position, you know, not expecting the two players to be so close long, and just as Furia is combining a couple of good rounds together, they let one slip away against an eco. Okay, half by. They've done it themselves. But at least Double Orb has been numerous for Furia in this CT side. It will once again rear its head, as does Yuri almost. Oh, Cello? He's just skinny, just gets past every bullet. Yeah, third time's a charm maybe, but doesn't want to risk it again in case they pop through. It's all a fake towards B anyway. Bomb's coming back out through middle. Fallen again, fighting his demons and his timings and toilets. They're getting closer. Will they flash this? So it looks like Martinez is holding with your and Fallen. This shot, they're even closer. Molly won't do a thing. It's too late. Double entry for Movistar Riders. This should be a nine round half. And Movistar have just completely slowed this down. They know that Fury are the ones feeling all the pressure here to make moves, to get info, and so they're hoping that that will be, you know, that their route to winning this cleanly. All it's going to take is, you know, one little overextension over here on upper from Yuri. If he goes checking over towards long, that orb's bearing down upon him. Oh, the orb's just left the angle, so he's been allowed to take this line. Smoked off back in the bank. Movistar move in, and they've now got full control of this upper site. And even this running away is being heard. There's a backstab on B for just... I don't think it will even be required at this point unless Furia really take their time to set up. Time they can't afford. No flashes to wait for. No kit to assist. They've got to go. It's here very, very quickly. And Furia are waiting just a moment before they make this move. So just has kind of got the round in the palm of his hand, really. He's freed up a lot of the attention of the rest of the Movistar guys as well. They're just all looking at CT. They've got all the info here. And so they're looking to round out this first half with nine. It's a great T-side put forward from Movistar. Furia kind of waking up towards the end. But we've got to see if they can emerge looking like an altogether different beast with their T-side coming up next.
Hi guys, we said this was camp counter strike, so we're gonna teach you a okay. little bit something about okay. overpass. That last round from Movistar, great, especially in a two-man advantage situation. I think it showed also why this area of order is so important, right? You could see just he was in this cubby. He didn't really, while they were in a 5v3, guys were executing long, they were throwing utility. Furia had two players towards B, and he could just hear them running, right? So he's telling the team, okay, you have one guy there, two guys are coming, I'm going to backstab. Furia, I mean, it was a tough, it was almost an impossible retake at that point, 3v5, right? But he had the round in his hands, and on overpass, it's very difficult. You can see the CTs, how close they are to the bomb side compared to the Ts. If you don't have water and connector area, this is your only rotation to go back all the way through T-Spawn and Monster. And even then, if you don't have water, someone could hold this angle and spot you and all that stuff. So water, pretty much with connector, like Banana on Inferno, that sort of an importance. And I think that last round was a great example of why we'd say Movistar gets this map and why this was their map pick, you know? That, that, that's something when you teach the players some of these core philosophies on the map, you can add the endings and, okay, let's smoke heaven, molly barrels and two flashes pillar, right? Like, that's not rocket science, but understanding the timings and how to position yourselves and how to trigger rotations uh, from your opponents, that's where the crux of the matter mm -hmm. is, Harry. Well, so let's see how uh, how Fury are take to approaching this now on their T side, right? And also, let's see if Movistar are keen to fight for that short water control early. I mean, even this pistol round is screaming that, right? There's two down in connector, two pushing out short. So it's clear that Movi really want to try and control this part of the map. Whoa. Good swing down in con. There's a lot of bodies there. K Serato faced by four players. But Art wasn't facing, so he can sneak up behind. However, they're escaping. They're trying to at least. They've got assistance from Long Toilet, running it out of connector. And this backstab for Art is now negligible. Cello trying to fight them in the middle, but Art's calling to wait just one moment. And as soon as he gets up the stairs, Movistar slip back into the toilets. This is awkward now for Furia. However, Adam committed in this corner could be a way in. Oh, it's just gone by him. Fallen doesn't want to die. He's got all the util. If he dies, that's gone. He's and that's kind of the, the only thing that Fury have going their way in this three on five. And he is oh. ripe for the taking. Adam swings out. One smoke found for Fallen, but that's it. Adam looks to win this. It's just Cello and every step of the way, Movistar are ready for that. Uh, that was a really well-played pistol round from the Movistar riders. It felt like every single time, with the exception of, you know, Fallen over towards Toilets, every time anyone else tried to take a fight, they weren't just facing one player, they weren't just facing two. It was like a solid three to four man swing out of the Movistar riders. So just a, a great read on the kind of ebb and flow of that pistol. Once once they'd lock them out of mid. I like the no bullshit CS from them. It's like, mm. okay, we have the setup in connector. Now's the timing. Let's check if someone's there or not, right? And let's get out of here, you know? And, and that's it. And let's not be afraid to take fights. And then when it was a 5v3, it was okay. Shoulder peek for info. Don't give away uh, unnecessary deaths, right? Don't give them freebies. And look at this. You, don't you just love when you have an M4 full armor in the second round? And you know that they like to block eco? This is, yeah, this is where you, you can... You can pad the stats for the whole series in rounds like this. It's great. And that's what Martinez is hoping to do. I mean... He's an AWPer. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll give that <laughs> move, to him. move to someone else, Rush, please. <laughs> an AWPer with the A4 on. Interesting enough. There you go. go. There we go. Alex is now kind of getting the... He is <laughs> losing the fight to Serato. <laughs> okay, there's a pistol or a rifle dropped on the floor. Adam has to cover this one, and he's done so well. Martinez just fighting to not be embarrassed. Oh. And okay. Rush is trying his best to, but Martinez saves it and four will stand.
for the riders. I'm liking what we're seeing out of Adam S right now, the Romanian wonder child. Well, here's the team. thing. Do you think it's Adam S, like Kenny well, S, because he's not an opera? He's got a capital S though, so I, I feel like it's a you know it's a copy. It's a bit of a copy. Maybe it's just, Adam, just an homage to yeah. Maybe yeah. it's Adams. Yeah, yeah, there's like three like the of them, family. and they just kind of swap in and out of who's playing. Yeah, yeah from the Adams family. The thing. The thing. Not yeah. the pan. No, yeah, not not like the uh, John Carpenter. Yeah. 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 Great movie. All right, but this is crucial for Furia. This buy, super important, right? Like if they end up losing this in a straightforward manner, then the game is fully in Movistar's control. They need to do to Movistar what Movistar did to them in the first half. They need to win. That is the goal after all. Furia, hyper important rifle round. Bomb outside of B, clearing mid and con. But Mobi start from the get-go, play the bomb sites all the way back on A, jump spotting his Martinez. Third rotation creeping up to top. Jump spot on Monsters getting nothing, but Keserato now has been seen, and so Mopas has to be careful. Alex will keep himself in this B bomb site as Furia group up. It's fake hasn't really done too much. It, yeah, I mean, it's not really much of a fake, right? Cello's still all the way back over towards playground slash party, so kind of far removed from the A site. He's just holding for anyone getting aggressive here. It wasn't so much a fake as it was utility to draw, mm. out, draw out utility. You know, so they could either set it up for another B hit or go back. Like, he's going to put more pressure on the CTs. You can see now, compared to Fira, they are playing close monster. One flash, that's all they have. 20 seconds as well, times of the essence. Even that Molotov Ooh, going in yeah. causes so many problems. By the time that fades, they're looking at about 15 seconds left on the clock to try and get in towards the B site. Alex Awkward oh. landing on his swing, will recover for one. And that's where Martinez moves in. One it. kill on the bomb planter would do it for Martinez. The bomb gets into the site. They, oh, it's close. Oh. He does get it. Seconds to spare. Fallen. Stop. Watch Blade out. Can't believe it. Now it's just Adams. Ooh, one from him. But it's not Wednesday, my dudes. Art rains down upon him and does win that 1v1 back the other way. Oh, big round for Art. How the hell did they save that? Fallen tried to throw it away in the reposition on the plant. But Art swinging behind the pillar. Kills Martinez getting closer here and wins that 1v1 to take the round for Furia. It's it's not pretty when the molly comes down at 18 seconds in Monster, but it was that flash timing you mentioned, Harry, trying to repeat Monster off the pillar and Furia just push out short water at the right time. Not a comfortable round. And now we've got a game. But I think if you're a Furia fan, you should be thrilled the way in which Furia ended up winning that round. Because that's exactly the sort of round that they, the players need to get comfortable with, that Fallen is comfortable mm. with calling, and he's relying on them, keeping them that, that poise. I mean, I thought he wasn't, he didn't have enough time to plant, but he did, and obviously he knows better, so you just have to trust in that, and it, it will look wonky at times, and sometimes a little bit weird, but you could see the pressure it put on the CTs, like Alex is putting out a flash, thinking, well, they have to be coming, <laughs> and, and loses the timing, really. Oh, dear. Okay. 5-7 is BS, honestly. Just one tapping R out monster. Martinez. Oh, even ready for this. Crept up the ladder. Just is moving in pin. as well. Oh, nice. Oh. No way they win this, right? They're kind of making it look very interesting for a round that didn't have a hell of a lot riding on it. I think save? they need to save. They're going to poke their head in if they get a kill monster, but... I mean, you know, you give it, you give, oh, give it a little look, like right? This. You can give it one little look. Sorry. No one's ever died from this. Oh, no. Okay, Serato so ah. will deliver it swiftly. Yeah. Justin yeah. Martinez you fed see, to the amount really, of monster. I really hate that because if you look at the money for the... C if Martinez was able to save a rifle, he could drop it and, you know, then buy an op for himself with full nades. Like, they still have four M4s and an op, but no kit. They don't have five smokes even. You know, some guy, you can see Adams only with a incendiary, only a smoke and a flash on Martinez. Like, you know, you're not, you don't need to win that round. You could be 11 8 up and have a full buy. And if you win, Furia is broke. So I think Blade also would have wished they saved in that 2v2. It would, it would give them a better chance at this point. You look how, what's the best way to get to 16? Not to get to 12, to get to 16. Oh, that's cheeky again. The flash pop through connector from B. And Great Adam play. gets a double kill from it. No warp covering. And 
Look at what it leaves Furia with. A three on five on T side of overpass. One of the hardest maps to convert these rounds. Just when Furia felt like they gave themselves the platform for a second half here. Movistar might rip it from underneath their feet. This is now a desperate situation for the Brazilians. Looking like they just want to go. Art's lobbed in the Lurk Smoke and a look to cross out behind it. He's hoping he can be the guy to kickstart this whole 3v5. Allows him to cross over towards Jail. And Mopos has only just started now to hold this line. They're aware that this timing could have been found. They don't big. know. Trying to play around the smoke was Mopos. Art must have seen something there just over the lip of it. He spammed him out. And that's going to give way to a bomb plant here. That's going to come through whether Movistar like it or not. Oh, just holding for any reswing up through the water side, and so as a result, they can't really do much about this man that's trapped in on the bomb site right now. Cello, usually this would feel uncomfortable because Art is just covering that right hand side. It's given him a nice degree of freedom. Tries to fight towards the bridge and ends up getting knocked out of the round. So now Art needs to deliver. Can't find a thing. It's left on to Caserato lining up through the smoke. He was on to something there. But Alex regains control for the Riders. That's a really impressive attempt for Fury. I love the way they use that util to make a corridor, essentially, for Art, right? It's the barrel smoke that Movistar have in, and Art crosses behind his Lurk Smoke monster, uses the barrel smoke to get close again. Then Fury resmoke center sight, so he's not faced by graffiti far away, which is where Movistar are playing, and he's able to get a kill and open up a bomb part just from good positions and good timings. That was great play from Adam as though beating the second volley from Furia in connector just as the flash comes in to get two entries. I mean, this was even should have been cleaner for Movistar, to be honest. You know, in a, in a 5v3 for Furia to be able to get three kills and a plan that's, that's more than they would have hoped for. And now a tough call. We can see the money on Furia, right? Three guys can buy AKs, but not with a lot of nades. We see that Art is already buying a, a Galil too, so it seems like it will be a full buy probably knowing they have to keep the pressure on the economy, right? They have to see if they can break them here. Otherwise, if they eco and then it's 13-8 for Movistar, I mean, that's a tough comeback to execute. Have to win a lot of gun rounds at that point. This way, you know, they're going to get a couple of ecos in there, but this round is going to be tough to win. Only one AK. And it's on Cello as well. They're trying to, what, reactivate him at this point? 6 and 16 with the fairly easy kill on the B-bomb site against Just. Don't you think it's kind of, you know, what's your philosophy on this, Yanko, right? Cello, 6 and 16, given the AK. Case are out of 24 and 10. Is it, is it, you know, too toxic to tell a player who's having a poor game to give the gun to the heavy hitter? Or is it more of a, you know, simple on the Deagle, Zeus on the AK vibe of, you know, Case Rata can do it no matter what you give him? I think it's a bit of that but also how depending on the call as well is the guy going to be in action or is he just going to wait for, wait for flanks does he need that ak to do his job is going to help him a lot or 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 not by a large margin right i think serato is also fine playing on on, on on a galil as well so i don't think this one is as big of a deal and also you want your players to be confident regardless of their score line yeah entering with the galil yeah okay serato first man in Spam found oh. onto R. Never even gets to see the site. That AK dropped out in no man's land. K Serato moves forward on that Galil. Finds himself one, but can't get any more. The rest of Fury are kind of boxed in over towards Monster. Won't survive past the pillar. It's just Yuri left at the end of it. And Mopoz puts a stop to him. Movie Star Riders, they deal with that cobbled together by that Fury bring to the table. And now Furia really are in hot water for the remainder of this map, right? They're, they're staring down the barrel of an eco round, 13 to their opponents, meaning that, that 14 feels as good as done. Uh, that's really going to leave them with, uh, with, with one last, you know, proper chance to try put a stop to this in this follow-up buy round. Art with a scout. Just a bit of a Hail Mary. They're left with 450. Their loss bonus is at... They're going to get 2,400 after this, so not great. 2,900. Ah, 24. You nailed it. But 
This is, yeah. But hey, desperate. you need to believe, yep. Hugo. Force hey, buy on an eco. Anything can happen. And listen, that last gun round also, I mean, that was ex a, a pretty similar setup to what Furia was trying to do early on in the first half, but Movistar is just playing better. Like, their, their individuals are more on point. Uh, that first kill, just buying time for the rotation, for the utility from your teammates to come in is really important. And that first line of defense kept failing for Furia. You know, Chalo had a... I mean, he's having a pretty poor game, but just had a, a, a pretty slow start. And they were coming to his side, so... Back. Oh, yes. oh all right. Big all right. Kill. That's why he bought the Hashtag scout. Worth. Oh, now Cello's grabbed the orb. Look at this. You can play this. Suddenly, they've got... Wait. Oh, oh my dear. god, block what? kill out of Fallen. Alex having a battle back, but is blindsided by the long play. Oh. Out onto the USP, he somehow gets out with his life. Three kills from Alex, as he might have just saved the day for Movi Star Riders. No accounting for that. Kind of feel bad for Cello after that one. Caserato might have like been able to win the round right there if he got that trade on Alex. That was so close, he just tagging him with a Glock. Wow. Give him a break, Hugo. The man had a uh, Glock. Exactly, that's a... Yeah, the, you know. <laughs> Well, Kill two guys with a block, Serato, please. But he could have. Oh, oh, round's Need not done to. yet. Ten round's seconds. not done yet, Hugo. And now it's done. <laughs> nice eco, though. Nice. Really nice eco. Nice try. I know, man. I was trying, yeah. you know. Gotta that. believe. Gotta believe. <laughs> All set up by Art, and he almost closes it as well. Fallen does an awful lot with his Glock. But that's awkward for Caserato. That's the saving grace for Fura. They're doing damage in some of these rounds, but at this point, you know, damage is not enough. You need to start winning some rounds. Okay, obviously this was a, a, a Glocky Kobe with a scout, so turned out way better than they would have hoped for. But let's see now. One of the problems is also with this style. I mean, Overpass is just that sort of a map. You need to play a lot of default. But you see now, Movistar, if you're in this situation, the thing you should do Maybe not in this round, but you are you can take some risks early on in the round, right? You can take some gambles, some stacks, something, do something out of the ordinary to to get an opening kill or or an early advantage because if it backfires, you can go for a stack, you can save. At this point the money the loss bonus will start accumulating for you. Even if it happens a couple of times and you're saving, you'll have money to buy again and buy again. Probably not the first round because whatever you've been doing so far is working, so so just stick to that. Ooh, Hello. That's crazy. Oh no, but yeah, Fury, you know, a good thing when they see it. They're just going to hold down W after getting an opener like that handed to them on the back of the run boost. Hidden in the smoke here. Mopaz, there's a lot of smokes down over towards this B site, and he's in one of them. Alex has found success on the spam. Fury are in danger of being robbed. There's someone right under their nose. They're not ready for Mopaz. Cello has at least been able to deal with him, kind of minimizing the damage that Mopaz can get away with there. And so we get back to the 2v2. Yeah, the nade's pretty big with Art so low, especially if he's going to be the guy having to plug in these numbers. He's grabbed the bomb. And with a minute left, Fury to side, there's still plenty to work with in this round. They're going to start looking elsewhere. Issue is they can't run in Banana unless they want to completely give it up. The Movistar realize they're around long side instead, avoiding the audio issue, but slowing the timer just a little bit. They're going to get hit first. They're still going to be in the bomb site. Adam and Alex soon will realize the terrible truths. 20 seconds. This is going to be a plant and the chance to back all the way off, or do they want to play for the spawn? Art's getting very aggressive. They're going to try and take Bank back. He has the bomb. 14 seconds. Art's got to either give it or, or stick it, and he'll go for the latter. Now that rotate comes back up, Movistar are the ones on the clock. You almost feel like Cello could have been, you know, walking and, and taking this space a little sooner. Instead, now they have to do it post-plan. And so the timing's not quite as favorable. Oh. Alex is going to clear this, and now it's left on to Art in the 1v2. He takes up the Steve where, where Cello left off, now looking back into the site, hoping he can catch them on the cross. Uh -oh. Smoke on the bomb. It's complicated for Art. He's looking for that second man, not the one. On the bomb, on the defuse, but a missed shot out of the orb and no second chances given by Adam. That is a, uh, a pretty brutal round and it's one that Movistar will win with milliseconds to spare. Now on map point, sat with 15 to their name. Furia have, have really struggled here.
And that one's going to hurt, man. Like, they, they had such a good put up in the in the opening, right? You had that double kill out of Kay Serato, fed the first one, continues in his uh, in his aggression through the site. 5v3 for a moment, ah! and then so quickly falls by the wayside. Yeah, there's not been much of a, a movie star here for the Riders in the first half, but Adam S has really come alive in this CT side. The 4K on the pistol, some crucial post-plant retake kills, and Martinez doing what we expect of him on that AWP, but Adam, the you know young Romanian, the ex-Nexus player, putting on a great show right now in his Pro League debut. Land debut for this roster of Movistar Riders and one round out of seven to take their map in the series. Nuke is next. That's where I expect Furia, who have certainly got a warmed up case, Serato, should be able to respond. But this is a brilliant beginning for the tournament for the Spanish core. Adam S put to the test here on long. Martinez checking on timings. They're going to clear him. Doesn't look like a flash will be used because they don't have one. Meanwhile, kill comes through at B, and Adam S, one kill would be nice here. But he won't even get that. So with Kei Serato gone, that is a real heavy hitter removed for Furia. It's going to fall to the rest of the gang now to try and pick this up. Smoke Oof. lobbed in. Oh. Looks like they want to try and cross through it, but that made some good damage still. Cello will continue this reign of terror on the upper site, finally dealt with by Martinez. And Marpaz catches the timing on this smoke over at Dumpster. Things now get very problematic for Fury. 20 seconds left and R out on an island. Yuri so far removed. He's got 15 seconds for three kills. Planting the bomb is a distant memory. This one looks to get away from Fury, and they know where he's coming from. They've got him boxed in. All that's left to do is finish the job. Mobby Star Riders run away with their map pick of Overpass locked, loaded, and in the bag. We don't have the best preparation, that's so we cannot rely too much on uh, on our like team play and our playbook and that kind of stuff. So um, if we're not on individually, I think it can be rough against a lot of teams here. So I think that's all about hitting our shots to to be able to go through the the player. The group overall, I would say we are the underdog for sure. Like that's what we think. That's what everybody thinks in general. I I think the teams are not so dangerous. Like. I just don't, I don't feel the danger from uh, the teams in our group, even though they should be like way above us. We should be looking to place third or fourth, having teams like Vitalian and Astralis obviously heavy favorites, but then having teams like Furia, Movistar, who probably aren't looking the best they've ever looked right now, and then Orcs, who are a new team. I think it's gonna be interesting to see like uh, also Movistar, what they're gonna do, because we, they in charge roster, there's not some players anymore. Uh, so I think it can be interesting, interesting to see Martinez instead of him. If we get a good start here winning against NIP, we could chop the group at least first or second, hopefully, uh, next to Vitality. I think that would be a, a good possibility for that. Uh, I think on this group, we have a good chance of going through, but nowadays in CS, a lot of teams are very capable and they're playing strong CS. So even the teams that, for the general public uh, watching it, they most likely think that some teams have no chance against others they are more famous, but when it comes to the server, when it comes to the game itself, it's been very close. I think it's the closer it has ever been. Father, I have a problem. 
and addiction. I can't stop myself. The Cathedral of Counter-Strike, and it's full of sinners. But speak openly. Then I shall. I know nothing about Counter-Strike. Fear not. Your colleagues doesn't know much either. But, but what if I call an ace a pentakill? Or even worse, a deagle a sheriff? All will be forgotten. But just remember, that mic is always on. That one time, Father. Wild players I never thought they'd do me like that. Tread carefully, James. If that happened to you at last, only God knows what can happen to you here. Believe me. Believe me. Addiction is not easy to overcome. I've been trying not to tweet about my weight loss journey for quite some time. But isn't three hours too long? The devil's pool is strong. Yes, Father. He sits heavily on my shoulder, whispering in my ear. Mm. Give them what they want. Give them another hot take. Gluttony, the worst of all my sins. I've taken the ESL bag. I've taken the HLTV org bag, the valve bag. I've even taken the blast bag. Am I a sellout, father? Should, should I give up the bag? Fool. I'm sorry, father. I really have never give up the bag. Father? <laughs> Here. Please. Thank you, father. Psalm, if you ever need me, you can always reach out to me at sponsorships at fallinggear.com. <laughs>for our first talent quiz of EPL season 18. We've got two teams ready to battle it to the death. That is just how I like yeah. it. And uh, you know, gentlemen, we've got a little bit more on the line. Our first badge that you guys could potentially Ooh. be taking home oh. what is the badge? will be awarded here. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, it, it's in my pocket and I've just, just realized I don't badges. have enough okay. hands. Yeah, okay. you want to see it? You want to see it? I do, actually. It's a little cactus. A cactus. Oh. Cute as well. Oh, well yeah, very I want that. Uh, I'm just going to put yeah. it yeah. here, yeah. obviously. Hang on a second. This kind of feels like some favoritism. No, it's fine. It's nice. It's good. We're handicapped. Harry's only got one hand to slap That's with. That's true. That is true. Yeah. And Harry, you don't know what's going on, do you? No, not really. I, yeah, <laughs> I was I was just, there was this whole game being played or whatever. Like, yeah, so, you had something to do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something uh, happening Fulham between segments. We weren't doing anything, so we came up with a secret handshake. So we gotta oh, yeah. we're going to smoke these fools. <sighs> smoke wow. in that team strike pack, baby. <laughs> Game like on. that? Game on. That's uh, yeah, it. That, that took was us an intimidating. That was, you, that was you yeah. Guys you guys trying to see the handshake over there? Yeah, no. uh, yeah sure. Oh, actually, wow. that, that was actually but pretty good. That was really smooth. Nope. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. Pretty Quite good. An intimate Two handshake, but I like it. Yeah, yeah, we all do it to each other. <laughs> <laughs> five out of seven. Should we go Group over the rules? Yeah, what game we play? What game again? We're playing Who Am I? Who Am I? So if you're not familiar, I play that game every day. Looking in the mirror, just, yeah. What is going on here? Um, We've got player in mind, or I've got a player in mind, rather. There's three statements. I'm going to go through the statements one by one. If you think you know the player, smash that buzzer, yeah? Okay. So if you buzz in, you've okay. got to say something, can and we, then that... Uh, can we test the buzzer? Any conferring? Or? Yeah, is no, that no conferring. So you no press you just got to say the answer. Yeah, you can't yeah, just go you, right. You go, oh, okay. I mean, you can confer, but then you press you the buzzer, You just said no right? conferring. Well, uh, is it no, no conf conferring after before, you press okay, the pro buzzer? Post yeah, press, sorry. I should have been more clear on my rule set. If you get it wrong, then it goes over to the other team. If you both get it wrong, then you've got another shot and another statement. Yeah, Potentially five, but we might not have enough time. So let's just see how many we do. Yeah. Are you ready, gentlemen? Ready. So ready. As I'll ever be. Who am I? Player number one. Officially, I've only played for three teams, but I've been playing professionally for seven years. <laughs> Tuckson. Incorrect. Goes over to Team Strike. Any guesses there? Guess. Or would you like another good. statement? Seven years. Seven, seven, years. seven long years. Seven long three years. Teams. Only three teams. Seven is the clue. Uh, That's okay. not enough numbers for Seven's the clue, Harry. Used to seven. 
can we confer? We didn't push the button. Yeah, you haven't pushed the budget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Have a uh, chat. I have no idea. Don't take too long. Could it be, be Nath live? Oh, man. No, Three he team. played for, let me think. Three no, that's too many. Yeah, he played for too many. He also did like Renegades. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give you a countdown. In five. No, no, you know what? We'll wait for the next team. We're kind of taking this small. Okay, uh, next statement. I oh, have no, won one MVP and two notable trophies. Oh, it's. Oh. Who's a very famous MVP winner that we always go back to? Oh, oh, I know. What about. What's his face? Bray Breeze. Breezy? Did he get MVP at the New York event they won? He might have. I noticed you guys aren't chatting at all. Look, I'm we're, thinking we're, we're kind of oh, we're drawing inspiration, right now. <laughs> and we think it's two groups talking at once. Wait, so might seven, be quite a lot. Seven years, seven years, right, seven long years, years. Seven years. and what, two what, trophies. No, one MVP, one MVP. Oh. You've got a friend right here, man. Yeah, oh, it can't be yeah, yeah, but no, no. Someone over there seems to. Would know. Would you like a third statement? Is anybody? I think we need it. I think we need it. Right, right, right. Okay. Last year, I had 234 kills on LAN with the AWP. This year, I only have 10. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> no conferring. Oh, you yeah. hit the buzzer, so... Who's, uh, who's changed role okay, recently? Yeah. He's changed from the AWP role. Who's had a role change? Wasn't really... Uh, hmm. Who's had a role change? Okay, is it, is it, I'm going to go... Rez. Yeah. Correct. One point to oh, Team it's Strike. A good it's a of good course, answer. we have Hendrik coming baby. in. Really. Oh, whatever our name is. It, I am Oakland, Machine. I am Oakland. We oh, always go back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's the only thing we really talk about. Smoke right. Right. Uh, We're going to have to move on swiftly because time is it running thin. Good. Player play number teams. two. Statement one. Mm. I was voted the 20th best player in 2018 on the HLTV Top 20. The only time I have been in this Top 20. What year? 2018. What happened in 2018. 20th. You'd be looking at like a real wild cat here. For, and the, for, was, can I just have what, a repeat of the question? Was it, was it first and only time? First and only time, 2018. So NA, they sort of like died around then. So I'm thinking. Go on, and anything, anything. It's a North American. Player. Anything coming to ha your minds? That's a guess. It's a, we've, we've, got, we've got a little well, bit of Yankees help over there. Them, That's so encouraged, yeah. actually. <laughs> you know, we're, we're, getting kind of, we're getting a phone a friend. <laughs> would you like another you know? statement? I think we would, yeah. Uh, I was put on the bench in February and officially joined a new team yesterday. What happened yesterday? Yesterday, you keep what track of the news. What happened yesterday? Oh, is um TSM player? Yes. yes. I don't, I don't know who's on TSM. I didn't five. see the Do we have a timer now? Ten. Uh, one of the five ten, mates. One of the five nine, mates. Nine, yeah. eight, yeah. seven, six, yeah. five, four, three, Valder. two. Excellent. Nailed it. Oh, two no, points okay. to Team Strike. There you go. <laughs> okay. Um, th there isn't actually a possibility for you guys to win now because we only have time well, we for three draw, questions. Right? But oh, no. Yeah, okay. this is actually right, winner okay. takes it all. Uh, well, hang on a second. Player yeah. number three. Uh, what? Yeah? So we could have just not answered the first well, two? Well, we are going to dock points for right. the third man on the deck. Oh, yeah. All right. No, it's yeah. helpful. It's helpful. Oh. Uh, okay. Player number three. We've got to be really on, quick with really this one. I played in 13 majors but only made it to the playoffs of six majors. Oh. Playoffs slash top eight. Playoffs of how many? Playoffs of six majors. But you participate in 13. It could be a French player. I thought I had French and I. I had like shocks or someone in my head. Uh, yeah. That's, we we that's have to go to a break very yeah, shortly, gentlemen. Is right for him. I mean, very shortly. Let's go. Like, I know Two Italy, I know Australia. Great attempt, not the right answer. Uh, <laughs> next statement <laughs> is and I've lifted a trophy at four of them. Four majors. Oh, that's a Dane. That's. You're on the right lines. But it's. Wait, I have to think about this. I've what? lifted a trophy at four of them. At four majors, so it's. Oh, it's going to be like uh, it's not a Dupree played at all. No, um, I just joined after the first one. So. So here, yeah, and they just won now by Vitality. Time is ticking. Time is ticking. Time is ticking. Well, yeah. Which one? Choose or, one. Or. Or. Who's the other one? Well, hang on a sec. I, I was, I was going to say, <laughs> hang on, this has been a lot of conferring. I'm just going to say who I think it is because Clay, there's been a lot of talking. Clay, I'm going to say, Clay, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to say Madges. Well, gentlemen, it's the wrong answer, but you've oh, already won. It is a D-glaze. It is a D-glaze, but uh, unfortunately, I do have to be fair and square. Oh. You did win two yeah. questions. So, uh, begrudgingly, yeah. oh, Team Strike oh, has yeah, already well. got their first badge. Gentlemen, congratulations. With that, we go to a break. When we come back, it's Nuke. I see you, Yanko. I see you. All eyes on him.
ASL Pro League is brought to you in part by Intel, ASUS Republic of Gamers, DHL, the United States Air Force, 1XBAT, Monster Energy, and Gaming Malta. Love it, you wear it. What's your style? Get your merch at shop.eslgaming.com. Welcome back to Movistar Riders taking on Furia here. It's map two, it's Nuke, it's Furia's pick, and we're joined by a bloody good lad, Mac, mate, making his debut here on the Pro League casting desk. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Hello, are we? Just uh, here to have a good time. Now, Nuke's an interesting one, right? Because Brazilians on Nuke have been a little bit crazy historically, but I remember watching Movistar in Melbourne, and even though they've had that roster change, they were still really dangerous here on Nuke too. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of explosive gameplay coming through here. You certainly hope so. Some style changes, though, for Furia. So far, already seen Yanko better beginning to the game, I guess you can say. The second half of the first half was the highlight for me. Everything else fell by the wayside and they dropped the map 16 to 8. Listen, Movistar has just been better so yeah. far in the series. Better individually, better as a team mm. uh, in, in all facets of the game. So, Furia, this is their map pick. This is where we expect them to wake up, show us some better game. The individuals are also to step up besides Xerato. We didn't really see much from anyone else. Three utility buyers, four holders here as Furia have a bunch of nades. They're going to lob them into the top site, but that smoke will come right down. Furia waiting for a flash, and then they're going to explode into A. Only two CTs here right now. There's a world. There's a way. Looking to just bust through this smoke at door. Is that Mopoz? As the Julies here at CT event, he will be the key piece of the puzzle. This flash ain't going to blind him and she'll be able to swing off everyone else's contact. But it is just going to be the drop down to lower, and there's plenty of space here for Fury to play around. Ah, the mess is dead. <laughs> <laughs> How many can he take with him, Yanko? One. One. 
and done. That's good enough. The Julies are here. They came the right behind the vent. No one even checked it. No one was covering. And this one's falling apart for Furia. Three on three. They hunt down a kill, but they can't finish the job. And Yuri with a backstab gives them an option to come back up to this top site. And they're going to do just that. You can see him trying to make it into the vent. We'll get there on timing. Alex knows. And you can see Yuri as well waiting here at the vent for the pop-up. But it's all down to the timing. Martinez. Oh, going to fall there. But that could be the opening. Alex needs to make his way up. We'll find a timing. Brings it to the one-on-one. -on -one. And Cello, 23 points of health. Two body shots and he's gone. He does have that body armor. But we'll oh. pick his fight at the wrong time. Alex coming through with the clutch and Moby Star start the second map with a dub. Well, you said chaotic Counter-Strike in this map. Already, it looks to be the case. The delayed A hit, down vent, failed plant, back up the vent. There were some messy engagements in that round, but Moby Star steal it right back. I mean, that's pretty wild to me. It was how many? It was four players down, and then a guy still gets behind them, like no one is watching the flank. You have that with Yuri. Yuri is sort of on the roof, throwing some utility first, and he's a little bit lazy, so he doesn't catch door, but just leave one of the vent, vent guys to watch the back. I, I guess you're thinking, surely no one's gonna yeah. just go down vents behind us, but if they do, you just look silly, and I think that's what turned around. I'll take it as well. Force comes through for Fury, a bomb plant allows. Cello's going through the smoke, Ooh. that works. He catches out of falling off, but Martinez picks it back up with two. Three Might have just saved the round there for sure. Plenty of bullets there in the A4. Bit of noise going to be made by falling down to the lower side to try and drag out rotations, but Fury are just holding on to ramp control for the moment. Oh. Not being too quiet about this one, just has the gun for the job. Here's him coming out. The late check does take it, doesn't realize all three are coming through, but two will do. A minute on the clock for Yuri to clutch. What's he got? Two flashes, a nade, and the bomb on the belt as well. But Moby Riders, uh, Moby Star Riders rather, going to be grouping up over to Hotel there. Looking to play the buddy system, stay close, get those trades. And run 100% around, and they're going to do just that. Good timing, peeking out of heaven, and Mop Oz mops it up from afar. I like that. They don't play too static and scared. They just go for information, but they do it as a pack, knowing that trade potential is viable in a two-on-one and they catch him just looking silly again stolen away surprised they announced this hot play so loud running spamming giving plenty of warning to just mm. yeah that's strange i mean sure you know if you're movistar one guy has to watch down the b bomb side one is certainly on a and the third guy probably somewhere in between so if you're going to do that you have to have the element of surprise Ooh. Blasted. Oh, close. He might be able to make it with the spam from heaven. Proper chaos there. <laughs> Keep trying to just bust out of the door. And over towards the outers as well. No one can see a damn thing. Cello running for his life, and he won't be able to do it at range. Five alive. A perfect round coming out of Moby Star Riders going into the fourth. All right. Big questions here for Furia on their T sides. Didn't really get to see too much back on overpass. They also had a poor start so far to every half. Even in, the, you know, to start off overpass, they won the pistol, lost the second round. Always had to play from behind. So mm. we'll see what they have in store for us on Nuke. Outside smokes. Classic. Will they hit them though, Yanko? Or will it be Here they come, the fast ones. wrong smoke. They do look good on the minimap. At least they land perfectly. Alex sprays. Furia can cross down to secret. Oh no, Yanko, they missed them. They missed them, Yanko. There's a big gap. Oh. It's gone a little bit too far. Jumping across oh, the hole. They knew it yeah. was there. Alex still going to be able to pick up one on the cross. And Fury are losing that first man. Now, things are going to get extremely difficult. At least they've got that lobby control. That's where the bomb's going. Late towards ramp. And Movistar, they've given a lot of control on that side of the map. But regardless, the bottom of the map is completely controlled by Martinez. And now it's a 3v5. I don't even know about Adam. He's still here in the corner and he can re-aggress. He's just cleared out that position. Martinez can go back to watch for ramp. Hell is contained. And I say that, Alex will leave. There is a fantastic window right now for Furia to try and turn this three on five around. But Alex still looks down, gets caught on the ladder. This is the bomb. They're spamming him through, but they're not going to get the kill from that. 
And suddenly, Furia have to freestyle in this three on five. Martinez actually came up from B to hunt that kill on Hell. How is he alive? Spanish Orpers in this position. I've seen it before and we'll see it again. Big shot to take Fallen out of the equation. 1v5, Caserato might find one with the Molly there, forcing the swing, and the high-low setup. Too strong, Adam S swinging for the trade and locking it down. Four in a row now to kick off map two. Dude, I'm loving this from Movistar. Yeah. I mean, that round again is a great example of a first buy for you on the CT side if you're 3-0 up, right? You take a little bit of a risk with having your upper down secret. I mean, also with your ramp player. If they have went secret in force, I think Movistar wins out on that trade as well. You leave ramp completely open, but they need time to get down. They're not going to do it without any utility, most likely when they're 0-3 down. So just a really cool gamble from Movistar and it pays off. Oh, this is a speedy one. No way. Heaven player is a problem, but Ark gets right below him just in time. They're trying to stop this A-side. Ark saying, wait, Oof. as Adam catches him coming down the ladder. Or the stairs, rather. Three on three, Orbs ready, and it's easy pickings for Movistar Riders up against pistols. Great timing for them there. Martinez knows that there's going to be Cello locked in there. Ooh. At the box on ramp, Tech 9. Can never count it out. 1v2 now. And a couple of frisky shots. Could certainly get Cello back into the round. Taking the high ground. Oh, the off angle might have just been timed. He will be just locking it in for the Spaniards. And that is going to be another now. CT side flawless so far. They really aren't scared, are they? They're always active on CT halves. They're always getting more information. Even in that CT side of overpass, we didn't see one round where Furia took B water control. But Movistar were doing it from the get-go, mm. from their pistol round. They were, you know, flash peeking it in rifles as well. So Movistar don't look scared. They've been called on laners today, and that is currently holding true. 5-0 and o on Furious map pick here in the series, looking at 2-0 and o, the Brazilians. Where did we put them on the tier list? It was extremely low. Was yes, I the found bottom? it yeah, way but too low. Listen, the list isn't really, you know, if you're low, you're bad, and if you're high, you're good. Okay. The list had peculiar explanations, um, and they were the ant or the eagle? I think they were between the ant and the eagle. Yeah, you know, because they can punch above their own weight, and also the eagle, they can be pretty dangerous, I guess. You know, with the eagles. Yeah, a pimp was terrified of eagles. People, yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe it's some trauma. Maybe he'll let us know. Life experiences, huh? Let's see, second gun round. First time they missed the smokes. Yeah, that's... So now it's more yeah. quick door pressure from Xerato. We'll be able to make his way down the vent and fully control that lower side of the map. For the moment, Movistar sending two players towards ramp, expecting it to be a split. But Fury are just pumping those brakes for the moment. Smokes. And the ultimate question, will they land? They might not matter. I mean, outside of that, they only have one molly left. So it's all, it, there's going to be a lot of pressure on Xerato to make something happen from this position. Mm. It almost has to be a B ending with this little utility left. Oh, Alex. Clear this. Perfect spot. Oh, not going to be seen. Yeah. And he's got every oh, bit of information. Yeah. Two more at red. He knows they're oh. there and they are dead. Alex, three huge kills already. And that's going to be the bomb on the ground. Art now, 1v5 angle. Ooh, it's a big ask. And hey, things man. are not going right for the Brazilians right now. What a round for Alex. The, the nuts to hold that first shot, to let four players cross before he takes a kill. And he finds four frags from it. Mm. Every single secret crossing player dead to Alex outside. And that's a disaster for Furia. They throw you know, default smokes. This is the only position they need to clear. And obviously, the, the more players that walk by it, the more assured you are it's empty. I mean, the devil is in the details. First gun round, you miss a smoke. There's a gap. Second gun round, you, you don't clear up position right and that ruins you completely and now you're six zero down you're on a half by your opponents are look at their money look at the money from movistar they're playing with a lot more confidence and now it's a completely different game not the fury we wanted out of the gates these little mistakes go a long way 
more standard smokes. They get the first one in as well, so no one close on the corner can ruin their round. Mm. Martinez, he reads this well, but he hasn't quite got the spot until Art goes over. And Yuri now, sure, he makes it to secret, but at what cost? He's got a pistol. He's even been pre-smoked by Alex and Lower, who just says, you're not coming down here. You've got to hit that top site. Luckily enough, Fury are happy to do so. But crossing past Mopoz, should that be a death sentence? Did he really get by? No one's even looking right now. Mopoz is in a tight angle. And so Yuri, the opportunity to do something massive. Oh, got a good timing. Lots of noise being made by Martinez. But where's Yuri going to go with this one? Can he get in behind any lines? He's going to be seen. No way. Martinez. Did he shoot at Yuri? No. Did he, or he just shot? I don't know. Maybe he has seen him. He knows something's all right. He's trying to figure out what's going on, but you can see that that ramp play is feeling so safe, tucked into the corner. Adam S. Not going to be seen initially. That bomb on the ground and the pistols won't chip him down. He'll hold, he'll reload, and that's an opportunity now. 2v4. But where can Fury go? Time's against them, and there's already some defense down on that lower site. Alex just has to stop that plant, and he'll be in a great position to do so. Mopoz swinging with him. Great team play from Mobistar, and they are shutting down Furia whenever they get an inch. I mean, the call for Yuri is definitely like, I've been spotted, because why else would he not play ramp first? He lets his team come out ramp, thinking the ramp player is going to you know, going to be holding hell. But Adam's in such a good position, whether or not they knew about Yuri, he mm. doesn't even need to consider hell at that point. He can just commit to ramp, and Yuri will walk into him. Yeah. I think now for, for Furia, what you have to do in this situation is basically you need to pull out some double fakes, things like that, like throw fast smokes outside and fake, you know, an A hit and then maybe walk out outside, try to catch some timing, try to go ramp. Because Movistar is going to play with a lot of confidence, so when you have to be aware of that and sort of try to use that against them, they're going to rotate quickly, you know, they're going to be moving a lot on the map, so you need to, with utility, force some of those rotations, create a gap on the map, create some space that someone is going to take, and punish them rotating back, you know, something along those lines. But it's tough when your opponents have all the, you know, a guy can just decide to push through a smoke on timing, hit a random good timing and, and ruin the round for you. So the game is now really difficult for Furia. Well, a change of speed isn't going to be coming through, but Furia finally finding an opening. Let's see if they can convert from here. Lots of utility used towards the A site and just is hoping he can hold on to Hut here. Cello. Making a world of noise, but Fury are happy to slow things down again and not get too overzealous. Fence smoke through the window. Martinez has to pick the play in front of it, but I oh, can't see him there. Barrel pokes through, and now they can drop down vents if they want. 3v5. Just hold. And Fury, patience. Working so well at the moment. Just still here in hut. He's heard that bomb drop too. And will hold his ground. Yuri down. And maybe an opening back into the round. Just popping off with a second. And looking to keep on going forward. Oh, fighting for this one. Another this? 30. Pulls the util out. That's going to be his death sentence. And Alex from heaven is hoping he can stop this plant. Look how low K Serato is. Adams not going to be able to hold towards lobby. And it's Alex again in a one-on-one. -on -one. Art, he's got that AWP in hand. He doesn't know. Oh, he's looking down, okay. He's got an idea. Smoke on the bomb, hoping oh. he can bait that peek out and Alex is gonna come through for the clutch. A two-man advantage turned around and Movistar keeping it clean on the CT side. Where were the trades, Yanko? How deep are they in the bomb site right there? And just is able to turn around from Hut, kill the wall player, and the two Hut players are not even close to swinging back in. Low player doesn't go first. I mean, that is discombobulated for Furia. It's just mm. basics. I mean, it's it's basics, yes. In a 5v3 scenario, you just want to group up, not give them 1v1 fights. And you have Yuri trying to go hard, just gets a fight against him. Then another 1v1. He, he even does damage, I think, to a third guy bef before he goes down. You know, you need to coordinate better. Don't be lazy. Communicate. Make sure the spacing is good. If you see a guy in front of you too far forward saying, hey, wait up, like, let's, let's go in together. Mm. Okay, they got secret. Finally, just a main smoke. Bomb gets spotted trying to cross. It bails, but Martinez has been down lower every <laughs> single time ahead of the curb. Can someone check how many openings he's had? He is hitting bloody everything today, at least on Nuke. 
Only 2-0 and in at least those opening duels, but yeah, okay. he's, his first fight certainly going well right now. He hasn't been picked. Five on four, and Furia lacking much. They've got Cello down secret. Martinez awaits it. No picks presented anywhere in this round. Furia have to essentially commit. Just in a solid spot. Flash across, will slow down the bust, and Art now slow peeking around the smoke. Which has gone down at door and made things that much more awkward for Furia. Tag going to come on the body, but it's going to be shot straight back. Art doing good work to control the door position. And Mopo's just going to be no way. going forward again. Art should not be alive. He's getting extremely lucky this round, but Furia, their luck. It feels like it's run out before it's really started. Caserato waiting for this push in Hut. They know where all the Mobistar riders are now. Oh. Martinez on the ladder, a no-scope with the AWP. Ridiculous scenes, and in the two-on-two, -two, let's see if Moby Star can bring it back again. It's looking good. There it is, Adam S. Coming through with another double. And it's nine and zero right now. A stellar start to nuke a crazy CT side. And a game which we thought was going to be a little bit closer than what it seems to be uh, is not living up to our expectations. Fury is getting owned. That's what's happening. Like, Movistar are just playing great. But this is the thing. Every time, Movistar, we don't expect them to do much because they haven't been doing much online. But at this point, I even said it that at the tier list thing. It's like, I, they will be much better than any games they've played online. Like, that's just they're just different. You know, on, on LAN, it's like players are better focused. Um, they're, they're playing with a lot of confidence. That was ridiculous from Martinez. And then you're hitting shots like that as well on top of everything. I mean... They're just playing really solid CS, good as a team, communicating, aggressive, not really giving a lot of space to Furia at all, and some good decisions. You know, like your Furia, you're thinking, as you said, they got Secret finally, and he's there again with the AWP. And we know Furia are in some sort of restructuring period, but still, this is dire straits. Well, sticking to the game plan at least, so they can be proud of something. They just need that game plan to work. Okay, Serato going to be mollied off in the vent for the moment. We'll try to catch a timing. And he's down here on his own again. Last time they got this was around where Alex was close yard and he killed four guys. So let's see if Furia can do a better job now. I think it's going to be a reaction from Movistar to push hot at some point. They're ready to take some real estate back, certainly. But Furia just heading outside to regroup with that control case. Serato is giving them another warp in the way. This time not in secret, but no smokes down. They have three available. After spotting the orb, do they want to do it? Case Serato almost holds that shot, but takes it clean. Five on four, and the orb is a problem. Furia don't want to fight it. Oh, my goodness. Hello? He's on T-roof. He hasn't seen them. Hello. It's good for him. One drops off. That's a little bit of fall damage and just as well pushing in the hut at the right moment. That's going to be bomb on the ground and he's hoping for the flank to come through off a of T-roof. Mopoz trying to pick his timing, but the smoke, it's worked against Movistar here. 2v3. Can Furia pick this one back up? Okay, Serato going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Martinez on default, who's not going to get away. 2v2 now and plenty of time to play around here. Oh, no. There's a cover there. He's watching Hut right now. There's an option. Adam takes oh. it and drops that bomb. No cover on the stick. They thought they were down lower, perhaps. Still, that ramp rotate has been perfectly timed every single round for Adam, Adam S. Caserato fake it. Surely, no, he plays against the grain, and they will swing together. After the stick comes in, he takes a shot. Adam oh. gives him a 1v1. Mopo's turned around from, and he'll win that clutch. Just a little bit delayed makes Caserato think he's not playing with his teammate. And Movi Star Riders, 10 rounds in a row. Also, he was last seen T lobby. Yeah. <laughs> so to think he's going to come from heaven. But yeah, a another wild round. Another, you can see ag aggression from Movi Star. Mopo's going up on the roof and. Just w nah. once they see Martinez outside with Yop, they wanted to walk out to Secret, thinking he was going to be somewhere else and they're going to trade with the rifle. Once they see him, they have to go back to throw the smokes. That takes time. That gives time for Mopos and, and for Movistar to go for that aggressive play. And in the end, Serato not being able to contribute a whole lot outside of one kill on Alex down Secret. At least it felt like last map you had, you know, Case Rossi just playing out of his mind, was able to win round solo, but... This is a lot harder of a map 
to, again, again, even a different problem. Last time the smoke was too far and it landed on the curb. Oh. Now it's not far enough. This is essentially unacceptable to be missing smokes this many rounds. And it isn't even the problem that it's a small gap and maybe they don't die. The city still get the information. You know, if it's an op, the op gets the kill at M4. But you get a lot of info and you know there's more than one guy. So it allows you to cheat over an extra player if you want to. Spotted him and shuts the door in their face. A middle finger to Furia. And a five on five. Art gives them options to escape if they want. Options they may have to take with B being controlled by Mopoz. Needs to pick his spot. He's floating mm. right now. Furia Time. undecided. Still on this side for sure. But where do they go? And what's Caserato going to be able to do towards the top side? Looks like he's going to join him down on the lower. And Movistar, they've only got one man down here right now. That's Mopoz, who's tucked in at dark and hoping to stop the bust out of double doors. In comes the util. Ramp going to be fully smoked off, and it's only one that he can find, but Martinez comes in with a kill onto Art, who was lurking at a mess as well. Over towards Ramp side, picks up another, and a 2v4. It's not looking likely for Furia, but Cello, he's going to give it a crack, starting to warm up here. Oh, Cello just gets behind cover. You can play that bomb now. It's open. It's not too bad. Molly goes nowhere. Yuri has a chance. He's got to watch out from the ramp side, but Adam's in no hurry, and they should be. No smoke for that bomb. These kills were a requirement with the positions Furia have. Adam goes hunting. He finds his, but Cello, it might be the first round on the board. Just needs to win a one more fight and live a few more seconds. They're on the stick. The cover is there, and he can't oh. swing to take him down. Movistar cannot drop the ball if they tried. Man, I even feel for Art in that round. He's not aggressively lurking in the in the garage. He is sitting, holding a vent rotate, crouched in a corner, and Martinez comes out from CT vent, checks garage, <laughs> kills him, and then sets up that, that retake for Movistar Riders. It's laughable to think that things are just going so well for Movistar. They're coming in, they've got a game plan, it's working. You can see that they know exactly how Furia are planning on playing this map and read them like a book almost every single round. Yeah, Fury certainly aren't making their job easy for themselves, but that's not to take anything away from the Movistar Riders. And again, Adam S, Pro League debut for this young Romanian player, mm -hmm. and not just looking great on the CT side back on overpass, but he's been a rock on ramp. They've not really hit him, but in terms of his rotates, he's been winning rounds coming up from heaven. He delays himself off ramp so late that round that even the window player is not considering him, and now he'll finally be tested. Mm. Tucked on the corner. That Molly didn't buy as much space as he would have liked. That's Bob on the ground. Almost finds three there with his shoulders against the wall. But a two for one's a pretty good deal. Serato in the meanwhile, already down on the lower side, stops that rotation. Mopoz, I feel like I got deja vu there. That happened the other round as well. They've got timing though, because Movistar were clearing out lobby. Even Alex pushed yard, realized around silo that, yeah, this is a waste of time. They have the bomb on B. They've got to retake now. So just taking ramp instead. Martinez walking into his own death as he slides down the ladder. And Alex, he has to essentially win this round on his own. Just is so far out of the picture and he will remain. Furia finally looking to field around in this T side. Unless. No. <laughs> I mean, Surely not. Unless. Well, he has don't, smoke. Don't. Don't. Unless. Oh. <laughs> Hole in the door will do it for Yuri. Not a bad crack. Nice. But there you go. So it won't be a 16 Finally, they make you. <laughs> Serato has been getting down there. They have yeah. no idea he's down there, right? So just go ramp and just trade. Even if it was a bad trade on ramp, he cuts off rotation. You get the bomb down at least, right? I have to say, I wish Fury was playing faster, actually, on this map, because on Nuke, you actually can yeah. do it, right? Mm. Like, on Nuke, you can do it. You can throw fast smokes, fast fakes, wow. especially if you're losing constantly to this sort of a little bit of a slower style. Ooh, okay. nice. About time. Hey, if you're throwing fast smokes, I, I don't, I'd rather have slow smokes. Take your time with them. Really make sure you nail that lineup. But finally, an opening kill from Fallen's Orb. He's been quiet. Mm. He's not really had the AWP. What's it to use? You could have also called the same opening that they do when Xerato goes down, but send two more guys with him. If he's getting it for free, send two more guys straight away, send the bomb. Right, trade three. If a guy goes down from ramp, trade with him, plant the bomb, and then the pressure is on Movistar. Where are the rest of the players? We don't know. Alex on a nice line here. Picking up the orb that Martinez dropped. 
and slow peeking all the way towards that lobby side. Okay, Serato going to lose his elbow. And Adam S going to be caught in the rotation, so still a chance for Fury to double it up here. He's but the ramp player, but Mopos is hiding on ramp, so let's see if Furia decides to go ramp because of the names. You can see Yuri is lurking behind outside heaven. The bomb is going to be caught. Oh, timing. It's almost worked out for Alex. Unfortunately, the shot's not there. He can't find the door for a moment. Team smoked. We're going to see Fallen again connect onto Alex. Last member on the A site. That's just, and he's just gone. Mopoz 1v4, and he doesn't have a lot of health to play with, so it's probably just going to be that save. And even though they are 11 to, what, it's going to be 2 now, look at the money. The economy is in the bin for Movistar, taking so much damage after they stacked on all those rounds, and that's all coming to a boiling point. Oh, he sees his barrel. <laughs> I'm not going to luck out. Of course he has an incendiary. <laughs> Picked it up, put it to use, and finding 2 of Furia. Hoping for 4 on the half. I've seen you know, worse T-sides on nukes, but it's not how you would have wanted this game to begin. Yeah, and finally they punish, you know, finally they get an opening kill. I mean, Fallen getting the kill on Martinez, obviously knowing that it was the offer as well, gives the other players a little bit more freedom initially. And they had, I think it was an 11-1 CT side against Navi in uh, at Gamers 8, Furia did, but to be honest, that was also Navi playing a terrible T-side. So. Yeah, I don't, I don't have the feeling Movistar are coming in unprepared for a T-half of Nuke right oh, now. Oh, yeah. Not against Fury yet. And, and still had... one more gun round after this. Not much breathing room here. It's crazy how quickly a game can get away from you. You know, you lose the pistol, you, you make some mistakes, we can call them big or small, mm. in the first two gun rounds, and you're 7-0 down, really. You're not planting the bomb, you can't keep buying, you don't really win any of those half buys. Look, 11 to 4, best case for Furia. There's still space in that second half, and you know that they're all professionals, you know that they're keeping that mental strong. So there's a world where the Brazilians can bring this one back. And I keeping it clean against the USP is a great way to keep that up. As long as they get some momentum in the second half, they obviously need, you know, either the pistol or the second round, mm. anything more than that. If they, you know, lose pistol eco one and then start buying, I think it, that's also too late. But if you get some momentum going, all of a sudden the pressure is on Movistar, you know how it is, an, undergo an underdog, you're winning. You feel like, oh, we can, we're going to win this 2-0, and all of a sudden it starts slipping away. That's when you start making mistakes. So we'll see. A little bit of damage, thanks, Cello. Gets himself a 3k. One was a teammate. But it is three on the board for Furia, looking to keep it clean towards the end of the half if they can make this 4-11. to 11. We might see some smiles at halftime. Yeah, I wouldn't go that uh, I think it's still <laughs> early for smiles. I don't think there's much to smile about in the Furia camp so far, but... We'll see the home team, Hugo. The home team, of course, Malta. They, they have a base in Malta round, now. Or is that just... I think the they have it year-round. How long How long have they been here? A couple of months, like since, since this team, this roster. There this we go. This is more like it. This is what we wanted to see. Classic upper hit, and Art just throws them back into a grave. An early one at that. Then, oh, of relax, course, it bro. is Art, so he runs through the main smoke, and suddenly a three on five. Careful, this can flip back quickly. Fallen with a crucial trade. The Naden main is nice. Alex will have to dodge. And reset heaven, they hear that rotation. Martinez taking up main instead. Molly, oh, the Molly. almost kills Fallen, but he'll get the plant. That's but a lot of damage. If a they lose this round, all you're thinking about is that main smoke rush. Why does he have to do that? <laughs> Why, bro? <laughs> it's, it's a great question. It's not face it. Oh. Well, Fallen still activating on 12 HP. Another kill onto Alex there. Two for the round. Oh, and Martinez 14 him. and 8. There's a world where he can bring this one back, but he's mollied off. They know he's here, fallen, holding the line, locking it down. And Martinez, he's got to peek at some time, and it's going to be now 11 to 4 as we send it into the half.
on a chalkboard hit you harder than the darts on a dartboard damn it man i'm creepy like candy man in a pair of hammer pants with a hammer in his hand say what you want say what you wish but say my name and it sound like you breaking a dish say my name in a whisper like you making a wish you said my name in the crowd like you afraid i exist say my name and it feel like you peeling off a scab that ain't really even healed yet i don't even fear threats i don't really feel what they feel when they fear shit i feel like the pain at a funeral when tears Trip. I don't even dodge shots. I dodge bullets like a child playing hopscotch. I dodge bullets like a break dancer pop locks. I treat your bullets like it's b-ball and block shots. from the thunderdome like mad max in a black hat carrying a black cat they swear they bullets pal but i feel like they go pat pat we run in the same race but i bet i lap cats i'm a lab rat you a lap cat i'm a rap cat a trap cat and i backpack i eat suckers for breakfast and you looking like a flapjack i be doing hoodoo that hoodoo making them back back bringing the past back i'ma make a flashback i'ma make them somersault and visuals abstract you fooling with a spirit that they talk about mention me in a room full of people someone walking out the bullet dodger the gun ducker say what you want you dumb fucker if you want trouble mention me please one verse will make your lungs burst you physically please my tongue is made of razor blades i think my body's made of steel and flames it feels like fire you when they speak my name i think i'm i think yeah. i'm i think i'm i think i'm good out in Boca Raton, gangers be stroking your mom. She just broke up with Sean. Now giving dope in the thong. We just be cloaking the lawn. Bit what you're focusing on. The lopes on the bar, bronze, blonde, posting the guam. Kissing your freak, have you straight kissing your teeth. Through six in the week, shows in the chicks in the sheets. Fixing to frisking the meat, missing the piss on the seat. Fixing up dishes and treats with persimmons and leeks. Yeet, lest we forget what I think with the gut. Smoke cigarette bud. She willing the cut in the opium den with the lowliest men. She said, Cloak me, my friend. Let's do it again. Welcome back to game one of ESL Pro League season 18 here in Malta. And we're currently coming at you live from the succulent scenes of Nuke. I don't know if it's really that succulent, but look, we have scenes and it is very Spanish sided over the Brazilians at the moment. 11 to four with a cracker of a start to the map. 11 rounds back to back to back to back to back. And Furia finally finding their feet in the end of the first half, but let's kick it off with a pistol in the second. Yes, a little Iberian opener here for the Movistar Riders. A rush. Of course. A rushing. Furia took them a whole half to figure out to do this. K Serato will be here in time, though. Julie's at the back oh. of the site, and it's an evisceration. You As Furia, to hold see on. It. Count the seconds. Uh, it's always like calling a rush on T Pistol is always such a roller coaster. Yeah. Because when it works, you're like, yeah, man, just keep it simple, you know, we got this. And then when it goes awful and you run into a stack, you're like, well, that was dumb. But in reality, you can never know. Roll of the right? dice. It's all about just, hey, whatever you think, if you're fine with it. Sometimes it will work, sometimes it won't. A lot of the times it depends on the first kill, really, but this time they had just zero chance. Might be so silly that it works. Now, full eco. Take a breather. Get that momentum. Furia were promised. One Deagle, leading the way. Get it recycled, at least you've got a shooting shot for Star. Makes his way in to Secret. 
but it looks like these blocks are just going to be chunked away at. And Furia should be right as rain already. The T's very separated. And they will line up. Eventually, Ace. Caserato just smacking them down. That's our boy. That's another badge, boys. You got the Ace. That's the first Ace of the group, isn't it? Yeah, he's on our team. Damn right. Caserato, we he got that. Right stay we got the Clutch Minister. We got the U Snooze Eye Diffuse. We already got three out of six, man. We're winning. Day, day, day one, on. game one. And we'll see if there's a... Mac-10 may be in there. Had to so check that out. getting a Mac-10 kill earlier, but... New oh, half. Yeah, Is it sure. like four in one round? Or? I, I think it's four in the whole group. Four in the... One like, in the whole kind of, group. Yeah, I think it's, it's in everyone. the map, surely, or the series. The wording, the the wording's interesting. We'll get that checked out. But first ace on K Serato. He's woken up a little bit. I say woken up. Obviously, his last map was incredible. But, Yuri uh, has no idea. This one. And yeah, Adam's got this opening kill in the bag. Freebie. Back of the head. And Movi Star Ride is five on four. They're going to try and crunch Ooh. Art. He's got a bit of support. Someone needs to make a play. Fallen, Fallen will do so. Smoke comes down. Fallen doesn't take the shot. Oh. And this backstab is still moving in. Adam in no hurry has just got them locked into a box. Fallen, will he clear this? Will he really go this far? Oh, Chaos. oh, oh comes to a point. And Disaster. Fallen puts him on the skewer. Close range as well. This MP9 can farm and it will. Cello. Locks down that hut area. And Movistar now have to play from a two-man disadvantage. And there's only 50 seconds on the clock. And Martinez is smoked off so <laughs> from door. So he has to go. He looks like he's going to, to go a long way yard. Serato is creeping closer. So this is going to be... Uh... Oh, he's in main, he actually. He could do it, okay. yeah, because Fallen is still scared of hell. So unless K Serato re-clears... Martinez can I mean, he out. has to start running soon. He can't walk yeah. this way. Oh. Serato hears him. He got stuck. He got stuck on the lip. Oh, no, he man. might have made it otherwise. And now, yeah, this round's done. It was a mission to get the bomb into secret in what was an empty lower bomb site. But Alex will now just save. <laughs> what did they shout? I didn't quite hear it. I thought it was where I am. They probably understand each other. You, I, I'm actually fairly sure they understand each other, whether it's Portuguese or Spanish. It's Just is Portuguese as well. So. And just is Portuguese and Fallen speaks Spanish. So there I think they're covered on those fronts. Yeah. Hablo Espanol, Falo Portuguese. What's Martinez at now? Is it 14 and 12? Because there was a point where he was 12 yes. and 4. 14 and 12. So he's really cooled off. Oh, yeah, he did just clip on the edge of that. That was a bit unfortunate for Movistar. You know, they want to go ramp to to go towards the lower bomb side, and that's where Fury had a two-man setup with uh, Art and Fall and also Smoke. Smoke check. It's not that hard, Hugo, is it? No. Well, <laughs> Movistar, they nailed it. Alex will have to run the molly, though, to beat the timing. Sure, he can wait it, but that just allows more room for Fury to cross down vent. And, oh, they play with fire and Smoke. Getting down as they fade. Caserato is here. I wouldn't want anyone else. Double AWP. If they break past Caserato and get B, Fury are in a world of trouble. I know this is only an eco, but double AWP retake. And no one else even close to lower. This could go very wrong. But it's Caserato, so... What I don't get is why are you buying a second AWP when they're on pistols? At him. Sending a message. Ooh. The M4 can do it as well. And that's a nice chip away at Mopoz. Pistols at this range on the B slot. Looking like there could be a chance. And the AK going to be able to crack open a head. Oh, Let's see if they can get that rifle or if they can even control the site at all. Here's those orbs. And with no smokes to deny that vision, it's just going to be clean skeet shooting for Art there. And one of the reasons why they had such a successful half against Navi at Gamers 8 was because Art picked up the deck deck. Yes. And he just played it from ramp and Navi for whatever reason decided to keep going there and give him the kills. But yeah, now with a double op early. So we'll see what the call is from Movistar. You know, double op on CT nuke is only something that you pull out in mm. maybe a round or two. You don't, can't really run it sustained. I don't think they saw both orbs, right? Oh, they were both a wrap. They saw ours, I mean. Yeah. Our got a kill with the oh, arms, so. That's maybe enough info. Lots of util dumps real early here from Moby Star. And they got heaps of flashes left, but not a whole lot to go for another XE. Maybe 
Let's have another wall of smoke at outers. You can see them getting tossed across to Mopoz there. Fallen is in secret with the op artists on ramp. Three guys towards A, so we'll see which small wall they decide to use. Wide. Yeah, and I'm only for secret. So they'll be able to get close to fall and I believe in fallen supremacy. Oh, flash timing was good, but still playing here on the offline. And Alex just going to hit the brakes, play the time just. Mobistar need to figure out where they want to go. You can see that just might find a timing here. Yuri shoulder spotted. Peeking out of the CT rush. box. And the A site could be in trouble here. Fallen still looking to lock it down at low as Art shows his face. And the bomb still trying to figure out where to go. You can see that's on the back of Martinez. But just with 20 seconds, he needs to make a move here at Heaven. There's still plenty of numbers towards the upper site. Cello playing from Tetris. Art locking down the hut bust. Now it's just the flank they have to worry about. And they're going to deal with it so well. Furia almost locking it down. Two seconds to plant. And they're not going to have any time with the bomb on the ground. Furia locking it in for a ninth. Big hold and big stack as well. They trust him falling down on that lower site. And just the info comes in from his team. He knows he's being held. But they, they call Orpin Hart, player at Tetris. He hears two or eight. He just makes a move. He thinks that's it. And there's a third player hiding right behind the site, staring upwards. Good prioritization for Furia, not leaving that heaven wrap open after just finds the entry kill. Not only that, the Archers decided to leave ramp. And they just gambled the uh, A, really. Fallen was in charge of secret plus B. Um, Movistar decides to go and split upper, and that's where the stack is. So it was just a very difficult round. Art with the AWP in hut is a classic. Yeah, and I think also that's where you get it. You know, they know just for the fact they went TR, they didn't hear any AWPs. Just is playing, he doesn't see the AWPs. So where can the AWPs be? Most likely one of them has to be secret. That's why Alex is so careful. We're thinking, why is he so careful down towards B? But he has a, a, a guess that one of the ops is waiting for, and that's why he's jiggle peeking, jumping around, trying to draw out the shot. Little score update. As you can see there, 10 to 15. Gamer Legion one round away from taking the series 2 to 0 over Greyhound, who are trying to make a late comeback there. And Movistar picking up the pace. Alex straight into secret in the first 20 seconds. And let's see if that pressure, Yanko, that we were talking about, you know, Fury finds some momentum, start picking up rounds on CT side. Oh, we were 11-4. How is this almost even now? You know, let's see if this gets to Movistar Riders. As the game is tight. Oh, you're a barrel. Weezing. No, they're just spamming. Just spam. They seem to believe it, though. Well, now, now they, they have seen him. Now he's dead. <laughs> he just oh, got it. I feel like you you feel like you've been spotted with that much you know fire raining down. That's just prep and sort of knowing he likes to play that spot sometimes. Flash is going both ways. Here comes that second op yard. <laughs> Timing just gonna be able to find it again. And that's fallen and hitting the ground. Two man advantage for Movistar, and they're looking to make their way through the holes. Right. Cesarado close to the corner but still has the advantage over Alex there. And Martinez doesn't want to have a sniff for a trade, doesn't want to bring it to a 3v3. He has the bomb as well, so he's got to go back up. And this AWP timing just avoided. Oh, he made a step there, just knows he's got room. He heard him run ramp. So instead of taking the top option, he'll just go for the kill. Ooh. But it might still leave him with nothing. Nice catch. Odds oh, gone. It's all on cello. Alone in the upper site. They know it. And they've got the backstab from heaven. Try to grab a kill in main. 15 seconds. The bomb's going to make it. On for the ace. Just can he do the whole thing? Almost. Cesarado oh. gets his head taken off. And that's a clean ace coming out of Just. Two aces here in this map already. One from Cesarato, one from Just. And that's a sick round to find one in as well. Riders Furia are on a hot streak of five on the CT side. Mm and just gets all the way around the world, takes out both AWP players. And you can see how better the opening, well, 
slightly different, but in some ways better the openings are from Movistar. You know, it's a fast smokes and get Alex down secret, right? Let's see if he can get it because they're thinking they can get it. And then things develop from there. You know, previous round just was also lurking, but it didn't really work out in the end. They went out for an A split. Fury stacked it. They got a couple more kills this time around. They were still patient and still did more or less the same thing. It's the difference in openings is Alex is getting sort of at least across to secret. Serato was getting in an even better position, getting down the vents, mm. but Movistar is doing a better job after they get a player in a forward position from playing out the round from that point on, you know? We'll see if that's going to be enough to stunt the momentum. Big damage here. Fury even wins the round. Their economy is still real damn low right now, so we could have that swing around coming through. And Movistar going to be looking for some data's presence again, but just with an ace to get that first round. They keep doing this. They've even had smokes with a gap to allow them to do this. Just crossing into Garage instantly off of the wall. He's running, though, so Yuri's heard him. Mm. It comes at a cost here. And now I don't know what you're meant to do with this position. He's very solo. There's no Heaven player at the moment. You can see Art scurrying back to try to help him out here. But Movistar putting priority down towards the lower side. Alex making noise with a banger. And slowly but surely making his way in towards control. A few members behind him and the bomb not too far away. Art shifting on the rafters here. Will he be able to lock it down? He's got a power position in the bomb site. Needs a multi-kill. Adam, who's been known about this entire time, is making a move. As Yuri, I think he might have been spotted. Mopoz looks very interested. It's going to be two fights at the same time. Art trying to cut them out of the window. They know a player is in B. It's no surprise at 40 seconds. And Adam is still crawling all the way around the world. How has he gotten himself here? Yuri just forgotten about him in the garage. Not convinced, perhaps. They might have to go up the vent, though. It's still not a pretty option with plenty of players nearby. And once again, Keiserato at the back of the site. Ooh. Going up the vent with an AWP. It's a scary prospect, but Keiserato head on a swivel. Looking around everywhere. Gets legged, but he ain't dead just yet. Cello as well, locking it down with the crossfire bomb on the ground. And that time it's ticking. It's all about survival, and Keiserato is going to do just that. Big round from Furia. Beast in. Keiserato has not let them split through this A bomb site, has he? He has been on top of it. That's a massive round for Furia, but also a little bit of inexperience maybe from Movistar in a sense. So once Adams gets this kill, and if you want to split A, you have to play first. I mean, you have to play faster than you did because they are they have to account for you. You should he, he had a molly and a nade. He should have used those nades. Like they know you're gonna come from heaven. It's just about at which time. And that's why Xerato is so aware. And again, they pull themselves out of a tough spot. Yeah, Fury are winning some clutch rounds on CT. Something to be said for that, given the difficulties they've had in this series. That's a Wolpang tag. Oh, just flicks out and runs down low with that Molotov to stop them. Meanwhile, Keserato has made sure they can't return to the lobby, not without paying a cost. The troll toll under the bridge. Oh, at the back of door, though. Will they clear it? Never. They are not expecting it at all. Smoke on the door. He's going to get more than he's oh, bargained for yeah. here. Two at least, and he hears that third around nice. the corner. Keserato reading him perfectly. Just wins the round, really. Not much to be said for that. 28 and 16. That first map was no fluke. Cello wins his, and Adam around the world, back again and still nowhere. I think after this, we're going to see a timeout from Movistar to sort of recollect themselves and decide how they want to play for the rest of this half mm. pretty much because despite only winning one round on this T side, their T side has been okay. Like they've found space, they found openings. They just either misplayed a little bit the very endings of rounds or Fury just made a, a, a correct gamble, a correct stack, right? So you have to look at what did you do so far in the half that you could use towards the very end that you've conditioned your opponents to do. Like they've destroyed them with those outside smokes. Adam spent two times through the smokes into garage, killed Yuri in the back, not even looking at him. One time they spammed Yuri in that position. They could get down secret more or less at will. They they had a good time getting down towards B from secret and all of that stuff. So how do you want to utilize that in the last couple of rounds? Do you want to throw those fast smokes, send Alex running and have four guys just go up a, 
right? Do you want to have him run up and three guys walk behind him like they already did one time, but just be faster taking the B bomb side? Like there's options for you. Do you want to go back to what works where you just send him and then slowly work towards heaven and, and slowly work yard, right? Obviously, in this round, with the Mac 10 and the and the Tech 9s most likely looking like an A hit, something fast. Perhaps a secret rush with the pistols, we'll see. Heaven's just such a powerful position that you almost feel the need to use it if you get a T player there, right? So both times that he's wrapped Heaven, Movistar have just committed to A-Hit into the stack. Oh, he's oh, just gone through. The Did you see the shadow? He's crazy. He was on Fallen screen, but Fallen's probably not looking right there it as he pulls a back. moment, bro. He was on the side. He was looking to the right there. Yeah, oh, he's going to cross under him. able to get okay. right underneath. That's oh, tricky. Fallen's gone. He's got him. Yeah. It's Thank about you. communicating. What do they want the rest oh, of the team to leaving. do? He's going for ramp. There's two players here, though. Oh. Gets the first. Oh, what a flick! That is sickening. But they're they're secret. Yeah, they're gonna they can catch ours here. Oh, a round that looked pretty damn good for Mobistar is potentially gonna be lost here. Mopoz is gonna be able to come on the flank at the ramp and hope Gosh. that he finds more numbers coming. But it looks like they're gonna be going in through trophy and flank him instead. Mopoz gets oh. his mitts on the four, oh, but he won't be able to strike true. And Fury now in a four v three. Is looking good for the retake. There goes another techie. And Art is doing work with the AWP in this ah. round. Tech is not going to work super well there. And it's all up to Just, who's done huge work so far, but he's spotted. He's only got the Tech 9, and he doesn't have the bullets in the clip to deal with that. Big retake coming through for Furia to tie things up at 12 apiece. That must have been a communication mess for Furia, right, from the, the hell wrap timing getting past Fallen, mm. the flick for Art down into lower. He's getting flanked as well, but they clear Mopos out, who can't scope in time. A very sure. scary round for Furia, but hey, they are putting it together on the CT side. Now even Keel at 12 apiece. It's a shame on, you know, Mopos, it's sort of, do I flank immediately? Do I try to get the, the gun and play it a little bit more slow? He had timing to flank, obviously he doesn't know that. But another close win, you know, even though you're eco, like that was a minimal round for Movistar, so these rounds are starting to add up. We'll see if they can handle that pressure. The game is now 12-12 after you've been up 11-4 at the half. So maybe it was more than just Navi playing poorly on their T side. Furia, another strong CT side from them. Late out of smokes coming through here at the mid round. And Fallen, oh, he will have a gap to play around. No, that's gone. But might be able to snag one onto Adam S up on the silo. His patience wearing thin. He hears those footsteps coming towards him and doesn't want to get busted by a flash. Uh, how are He's they doing just, it again? No, no one's ever cleared this. No, and Fallen's watching. Yuri's been out. in this position the yes. whole half. Fallen's watching. It's like, bro, okay. come on. Like, you've died from this position seven times. And they clear him. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. This is, like, wild to me. Just the fact that he keeps Let's say he, I, There's no way he feels comfortable standing there. When you've died already from that position a couple of times, it's oh. I, I don't know. Flick back. Fallen's got him locked behind the box, but he's got to pick an angle. It's what? <laughs> <laughs> over the top. <laughs> jump into jump. No one takes this shot. And this time, Just goes, Adam, you've been All cocking right. up these rounds. I'm going to go for the hell wrap. One way out by Fallen. Movistar, 20 seconds and a beautiful kill for Adam, but they have to commit to B. And finally, they realize, hey, there's no one here. There never was. There never is. They're always stacked top. Alex hit some sick shots on Art. Art was down. All long with with an op and our Alex just wiped them off. Big but question. where's a where's something aggressive from Fury on Yard? Where's well, an op playing red? Where's a two man setup? Where's a guy going secret getting flash? Like look at true. Hampus, Nico, like uh, uh, other Yard players. Look how active they are. The players that play that position. Like you want to do that if you double oping though or. Do you think Art should get back to right? Like, I mean, you, you don't need to. Like, you have to. Yard is the most important part of the map. You know, your double up is not going to save you if you're if you're losing your Yard guy all the time or mm. losing control of Yard or, or information on Yard. Or even just, you know, playing back garage and, and secret, right? Not not over committing to Yard with the amount of rounds that they Like, they a guy know. has not, either just or Adam as has snuck heaven and behind you. It's like, just play for that. And they're not even, they're walking through the smoke. There's not a flash. There it is. 
There's not a flash play, you know, like you could just play the the back left angle. There's some sharp shooting right now coming out from the riders and right at the right time here at 13 to 12, a double up again for Furia. The bottom of the barrel by if they lose this, Movistar might just take the series 2-0. Movistar have been doing really well at getting that yard control, but just haven't been able to convert it into more map control, more rounds. Furia always seem to have an answer by going aggressive themselves and then just playing for the retake. But this round, Movistar not going too aggressive. They are finally playing at the back warehouse, like we were just saying. I think it's a little bit too late, bro. Yeah. <laughs> now they're not going to go out. They're going to hit the top side. They're just going to group and contact outdoor. Oh, dear. Case oh. Rato, he's the man you want, and he's the man to give us the goods. Two quick kills from Maine, and now they're flooding in from heaven as well. A three-man hold on top side, plus Yuri to support from Garage. This round's dead. I don't know what that was. They, they must have fumbled something there. Because the quality is good to go yard, uh, to go A at this point, but not like that. Odd's constantly pre-aiming for the heroic boost on ramp. i got to give it to him. But either way, smoke comes out the door. They're going to try to drop back, perhaps. Ooh. Fallen. No, he put fallen, does he? He tried. He missed the jump. He's now, now looking underneath it. And that's information. That's something. Right? Oh. And that's a little bit more for oh. Fallen. You'll take that. Oh, I've heard the spam as well. You're not getting down for free. No bomb, no chance, no kill. Five alive. 13 all. No way. You're going to tell me Furia will wake up at the end of Nuke and take us to a third. Well, Five Alive is a good way to make that happen. We were talking about the finances potentially crumbling. But with those two ops surviving, the financials are going to start to buff up a little bit. That was the round for Movistar. They had a good call where they were supposed to go, but I'm not really sure. You know, even if you want to explode, you have some guy smoking main and one flash coming through or something along those lines, right? Instead, they're just two guys going through a smoke door. No one's going out hot. It, it felt very strange. Maybe there was some miscommunication about what they wanted to do and when, which is a shame because Furia's money was, was really low. But okay, it's still 13-13. Full buy for both teams. They have everything they want. Still that double up for for Fury. I will see if maybe Movistar wants to try and and go ramp somehow. But that's why Art is always holding the boost. Oh, that's more like it. You've been waiting. You've been begging for that play. And he pushes up and ahead of the smokes as they land. That's crazy. Five on four and he just disappears. Who would have thought? Yeah. <laughs> Coach Yanko. It's also Alex every time who's going, like, he's going in. You, you can't have both speed and safety, right? If you want to go down there. So you have to risk one of the two. And That's fine. Art always picks speed, never safety. And the safety's off on this round for Furia. They found many kills outside. One trade on a swing, but it's not going to save the day. Fallen's even dropped him. Tagged him nah, in, nah, inside. nah, he nope. dropped him backside from heaven. <laughs> All right. All just right. Doesn't care about his HP. Tactical drop. And they're going to regress lobby. I like this for Fury. They're finally starting to be active towards the end of the half. Ramp rotates come down to lower, so we don't need to worry about secret. This negate to heaven wrap if Movistar made that play, but at this point it feels a bit too obvious. 2v4, and nothing is safe in the minds of the riders. Okay, so Rato, that's a beautiful shot. Well, that tells them they've, they've cleared lobby and they're, you know, wanted to come back. So we'll see. Mopos is the lobby guy. That's why they want, they want to clear him out, but he was already ours. So now it gets a little bit more interesting. Time's against him. Because Secret is open. Heaven is open. This duel is going to... Okay. Hmm. 15 seconds. Are they saving? Just freestyling. No, yeah. he's like, want to peek out from another, from a different angle, but... Extremely late up a hit. Five seconds to plant. They gotta go. Mopos. Swing it in. Flash has done it, and there is time to plant. Oh. Still with a man in rafters. This could work out for Movistar. Fallen reveals his hand. His oh. position! <laughs> the no-scope through the top of heart almost takes him out, but Mopos survives. And now it's Art's turn to have a go at the clutch here. 1v2. And now it's our turn to save. No, I'll tell you to. that. It's they... his turn to save. Oh! 
Miss shot. Art's been given a chance, but no kit. Oh, look at this. He's Mopo's. being wrapped around the world. He doesn't even know about it. This save is not guaranteed. A 2 on 5 for Movistar Riders as they creep back in and take every single kill. 14 to 13. Ooh. Furious second wind sucked out of their stomach. That's a round. That's a bloody round. Of Counter-Strike. 2v5. There was seven seconds on the clock when they flashed under heaven to get him out of heaven there. Climb down the ladder at 15 to check his back. I mean, there was no room for any error. Any other position for Cello, if he's in hot, Movistar lose the round. Unbelievable. But instead... <laughs> they are pumped. That's a lot of energy coming out there. And, you know, it... 2v4 essentially because you know the, sure. the trade happened trade. fast, but uh, I'll give this one to Movistar. They lost a lot of close ones too, so it was about time one of them went their way, but <laughs> not a good time for Furia. Splitting the last four rounds now. And Art has already bought, while the rest of the team is kind of. They have. Thir 36. Okay, Xerado already bought Tamar, but you know, Cello has 3k, 3500 on Fallen. 45 on Yuri. This is not going to be a, an ideal buy. So if Furia does decide to go all in here, it's pretty much win this or lose the series. That's a Harry Russell I can buy next. <laughs> Classic. Because a Deagle is only 700. And a Deagle's a full buy, especially in Australia. Yeah, for Harry especially. We've got Furia throwing everything they can in. Of course. I saw VP buy themselves out of a game, which sounds hilarious, yeah, right? Against, against G2, oh, G2, against G2 in Riyadh. It, it's, this is not as critical, but we'll see Nuke, you know, some positions you can play with weaker guns. And now, of course, it's probably when Movistar decides to go ramp, right? Once they know there's probably no AWP there. And again, they, Furia does not have info if someone is secret or not. They, they threw the same smokes, Movistar, Yuri is playing that position back of Garage, so they know no one is rapping, mm. but they don't know if Alex is in secret or multiple players, and they're just sort of sticking with the setup for now. At least they know whether they're being heaven wrapped or not. That's finally a change for Furia with this back garage position. Oh, ramp's about to be tested, and Fallen gets into that right side just in time. Molly goes down and forces Ooh, things to what? go through. Mopoz gets the entry regardless, and Art says, I want none of that. He's going to the lower side. That's an insane shot for Mopoz. He's hit a couple now in back-to-back -back rounds here for Movistar Riders. They're waiting for Alex to see if he can find someone, if someone's going to re-aggress. Based off of that, it will, well, Alex also is the team leader trying to make the call, okay, where does he want his team to end? Do we want them to go under heaven? A, B is just the simplest and probably the best call at this point in time. Still have a smoke and a Molotov. And now they know where Art is. Ooh, that nade. Oh, a huge amount of damage, and now the MP9 might be able to finish the job, but Art has to figure out where he wants to swing, won't live for long, and just swings in from the top side on the rafter. Okay, Serato hoping he can get a little pop flash out the door in time. Yuri going to be able to get that fast flag activated, and just Alex, all of, Marte all of Movistar starting to connect at the right moments. Yuri, 1v3, it's looking unlikely, he's out on an island. And that's going to be 15 secured for Movistar. Match point and the money gone for Fury. They risked it all on that buy. 35 kills for Keserato and what? matters not. Yes, you heard me right. You didn't notice. He's 7 0 in He's going duels. for 40. 10 multi kill rounds, 7 0. I mean, a lot of important kills. You know, guys stepping up on Movistar. That entry from Oppos on Fallen. It seemed they had the setup to stop them on ramp and then just with that kill on Serato, Alex just in time with the flank, Yuri aggressive again. I like this. Good flash from his team to set him forward, almost whiffs the spray. Is he going to get out again? He won't even try. They come into support and HE grenade could be nice, but it's not deep enough. Look where he's gone to. He just drops that smoke, stands right next to it and oh. almost gets another. Alex Imagine. lucky to be alive there. Oh, did Mopo seek Serato? I don't think so. And if Fallen gets spotted, that's bait. That's perfect. Fallen hit that. 
The wild, wild west right now outside as they take their 10 paces forward towards Keiserato. He's all that stands between Movistar and a 2-0. and Yeehaw! Keiserato not going to be getting through there. The Wild West is too much for them today. And Movistar, two men stand before them. Between them and the W, and Cello and Art, what can they do? They have to take a gamble. They're staying on the upper side, and it is the right gamble, but do they have the tools for the job? Absolutely not. Furia <laughs> with a strong second half, some redeeming rounds, but ultimately too many holes in the boat. They will drown in this BO3. Cello hits his, but they're just going to run down secret and guarantee this, secure this. A shot in the back will do it. Hop, skip, and a jump to their second match. It's Movistar Riders, two and zero, looking forward to face Gamer Legion as they try and make a run to the playoffs. It's certainly within reach now for the Spanish core. A new roster on their second pro league, and last time they even made it to playoffs, so it's not out of the realms of possibility here for the Movistar Riders. For Furia, pack it up, give it another go, and attempt it in your next. We have our wonderful deck waiting by. Yeah, that was quite the emotional roller coaster, wasn't it? Oh. Bobby Star starting off incredibly hot on that CT side. Furia answering back uh, with quite the effort. But uh, yeah, Mobby Star Riders going to be coming out on top, as Hugo Atley said, taking on Game of Legion in the next step, Jacob. That was uh, a bit surprising, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I thought Furia had more to offer in this game. I was highly impressed with uh, Mobby Star Riders, especially this new performance. That was uh, very much back and forth. Going up 10-0 and then all of a sudden find yourself in a position where you're prone to lose, you're down on a T side, you're not doing good, and still find a way to come back. That was very impressive by uh, Movistar Riders. Yeah, I mean, we definitely know Kei Serato's back. You know, yeah. I was a bit yeah. concerned uh, after seeing, uh, you know, that uh, as dip in form as well as, of course, the health <laughs> concerns. <laughs> Great. It's all part of the fun. There we go. Is that your face after watching that match, Janko? No, I'm happy. You happy? Yeah, yeah. because I, I think we said Movistar are going to be better than people expect. Yep. And they played True. really solid CS. Yep. I mean, sure, you expect Furia to do more than they did, but yeah, they just didn't. It's true. And that was it. They did Thank not. you for at tuning least, in, guys. At um, least we'll Serato, yes. <laughs> Serato has later. to drop, I guess, 40 for them to win. I How many get, like 36 yeah. or something yeah, like that? 35. Still wasn't enough. He ended on. But like coming back from an 11 0 deficit, we make it a competitive game. Like, still some signs of life there, but way too little, too late, unfortunately, yeah. for Fury. Takeaways from the newbies on the side of Movie Star Riders. If we're going so to do a Adam, temperature Adam's check, top like, friend, right? Yeah, so yeah, they yeah. just, just came in from Saw, and then we've got Adams coming in as well. They actually look pretty decent. I think as a, as a whole unit, they were playing some very good fundamental yeah. CS. And that's what we wanted to see. Bear in mind, coming to this tournament, uh, Movistar Riders have posted 11 maps this season with this roster. Mm. So we're still finding out. Uh, I think Blade mentioned himself that this team, uh, they've once tasted caviar. Once you have the taste of caviar, you want to get it back. They want to get back into their winning ways. And uh, this is a good start. So if you look back at their pro league runs, so that with Cream yeah. Pius, they went, what, 5-0 and zero in Season 16. Next season went 0-5. and five. Now maybe back to the golden run. Ooh. Maybe we could see the perfect streak here. Mm. I like it's, that. It's not out of the realms of possibility. I, mean, I do yeah. think the caveat is that it was Furia, and Furia, we've known, have been posting very volatile results. Nuke especially has been super weird and volatile where they bailed themselves out with auto-snipers last time. A misfire there. But, you know, they bailed That's themselves chat. out with, uh, with auto-snipers on the last Nuke, I remember. And, uh, yeah, it just this time again, it looked a bit messy. It looked like people weren't necessarily comfortable. Listen, Nuke is not a map where you've play double up for six rounds on the CT side. It's just not. And it's not because, like, you can say, oh, but what what was Art doing wrong or what's the problem with that? It's like when you have an op, obviously, you don't have a rifle. Yeah. And you're, you're way mobile. Way more mobile you're way more mobile with a rifle. There's way more things you can do. If you want to leave ramp, you can help Yard when a guy is sneaking and killing Yuri in the back every single, you know, every other gun round. There's different things you can do. It's yeah. just a... I, I just... Philosophically, some of the things that you're seeing, it's like, sure, they're still winning rounds, but how did they win some of the rounds with the double up? Because they stacked 4A in a round where Movistar went and wrapped A, and some other things happened. It's, 
I feel I just, like they should have learned from that, though, because we saw that in Cologne as well. I think they played double Auburn in front hey. a couple of times. Hey. And it, Hello, it make yeah. It. Join us riders. on these uh, very comfortable sofas. Uh, Congratulations, gentlemen, <laughs> first you. of all. Um, that, yeah, we were just talking about the emotional roller coaster that was that second map. Yeah. Can you tell us from your perspective, or well, standing behind them, uh, what was going on there? You mean the whole map? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, go on. Yes, brother. <laughs> get in, give, us, get involved. give us your take. Oh, we've got I, more. I, I don't good. know. I don't know. I think we were... We were pretty confident on the map. We were ready for the for the new. Mm. Uh, we started really good on the city side, and um, you know, between the between the, in, in the half, I talked with the, with the team and I said, guys, just don't watch, don't see the score, just focus on the on the runs, stay stay together, stay as a unit, and um, just trust in our in our in our strats, in our system, and uh, I don't know, it it, it works. Um, it feels really good to win to win again against a really good team. We respect them a lot. Mm. And um, yeah, I don't know. Here we are. We're what is writing the storyline, oh, right? That, that you guys like playing at, at Pro League and you always yeah. do better here at Pro League than, than you do online. I see you wearing the ESL socks as well. So yeah. what is, <laughs> hey, what is you guys and, and Pro League doing well here? I mean, this is our fourth Pro League, I think, in a row. Yeah, I mean, this is crazy for, for, for the Spanish community. Yeah. We are, we are like, um, we don't have too many players. Uh, in Spain, our system are, or, and our structure in in in, the, in the Spanish Counter Strike is really really low. I can say, yeah. and uh, it's super difficult to be to be here to be here and not only come here but compete against sure. the teams. And um, we are going to fight until the end. How's it been integrating the new boys as well? You got your two veterans up here uh, with Adams and. Uh, who was the other just, guy? just. That was it. Was just that. Um, yeah. How they integrating into the team and uh, finding this environment. Really good. Really good. He he speaks uh, fluent Spanish. Nice. And that uh, also helps because there is not not a big difference between Portuguese and and, and Spanish. And um, I don't know. I, um, I can feel like he's an experienced player because he played uh, also big tournaments with 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 uh, his so, previous team with So. So yeah. And uh, he brings us a lot of energy, new things, um, and we are learning. We are learning a lot. Yeah, I have a question for, I guess, you, Alex, because in that second half, obviously you had a big lead and they're coming back and the game is close, but you guys were playing well. You, you found openings, like the things you were doing was working. So how do you sort of, what, what are you saying in timeouts? So or what was the vibe? Because you lost some unfortunate rounds, but you weren't playing bad. Yeah, we were ma making the entry like almost every single round. And we were losing like close rounds. Uh, we were like going towards A and they were three on A, for example, or, I mean, they, 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 they were like gumball a little bit. So I just, uh, I, I, I didn't say anything special. Yeah, just yeah, uh, keep playing the, the same. We are doing uh, really good. And yeah, I mean, just um, believe in us. Cool. Yeah. Considering you guys are like, you know, the veterans of Movistar, how much say do you have in terms of like the roster changes and new yeah. players you're yeah. bringing in? Do you have uh, any kind of yeah, say well, in that matter? I <laughs> Not no. Really. No. no, nothing. Nothing. No input. What about you, Mapo? <laughs> Where does that you, come you from? Does, it, does yeah. it come from the, uh, the uh, management? That's from here. I don't even hear you, so it's really. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you know what it is. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. No, you, I mean, you can tell us. Yeah. He, he, he wants to talk. I think. Uh, do, do you have any say <laughs> in terms of the new roster moves? Considering you've been on the team for when so long. When you change players, do you like have input because you're the veteran player now, or does no one ask you and you just play? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I always just try to, to, to make everything for the team. Just giving some uh, some shots. Uh, uh, just uh, try to meet Colin if Alex needs, or just trying to get the space. Just so for example, we just uh, try to get uh, some space. And afterwards, I always uh, just tell them, okay, guys, wait. I'm gonna discover some information for you. After we uh, after this, uh, we can just keep continue to play. So just uh, having new players in the team is uh, is good because. Uh, they, they are people that uh, is listening to me uh, and I'm feeling pretty confident mm -hmm. with them. So like there's a lot of mutual trust in this roster of five. Yes, you of can course. see that in your gameplay quite of quickly. Course. I have been here for almost five years, I think. Yeah. Uh, I'm with Gary. We are right. the, coaches, <laughs> uh, the oldest coaches here uh, in, the same, in the same organization. And uh, uh, Mopoth has been here for six years, seven years. Yeah, six years. Yes. Wow. And uh, I'm Alex, almost the same. So yes, there is um, a mutual agreement. Between yeah. Us, yeah, yeah, same goals, same objectives. But plugging new guys into that system, mm -hmm. I imagine that's a lot on you. On you, that's yeah. a lot of your I, responsibility. At least I try. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what have, What has been your kind of most provable, pro provably successful approach? Is it you know, is it cliche team bonding? Like, let's all go out no. to the movies. No, <laughs> I mean, I to be honest, I don't know how the other teams works. Yeah. So uh, I have my own system, yeah. and uh, yeah, um, it's all about um, learning process. 
uh, and the most important thing for all the team to to enjoy that 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 uh, that moment. And, yeah. uh, I think that's the most important thing. When you come here and you see that every everything everything works. You did speak about the the Spanish scene and, and community yeah. right now, saying that there's maybe not a lot of players. But do you have a feeling that there's more and more talent coming, or is it still stagnating within the Spanish community? Uh, it, it's <laughs> the face well, it yeah. all. Um, it's difficult. It's difficult. Of, of course, we have players. Are, are people not playing? Or yeah, they're not good enough? Or what's what's difficult? Well, we don't have tournaments in Spain, for okay. example. If, if, we if, have one. Yeah. We have one. We have the, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, of, course, okay. of course. We have the, 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 the real regional tournament in, in for ESL okay. in Spain. But that's the only thing that we that we now yeah, and have. Just uh, for example, uh, talking about the Spanish teams, is just there is no no an issue that there is a. Uh, a good players uh, uh, alongside them, but it's uh, like there is uh, kind of impossible to have another team with five players that is going to work in a top level in Spain uh, right now. But in the Italy, they are they, we, we have some players that are really good. Yeah. That's why, for example, we are always just like okay, maybe we it's really hard to get a, a new player when we just uh, have uh, any issues in the team. But in the moment that we just get them. We it's, for for us it's even a surprise because they are even good. So yeah. it's it, it's good. One thing that is just important is that when, when we sign a player, for example, Adams, this is his first international or really good tournament. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like, uh, for example, we need to show him how to set up the computer oh, and wow. stuff. And it's crazy because this happened, uh, this was the same with Sumpayus, with ABG. I mean, we are trying to, to show them and uh, let them rise as yeah. players. Well, yeah, that experience sets them up for, uh, for the, for the green pastures that yep. they're heading towards. Yeah. Maybe in the Movi jersey as well. I mean, you guys picked up the win. I hear Hang a phone on. ringing. I hear a phone. Yeah, should I, should I take Freya, this? Freya, you have yeah. the phone. Tell them I'm not home. <laughs> Hello? Okay. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll let him know. Jacob, get, it, get out of here. What? Yeah. Oh, you're out. out. How about time, man. Wow, dude, it's you finally caught day. up with him. <laughs> I can't believe That's this day, man. The audacity of him. Well, yeah, see you later. Uh, we'll be seeing you guys soon because you're going to be playing up against Gamer Legion next oh. game. They just took down Greyhound. Did you expect yes. that? Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. In a 2-0 oh. fashion? Um, they want to show Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what the thing that, that we were expecting, yeah. <laughs> yeah? To be honest, yeah. And you're going to take them down? Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Back Back in the to fight, that's 100% sure. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, thank you so much, gentlemen. Any, uh, any final thoughts? Anything you want to say to all the Spanish fans watching at home? Thank you. Can, can I speak in Spanish? Yeah, yeah of course. course. Yeah, yeah. Um, where's my camera? That one right there. Oh, this one right there. This one? Okay. Um, muchas gracias a todos por apoyarnos. Por, espero que disfrutéis con estos torneos que que intentamos brindaros. Eh, es nuestra cuarta Pro League, ya sabéis lo importante que es y el valor que tenemos que darle a todo esto. Y os prometemos que pelearemos como siempre y vamos a pelear hasta el final. Yep. Nice. Awesome. Thank you very much, Let's go. Yeah. We'll Vamos. let you uh, go off and uh, celebrate. Maybe, you know, get some apple juices on the balcony because it's nice weather here, isn't Our it? Our celebration is to prepare the next game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, Great PR answer. Everyone back answer. to your computers. Thank you very much, Jen. <laughs> get your ass out of here. <laughs> no worries. Oh, I'll look after that. Don't worry. Uh, whilst the guys leave the set, should we bring up our US Air Force aim high? Uh, guys, any inklings of who's maybe coming in on this one? Any, um, uh, top you players? would think maybe Case Arata they won the game, but uh, we've got Alex with a strong series. Hey, round six on Nuke as well. We got that four man spray down. They let them all by. Yeah. That was a world class play. Really amazing stuff from him. So, yeah, deserved the captain's performance there. Delivered. A Very much so. I just love yeah. how they played, man. They just play. If you want to look at team, play their own game, that was that. Yeah. Not play scared, play to win. You know, they decide to do things, it's, it's not always correct. Yeah, this round was sick, but they just stick to their guns. And even when Fury started coming back on Nuke, they didn't falter. They still managed to close out the game. So it's just a fun team to watch. Yeah, it was interesting as well to hear from Blade how when they, even though they got off this flying start, his main feedback was like, let's not look at the score. Don't think about mm. the score because it works both ways. You know, you can't. Absolutely. You, you're sitting there thinking it's already done. 11 0 to 11 4. That's going to be scaring Ooh, you a little bit. But they managed to uh, course correct and stick the landing. So it didn't even go to overtime. No problem. Do you see them taking down Gamer Legion in that next series? Obviously, they're going I, on in tandem, so we have to rely like on team. both. I think uh, we have we need to see more of them. Obviously, Gamer Legion are on the up as well. Yeah. Uh, very convincing performance against Greyhound. I think it's going to be a three mapper, and I think Movistar Riders can do it. I think it's actually looking quite possible now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't dispute that. I think it's definitely possible. Uh, I would probably give Gamer Legion the edge 
Um, okay. Even though Movistar have, have already showed some exemplary Counter Strike. Yeah, you have to watch that game. Yanko is <laughs> the interesting one just because he's kind of he went in probably with a furious slight heavy favor, slight favorite. Now he's seen them and he likes the Counter Strike. Does that mean you'd give him the edge against GL? I think it's going to be a fun game. I, I can't really tell. You know, probably a little bit messy and going. I'm not going to go into details. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know who plays what and all that stuff. I just think both teams have a decent chance of winning the yeah. game. You know, there's not yeah. a clear massive favorite in that one and both will feel really good coming into the game because the other team the team on the other side isn't a vitality or yes, someone true. else and whoever wins that game is in the playoffs i forgot true. one thing here um this was called the upset bell right and i didn't ring it when the up that's an upset that is an I upset. Think you, think you, lose, you lose your badge oh really yeah you lose a badge for that if I, why? Wait, why are you making up the rules now? Are, are, are you the captain? I thought we were just supposed to ring the bell. I the upset <laughs> triangle. The yeah. upset yeah, triangle. Yeah, actually, one, two, three, v one, uh, uh, null and void. Upset triangle. Thank you. Upset triangle. What happens when you ring this exactly? Well, it's going to be a good tournament. Sounds it's really good week. Sound, it no, means a, we've got a good week. We've got yeah, good because, games uh, all week. A good team goes down goes into down. the lower okay, bracket, so it's, so it's not, yeah. you know, all right, if I think you think you're You know what that sound also means, Henry? We need to go to a break, don't we? Because we've got plenty more Counter-Strike on the cards. We've also got some fun and games because NIP taking on a strong Rallis will be up next on this very stream, but not before uh, we have some funny games. Uh, see you after the break for those. For only nine euros and 99 cents. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. What in the f is going on right here? Move, move, move! Oh, you like this, don't you? Oh, yeah. And now, moving on to the monitors. You guys ready for me now? Uh, my name is Gabriel, nickname is Fallen, I play for Furia. And yes, I have been camping before. Uh, I have done a camping with my father when I was younger. And it was super fun, we had so many histories. We almost crashed the car, so it's a, a fun trip. My name is uh, Andre, uh, I also know as Art. I play for Furia. I have been camping, I think, twice. My first camping experience, I think it lasted for uh, two hours because it was raining a lot and the, the tent was not holding the water, so we had to leave. <laughs> Super power to my arch enemy. I would give him the teleporting skills so he can get out of me. <laughs> Best skills, I'm gonna bring my guitar. I saw the wallpaper on the PCs and they have a, a CS character playing the guitar, so I'm gonna have to bring it. Which song? I'll play uh, Spirit Bird. Uh, I don't think they know the lyrics, but they have been listening to it, so I think they will recognize the list. Uh, we, we will throw Yuri at the bear, because he has more meat, so the bear is going to be <laughs> very busy for a long time, <laughs> so he can run. <laughs> He's going to take some time for the bear, so for us to run. I have not been long enough with them to know who can cook well or not, but I strongly believe that none of them can really cook, so I think it's gonna be up to me and I'm not that good at it either. If I had to cook to them, I would probably do rice and steak and salad. That's pretty much what, what I can do. We are the best campers in the group uh, because we have some old guys in the team. I think life experience it go goes quite far in the camping things. <laughs> ESL Pro League is brought to you in part by Intel, Asus Republic of Gamers, DHL, the United States Air Force, 1X Bat, Monster Energy, and Gaming Malta. You love it, you wear it. What's your style? Get your merch at shop.eslgaming.com.
Well, hello and welcome back. Chad has a whistle. I have one too, but it is extraordinarily loud. I got loud. Brolin's attention. He yeah. heard the whistle. He immediately, he snapped into action. So he can join Team Counter if he wants. What are they doing over there, Chad? Oh, they're getting ready to play a match today. Oh, that's right. That would be the ninjas in set pajamas. Yeah. We're about to play a match as well. Yeah. Uh, Should we explain things. the concept? Yeah, I think we do. Chad, uh, I think obviously there's this wheel here. People are probably looking at this like, what the hell is this all about? Well, that's what we were thinking when we saw it as well. Exactly. Uh, so we found a use case for it. We need, a, we need help uh, with the naming from the people at home. So use mm -hmm. the hashtag ESL Pro League, let us know. But this is essentially duels between members of talent. Five players on each team, Team Counter and Team Strike. And we are going to anonymously, you and I get to pick which player goes in which day. They only get to play one day of 1v1s. And on here we have five different versions of 1v1s available. Mini maps, Scouts Knives, AIM Redline, Orp India, or a CS2. 1v1. Now, I have selected my champion. Who is your champion? Do you want to give him a bit of an introduction here? Do you here? want to give up your champion? Uh, I, look, at some point here, well, we're gonna, one of us is going to have to. Don't stun lock me here, Sarge, all right? Can you you want to go first, Team Strike? All You've right. got the most badges for the day. Yeah, it's true. We do have several badges. In fact, while we're here, let me just run it back a little bit. We did get Ace of Spades. We got Clutch Minister. You snooze. I defuse. Uh, in addition to winning, I guess the, that's official. The heads up. I thing suppose over that's there. official. Okay, anyway. Well, it's was said on broadcast. I wouldn't want any RG bargy at the end of the day. All right, well, so. announce your champion. We need. We got him sitting here My waiting. My champion. Who have you selected for day number one? With the first day of ESL Pro League, Team Strike has selected Hugo Byron. Round of applause for Hugo Byron. Even my team is clapping your champion. I love so, that. Uh, okay. I love that. Well, uh, we can send one Hugo B. Byron. Uh, give everybody a wave, Hugo, just in case the people at home don't know exactly who he is. If we could fix, show him on camera, Just everybody. wave, Hugo. Just, yeah, there you go. That's Hugo, guys. This is it. <laughs> Hugo, if you want, you can get up and make your way over there to start warming up. Uh, we will let you know the game mode momentarily, so Hugo can make his way over. Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't have an in-ear, and he can't hear No, it, it nah, really nah, is nah, kind nah, of just sign no language. what's going on. All right. Well, uh, why did you pick Hugo? For a multitude of reasons. Uh, honestly, when I started looking at the numbers, I started crunching them, thinking like, okay, who are going to be my closers? And who okay. do I want as a heavy hitter to start the, the entire you've thing really, You've really screwed the pooch there, haven't you? Because Trace, Stun Dog, Saranthus. Yes. I have picked a heavy hitter. I have who picked one of Denmark's finest. Played at majors, gets it done on the desk. Still a sprightly lad. Could cycle Hugo under a bloody bus. This guy's not messing around. New kid of the camp block. First time here in this format. Come on, it's man. Jacob Pimp oh. Rineke! And yeah. there he is. Look at that. Mid at best. Now, he's a cool guy. He's in healthy shape. All I this. picked a major player against That's Hugo. That's awesome. Hugo just ran a marathon. Get over there, Jacob. Start warming up, mate. Get it in for team counter. Uh, now we need to pick the game mode. Yeah, we do. Chad, I don't know. Uh, I guess either you spin or I spin. I or spin. We get somebody random to spin. Uh, we'll spin. All okay. right. So, are you ready? Are you ready? All right, go. Do it. Yes, sir. Ooh, really wanting aim map for Pimp here. We're going to find it with oh, CS2. No way. Straight Oof. out the gate here. Oof. Okay. Well, we're going to have to go and set that up. We're going to have yeah. you and I as the camp counselors go set up the battlefield. But you know, Chad, the real thing here is why are we doing all this in the first place? It's a great question. There's really only one crew of people capable of lassoing all that together. Hopefully. And here they go. That's yeah, right. fingers crossed, Trace. <laughs> these guys. Uh, <laughs> you get these, these guys. guys. Um, CS2, Freya? Yeah, CS2. Huh? Uh, CS2. Yeah, well, it doesn't man. bode well at all for us. I feel, I feel great happy. about CS2 He's being so yeah. confident. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Well, look at him. He's a professional. He's not playing that. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's he's not used to it. Like, if it was like 1.6, something like that, something a little older for the, no, you know, no. elderly whoa, guy. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. A mystery bird. I think his name is... Jason. Freedom. 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 Kind of like Jason. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and actually, oh, oh, he dropped something. Uh, oh. oh, what is this? A mystery list. Uh -huh. Should we? A list. Should we unveil? Can you help me? I've only got one hand. <laughs> there you go. What is the list saying? The list. You probably want to talk about this. Us three don't want to talk about this oh, because this is you've about, already got you know four what? of these. This is the bad system. Is haven't the we already bad gone over system. this? No, no, we haven't. <laughs> this is brand new information, <laughs> Matt Just May. one more time. It's just been delivered by a bird. Yeah, I think it's by freedom, oh, yeah. well, man. Don't disrespect freedom. Right? <laughs> like, we got told about this early, but that's okay. Right. Uh, Shall look, we go through them? Through it again? We'll just go from well, the I don't for understand it still. So, well, I mean, we haven't been through the badges. I don't know what you're waffling about. He might have missed the badges. We haven't been through this. We've oh, been through it in the green room. It wasn't badges. real. We weren't live. Mike. Activity badges. Yes, right. activity badges. So yeah. I, I opened up the other page, which had the teams, and I thought we already went over that. No, 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 no. This is just two badges. Pages. Yeah, There's yeah, a yeah. whole two pages, Matt. Can you Mac, handle it? Yeah. Let's start on the first page. I can only so, count to one so, right, right, right. Go, Let's go back. Let's go back. Because mm -hmm. you guys have already 
knocked off three, oh, three, that's four, <laughs> three of these badges. <laughs> Neither of us can count. Um, right. Which ones you were You have they? knocked off the Ace of Spades. Ace of yeah. Spades. Serato got an ace. Yeah. You. Yeah. Right. Yeah. you called that out. You were very eager. immediately. Um, which other ones do uh, you snooze, snooze, I diffuse. You snooze, I diffuse. Yeah, diffuse was, uh, a bomb uh, within less than half a second remaining. Oh, that was mm -hmm. Alex on overpass. That was Alex on overpass, was, yeah. Was it entry frag? And then the bleeding edge. No, it was... Did you get no, the no, 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 no. We got a... Uh, it was the one for clutch clutches. Minister? Clutch minister. Uh, clutch clutch minister. minister. Win two clutches, two clutches, clutches in a best of three. Best of three. So okay. badges already. Yes, and, and they have the fourth we got because the four. they won... Oh, a, was there any hold of ones in the mini goal? The technical pause? There was no technical pause, yeah. No one hold it. Because no Chad order. laid over the hole and we weren't allowed to hit the well, ball. That moves so. us Chad on. broke the rules because oh, things weren't going his way. All right. Chad tends I to do no that when he's losing, actually. he changes the rules. Yeah, yeah, no, it, was, it was a good game. defensive talk strategy, about honestly. Rules and then we'll talk about that character. So, badge, tech shall we? pause Ooh. is yeah. in. Well, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. I think we need to badges. focus on that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, they're the in game achievement badges. These are the in game achievement badges. So, Mac, which ones do we have left on the in game achievement badges? What do we have left up for grabs? gone through. We have entry fragger. So, if someone achieves six opening kills in one half, of a game, you can claim Whoa. that. Oh, for hell of a game they'll be having. So that's a big entry. Well, it right. should have happened in that Mobistar game on Nuke, you know, it was yeah, crazy. It was uh, Mac 10 expert achieved four Mac 10 kills within a group or playoff. Wait, so you're doing the whole group? That's, that's, one player, that's one what it player. reads, but yeah, I feel but like we should change it to like a game. Three games you get four Mac 10 kills. You have to keep track it of that. It one map. Point. Yeah. One map? One round, yeah. anti-eco. Are we changing the rules? I don't know who's rules. Okay, uh, actually, yeah, I'm reading first. it again, Freedom. and Mac, I think you just read it wrong. At the same it's time, Henry. Just in one game. Oh, you want to do it yeah, one yeah, map? Yeah, yeah. I think it does make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah right? Four 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 one Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> what am I doing here? And we have one more left. The correct? Bleeding Edge bleeding achieved edge. two knife kills in a best of three. So that's achievable. One team or one player? One player. One no, player. I think one that's, player a, that's a team. No. Read it. I can't. I'm just asking. There's a question mark at the end there. That was a question mark. What do you think it is? I, I would say the team gets one knife kill in a game is pretty unheard of. Two is pin? kind of nuts. And then for one player to get that, that's unheard of. Okay, yeah, let's say two then. Yeah, we, a yeah, team we can, gets we two knife uh, kills. Yeah, Freedom, what do you think? Freedom, why have you given us an unfinished document? <laughs> that's what I want to know. Yeah, well, what, what is it saying? Oh, unless I can't you, repeat that. That's I mean, you guys can get some of map. these, but you guys exactly. can't get the, the Ace of Spades. That's yeah. only... One each week, like the one. first players. So yeah, we yeah, already yeah, it's it's oh, dude, we just stand winning. Um, and you but, thought okay, you right, thought right, we right. were stuck with Movistar in the end. No, I picked Movistar. True. There's other opportunities. Though. Let's go NIP Astral. Well, NIP. Yeah. Let's go NIP. Uh, yeah, oh, Harry and Alex, don't sweat too much. We also have the activity badges. Now that's uh, where I'm going to shine. I've think. been known to do activity. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So up first, artist, draw a portrait of another talent. I'm fantastic at drawing. Does it have to be good? Well, yes, best, best picture, picture wins. wins. Oh, yeah, best but yeah, based yeah. on, uh, I would imagine, an uh, independent art critics. So yeah, yeah, I mean, we've got plenty of those. Yes. Yeah. Like that, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, badge number hmm. two, environmentalist. Craft something for a gamer using recycled materials. Most creative a wins. A gamer. Yeah, for right. a gamer. I can do that. I'm not doing We're that. We're all gamers. <laughs> I can't do that. Out of Harry. Materials. I love building yeah, things. Yeah, you made the car I'll last time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The monster yeah, yeah. I, like, I like building the things. I'll do that. Yeah, yeah. That's that was kind of a high well, he's not on our team, Henry, ideas, so... Ideas. What's that? Well, he's not on our team. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't yeah. actually give him any yeah. tips. Yeah. No, man, I appreciate yeah. it. Cheers, yeah, man. Yeah, very enough. good sport. <laughs> Henry's just uh, a nice person. I need Trying. to say... Not very competitive. Rush is no. pretty crafty. Yeah. Is Rush on a team? He's not. He's, no. he's an adjudicator. He's a uh, Maybe okay. of this challenge Independent well. adjudicator. Rush, you down? Badge number three, astronomer. Pitch... Oh, do a 60-second pitch on which planet is best. Best presentation wins. Ooh, okay. easy, Another yeah, easy favorite, one. Favorite planet, yeah. right? I was going to say Jupiter, Jupiter too. Jupiter, easy, big. But now I'm already Massive. agreeing with you, man. Like, <laughs> maybe we're not so different after all, Henry. You know, <laughs> hey, actually, it's quite Five more weeks of this, you never know. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Get a little bit closer. Um, could explorer. Be, could be fun. This is a Can you one. not lie back so much Sorry. when you're touching <laughs> me like that? <laughs> <laughs> Why was I sat so far forward? It's got swallowed you by the couch. You guys realize you're on separate teams, right? You're not I know, meant actually, to. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like a Romeo and Juliet thing we're going for, you know, star-crossed lovers. Is there going to be like collusion happening? Absolutely teams? not. No. It would kind of ruin the collusion if we spoke about it, wouldn't true, it? Yeah, true. Like, True. You can do no your own fraternizing with no, the enemy. No, you're right, Yanko. No fraternizing. Um, we've got a lot with more activity enemy. badges, but last one I'm going to talk about now is the Explorer badge. Take a selfie the furthest distance away from the studio. Tell us about <laughs> that exploration journey. Okay. Do you I, have any... I mean, I was going to ask you for tips, Machine, because you live here. Yeah, so the furthest distance away. Now, yeah. Malta's not Gozo. that large. You know, Gozo mm. is off the edge of Malta. 
That is for sure. If you get on a boat for the challenge, you could get I think on a you're boat, winning. You could get on a boat to Sicily if you really wanted to game the system. I could fly back home. Yeah, well, <laughs> just I'm, take I'm a photo and come home. back. That's a threat, by the way. For a buzz. Hey, Mac, can, can we call on you, Dad? Yeah, mate. <laughs> yeah, all the way. <laughs> Give us a buzz on the big red phone. I'll be there. Mate, if you got a heads up, you could have totally sh shopped a picture. I've heard that Trace has a plan. Yeah. Trace has a plan for this. You I don't heard know. that He's in the green room, confident. right? He's far too confident. Something about going to the moon? Yeah, he I should try he going to Mars, space. I would say, because that is like, the considering the temperature and the size of it, I feel like that's one of the most viable options out of all the planets available. To True. Uh, You're going to pitch on Mars, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Well, uh, don't uh, call uh, my team remember, <laughs> Frank. That's the thing. You <laughs> just made this whole point in <laughs> sabotaging my efforts. Um, I, I think we are ready. Or almost it? ready. We are indeed ready for the 1v1 to ensue. Uh, so um, to can, I, can we get over there? Can we Jacob. create an atmosphere maybe? Yeah, uh, all our mics like are going to be... Death circle around them. Ooh, our mics are going to be live, so yeah. we need some commentary on this. Yeah, yeah? we're going to need your guys' commentary. Just, just over seems, there. Yeah. All right, yeah. all right. Uh, all over here. Yeah. Oh, first uh, right here. It's going right right to be right first to nine. All of us? Uh, first to give nine? us the. Re yeah, it has to be nine. Okay, That's yeah. what we got right. We played eight rounds in the first half. It's going to be first to nine. Emma, it's a shorty. It's a shorty format right here. Uh, now, CS2, we've had a couple of issues. Hugo, he doesn't use 16 by nine res, uh, which means we need to bring in a different cameraman here to film over the shoulder. <laughs> but we can make these things happen here at Pro League. That's why I picked uh, them. Both competitors, are you ready? Jacob. I'm so ready. Jacob's Jacob's ready. Hands, Hugo. Uh, Hugo, are you ready? We've got to warm up. Wow, that's actually making things worse. <laughs> oh, wow. What is it doing? He all used right, to play with there. Jordan Nothing Gilbert and he had to wash his hands all the time. All right, give us the restart, Mr. Jacob Pinvinicky, and away we go. Uh, if you want to come over here to bring the support, guys, I wouldn't have any issues with that if from Team Counter. It's up to you. But hey, uh, you if Team Counter wants I'm, to come over here, I'm all, I'm you, all if, for it. If I'm you want to win, it. let's go, Jacob. Or oh, Lego. Here we go. It's We're live, by the way, so no funny business. All right, this let's is go, it. Jacob. He's in, the, he's, in, he's in the thick of things right now. Up to the yellow segment. Spotted him out off the ladder. Ooh, this is great play here from Jacob. What in the nerd is going on around here? This is, uh, we're going. Bang! Yeah! This is so gonna, look, easy. We're going, we, Hugo. They, they both, Show him off. I'll let you guys know, they both chose to use sound here. It was optional. They both they both opted to go with sound here. In a one now, one. Chad, I think it'd be fair Look to say, Pimp is known to be an orphan, right? right? So he face. should have the upper hand here. Well, right now, what are you doing, like Jacob? We're distracting him. Yeah, uh, there we go. And, he's, and, and Hugo's even talking smack here. Here's the thing, Pimp has the what pressure of actually being like a respected figure within Counter-Strike. Hugo doesn't have that same thing to worry about. Absolutely, no one respects Hugo. Exactly. I think that's uh, going to give him an edge here, and it just keeps bang. on happening. It just keeps happening. Hugo stays winning. Team uh, Strike, we're winning. This <laughs> game right now. Strike. Yeah. See, this, yes. is, this is the thing. Like I've taken our, I've taken our prize possession, uh, our prize horse. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Our first it's it's early day. Horse now is he? Max looking at that man in his soul. So he's got big thick. Glasses frames though, so I feel yeah. like he can't see me. Yeah, and Jacob can't hear me, but I want to tell him that Hugo is a dirty hard scope. Bang! Oh! 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 Was he trying please. to no scope? What was going on there? <laughs> yeah, he was trying to no scope. <laughs> All right. You know, he's trying to put a bit of style on it. Pain. Flex Jacob on wouldn't him. get that. He he's never did. Got, yeah. Oh, oh, see, Jacob, yeah. He's, he's, it's he's okay. Everybody's flicking the switch now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's that's he's he's he won't be getting another frag. Flick the switch. Trace, who are you going to pick for the next one? We want. Who are you going to? Would you like to know? Chad Burchill. I would like to know. Spongy. You're gonna have you. You look, mate. If you get any ringers this time around, we're gonna have a really. I would pick a ringer for the next segment that we're doing, but you know. Oh, oh dear! Very easy. Okay, the crumble Critical. now. This is uh, the well. scoreline we're playing. We're three. Well, uh, I think first we're going to swap a, swap halves at uh, eight. So in two rounds' time. Okay. So, yeah, first to nine, like a shorty. Yeah, we'll see if Hugo okay. changes his res again. Well, he, no, he can't. It'll, it'll screw the viewing even more, I think. Well, that's what I'm saying. He doesn't already care. He's already he inconvenienced the yeah, broadcast. We're to get but dogs. this is how many CS2 one v ones have you ever seen? Zero. This is CS2 Yo. right here. Come on. This is a big round. You got this. You got this. Both fighters on the ropes here. CS2's got desync. They've lost track of each other. Well, that's the sub tick right there, really. Oh, they have oh, really lost each other in the oh, oh, oh. There is a bit of rap behavior going Jacob. on here, isn't there? We did say fun mandatory. Where's he hiding? He's around there somewhere. I feel, like like Jacob. Jacob. I feel like it could be extended to both oh. of you. Oh. Come on. No! no! The Doesn't get much closer than also, that. Also, the sidearms haven't come oh, out here. There are so deagles the deagle in is allowed. Play. There okay. are deagles in Wow, it's in the map. Oh, yeah, he's thinking about it. Mate, I, I should have made the round. Oh, 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 no, James! Oh, 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 you got this. Hugo with a bit of, a bit of spice We here. have three in a row. We'll give him one. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's right all right. Just like, this is just like a VP game. We're going to have all the rounds and then some. Tie this up nicely here, A few here, more Jacob. minutes on the clock. Give it to me. Oh, the shift key coming out a bit here. I don't know how it's operating on the Hugo camp, Trace. How much shift key are we seeing? Uh, none. 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 He's, He's full spring. Oh, yeah! Yes, I've got a question. Nah, 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 I've got a question. What's on the line here? Is there a badge? 
Is that it? Well, there, so there's okay. Chaos. Okay. Okay. Nervous. Nervous. They've already got four badges. But so there's just... five 1v1s across okay, the true. course the end of, of all week, these days. Right? So we right? don't, doesn't lose it all here. Yeah, okay. it, you know, there's there's prize on the line. Um, that, which means ultimately they're already doubting you, Jacob. Well, so we just take doubting. that as we you will. I mean, you, the option. you said yeah. he's like your prized Mustang or whatever, right? So this could be like horse racing in that the loser gets taken out back and turned into glue. Bloody Turned into glue. Yeah. We don't even like put him on the wall or anything. No. Straight glue factory. Okay. Oh, that, was Chris. Like that was Chris. That's, that's a statement right That's what we paid for. That's yeah, what we paid Q for. Well, that's sportsmanship right there. Have yeah. you heard about it, Chad? And that's what we're all about over here on Team uh, hey, Strike. Don't make yeah. me blow <laughs> my whistle. <laughs> don't make me blow my whistle around here. Here we you go. What's blow the score? My whistle. Uh, four, four, wait, four, four, five. five. Ooh, come oh, on now. Five, five. On, Aim small, miss small, Hugo. That's what they always say. It's a classic. Hey, my God. Kills with Hugo now. He's really under Look the pump. Look at him go, Chad. Don't get that man Hugo's a close to victory. That's when he gets, starts getting his own head. Maybe you can start Jacob. streaming Hugo as well. Oh, oh wow. he is well, absolutely I, I, destroying it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not even close. Pack it up. It's not even close. Jacob's got this. Jacob's got this. People this. subscribe to this shit. Absolutely not sweating. <laughs> Here we go. Easy go. You can see him line that one up. No problem. Yanko's banter there. That's a yellow. That's a yellow card. What did you say? I got a yellow card. For you the, right here. I thought the glue factory was a red, but actually, yeah, probably was. You just well, got a yellow and a red from the on your horse team. federation or something. Oh, the, the International Horse Federation of Malta. Oh, yeah, the IHFM. <laughs> <laughs> right next to H and M. Not to get them confused. That's a tournament going on in Romania right now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we're actually going to be kicking up the polo tournament here next week. Let uh, him know. Maybe he's round. Maybe he's round. Oh, oh he's he's good. Good. I missed it. You got it. You got it. Just relax. Don't get yourself. nervous. Don't get nervous, Hugo. Whatever you do, don't get nervous, man. Don't overthink it. Oh. oh. It's all tied up here. Oh. That's what we love You're better than him, Hugo. You One shot. This, Hugo. One opportunity. Let's go, Hugo. This is for the tie. It's Jacob tie. hasn't felt this there pressure is, in there years. There is no overtime. If we it's a tie, Jacob. it's a tie. There's no overtime. We do. Oh, Jacob, oh, we like love that, you. Hey. Get out of here. Hey. Hey. We can't lose. We can't We're lose. We guaranteed the draw. That's it. We We're can't guaranteed lose. the draw. But it's one you. more round. One more, Jacob. Come on. Bring Did it home. Some shit talk in the chat? Let him know. Uh, Did he type? I don't think he typed. No, he he could have typed. I saw the console. I, saw the console. I did see console too. Let him know who Team Strike is. Oh, oh no! Oh, no! no! Oh dear! What's the happening? I have no idea. What's no. happening? I'll oh, tap. No. I think he must have seen you, Jacob. He's seen you. He's seen him? Yeah, he must have done the reaction. No, it was an old tab. It was an old tab. Good. It's a draw. It for good. them. It's a draw. For them. For them. For them. C congratulations on the draw. Now, uh, I got my best horse. horse. No, 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 you recall, no, no, you no, say no, right, no, okay. then. No, there's nice. no OT. Because they both lost. Camber. Well, technically, they both have to throw it to break. So, Hugo, uh, Pim, come around here over towards me and Trace. They shook hands, yeah? Into this, this. Okay. into this camera. It was quite the battle. Uh, uh, no. Gentlemen, I can, if the two of you can throw us to break. Right he down tried. He went to major playoffs. And he couldn't even beat a British caster. Oh. And he was? You're a fucking camber. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all. Well, I guess we'll be needing a new AGL then. This is my, uh, this is my, my, my armor, dude. Kenny S, I know, it just gets weirder and weirder, right? <laughs> Kenny S, what's going on? Is he hot? Well, Kenny S, his, never his problems were the... Listen up, Mac, mate. This is your unofficial official guide to camp Counter-Strike. It's crucial you pay attention. You've got everybody who's everybody here over the next five weeks. First, we have the Queen Bees. I saw Zai Wu playing 4x3 stretched, so now I play 4x3 stretched. He's the star. Those other four, they're just these little workers. Then you've got the Danes. Do not, I repeat, do not mess with their ringleader. I hear his traps are insured for $10,000. The Librarian. And his entourage. How many years can he keep playing? The limit? The limit does not exist. The barbecue masters. These guys know how to throw on a shrimp or two, cook it up a storm in and out of a server. The black belts. Master of many things, but anything but covert. But this, this is the guy you should really be careful of. One time, he punched me in the face. It was awesome. Now these here on the fringes, Vicious animals. These are the underdogs. Three separate packs. Some have gone through a rough breakup over the summer. If anyone is looking for no flicks attached rebound, it's these guys. Others are no strangers to the sun. 
their bodies are already adapted to the high heats of camp life. You ever heard of orcs? If you thought they're only found in Warhammer, think again. They may be camp first timers, but keep an eye on this guy. He's a troublemaker. You may not think they pose a threat, but anything can and will happen on this island. Tough luck, babe. Struck out when you have about 30 chances. One bad day. Now you don't know how to pay for the damage. I don't wanna climb. If I'm gonna fall back, it's a waste of time. Keep winning. How the hell do you make it look so easy? I'm sitting here with uh, Config and Blame If. There used to be a time where you two were teammates. It's uh, It's been a while, it's been a long time ago, but how is it to be up against each other on the server nowadays? I mean, last time it wasn't that good, but I hope that it could be uh, it could be better this time. I didn't want to rub it in your face. Last time you guys did face off wearing uh, Cologne, and I think you got a total of 12 rounds over two maps, Config. How was, uh, how was that game going for you? I mean, I only remember the Armade, uh, so I don't really recall Cologne, on, if I'm being honest. You remember Cologne, yeah? You, uh, you absolutely smashed NIP last time. What went so well for you guys? I think we just had a good match, honestly. I'm not gonna sit here and trash talk him, even though he apparently is gonna trash talk me. I think I still think he's a good player, and I think they have a good team, and I think today's gonna be a, a more even match. You miss him a little bit? Yeah, I miss Kalle. I like Kalle. You had a very great string at uh, Cologne, there's no doubt about it. Uh, coming into this tournament, what are the expectations from the Astralis camp? I don't think we put expectations like result-wise, we have to get at a specific place. I think it's more about we have to replicate some of the counter-strike we showed down there. So to be able to show good counter-strike is a, a big focus of ours. And then if they're the better team, then they're the better team. But as long as we do the things that we spoke about, then we're happy about it. You usually have a hot take conflict before we go out. Are you going to win this game? I hope so, but I also know that they are playing 
better than uh, what they expected themselves and also what we expected from them. So I, I would also not trash talk blame, of course. And entire Astralis, I think they are they are doing good. But I will do mine to uh, to win this game this time. We uh, they had the upper hand last time we played, so this time this time we uh, we got a good veto. We'll see you in the server. This time we got a good. Well, Jacob, you know, you might not have got the W in the 1v1, I'm so but sad. all hope is not lost <laughs> because draw. you've got Dane on either side of the server. No, I'm so sorry, Chad. I let you down. No, but no, we didn't nah, lose. Yeah. Nah. We didn't lose. Nah, but I didn't win. You, know. you did lose, really. You went up against... Everybody lost. Let's be real. Right. Everybody that, lost. That, that's, that's saying, like, but it was Pimp versus Hugo. But Hugo loves the CS, too. True. True. I haven't played it. You know? See? Yeah. You think that's a qualifying right, factor but you, here? But, but Jacob, Pimp is your guy. Yeah, but I, yeah. that was the only format. Are you that I think, on Alex to beat someone? That's the only format in which I think Hugo would have <laughs> been able to level you? the playing field. <laughs> and it was a tie. It was a tie. <laughs> <laughs> I will defend my lads here. I'll tell you, Look, Alex has been in the headshot only should. death. I said to Alex, I said, headshot only death match. And he's been playing. He was in death match with me today. You're, I didn't see I didn't see any of your teammates in death match today. You're a sick, sick True. man. Yeah. I would never ask them to play death headshot to only death match. Well, you don't, you're not training them up here then, man. Because they don't need that against your guys. They just need to be confident <laughs> and do their okay, own thing. Right, yeah. right, you're putting right, pressure right. on them. Alex is going to be like, but they play death match and I'm not getting the kills. I'm losing 4-0. Why gonna, is this happening to me? And he's he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. Yanko, I love how you went for machine and you completely ignored that I'm going to have to play somebody in a 1v1. I just hope it's not Trace. He doesn't have a good track record. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's true. It's true. Maybe I against, can take down against Trace. Against female talent Maybe. in Counter-Strike. He lost a massive clutch to Frankie. <laughs> He, he lost one of the biggest clutches <laughs> bring in, in Well, Look, I once upon really a time, like, he was trying to be entertaining. Like Once upon a time, right, uh, Thorin said, I lost the worst 1v1 of all time against Freakazoid on cash. But I think Traces, it might have to be up there. It has to, it has to be in the conversation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, going to be, worse, gonna worse, be yeah, like yeah, a top yeah. three. A, a, an absolute fumble, I would say, Yanko. You got anything to say about that? <laughs> yeah, I think it was just showmanship from Trey, okay, showing right. yet again, trying to create some good TV. Yeah. You know, he's not all about me, he's about team, and that's why he's my captain. There's no iron <laughs> team, oh, wow. but there is a me, uh, if you flip it around. We, we, there's a me in Blame F as well. There is. Yeah. He, oh, great interview, by the way, Jacob. Maybe if you'd spent a bit more time practicing other than working, we might have won. <laughs> he was doing a lot of things before the aim yeah. app as well. <laughs> but with that interview, you, you get a lot of that out of Astralis these days. You know, when we were talking to Colonna, it was the same thing. Oh, the process, the process, which yeah. is fine. Because if they actually believe it, that's great. But when uh, you hear it and you're somebody who's outside of that, you, you, you're not always with it, you know? You're always a little bit outside. Stop. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. It does sound a little bit like a cult. Wait, what? What's I want to say, here? Here we there go. is no I in team. But there is a you and cunt, Chad. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> got him. That's got to be a red card. Where are the red cards? That's got to be a he red just card. He walked away himself. He red carded himself. That's got to be a red card. <laughs> Delivering the red phone, man. Yeah, man hey, mate. We're going to have to get right we, don't, we don't have Jesus. like a... Rush has to be the formal adjudicator. Trace went one. to dinner and he came back to do that too. <laughs> you actually Jesus think Rush Christ. is going to walk up to Trace and punish him? I think Rush has already finished his shift. So he, <laughs> Rush has already gone back to his hotel room. Uh, uh, oh, no, he's uh, coming sorry, back Trace, just for this. Uh, you were fine for that thing you did. What did they do, Rush? Well, you, you know, Trace. Production just had to green light his microphone as well. I think Trace is like cut off from all that mic right <laughs> yeah. now. That right there, it's like, <laughs> hey, that's not bad. It's not, not bad, wrong, we'll give him yeah. that. Uh, uh, should, should we move on? Yeah. <laughs> should we talk so about the I'll, I'll tell you the, the expectation. What are my expectations from Astralis? That's the only thing that matters. Yeah. Me. I think, I just know. I just want to see more of the stuff, for example, that they showed on Ancient, right? A little bit of some of the other maps. I want to see them being able to translate that level of Counter-Strike to more maps. Yeah. That's the next step sure. for Astralis, right? Like their game is, you're talking to me, you talk to Freya. And it's like... I think he's talking to everyone. He's talking to Wallow. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, that's what I want to see. Like them just doing better on more maps. Okay, so what impressed you about Ancient then? What's like looked so good about Astralis it's on Just Ancient. the comfort levels and, you know, having like different things on the map and also in the mid round, what tr once trades happen, they understand where the gaps are. They have very good team play on the map as well. And also Buzz has been a sort of a revelation. I've been mm. calling for Astralis needs to get stare for a long time. So far, he's been like a little bit quiet, like he's still playing himself into the role, it feels like. But Buzz is doing really well for them. Had a couple of really, really important games and performances at IM Cologne. 
Yeah. Were you expecting Buzz to deliver that? Our Danish expert over here? No, not really. I, I think he was looking quite glad last time coming into to Cologne at the time with Glaive. I, I don't think they used him properly. I don't think it was fair as well to put him in, in that hardcore entry role as a new kid coming mm. into the team. It, it felt like Glaive did him dirty in some sense. Australis mm. did him dirty. So now he's, he's gotten a little then bit Then did Glaive dirty. Yeah, maybe, maybe that too. You know, maybe <laughs> they're all around. doing each other dirty. That, that's you know all those, all those majors you won? That, Thank you for that. <laughs> we'll keep the trophies. See Peace you later. be upon you. The whole Australis conversation right now is can they replicate? Like even Confing said yeah. in the interview, like you're you're playing better than we expected you to, right? Like that's that's essentially the sentiment that he got across. The and thing is, they were so good in Cologne, it masked for some of the facts that didn't work out. Well, for they them. set the bar very high for they themselves. They set the bar didn't very they? high as well, and and also, you know, I, I gotta say, Bob, individually speaking, in Cologne was was awful. You know, from an individual point of view, he had certain maps against NIP when yeah, he was doing super from, well, yeah. but without that game, he would have been one of the worst fracking players in the entire tournament. So if you do that and you don't expect Bob to replicate or do better than what we saw in Cologne, then I think there's a cap to us. And that's what I want to learn here in Pro League. You know, where is that cap at? Because I, I still feel that roster change maybe too away from being the top, top dog still. Yeah, I mm. think that's the thing. When you're coming into a rematch like this and you look at the numbers and you look at how high Barb was posting in Cologne. Yeah, we don't expect that to be happening on a consistent basis, right? Uh, look, this is the thing. The consistency coming outside of the season is a conversation with all of these teams. Like, mm. uh, because the ones who've had roster changes or the ones that didn't, we're still all chasing the same answer for, for a lot of this with these names, right? And you, I, I, yeah. You know what the thing is, Chad? Did you? I never thought I was going to say this. Here we go. Really about Astralis, but Astralis right now they have some swag. Yeah, yeah, it's the they have some swagger so about them. Like you saw them in it? Cologne, right? They're the shouting, they're screaming. Even Device was, what I was... was doing it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And yeah. also just them as a unit, like they get along really well. It feels like they have a great vibe in the team. And what Blame says. Sounds like BS, right? We're just trying to... The process, I yeah. really feel like they believe it, actually. That, that's the why, and that's why they're finding results, because they're not putting the pressure on themselves in terms of results. Hey, let's just go out there and do the things we agreed to do, and whatever the result is, then we'll be fine with it. We'll learn some lessons or we'll win games. It's great. So th they've done more winning than you expect. They took down Heroic yeah. Yeah. in the quarterfinals yeah, yeah, yeah. of Cologne. They were sent to the lower bracket by G2, in that hard group, right, in Group B, they made the run through lost the lower G2 break. Twice yeah, 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 they, yeah, they, yeah, they lost to G2 twice, so I think that was an incredible performance when you consider I, all that. I think, the, I think the attitude is is a big thing of the way that they're presenting, because it's not like the old Astralis at all, right, who were a bit more Quiet. put together and keeping themselves, and we're doing the, yeah, yeah, whereas this here, like, they still have a, a, a clear plan, plan of how they want to go about things, but they're bringing this, like, level of, yeah, I think swag, you know, attitude that they're bringing to this that is, is different than old iterations of the roster, which is fun in itself to watch, especially in this environment. I think they know they're going to be yelling trash talk across at each other uh, throughout the studio here, but I don't know, like, with the Astralis team, I want to see if they can build on what they've done. They don't have to come, you know, they don't have to make it to the semifinals again or anything mm. like yeah. that, but it's same same conversation as Yanko, whereas NIP is the polar opposite to that. It's like, well, what is working with that team? Like, it doesn't feel like anything, right? Like, that, yeah. that team on the other side of the server, not a lot's coming together. Hot take. Where's your poker going? Hot take. There's a bigger chance of Astralis beating Vitality than any other team besides Vitality beating Astralis. Tell me for why. Oh, no. Okay. I see. Yeah, I, I agree. I don't think, yeah, I don't think that's a I put take. Astralis and Vitality, like, they're, they're above... They're leagues above every, everybody else. Everyone else yeah. Yeah. Vitality, yeah, 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 yeah. then it goes Astralis, then everybody else is just this, like, heap of clustered yeah. teams. Yeah. Astralis yeah. is closer to Vitality than the next team is to Astralis. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I still want to see that, that once more, that. though, in Pro League. I still want to see one more good tournament before I'm willing to buy into the Astralis. Well, this uh, is... Yeah. Batch, how many you know? matches? So here we get... So essentially, like, because I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. Astralis should take care of everybody else. Like, in this game, they should be NIP. Whether it's three maps, whether it's two maps, whatever, that's counter strikes and things are going to happen. But then after that, Astralis play Vitality, likely drop down to the lower bracket, mm. right? They should uh -huh. get business done in the lower bracket. Well, you th it's if they lose to Vitality, right? But we're living in a world where what, Vitality is the best Vitality team in the world. Vitality ancient, so it works out for them. So, yeah. so let's, let's say Astralis can only qualify then through the lower bracket or the last chance bracket. They should run the lower bracket. The lower bracket should be Astralis's, right? I think we yeah. all agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Whereas then the last chance bracket is where we come down to yeah, NIP will be in there. Furia will definitely be in there. Like the conversation already starts to open up. True. So Very true. I think that this is the thing. Our, our three teams. Well, Movistar have actually really blown open the other side of the bracket. Movistar now. game religion. It can be anyone's Winner of game. Winner that is in the yeah. playoffs. It can That's be anyone's good. game. That's going to be. I feel like a fun game because both teams, obviously, 
Recent, Everything to play for, nothing roster to lose. Changes. Yep. Uh, it's going to be messy. There's going to be mistakes, but it should probably be fun to watch. Should we put a nice little bow on this Estralis conversation and mm -hmm. talk a bit more about Blame F? Because I think we were worried, like, we go back to just after the player break. We're coming into the new season. We're in Copenhagen. We were really scared looking at Blame F moving into the leadership role and going, oh, my God, if he drops off in form. Hasn't really happened, though, has it? He's kind of uh, it, it impressed us in a way. Yeah, I think his, his T sides in general, Yanko was, was talking about it as well. I think the foundation they're trying to build right now is, is getting stronger and stronger. Blame if is a, a hard worker as well. He's a grinder. Yeah. He's a, a massive nerd of the game of Counter Strike. He lives and breathes the game. So, in terms of watching demos, in terms of coming up with ideas and building in structure within a team, I think Blame if is the guy. I was also worried that individually he would drop off and level just a little bit, but mm. I also think we've seen a Blame if that is a little bit more aggressive on the server. Yeah. We actually get some of the stuff that we want to see from him because he's well aware that he can't lead the team by being the Blame if of old. He needs to be a little bit more centered on the map. He needs to be a little bit more activated. And I'm starting to see that. So, yes, I think, you know, statistically speaking, probably wouldn't drop the exact same numbers, but I don't think the drop off is as big as people would think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, being in different positions and stuff, right? This is one of the things as well that when we look at the end of the game, it's highlighted probably more during the cast of like, oh, they're never going to this guy's site, right? Or, you know, this guy's giving away all the opening kills. That's the context of like the stats, right? But some of the fun things that maybe we should start doing in a few of these games is start counting full eco kills in some of the <laughs> matches, right? Like give a little task yeah. over there to the casters. Count a couple of full eco kills because there are players who get a little bit hornier when they know that the head <laughs> arm is not... Any names or? Right, no, but well, there's a, you know, every team has at least one, right? And you can actually check through, like, there's a lot of the stuff, maybe we can get some of our stat tools that we have here that show you yeah. some of those things who, who are getting more eco kills and that type of stuff. I was talking to Jason about it the other day, but... Um, yeah, like that could be uh, because look, I'm not, I'm not pointing fingers. Someone's got to get him. Someone's got to get those kids. Why, why are you calling Blame an eco hunter? Well, I wasn't saying that <laughs> because I, he is one. Yeah, well, that's fine. Enough, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you right. go, you yeah. get yeah. it, Truth you like hurts, it, man. boost your confidence. Right, Nico has a little bit of that. Hunter as well in G2. I think Hunter has the most for G2. I think a lot of players. I mean, it's funny. Every player, yeah. It's, yeah. it's like, I mean, every player outside Besides of the, the poor in game the leader, right? Or Hooksy. <laughs> I saw Hooksy in, in Riyadh. He's like running away from a guy with a Glock so they could like get the kills together so, because he's low HP uh. on an MP9. So he doesn't lose like the art, which is like exactly what you should be doing in that position. But it's like, you, Hooksy, you can at least try and get this one for yourself, bro. You've earned it. He deserves a couple more, doesn't he? Yeah. He should really be throwing himself forward a couple more times. Okay, players coming back. Game starting soon. We got a VDM. Uh, we got to talk about NIP. Yeah, because we so haven't yeah. touched upon him at all. Uh, ah. Config gave a nice little backhanded <laughs> compliment in that. He was saying Chad, you uh, talk about they that. look really good, <laughs> but. Uh, we didn't expect you to look that good, I mean, right? if I'm config, I'm looking towards Astralis thinking, God, man, I should have done some more to, to stay within that project, right? <laughs> to, to be completely honest. His time in, in NIP individually, we see Should have stayed config. dishydrated, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> maybe just drink some more water. Maybe but have for, for, for config, it's, it's within NIP, it's just a bit boring. I, I, I feel bored to talk about him because I don't yeah, know what to we say. Go, here's what we say. We say, yes, there are players who are good, yeah. at least historically. Yeah, if yeah. they show up and yeah. they play the Counter-Strike that we know that they're capable of, because we've all seen great res moments, great Brolin moments, we've seen great big moments over the years. If we could have those moments, then yeah, the team can be, but right now, What's the there's, foundation? There's nothing exactly, exactly. Why did they have to beat Vitality at Blast? That's yes. the only yes. thing that gave. Oh, so maybe when like they they can do things. Actually, if it weren't for that one win, I think it's a it was a bad omen. It, it's looking pretty bad, right? And sure, Campos just got back and he's the in-game leader. And okay, but how long do you want to give this team? How long but, does the team need? It, it's not even like, I'm not saying, when we say this, I'm not looking at their results. Sure. I don't expect them to, you know, win tournaments or, or, or win, I don't know what games. It's the eye test on the server when you look at what they're doing on the map. And sometimes it's really like, wow, this is all over the place. You know, and okay. maybe that will get better in time. Maybe it will not. It's a little bit of some of the individuals, like how do you set it all up? Um, I just want, I don't know, Brolin was such a force a couple of years back mm. when he was 12 and he was playing for Fnatic, right? Like, why is he Some struggling people will now? say the Krieg and the Org. Some people will come <laughs> yeah. out. Some people, like, that's when he was at his best, right? Some people come out and cite that. I just, th I, I think the thing is, the, the lack of identity of what this team represents has been the case for a long time, right? Like, it's been a very long time that we've been able to go, okay, this is NIP style or this is you know, the, the face of NIP in terms of, like, when Device went there temporarily, we thought we were shifting in a new direction, but we've kind of always been searching since that point. Well, it's because they've just been changing players. Yes, but they sometimes, they sometimes that's their own fault, and sometimes the it same, hasn't been. Like, yeah, well, we've had the LNT yeah, stuff, it, the ZTR it's, it's stuff. Not, yeah. It's not always their fault, but it's like, 
I don't know. So we, at some so point, I, I guess we need to see defining factors from them here because they have three matches guaranteed. Right. Yeah. We need to see what we're searching for if we're going to look at, as opposed to the doom and gloom, which it feels that way at the moment. But if they can start defining first of all, what does their map pool look like? Can they? Where they're putting these players in these roles? Will mm. they look comfortable? Because Yanko's bang on. Like they, in a lot of these situations, it's like, well, this guy doesn't feel like he's comfortable here. What's going on? Like, we're, thing, look, look at a player like Res. We used to talk about him as being the X factor. What was that? 2017 player? Oakland. Yeah. yeah 2017 <laughs> Oakland. There you go, bro. But One even, MVP. Even the last couple of years. He's had moments when he was like the one shining light within NIP and yeah. now all of a sudden he's moved into more of a, I wouldn't call it a supportive role, but he's the lowest rated Bro, player for NIP. They NIP. actually know. Screw they NIP. Like, what? Screw <laughs> NIP. Because NIP legit tried to sell us on Rez being an opera. Like they tried to sell us on that and that, that was going to work and that he can, can do that. Can I play that. devil's advocate? What Go if on. Rez sold NIP on him being the author? No. So no. you didn't think Rez went, yeah, Usually that's no. how it goes. Sam. That's how I killed my own career. No. You know? People <laughs> come in and they go, yeah, I'll ult. Yeah. And they go, no, I can do it. Because they've occasionally done a good job secondary orping or whatever. And then, look, here's the thing. If you're the owner of a team or a coach or whatever and your roster is already screwed, I guess you're going to take whatever options are coming your way. But I don't, hey, yeah. I don't think hey. them as a team decided that. I think Red's probably <laughs> Hey, Chad, uh, it's me, YNK, your, your good friend. Um, can you just send me... Uh, 500 euros, uh, I'm stuck in this, uh, yeah, okay. you know, can you yeah, help me okay. out? Yeah, can I, can I sell you? If I sell you on that, is that your fault or mine? Uh, it's my fault. So it's, it's not that he's selling yeah, them, it's okay. that he, someone yeah, actually yeah. bought that from him, yeah, even if true. that's the case. That's that's fair. He was Very he was true. selling sign that shouldn't have been bought. Fair enough. I think exactly. that's back to the problem. It's a top end problem when the NIP management, mm. with how they structure the team, with how they haven't been able to build an identity for the past two or three years that we've been discussing. Right, the players are good. The players have potential. They're just not put together in the right mix to perform. And whether that's the players' decisions or someone you know from the top not making the right decisions, we can't for sure know. But but watch them go and win 16, 16, And it five. can go back all the way <laughs> to the device thing because you can't bring in device and make him play with. ZTR. No, that true, was they like should have built a champion you, you team at the time. Either, yeah, either, yeah, yeah, yeah. either don't bring him, no, that's true. or bring yeah. actually a full proper team which around is, them. Yeah. Which is the problem we, we have with Device returning to Astralis, is we didn't think the supporting cast around him and Blaine mm. were going to be enough to make them a, a, a top level team. Which is why, when we look at a buzz, right, and we go, okay, well he played well, can he do it again? Yeah, he then has we can, to, basically. And then we can start getting in a conversation of this being an Astralis that can contend for trophies. Because right now, even though they're the next closest team to Vitality in this group, are they in that conversation of the top teams in the Counter-Strike world? Probably not. They're probably just on the fringe. And this yeah. is where they can change that dialogue a little Should bit. Should we revisit the last time these two teams played? You alluded to it. It was back in Cologne. Yeah. And it was a 16-6 all-round on our both maps. 2-0 for Astralis. We didn't expect to see that. No, not, not that big of a, a dominance from Astralis. I had yeah. them winning the game, of course, as, as I think Astralis have impressed us quite a lot. But winning 16-6, 16-6 like that, it, it's just a statement to where Astralis are in their process. And I think that's what's ironic to me in a sense that I think NIP should come into this tournament with the same approach as Astralis, trying to find their identity. Not necessarily focusing on the results, you know, focusing on, on just trying to play good Counter-Strike or having a good outlook on the server. I also sometimes read the body language of some of these NIP players. Oh, there's a few tilters. Feels, there's a few tilters in there's there. There's a few yeah. tilters. It just feels death, you know. If it's not Confing yelling, then sometimes Hampus would. But apart from that, it, it doesn't feel like a synergized team at all. So I would like them to just change that outlook. And maybe we're looking at a team in, in NIP that has, you know, 10 problems. And instead of trying to fix all 10 problems in one tournament, just fix a couple. Hattrick's good. That's Hattrick's a nice, good. Yeah, nice yeah. take. Well, I think we not I, back then, but normally. Yeah, <laughs> when, and one of the things I was looking through uh, Hattrick's stats, like just over the last couple of series he's played, and there's always one map in a series where he popped off. Like he's got like a 1.2 or 1.4 rating or something like that. And then in a few of the other maps, he goes a bit missing. So I think consistency is probably what I want from Hattrick because we know what he can offer. He's another one of these little uh, coming out of the Eastern European side of the things with an AWP in his hands. Yeah, yeah, Hopper, baby. Yeah, right. Yeah. He's one of he's, he's he's flashy enough, right? And I don't think, uh, for a while, he was a question mark for me in this team, right? Of, of how is he going to be? Considering the environment he's in, he's doing great. Yeah, and the, but then it's the, the players around him who are the more experienced members, all of them. Every single one of the players around him is more experienced. They've all actually been in big tournaments in... Uh, Hampus would be the only one I might be going, okay, he's only been in a couple, but the others have played like big kid tournaments for a long time, right? It's participation award, I guess, for yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but my, my point is more so that like this team, they shouldn't be lacking any of the vital... Parts what would you do? You know, what would you do to NIP if you were looking at that roster, looking be a, a team? What would you do to fix that? This is a thing. I might just go like, hey, let's just bring a Swedish team, right, and make a full Swedes. But yep. then at the same time, we just spoke about one of their better players being Ukrainian. So um, I don't know. I think for NIP, if they could, if there was a strong Swedish scene and they could return to it, then they probably would want to. But that's off the cards. That's why they're not doing it, right? So I don't know. Do you just do you go further international? Do you stay Nordic? What? Well, I don't it doesn't know. Doesn't feel you do. like NIP really. 
would care too much about going back to full Swedish. You know, they're fine with being international. At least for that, they're just building get, something. Just get better players. Okay. Get yeah. rid of Rez. Who are we getting? Get rid of Config. <laughs> He Probably get rid of Hampus or Brolin. It's, all these players are like, they've been around for a long time. Like Rez the, is like 25, 26 prime? now. Yeah. Like it's, it, you can get better support, get younger players than that if he's just going to be, you don't need a 27 year old rifler that's a support player. You just don't. You can find better yeah. options, cheaper on the market. I mean, you need to get basically, siren. You, you either, you <laughs> give this the market, roster but. like Pro League more, maybe one more tournament after that, blow it up completely and get into, it's also CS2. You're going to have, all these guys yeah. have to play CS2. No, get some kids. When in doubt, always get a young player. Yeah. Well, uh, just Seems not like have five of them. Seems like a young fair versus it. old. We've got, I mean, Device isn't old by any means, sure. but he's older than Head Trick. How are they going to fare in an all head to head? I mean, there's no doubt that Device and the form he's been in lately has been nothing but phenomenal. Uh, you raised your hand saying that you didn't necessarily expect him coming out to be so good. I think the consistency he's playing with after such a long break is is nothing but stellar. To he be looks scarier, honest. I think. Like, he, he looks he like does. he wants to go for more fights. Have you seen how many times he has the AWP in hand and he's just charging down a player with a deagle or with a pistol? Yes, like, almost yes. wants to kill him on the server and, and eat was, him alive. It's kind of one of the, the iconic things with Device isn't it? It, when he was in the Astralis time. Like, he would always go to the AK when it was the most appropriate yes. situation. It's almost the same thing with the pistol. It's like, well, why am I messing around with the AWP here. I could get this job done with anything, right? So I like that about Device. He doesn't just try and he's not he's not going to force the AWP in situations where it's not going to work. He's he's the, he's the full package. Right, I think he's he? also proving why he's one of the greatest players we've had in CS:GO. Yes, you yeah. know, yeah. being able to come back after a break and really not just play well but dominate opponents in games, play extremely well against some of the best teams. He had an amazing series against G2. Yeah. He's always been yeah, like that yeah. with him. He's always been like that. I remember when I started playing Counter-Strike, he was playing badminton at a high level and he would probably play Counter-Strike once or twice a week, tops, and he would still be the best player within them, like the best talent. There was a time where he stopped his career for half a year. He didn't play Counter-Strike whatsoever, came back to the first day in his land and was by far the best player at the land. That's how skilled he is. That's how talented and natural he is at playing Counter-Strike. So it's always been like that for him. That mm. is absolutely mental. Uh, production, can we get the map? Map veto, yeah, that'd perhaps, be nice. potentially, because we had what Vertigo and Ancient last time. Yeah, around, I heard. Right? Some, I spoke to to the two guys, Blame F and Config, and there was yeah. some some issues with yeah, the veto. Yeah, I heard about this as well. Crash or something. We might like, have to get League Ops oh, out to yeah. explain that yeah. one. They don't oh. mind coming out, but I did. There was there was definitely there you was. You know if uh, they read the veto or did I don't know. Yeah. I know trolls and we've got uh, it coming Casper in. We're mm -hmm. talking about maybe it, so. we can get confirmation of okay. uh, what did exactly happen. Because Blame F was not happy. As well as were not happy. Yeah, they felt like something something could slip through the cracks there, didn't it? Okay, well Mirage and Anubis. Bands, as we're in the huddle here. Okay, that makes sense. sense. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, last time around it was you said it was Vertigo. So yeah. I think when they were when I I heard over yeah that's what I heard the that second map was when I'd overheard the okay. conversation. So so order is restored. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, we we were, like I said we're gonna talk to League of. Yeah. I could go walking right now, but I, I don't want to put them officially on the. A little mic bit here. of drama stirring the pot, all the good yeah. stuff. Well, we didn't bring any wooden spoons here. Vertigo is the third. Yeah, last. We still have that's still the old Vertigo. We need to get a new Vertigo screenshot. That's got, you know, we need, I, thought, I, don't, I don't think that triggered. was the plan. I don't think Astralis wanted to play Vertigo. As a no? So you think no. that's no. where we, we were, fell so. off? Okay. I think Nuke was a ban by accident. I would reckon. Oh. Oh, an accidental ban. Yeah. I like this. I've seen that before. Yeah. So I think we can send somebody out to kind of get this information when the game Maybe goes. they yeah, read yeah. the yeah, we, yeah, we, can, we can find Maybe. a way. We've got okay. a man on the street, I hear. <laughs> In the yeah. boots? I don't well, know. I don't know. He might have just been fired after his last little outburst. <laughs> uh, that's were, another reality check, if it was though, up in, to in you. that sense. It doesn't matter with the veto. It, does, it doesn't change anything for me whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still yeah, think yeah, Astralis yeah, is going to win this awful. game. I still think they're going to win 2-0. And even if they were to go to Vertigo, I still think Astralis will win. And I think that speaks volumes of how much we rate Astralis compared to the current iteration. So that was the, they won Ancient and Vertigo last time, right? Exactly. So I don't think they're too concerned anyway with that. Yeah. But uh, I guess it's a, a, a different stance from NIP here. Did they wait for one another to finish to try and out yell each other there? Or? <laughs> yeah, that's what uh, helped any them. Any NIP takers? <laughs> Astralis, Astralis? I'm going to go with the Danes. I'm Astralis? hot on the Danes at the moment. You don't care? No, I mean, I'm not going for, I'm go, I'm not going for NIP. I like oh, any other okay, takers, okay. like not me. No, I'm going no. for Astralis all the way. I'm an Astralis fan. I guess nowadays. I have to go for NIP because you well, they're drafted. Them, well, come yeah. on, we got Vitality. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We're, we're fine. Today, we won't we're get fine. a lot of wins, but in the, in the future days, we'll get more wins. We're, we're thinking about who's going to win the group. So that's what we're saving ourselves for. Greyhound lost to uh, Game of Legion. That was a two-map affair. That was an Anubis and an Ancient. Uh, so that was that was over pretty quickly. Obviously, the Movistar Fury game. And then right now on the B stream so as well, we're going to have Vitality. Turns orcs. out it doesn't help Greyhound yeah. when they don't play a Vitality in the first <laughs> round or when they're not jet lagged. I was waiting for that. Apparently more, not. More, more of the same. <laughs> Come on, man. I tried to offer him something today. I tried to give him... Yeah, but it is that is sad, isn't it? It is sad. That is yeah. real sad. Or maybe you just don't care. Yanko, you look so authoritative with this 
magic wand okay. with the marshmallow on the end. Would yeah. you like to uh, abracadabra us to a break? All right. Got to break. <laughs> <laughs> Not today, fella. Let me guess, it's the tattoos? Nope. Those. What? Why? <laughs> Fuck are those? What? Have fun, mate. Have a good time. Right, let's go. Have a good night. Let's enjoy yourself. then hi my name is machine and i'm from australia and we're featuring of course a, a, a new friend of ours it's mac mac mate from west midlands <laughs> west midlands west midlands how's your west midlands actually yeah it's pretty close i'm actually from like wollongong way wollongong yeah of course that near dog swamp because i know chad lived in dog swamp for a while oh that's the other side of the country i'm pretty sure right so a stone's throw yeah yeah you right can, so can can strike. A couple uh, of days. it's on the menu and uh, myself machine mac mate and Mr. Green. Here he yeah. is making his debut at season 18. A bit of a muscular sandwich here. It is. And we've got Mac May in the middle. Uh, this one, a bit of a, a massive matchup, to be honest with you. NIP Astralis, a rematch from Cologne, yeah. where Astralis dealt with them. It was like 16 6, 16 8, and they looked very comfortable, especially on Ancient. You've got Blame F as well, mm -hmm. leading the boys forward, and in my, for my money, one of the best T side players on this map. His lurks are kind of defining how the map could be played going forward. Every time I'm trying to come out elbow, I'm trying to channel my right. Blame F. You know, yep. his mid lurks are very very potent. He, he'll contain you. And I think a lot of the points the desk raised, I, I think, were uh, were very astute observations. I, I had kind of neglected to think about the 
the the storyline of device against the old team. Of course, yeah, that happened over in Cologne. We yeah. really had that head to head. But config of course, as well. Looking to replicate it. Yeah, config as well. You've got device up against Nip, and you've got new look Astralis in their attitude era, as Chad has dubbed it. I, I like that. I think it's kind of works. Like, it's the most compelling Astralis lineup yes. we've had in about two years, to be honest with you. And it's kind of reflecting on their performance on the server and their general vibe. You can kind of feel the happiness kind of pour into the room whenever they enter. So uh, looking forward to see what they can put down here today. It is going to be Astralis as the heavy favorites, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see how they fare in this T-side start. They've got themselves one smoke, a single flashbang, and a Molotov here. And we are off to the races. It's going to be a mid-push through the smoke campus, trying to push back. Oh, anything. Bit of a rough spam there. It's going to be Donut Control for Astralis, looking to split in towards a res. Not going to live for too long. And that's a main control lost. It's all up to Config to try and hold here from the big box, but he's been pinked through the corner. And this is going stellar for Astralis. Yeah, maybe this fight on Blame F. If they can get open into Donut, they would be grounds for Hampus to pincer her in from CT. Brolin sets forward, looking to space, and already in a bit of friction found on stair, bait and switch. Ooh. Brolin the one on the duelies. Problematic for the remaining two. Yeah, might not be worth going for it at this stage, considering there's not much help between the two of them. Hampus trying to sneak in here, seeing what's Ooh. available to him, but now being detected, that should be him. Rumble just trying to take some players down with him as possible. Remember, the bomb radius is extremely large in ancient, trying to take the remaining players down if possible. He is dealt with, and that is the round completed. Stare. He'll be on the hunt. Hendrick trying to hold on to his Kevlar if possible, trying to keep his finances strong as the AWP does make sense. But a pretty convincing pistol round there from Astralis. And will they close things out? They should. Hendrick will save nothing. So it is going to be a pistol on the T side for Astralis. Yeah. Now I have a question, Mac. Mm -hmm. We saw the front flip earlier. Were there any injuries taken? Yeah. No. Are you okay? Yeah. I was really worried we could actually kill you in the first sequence there. Look, and we could tried. Have your back or something. We tried. The beans in that bag were soft as butter. Oh. I thought the bag was going to explode or you were going to break your back. Something could have gone wrong, but it was absolutely fine. I'm glad Trial you're here fire. with us. You did the first stunt of the tournament and uh, hopefully a lot more to come. Yeah, I don't know if you're familiar with the machine, uh, the, Olymp the Olympiad de Machine. <laughs> we had the assault last course. Yet, no. yeah. yeah, I missed it last season. The obstacle course I'd will be making a return. Part. Oh, where Rush did the belly yeah. flop. Yes. yes he face, face slap, whatever yeah. it is. But I think, you know, you, if, even though you may not be present for that, mm. I think you're, you're, you've already proven your worth for an attendance. Front flip, an EPL yeah. first, a full front flip. A full front flip. <laughs> oh, it's a bit of a I mean, no, front sorry, flip. let's just be specific. A beanbag assisted front flip. I mean, I wasn't making <laughs> Just to be totally. <laughs> Not to be a pedant. That's fine. It was a beanbag. And to be fair, he's on the team strike as well, so we can't be too nice to no. him. It's his first EPL, so we'll take it easy. But um, oh, yeah, can we get some badges here they, as well? We've got absolutely nothing. Badges, it's 4 0. Hey, where's all the gymnastics challenges? That's what I, I was I thinking. actually am down for that as well. I'm not going to lie. I mean, they might be listening, but I think I've got easy money, or we have easy money on astronomer. Okay. So Henry, you can totally write a 60 second pitch on a planet. I'll, oh, yeah. I'll paint a rock and I'll draw a portrait. At least give it a go. I like that. I don't think that's a bad idea at all. And neither is that approach from Brawlan. Looking for the double kill, but it's Blame after beats him to the punch. Unfortunately, this was Ugh. the four spy from NIP. Bear in mind, it's not looking good. This is almost safe territory as well. That flashbang, mm. unable to activate it properly. And yeah, it's starting to peel off now, knowing this is a lost cause. Keep counting there as well. Blame F. Two Mac 10 kills. Oh, okay, Alex. How many do we need? It's one player on one map getting four of them. Four Mac 10. We've got, we got Team Strike with us. Yeah, it's four per the. It was like four Mac 10 frags of the whole tournament originally. <laughs> it's at and stage. then it, we changed it to per map. So we'll keep track of it. The problem is, Max here on the other team. And he Whoever can jump in before man. us. We have to call it then. We have to, yeah. Is it, just, is it just the first person to say, full Mac 10 kills? Yeah. What's the name of the badge? Maybe you have to say the name of the badge. The name of the Mac 10 badge is Mac 10 Expert. So we've got to be Mac made to the Mac 10 Expert. Yeah, all right. And he's already keeping Good track. Luck. He's already aware. Yeah, exactly. Don't I've don't kind like of uh, made Keep a bit of a, right a boo boo there. But we have got Astralis. Did they take down all three players? No, they did save the Desert Eagles. So it's not a complete. Gimme round going forward. Round three, NIP will be able to go for some sort of stack. They can't really bring many nades to proceedings, uh, but they've got, what, a 5 7, two deagles, and we'll see what Comfort can make of it as Astralis will be alternating the Mac 10, a Borup, and a device, Gilil. Who's been naughty? What who's, out of who's the. Uh, is it Comfort? It is. Of course. Oh, wait, no, it's not Comfort. It's, it's Blame. It is Blame. It's Blame. Yeah, you're right. He oh, has been, been muted. He's been muted by Counter-Strike. I think that's no fault of his own. No people, when you play on Face It, they spam report the pros. Oh, so course. this happens. Of course, of um, course. So that's probably what goes down. But we'll see what they can make of this round. Up against the pistols, as we said. But uh, some deadly Desert Eagles in the hands of NIP Config. Trying to strike with the 5-7 at least. Does some damage here. We do well to get one. We'll take Stair down to 
24 points of health, but that looks like his run will be coming to an end. Back towards the cave we go. And in terms of the CT setup, boys, they have got four players here on the B-bomb side, so yeah. maybe there's a chance. But look at Blame. You just talked about his lurks, and he's just locked the door. He is a master of this. Going towards the A-bomb side, a mainly red room, but his timings are impeccable. I don't know how he always finds himself in this, the Blame spot in the red room, just locking down the rotations, finding that key space. Now they can just help themselves towards the A-bomb side. Yeah, I mean, this is what we can grow to expect on the gun rounds as well. This is not something they're like an anti-eco exclusive. We will get to see Blame burrowing in behind enemy lines as often as possible, and he'll ooh, slap ooh, away a couple of extra ecos. Now as well. This Bum is a bit up. of a bonus situation. If they keep this clean, they've got a MAC-10 and a Galil for that first gun round, which makes things extra spicy. You have lots of momentum. You might as well go for a set piece together, group up, and it looks to be clean here. And there it is. It's the MAC-10 to get the final kill as well. So they're in a great position there. Bonus round coming up, but it will be the AWP, of course, coming in the hands of Hedrick, you would assume. Brolin will purchase it for him, and we are off. Ladies and gentlemen, NIP to post their first gun round here. A decent buy, yeah. and no kits just yet, just to keep a note on that. Reds could afford one but yet to purchase. If they want to avoid there the 16-6 the, the as uh, it previously went down on this very map, I do think Hedrick is a massive win condition on this orb. If he can kind of keep a, keep a lid on the opening gambits of Astralis, we could be on for some, a competitive one. So I'm expecting some set-piece sort of setups here from Astralis, trying to use a momentum, the run and gun potential that MAC-10 as well. Nip deciding to fully respect those smokes, though. Astralis going to be gifted that mid control, smoke towards Donut, smoke towards Red Room. And Nip are going to have to readjust, but they're just going to wait that smoke out and then peek their heads in. Yeah, it puts Rez in an interesting position just because he's responsible for middle, doesn't want to overstep the mark. Now there's a lot of uncertainty as to where they've gotten off to, but the smokes have faded. Blame, he's been left to his own devices for his mid crawl, regrouping with the majority of their forces and bomb towards that B-bomb site. First little touch of CT aggression, or at least a re-smoke. You can see Brolin, he's being tested. He's up. Oh! Good player in that cave position, but rumbled after the one. Getting good use out of that bonus Galil, as it were. Poking his nose into hey, his bars, and again, it seems that they are very switched on. Very switched on indeed in terms of finding that, that gap. Device already moving the bomb back. The thing is, well, once Buzz gets towards the temple, it's going to be very difficult to contain him. You have no information on how deep he is. You've got still presence towards this B-bomb side as well. The bomb rotating on the back of the vice. If they do well in this round, if NIP are managing to win it, it's down to head trick with the AWP towards Donor right now. He's got a lot of work to do and presumably will be smoked off once they come in. It's interesting, yeah, they've parked Stair Cave, so he can just call any rotations towards uh, mid-side. And this head trick opportunity oh, flies by. Okay. Surely he'll be Could smoked be off now. enough now. Yeah, yes, you highlighted there's a Molotov initially. And we'll try and get that bomb down safe. Don't want to challenge that AWP. And an uncomfortable retake into this A site now. You've put all your pennies into it. Rez has got the kit, bear in mind. So not all is lost, Ooh. and that's the opening frag that oh. might convince him to go for this one now. Four versus two in favor of NIP. Not too bad. Nip, though. Can they lock it up? Certainly. Blame. He's good on the lurk, but is he good oh. on the clutch? That's quite no. a lurk he's got to bring forward. <laughs> he's yeah. running the wrong way. Yeah, that's not going to work out for him. Good recovery there. Like you said, the opening kill with the Galil uh, for Borup. You'd think that's a great trade, all things considered. And the spacing they found there. Yeah, they should have done a lot more of it. But like I said, if they had to smoke for Donut, maybe it's a different story. They couldn't lock that position down. Had to Molotov it instead. Mm. And they gave the rotations a chance of some vision towards the bomb site. Great retake in the first round for NIP. And they pick up a couple of AK-47s as well. That's lovely awareness for Red. I think that is very instrumental in this round victory. Especially when Buzz was in Temple as well. I don't think he punished enough. No. I feel if he gets in CT spawn and challenges to all those rotations, mm. maybe it's a very different round. They'll be much more uncomfortable coming through that key choke point. It was great to see the awareness from Nip, though. Able to pick off Stair, but conversation for another time. Mara trying to go out mid, but Config goes in with the flash. And it was a nice counterplay from Nip to stop that mid control from Astralis. Yeah, they gave it a good go, trying to turn up the pace, but it's actually working wonderfully for the defense. You can see chip damage inflicted. Brolin's still staunch and trying to maintain that first step of cave. I've got to get used to calling it Jag. Jag Jaguar. Jaguar. Call it Jaguar? We call it, is it Cheetah? Oh, this is where we get into the specifics of, big <laughs> of the region. The old big Beautiful. cat theory. Yeah, well, I do think that uh, Jag is easier to say. Stare is in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Um, he has gotten away with a lot of info, but caught by that mid aggress, oh, excuse me, ramp aggress. So at this point, full control of lane. Hampus already put considering a push through T spawn. They've got a bit of a timer on this. They are running out of seconds and players. 
A two-man advantage for Nip. Hedrick is getting some scrutiny, but he's got help. They're about to fight through red. Yeah, yeah. Config, good headshot into Buzz. And very limited opportunities here. Device yet to frag. We'll highlight that. Zero two as it currently stands, and it might continue as Hampus puts him down. A solid second round with five alive. NIP, they came here to with something to prove. Playing with some authority there. As soon as he gets the AK-47 in his hands, Config makes it sing. Playing patiently as well, behind the smokes and Red Room, waiting for his opportunities, nailing those shots. That's what he's known for. And now they've got three AKs on the CT side. Money becomes a bit of a concern now for Astralis. They do have a buy there, but I'd recommend just a partial going into round number six here, mm. as Device will drop a single AK. And we'll see them, yes, half by into this device is fully committed. So Maybe. are we going all in? Yeah. Looks like we are. I love how so they played that mid round as well quickly. They got that pick on stair at lane and then they weren't done. They weren't happy with that map control. Hampus going the whole way through T-spawn to get that late flank just to lock Good up point. the round too. Lots of information, very active. What you'd have to see on a map like Ancient. As soon as you get key information, I know they might be transitioning to the other side of the map, pushing towards that B ramp. And then Hampus going all the way to T-spawn as well. It's a ton of information. Yeah, he's got the hot hand, Config knows. He's got a chance to cause some serious damage on his CT side. Like we said, AK's in hand now, and a bit of a mishmash by it. Like I said, money wasn't great. They've got a deagle for stair, but before rifles otherwise, and not too many concessions as we go into what looks like a B execution here, boys. So oh, maybe it's not. What a volatile that is. Because <laughs> that's a key spot to throw the utility from, right? You throw from those double doors. That's normally where you're lining it up. So that makes things very complicated. Easy, Brolin. Easy there. Nearly conceded on the return of the wall bank. Australis have minimal util to use this round as well. So you yeah. can see that that Molotov really put a uh, you know, nail in the side of their plans. One smoke gone and one player gone. Blame not going to be able to lurk this round. Config taking his head right off and then... It's looking pretty good on B for the defense. Nip just cutting them in half. Rez pushing and crushing them straight down the lane with a big triple. Just like that. Yeah, okay. Very promising signs. Very Love promising this. signs. We've seen an A site retake. Yep. We've seen a B site shutdown. So far, NIP, yeah, they've been... Uh, They've been converting the ones they had to. Mm. Yeah, and they managed to keep good numbers up each and every True. time. Still with three AK-47s, the all for head trick, and has device fragged yet? Yeah, that was a, a storyline we were kind of following along with. He hasn't, zero and four, and it's going to be the eco this time. Of course it is. As we go three, three, it's an absolute gimme situation for an IP. They should have another clean round ahead of them. You can see their spirits starting to be raised here. We're going in towards an A play, and when I say A play, it's really going to be nothing more than just picking your time and running in together. That's all you can really do. If you get a one dig, that would be magnificent. And it's device with the Desert Eagle in hand. How many is he getting, Mac? What oh, do you reckon? Another ace, maybe? Good ace. He was, he was pretty happy before in the player. Yeah, I mean, this would get him juiced, wouldn't it? Or boost up, though. Yeah, Uno. Clean. Ooh, Ooh, that's not. Not so clean. No problems. He wants to delay. Just mm. run down by the Glocks. Fortunately, Config gets there in time. And his whole squad fills the feed. You can see that P250 long range from Hedrick chipping away at Device. Still yet to frag one ADR. That's less than zero. Oof. Less than zero, Alex Richardson. <laughs> Look, I was bad with the numbers. Freya was bad with the English. You're bad with More the numbers as well. Yeah, We're all, sure, what are we bro. doing here, honestly? Yeah, good question. <laughs> How are you finding Moltemag, mate? Similar climate. I went for a walk vibes. last night. Yeah, it was lovely. English speaking, got to well, level that. The thing is, where I'm from in Australia, the humidity is even worse in some that of what be, it is here. That can't so, be true. I'm that's not a, sure. That's hard. <laughs> it is. And I've also I've spent a little bit of time in Asia recently, and that's oh, oof, that's okay. like well, on the Malta equator. is renowned humidity. for its humidity, oof. but uh, I'm glad you're comfortable. And if you need anything, let us know. We've been here since what 2018 now. 2019. It's lovely. Yeah, it's beautiful. I just want to go for a swim. We'll do that one day. I've been doing that a lot. Chad and I go every morning. If it's you'd like to join us, 65 percent a lot of humidity. It yes. sounds like a lot. It does sound like a lot. It's all right. It is. More than half the year. I'll check your uh, your your neck of the woods. What's last that last Aussie summer. Well, it's winter at the moment, so it's probably going to be like fair ten percent. Yeah. No, um, let's get back in the history books for this one. Let's <laughs> really go back. Go, go see if he's talking uh, shit right now. Right. Summer of two thousand and eighteen. <laughs> so, that was a very humid. <laughs> right what dogs water or dogs water? water? Yeah. Parramatta humidity. January 2023. Oh, I'll just type that out, shall I? Yeah, mate. Parramatta. Yeah. Parramatta. There it is. Parramatta. That was pretty close. You're close. Parramatta. Humidity high. Let's see. Well, median. A, me a median humidity. Yeah, yeah that's, just, that's exactly what I'm going to type in. So, just while Alex is looking at that important data here, we are going to see a man advantage, a rare one for Astralis, considering they've given up four rounds in a row here. They managed to find Config, the sledgehammer of NIP. He's been removed. And Hampus, what are you up cool, to? Man? He's actually... Are you oh, cool? Thank you. I mean, got one still. He's hungry. 
That's... Yo, I, that, that, that looked like a, a misunderstanding of the setup. He, he yes. was under, he, under the impression there was one and A. Now he's, he even gets one, it was he's quite got impressive. The, got the frag, and he's maybe gotten them the time to rotate through. You can see Brolin in this power position. There's already a flank coming through as well. Now noted. They're going to be feeling a lot of pressure right now. Device is going to relieve it if he hits Ooh. it. Does so onto Brolin. He's on the board. And, and yeah, he's on the board, and they've got that bomb down. It's a hell of a kill as well. That could be enough. Smoked off. Rez with no utility. Same story for Hedrick as well. And he's got the AWP. Time is of the essence. He need a quick kill now. And starting to peel away, you can see the opportunities are very limited. They're in some solid spots as well. Blame with the double flashes. Can set him up if he even needs to. But Buzz is just too sharp with the rifle right now. And Hedrick has high priority on the AWP. He doesn't want to be dropping that one anytime soon. But you're looking at the money, Nip. Oh, this donks are pretty large after a, what, 4 a.m. win streak? Yeah. Four rounds on the trot, mm. very comfortable, and it puts us up tied game four to four. So after that string of rounds off the pistol, we will see things even on out. A result, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, you're, you're looking at a, a mean humidity of about 74%. Oh, he's right there. He's right. He's yeah. dead on. Yeah. Well, I Bloody take it all back. sweaty in Western Sydney. Gosh. But fortunately, I am Sydney. He's not in Western Sydney. You're actually on the harbour. It's more lovely. It's right. a little drier. So I am Sydney. He's not in Sydney. Why Western Sydney? It, it, it was when we were in Parramatta, but when we were like out, you know, when we we're in the I'm like tripping. out west and yeah. the old IEMs. Yes. But now we're in this in the city. We were in the we were in the Olympic Park before. Right. right? IEM Sydney's new location this year. Okay, well, there in we the go. City. Maybe I'll make an appearance. I'll bring my cream pies with me. There you you go. should. I've, I've heard, <laughs> heard a lot about your Australian cream pies. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, let's we'll see if they've got enough in stock for now. Though we're all tied up, ladies and gents. Opening game here for Australis and NIP, and it's going to be another. Opening frag for Stair. They've got Hello. that mid control, which they're so known for. Lovely Love rotations. A good utility coming in from NIP, though. Yeah, they've definitely crossed their T's, dotted their I's, and aware of the utility required. Rez is going to get beaten to the punch. I think they're ahead of that one. And ooh, ooh Stair. He delivers the headshot necessary. That's two in the feed from Stair to start off Astralis on this round. Ooh. And round nine looks like it's already done. Just like that. Device catching head trick. And yeah, limited options for Brolin. He has to respect the flames, prioritize the save. And I'm not sure if that's even going to come through. Blame F to head here. Yeah, looking to Ooh. cause maximum damage if possible. Config will silence Blame F for now. Maybe call off the hunt here as he does get a very convincing headshot there. But they are starting to scamper off. We have got Brolan joining Config here. They've got an incendiary to save, which is worth it. It's 600 bucks. Few diffuse kits as well. Money pretty good overall. They definitely have enough for a full purchase going forward, but always save the money. And uh, we'll see if they're together right now. One towards T spawn, and we have got. Young Convict patrolling middle, happy to take the next duel. How's that next round looking? Plenty of cash in the bank. Should be absolutely fine, yeah. Hedrick yeah. can purchase himself an AWP. Their loss bonus is going to be at $1,900. So around 8K, yeah. Hedrick goes up to do five digits. And they save the two rifles. But yeah, another very convincing round from Astralis. That mid control is to be a problem for them. Stare aware of the potential flanks down that B ramp this time. Two kills with device. Rack them up. Getting in there. Is this a timeout? It is. Tech yeah, you just can a see timeout? Okay. Just, uh, tactical. Just, oh, yeah, we have the opportunity That's to run over and do mini goal. I guess we can't all do it. It wouldn't really work. No. Well, three of us tried before, and as we mentioned on the couch, Chad just laid over the hole so no one could. I don't see any evidence of that. Like, there is no, I mean, work. I'm not saying I don't, I don't believe you. I'm well, we, we didn't have the camera set up Photographing before, evidence. Look, we took the green, right. we put the green on the little stage, a little podium now. I, I just don't yeah. see the, um, I think they're bats. That's what you call them, right? Bats. The golf, golf bats. The golf yeah. bats. Golf I don't bats. see any golf yeah. bats. So. Uh, I hit them in the bush, so you guys don't know what they are. I thought so. Now, we should talk about these boys on our screen. Orcs. Um, they are What's mm. the score, heading... Man? Yeah, I'm interested. They okay. are they're wearing your jersey. I'll have a look. I think okay. they are wearing, they're wearing your camp jersey. jersey. man on the ground. Wait, hang on a yeah, second. It's team counter. They didn't even bring matching T-shirt. They didn't even it's not like a good voice. I'm going to lie to you. It's fifth... Oh, oh, I don't oh. want to spoil it necessarily, oh, well, but it's 15-0. It was on screen. 15-0 yeah. um, for Vitality on the opening half mirage. It doesn't bode well. 15-0, famously the most dangerous scoreline in the world. <laughs> right. Well, famously, Rush is uh, a little bit dangerous for these CTs to have to deal with because Ancient's got long rotations. Not bad from Hampus. How's he done that? Yeah, he's actually caught two. That's the only way they could have won the round if he gets two for the smoke. And then what they play for like? the retake. It's still going to be uncomfortable. They don't have any answers through mid. Blame's got Donut. Device is going looking. Oh, he hits us. If he gets another, you don't consider this at all, do you? Surely, surely don't. You don't. Surely now. Oh, he's got on Hedrick and gone away. Sweet. Oh, he's got no idea. Gets it. Two on one. Still no bomb plant. Blame like a statue. 
Hampus has done so much to find the ninjas a gap closing round here. Maybe Blame can disrupt. Now, there is a smoke idle towards that bomb, so he could pick that up. Isolate a jewel. He's got the smoke now. Got the bomb. And... Fighting with Hampus. What a round out of the in-game leader. Four. And completely reverses that. We just saw the rush. We thought that was curtains. Yeah, I absolutely thought it would be as well. Like I said, the only way they find any footing into that round is they find some ridiculous kills through the smoke. That's just relive that moment here. The full commitment to the spray. Double kill. Ends up with the quad as well. Just what they needed, to be honest there. That round was done. And it was looking like they were actually have to peel off, give it up. Uh, but they've actually put Astralis in a very uncomfortable <laughs> position this. now. Yeah, it's because people keep calling him a dog. So he's just so he's he's leaning into it. I was going to say he's called him the Hellhound. Yeah. You know, that kind of the yeah. call of a dog. Hampus no one's called him a dog. Yeah, it's so Hampus the Hellhound. Yeah. Brought by powers of the moon. Oh, well, I don't think it's Caster's calling him a dog. It's just uh, other players. Yeah. Um, I was yeah. just trying to think of ways to work of it as a commentator. Right. Like saying, Hampus the dog. The dog. <laughs> so we go with Hellhound. Kind of yeah. works. I mean, the, Hound is great. Alliteration kind of baked into it as well. That the dog in him. And well, they're trying it. Again. They're, tr ooh, they're trying it. And ahead of the smokes, head trick. He'll take down Bor up, and he wants more. With Config already contributing another frag mid side. You're gonna overrun Brolin at least. Maybe okay. they have access to the site. Great utility usage. Big flash from Device to set Buzz up for that one. And that's going to be a lot of control on the site, but still Nip, they've got the numbers. They're looking to posture and get this retake going. You can see this late flank coming through from Rez. If he activates at the right moment, then this is going to be ooh, tits up for Australia. Yeah, you, you, want, you want to see the, these players coming in from CT as, to kick up as much fuss as possible. Well, actually, Rez has found him. Buzz dead. They know where you're coming from now. Just the two, make it one remaining. Device up in the clutch is going to be impossible with the AWP. You'd have to hit a couple of specky smoke shots and wall bangs, and instead that diffuse comes through. There's, I was going to say, there's one more chance of a wall bang there towards Polly's no, pocket, true. but it uh, doesn't come through. A decent effort, a valiant one for device, but like you said, locked out of the situation. NIP going up six to five now. Yeah. After being down three and zero, they have been revitalized by in-game leader Hampus. A return to NIP after quite a long hiatus, to be honest with you. What, like a good six months, yeah, maybe? at least half a year. And uh, kind of bringing the boys back up to that Swedish core as well. So you'd you love could, to see that. You could tell that Device had money on his mind there. As soon as he missed that shot through the smoke, he was like, this orb can maybe win us the next round because their money's in the bin. Look at this. It certainly is. Yeah, well, they've been keeping it conservative. We'd still have that saved AWP, but I mean, you'd be hard pressed to see Device heavily contributing mm. on that T side AWP. Rez, he's opted for a boost. Buzz is lining up something quite particular. Is that just to act as a boost? It is. Yeah, it's just to clear out big box and front sight. And we've got Rez. First on the chopping block. Tech Nines, though, they're speedy, they're nimble, and they're dead. One at least. Nice yeah. trade out of Borok's Deeg. Okay. And that will open up proceedings on towards the A site. What's the NIP reaction? Hoping that a device will get... Oh, info, he didn't. He was flashed off and now staring. He's poking and probing. They are under the impression that they've sold this very well, and they're not wrong. Especially if they hear that orc ring off a shot, Mag. Mm. Flashes towards the back of site. In the meanwhile, Borup as well, before leaving the scene, did manage to snatch away that M4 as well. You saw that. Brolin has no idea. Blame's just come round behind and getting the bomb down on B. Awkward now. Very awkward for the ninjas. Mm. The penny has dropped. They're at the wrong site. And now, admittedly, with only this half by, with a recovered rifle on Borup and the saved orb from Device. It's a bit of a heist of a round if they pull it off, but the retake is actually looking like it'll be activated here. Great teamwork coming in. Pincering from the cave and CT spawn. They're dropping like flies now. Four on two is under Borup. Need to find at least one more frag and buy some time. Oh, looking at this one, Device, he's going to have to try to do it again in the 1v4, oh, connects the this time. Back. But once again, he's it's too worried about the money. Vu here. Same scenario, oh. same amount of players against him, no wall bank potential and has to save the AWP. After looking like a very convincing situation for him, he didn't have the firepower to push back. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm thrown back to that Hampus round where it looked like Astralis had a, yep. had a lock in. You know, the fact that you've managed to get the bomb plant this time on B, you've got your full time. Like, I'd, I'd argue 10 seconds to set up your post plant. Yeah, like, these, these are tilting rounds for Astralis. Like, like we said, in their, their previous matchup in Cologne, they blew NIP out of the water. They made them look silly. And it was because they were winning rounds like that. They were converting those situations. And now a, a couple of nightmare rounds. And this map is still considered to be a T-sided affair, right? Astralis is now losing grip, but that was a half by like you said, at least to get the bomb down and save the AWP. So not all is lost going forward. That's what's going well for Nip right now, is they're just managing that economy so much better. Every round that we're seeing Astralis win, sure. there's minimal alive, and they're just 
put on the ropes, essentially. You can see this AWP and it not getting anything done in the early or the mid round means that it's not really doing anything except getting saved again and again. They're not getting the value out of it right now for him. Kill distribution is super lovely as well. You see Config at the top of the tables. He's boasting 9, Hampus 10, and uh, 8 for Rez as well. So you're, you're likely candidates at the top of rather even kill spread throughout. And there's a pace change at least from Buzz. You can see he's not happy with the way that previous round went down. Rez got Config an early support here. He's going to be hard pressed to get past that device AWP now. You can see he's drawing the line on that temple position, gives Buzz some freedoms, and that's the fight, that's the info, goes for the molly, what's your choice here, Config does a stand and spray into the AWP, he might get away with his life, never mind, a four on four. Just doing it with Brawn for yeah. that one. Bringing the fight to them. He's done that a few times, and he's willing to take those duels time and time again. Like I said, the AK is a secret weapon on the T on the CT side. It means he can take these more advantageous duels. Goes the one taps, and he oh. continues to deliver as well. Head trick killed someone red, and it wasn't blame them. He saw all of the team go right, clear mid. We all just group up, and Brolin maybe an opportunity here to seal the deal. Buzz a live bomb will be planted a two on two here. It is Config and Rez, already a double kill to Config's name, Buzz low, but getting that bomb down sets his teammate up for success, and it's Stare. Had the choice between the two, opts for the AK-47, all on to the aforementioned Dane. Ooh, and Stare is just tucking away here, waiting for Config to keep coming forward. He's not worried about the bomb Ooh. for the moment, and now he needs to try to read where Rez is coming from. Good angle to swing from, and he's going to do it. 1v2, and Astralis bag another. Stairmaster climbing to the stars there. Right, that? Well, yeah, I, did, I didn't know where it was going to go. This void ruined his moment for him. Um, <laughs> we are going to see another great round there. Astralis finally posting one after giving what? Three in a row up once again. Can they find consecutive rounds? Post the lead at half time here, but there's it took one... a lot. It took a lot of battling here. And there's one back, you know, from the, the, the way you've been recapping some of the ways uh, NIP have been finding rounds. It's with these kind of clutch moments or these uh, clutch contributions mid round. This time. There's the one to close for Astralis, so returning the favor. Out mid, this time very aggressive and not far off on their spam through the smoke. Config thinks twice about maintaining mid control, and that is a very threatening forward Molotov. Yeah, you got to respect it. Wait for Blame F to try and sneak through into the dying stages of this first half now. Five and five for now, some damage inflicted towards Config, towards that red room, but like we said, combative by nature. Wants to get stuck into these fights, but denied any sort of impact early on. It looks to be a B finish here. We've got Device boosted up with the AWP, but a forward stance from the CTs and an A push as well. Yeah, look at Rez all the way through. Blame if they can find him on this lurk as this push comes into Cheetah. It's not looking too good for Astralis right now, and Blame has managed to find Rez in the process. Perfect. So that is going to open up the other side of the map. Yeah, I mean, if they can get the bomb and get there at the moment, it's just going to come down to getting himself out of ramp. Device, he was flashed off, does manage to maneuver away. But they've got 45, essentially, with that bomb now picked up. You've got to really make a choice and make it quick. Config's got their rotate. He'll be playing it safe. Head trick. He's not making many mistakes here, and that's not an impossible shot to oh, hit. Doesn't. Does duck down and look for the repeat here onto device. Flash forces him off, and with only 30 seconds left, Astralis left wanting. There's a molly, there's a smoke on head trick. He can block at the ramp and he doesn't even need to. He's just hitting shots. It's a beautifully executed hold from Nip. I and love that's that. going to be another. That positioning, that forward facing crossfire as well in towards the Jaguar position. You've got the AWP hitting the shots and the rifle is just waiting for his opportunity just to mow them down. Nothing could be done here. It's head trick taking all the aggro for Brawl And let's look how beautiful chef's it is. Chef's kiss, yeah, actual really chef's nice. kiss. Yeah, I mean. In case you were wondering what that would have sounded like. <laughs> Mac played the soundboard. Could I just say various household appliances and you'll be doing that? Let's go. Light switch. That's okay. not bad. Um, AK-47 reload. <laughs> just household items. <laughs> it's household items. Well, we are in Europe, so maybe there's yeah. a few more of those flying around. Um, sure. Nah. Okay, it was a bit wet. Didn't, didn't it was, a, bit wet. It was a bit of a soggy AK-47. I don't maybe know how else to do it unless it's I can't. If I heard it... No, I can't. I can't. I don't have it in me. But anyway, we'll keep... I'm go I like that. That's a recurring segment now. I'm just going to okay. ask for Mac Mate soundboard uh, yep. moments. Give it a crack. Yeah. Last round of the half, and it would be a very competitive one if NIP were to take themselves a ninth, given the uh, history between these two, um, as well as... Just going to check on the vitality score. Well they did actually hit. get seven rounds orcs okay. after a 15-0 half, so fair wow. play to it. Not bad at all. That's the amber's not out. Yeah. 
a cosmetic comeback, or perhaps that's going to get the juices flowing for Matt. I think, I think the latter. Yeah. Like you, you've kind of saved the day. He's in the right place. He's in the right place again. Head trick. He's positioned on A, finds the frag onto Buzz, and the commitment is on its way. You can see this line drawn by the Orp. They do a well and truly respecting it while that bomb goes down and stairs caught by Config. So, yeah, sure. Bomb down, but a five versus three. Make it two and a half given Borup's damage. Config's had that for so long. He's 14 and five with the AK and oh, head trick just locking down. Temple Hip is going to be the one to snatch that away. Yikes. And the half as well when that defuse comes through. It's going to be nine and six. Is that good? <laughs> Chef's kiss. We're taking a break. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ESL Pro League Season 18, what some people are calling the best Counter-Strike broadcast in the world. Now, it doesn't matter if you're Team Counter or your Team Strike, everyone is welcome, and I am joined by two lovely gentlemen. I've got Alex Machine Richardson to my left, and the saboteur from Team Strike, Mac Mate in the middle. Gentlemen, are you ready for the second half of Ancient? Always. Yeah, boy. Always. Always That's the kind ready. of energy I was looking for. Let's get into it. I didn't know I was a saboteur, but... 
Well, well you're on the, you're on the other team, you know. Yeah. Right? We're talking about badges and stuff. It's, uh, I'm just trying to play along with the theme. But everyone's friends here at Camp Counter Strikes. At least on camera, for sure. Yeah. yeah like for you, sure. I can pull yeah. it off uh, for a good five minutes at a time, no problem. Yeah, I don't think Harry was hiding his indignation after. <laughs> I kind of threw him under the bus in the first yeah. 10. So I made Harry hate All me. Mates, you do a front course. flip. Yeah. <laughs> I got everyone <laughs> against me in the first like five minutes of the show. Pistols. Which is my style. That is the weapons that they have to use here in the pistol round. That's how it got its name, believe it or not. That's yeah. hectic. Getting ourselves into our first bit of friction. Blame F, equipped with the dual Berettas, and wow, first out of the Glock, it's Brolin. Two on the way in, held at bay by Buzz for one, and it's Blame that's trying as hard as he might, but he can't hit the shots. Puts it all onto Device. That's a clean start to the clutch, and actually cancels the plant. Rez thinks twice about committing to it. He wants to uh, allow time for this flank to shape up nicely. Is Device considering it? He is. He is considering the flank and gets the info on it. He's shaping up a clutch. They're scared of him. No up for that upgrade. Takes it from the Corpse of Blame. Working with the Jewelies in our race against... Who is it? Rez. Crossing over with that bomb. Made a nice read there. He heard that skedaddle away from Rez all the way through tunnels. Hampus locking in that CT position. And Device just going to be going through to Donut. We'll have this one-on-one -on -one with Rez. Can bring it all the way back. <laughs> Rez too crispy with that P250. And that's going to be a great way to kick off the second half for Nip. Oh, yeah. absolutely. You can say that again. Double digits, an emphatic start, a clean finish as well. And we are going to see presumably the force by coming in from the Danes here. Aren't well, looking as comfortable as they once did in Cologne on this particular map. Oh. NIP showing us that Brolan has still got what it takes to crack open this B bomb site. Rez. I guess they're the two names that the, the analysts were talking about. If you're going to replace two names in the NIP project, yeah. if you're going to move things off, it might, might be Rez, unfortunately. Like he isn't the star player he once was. We haven't seen anything too tremendous in some time. Like no. the Oakland MVP conversation, a bit of a joke, but this still kind of remains true. That's his only posting of an MVP. Right. Well, if config's on and Hedtrick's on, you just need that third component. Exactly. That's, uh, that's it, right? And I can see her here with the POV of rounding that corner would be quite a... Oh, it hit the eco, just to note. A shock. Full eco in that second round here, in that second half. Now, it's Astralis's pick, to reiterate. This is the map they felt they had the best chance on. And, of course, the 16-6 in Cologne just about, about a month ago. Oof. That nade could have almost polished off device there. And Look he's out for Mac 10 kills here. Hold on. Oh, One, two. two. Oh, oh, okay. It was close. Expecting that fourth man. Mopping him up. And device, 21 health to his name. Let's see if we can find anything here in that sneaky little cutout. Something fun to keep track of as well is currently Hedrick and Brolin have yet to concede an opening death and have provided three opening kills each. So they are 6-0 nice. oh combined. Hedrick and Brolin, of course, we saw his openings over on the pistol, which translated nicely into a round win. But you can see Astralis, they're under the pump right now. They're feeling the scrutiny. They're feeling the pressure. And NIP, they've clearly been taking the, the, uh, the demo of this game, or rather the one in Cologne, uh, into the workshop, into the lab. They've called their second technical, uh, excuse me, tactical timeout just to get their heads screwed on tightly for this half. Get DJL on the mic. You can see him there. Hardworking coach. He is. Yeah, I know. And a coach. Cut him and he bleeds NIP. <laughs> yes, indeed. And when you, when you speak to him as well, he most definitely bleeds Counter-Strike. It's like it's a two, two uh, you know, the arteries are running. Uh, NIP and the, uh, the veins. <laughs> veins, I got counter strike. Yeah, well, jokes aside, he, he loves his team. He's been around for a while now. He's been through the ups and downs, uh, mainly downs, unfortunately, last year for the organization, but he's always there, a pillar of the squad and a very well respected uh, coach in general. So we'll see whether he can continue with this upward trajectory they're on right now, the second half. As we go into the third round here, it was a full eco for Astralis number two. Bit of a gun round here, but of course, concessions to be made. You've got a device orb, but at what cost? He's got no armor, no utility, no kit, obviously. And Comfort's got a MAC-10. Here we go. Four yep. kills, no helmets. Super it's happening. squishy for device, so you Strap can't in. really challenge. Config, taking early stage. That's a good point on helmets in general. Four players have our helmets, Alex. Like, that MAC-10 is going to do serious work. And in the hands of someone like Config, very aggressive, very in your face. That could be a problem. And there's the two Galils, which could also chime in. True. So we'll see how the round boils out. But for the moment, Config happy with this position. With a MAC-10 at range in tunnels, that's exactly where you want to be. But blind firing isn't going to connect under anything through that smoke on the vent. And everything's slowing down now. Astralis, they are going to bring that third member across. Buzz floating in red room not too far away to go for that quick rotation as well. 
Yeah, nice boost as well. Will give, provide a lot of safe information. It's very unlikely device is going to have a T side orb up against him. So comfortable. Nice little top mid smoke. Yeah, I mean, that is certainly going to sow some doubt. But the flash isn't going to achieve much, is it? Blame, mm. he's not buying. Config, he is on his way. He doesn't check. Borup takes him down. Nothing from the MAC-10. 35 and counting. This is the commitment. Stare and device. They've been poised, ready to collect. Smoked off for now. Can't see a thing either. We'll just blind fire and won't connect onto anything. That's going to be slight control well, for Nip now, and they're going to be happy with this position. You haven't got the kits. You haven't got utility. This was going to be compromised at the very best, but they're still here. They'll still give it a good look. The bomb's only just been planted. A long flank coming in from Blame F as well. Who's going to activate this? Who's pulling the trigger to make the, the first move? Yeah, I mean, that, isn't that the question? Uh, I don't know if they're even going. They're pushing up long side now. Guys, 10 second defuse and oh, losing M4s. This is messy now. Oh, might not be able to get away either. Don't forget, oh. no armor. Now, no head. Head trick removes it and blame. He's just now arrived on that flank. He'll you, contribute one. You can see if there was a full gun round with kids there, maybe you consider that. But with no grenades, you can't even smoke off cave. Like, what, what are you up to? Like, oh. you should be saving your weapons there. That is a nightmare finish for Astralis. And in fact, the Blame F survives, a consolation at least, and he will be surviving with his life on the M4. There'll be Eco at least a half by going forward. That's 12 to 6 on this is the pick of the Danes as well. With the in is, if someone's sitting at the bottom of mid, can yep. they hear you running through T-spawn or is it too far away? If you're bottom of middle, yeah. Away. Boy, if you're like by double doors in middle and then through T-spawn. You can hear the water steps. Yeah. I mean, I, I say that with okay. conviction purely because Chad does. Uh, Chad okay. is consistently Maybe like, I don't he's, heard know them. That. he's heard them. He's heard them. He's heard them. All right. I think you. I think there is a very. It was. It used to be a bug. I'm pretty you, sure you can at that. Point. Oh, that so, one. Oh, it's another eco, but a mid stack. All right then. Config. Oh. Looking to mow them oh. down, delivering on all fronts so far. On for the hat trick. Pulls out the Glock. Uh. But it will be silent. It was a little bit overcommitted there from the T side. You can yeah. see them just going for all the frags instead of falling back and reloading the weapon. This they just frag to is the one. Away. If Brolin goes down, it gets really awkward. But mm. if it doesn't, we're fine. Absolutely fine. Borup, an armored AK. A double kill, a triple kill, and a clutch from Borup. This would be Bombed huge. Down. Oh, he knows. He's been so quiet, but he's so ready. He's so oh! ready. Borup clutches <laughs> He's only got seven frags in total, but those four okay, provide then. the first CT round. Yeah. Impact. And what an absolute disaster for NIP, considering the momentum they had. Now this is where DJ will show us his worth from the team, because you got to stop them from tilting at this point. That's essentially a full eco. USPs, P250s, was a safe rifle in the mix as well, but Borup gets his hand on the AK-47 and they're just running at him. They're not playing here by the book there, Alex. Instead of realizing he needs to reload, fall back from the smokes, give them mid control. We're kind of getting overwhelmed here. They just kept going for the fights, kept trying to send it home. But uh, right now, I think we might have a B rush here. All five players on this side of the map for an IP. So maybe just a straight up B execution from the Gecko. Devices here with Stair. So they're more than ready for this one. Good damage inflicted towards Config and trying to walk oh. in a missed shot from the Vice. That could spell oh. disaster oh, here. It has, yeah. D I S at least. <laughs> and Stair pushing through. Oh, oh magnificent oh. triple. All to the body. NIP completely caught out. That's the setup. That was the knockdown from Stair. The flash from Bora set him up for success and perhaps not going to be punished for that missed shot. You thought when you saw that territory sucked away from the CTs. That bomb's still down on site and Config, he's looking to get up in their faces with this Tech 9, but there's many men in front of him. Orp going to be too sharp now and Device going to be able to find another kill for the round. And Astralis, they will get away with murder. Bloody murder. Mm. Well, well, well. Astralis, after the missed shot, you thought there was a window of opportunity there for the Ninjas, but no, 12 to 8, this game is right back on. It looked like Astralis was shrinking. They didn't have much to say, but now we've got Stair, a huge spray down there from the pillar position itself. Device makes up for the missed shot at the start of the round as well. A lovely no-scope towards his rival all but head trick. So I think we have an eco here, boys. Yeah, we've got a Not game. Not really much to write home about. Glocks, and indeed a game on our hands here. Astralis are right back into this after they steal a round away. Thank you, Borup. Uh, and worth mentioning, he was the best performer from Astralis in the previous head-to-head -head for in Cologne. Right. Borup had like 110 ADR and opening kills are plenty. Well, well, Red. Thanks, Ray. Down.
plays well, way down. but the issue is when you're getting that close up against a couple of pistols, it might not work super well, uh, at least for the first man. Blame's there to pick up the pieces. Those big arms, they can carry a load. God, he's saying a lot about that eco spray down. He's like, I really like the way those feel. Well, I feel it's because they've actually take, stolen this game yeah, away now. Right. One's playing up, that's three rounds in a row, and it all started with an eco victory and a bore up, what, well, one versus three? Yeah. Um, now, after NIP, it looked like they were just locking this map in. We were looking forward to map number two. It's actually all falling apart, going pear shaped here for NIP. Now on the T side, don't have the AWP for head trick going forward here. Not a massive problem in Ancient, but not ideal. And we're going into a default round here. Not much conviction behind this one. Config waiting for his opportunity. A bit of a missed smoke there, I would say. Mm, no, most definitely. Supposed to be locking off Config and denying vision. They might not be aware that he could be ahead of him. Oh, he's oh, out, but he's behind. Oh, he's in so much trouble. And Buzz gets away with the opening. Thought Config had an advantage, but well aware. Good util set him up. Blame F. Throwing that flashbang to secure an opening kill for the defense. In a mad world, that could be one of those smokes that you deploy to try and convince them to go for it. Mm. Like, I don't want to suggest it is, but maybe it was. It was such a, a miss on it, but a uh, very convincing round. Estralis will have a four versus one. Brolan with the bomb down in spawn. Doesn't have a whole lot to do here, but he has got time. He might as well try and bleed it out. 12 kills to his name so far. AK-47 in hand and a Molotov, but going back towards T-Spool. I'm going to slow it down now. Because yeah, it's not huge. V very <laughs> significant correlation between the, the loss against the P250s and not posting another round. In fact, I haven't heard the ninjas in pajamas make a peep. They have looked so quiet. Just sucked the energy out of the room for the ninjas. Vibes were high. You're going to see a tactical timer next round, Yeah, I think. right. You think DJL is going to get on the mic and just yeah. say, hey, lads, like, you know, let's, let's, let's remember the majority of this map and not the four rounds where we may have fumbled it. Exactly. Like, let's be cool. Yeah, I think that's uh, exactly where the, the angle he should go with, the sentiments you've just uh, deployed for us. But Brolan <sighs> will have 20 seconds here, boys. And it doesn't know the Hunter's on. Astralis will just be holding on to their three rifles and the AWP. So Config at the half, he was what? 14 and 5? Oh, that would so be again. impressive. you got the half-time scoreline. Sounds about right. Yeah. I, I'm on board. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. What's he on now? Well, he's R17 and 11. Not, you turn not your many more, right I there. would no. say. So more, the point you're making, right? More Ds than Ks right now, you know? Yeah. Well then. Right. Mm -hmm. More Ds than Ks. Yeah, mate. So there's a timeout. Uh very really tempting to try and spit a freestyle, but I just don't. Ha I, I don't have it in me. Give it a go. I know. Well, Henry, we know that's not a good idea. I'm the best at convincing people to do things <laughs> on the broadcast. Yeah. What I have to say is, that's those are more than worth. Come on, I it. think you could do a really good job actually. Yeah, like, cool. No, everyone must be waiting to see your freestyle. <laughs> no, I, I think uh, let it. We'll warm up into it. I think <laughs> yeah, maybe it's I, just you and I on there. We'll kind of come up with something. A we'll week free thing. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll kind of have. Like a freestyle, like the rappers do. They have a freestyle. 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 You're ready to deploy it at any moment, but it might be pre-written in some sense. Certainly. You know? So it's, it's always baffling to me how we, we'll listen to someone do what is so clearly like 16 bars of, yeah. their, of, of a, they've written down, they've executed it, and everyone's going, whoa, this is the sickest freestyler. I'm like, is he freestyling? Is this freestyle? <laughs> is this not just a rap performance yeah, at this those, point? Those American TV shows do kind of... Uh, what a freestyle. The bars. Bars. Yeah. So fair, bars. Bars. We have got a little bit of an investment. Brolin, he wants to get to the bar early uh, as he's bought in an AK-47 and he's found a headshot. That's not too shabby. And with Config's dig, hold on, this could rectify the ship off the back of a timeout. And they've come in all guns are blazing. Yeah, it's the classic take the timeout, go for a faster approach, try to catch the opponent's napping and Astralis might just have that nap. But, ooh, device, he's missed that crucial bit of information. Doesn't overextend there towards the lane side. Head trick waiting with the P250 on that headshot line, but now he's joined by Buzz. So this bomb could be going down, but uh -oh. it is going to be the P250 taking out a rifle and Nip with a two-man advantage. Lane control. More members coming over towards main, and Device is in a world of hurt if he can't get out of here, or at least if he can't fight for this game. Control, spam through the wall. That's going to be hurt, and he's last alive as well. Bomb's going wherever it wants right now. Definitely and Device just be. wants the AWP, mate. Yo, he's absolutely screwed. Throws the AWP onto his back, or did he throw it away? Threw it away, I think. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be it. Just trying to deny it. There it is. And that, that's something, at least, won't be given to Hedrick for free. They'll be hunting for it now, and that's a round stolen away. We've had a lot of that in this first map of this best of three. Bear in mind, yeah. it is Ancient first, picked by Astralis, Inferno second, and Vertigo if we need it. I, I hope we do see it, because this is turning into a... A bit of a star-studded matchup. We are seeing these great Whew. and unexpected rounds coming through. Lots of eco victories, lots of pistol kills. And we're getting to round number 24, where we've got a nice full buy this time. Hedrick back on the AWP. Config 
He's on 19 now, starting to pick up that pace once again, trying to find some more high-impact kills with that Desert Eagle, especially in the previous round. Well, Config still towards the bottom of mid, will be smoked off for the moment. But it looks like Astralis aren't going to fully contest that lane control, just dropping some mollies to make sure there's no rush over towards Cheetah, no rush up the ramp. And oh, we could see Stair getting a little bit overzealous here, trying to get that wall bang, but Nip fully aware of it, so we'll just fall back for the moment. And with that smoke, looks like Nip aren't too worried about splitting into mid. Oh, oh but they caught that nade for sure. Right, but down both of them. And this is awkward now with Hedrick firing off that shot. Yeah, very uncomfortable. Hampus, he's handled well. Take some down and we'll find ourselves in a four on four, most notably with Config. I think he slipped past. No one knows. Device, he just looked away. And despite his low HP, he could. Ooh. Oh, Hello. Device! Oh, in his sights, deletes the AWPA. There it is. Massive contributions from Config. Well, Stare is surrounded at this point, and if he gets maybe one, there's a chance of the retake, but that could be completely thwarted now because, unfortunately, they're planting B and the time of players are astralis in towards his AK. So, holding on to two rifles, job done for an IP. Four players surviving, 14 on the board. Quick stock take of the economy as well. With the round loss bonus that's there, Astralis, oh, they're going to have a pretty shaky buy going into the next one. But it should be a buy. Uh, the yeah, they're going to get rifles. $1,900, right? Yeah. So, two players... Well, Buzz and Device have to add 2k. Stair has nothing. They have to save these two weapons. They have to buy going forward pretty much. Otherwise, you're giving over map points. Yeah, it's 14-10, right? Do you go for it all? Or do yeah, you that's if they save. Team. They're coming through T-Spawn. The bomb radius is so big on this map as well. It might not be a clean save. They are going to just decide to hold up, though. Not going to be committed towards that spawn area. I don't think anyone goes down here for an IP. <laughs> I think they were terrified, to be honest. <laughs> That bomb raid is, I've seen some hilarious ones. I still, I still can't believe the one I saw recently where Yabby was saving an AWP. From and the A to B? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, was, he was on B site, yeah. and, the, and he died from an A explosion. It's worse on Inferno. Like, it, it's the same radius, right? But you could be a banana, and then all of a sudden you're close yep. to A site again. It's just, it doesn't make sense. It's just too big. Well, apparently think... it's even bigger in CS2. Right, like, exactly. General, is it? Right, yeah. yeah. The, the blast, I think Jackie did a good video on Twitter the other day, and he was just like explaining that CS2 bomb blast is even more significant mm. than it is in CSGO. So whether that remains true going forward, time will tell, but an interesting kind of idea, I suppose. And shout out to Jackie. Interesting, yes. yeah. Big shout out to Jackie. Four timeouts now used. So Astralis, they've decided to implement their final opportunity to get their coach on the mic. And you can see that there is a second game running simultaneous to this one over on the B stream. Nice and easy to find, esl.gg slash Twitch. That wasn't a badge for a 15-0. We can't claim that, can we? Uh, there no, can there is the no 15-0 badge. I don't no remember that badge. one. Okay. Mac 10 we can keep, keep track keep of, track but of. I've, I've kind of forgot who got the kills. We so. are falling deeply behind here in Team Canada. It's kind of my responsibility as well, I think. Hasn't I mean, been in Mac 10 for a while. The thing is, you have to really care about it for the whole half. Exactly, right? yeah, good point. All right, let's work with lads. Let's. Get into, let's go ladies and gentlemen, then went with lads, kind of fell apart, but it's a slower round and a, a execution here from NIP. It looks like they'll be committing quite early on. Yeah, they've invested three smokes already into the Lots play. Of Stair has full B control. Device could be in trouble here. It's a difficult shot. It boosts up especially. Oh, and he's given up the ghost. He's given him the uh, signifier of his position and does get away from that AWP shot of head trick. But with the AWP noted and the rotation likely planted, you don't really want to commit. You he gets see. blasted by those HEs in the meanwhile. So lucky to be alive. Managed to dodge the first HE molly combo. And now we're going to see Nip go for the rotation all the way through T-Spawn. You can see Hampus still locking down Nain. It's only bar up over towards the B site, so he could have a big job on his hands. He's got a nade to try and hold and that gun, of course, but he's been lacking. He had that huge 4K, which we saw earlier, but other than that, not a huge amount of impact for us. I think this is Hampus. I think this is on Hampus right now. Mm -hmm. He's not ready. He is not prepared. Three through mid. I mean, it's information. There's sure. still a chance, though. It's an open B bomb site technically here. We've got Bora up at the back lines, but he's playing passively, playing for the retake. If he can find one before he has dropped, that would be enough oh. here, but a lot of pressure applied. He does well to even find that frag, but it might be too late, I'm afraid. We are going to see a double kill from Brawler. The bomb to be planted. They probably will go for this, even with the lack of utility. I think they have to. There's a low HP head trick. And we've got two players towards middle. What are they up to? Yeah, juggling weapons. They put the low HP on the MP9. Head trick. He's low as well. And ooh, oh, he no. knows. He's not going to miss that one. Takes down Blame F. Overkill onto the Danish leader. I have to save him. I mean, yeah, play for OT or give it all away. That's Buzz negative. goes down. 
And it's a disaster for Astralis. We thought they'd be tasting victory immediately. Uh, hitting the ground running here at EPL. Seems NIP, they've done their homework. They're definitely woken up wide-eyed and bushy-tailed. And they are looking to take the final round required to take Astralis' map pick. They are looking like exactly what they said in that pre-game with Pimp. You know, Config saying, what cologne? What yeah. happened? What don't saying? remember. I don't, don't, don't know what you're talking about. Looking like a new team. Five in a row with a maximum of 3.3k in your bank balance. Yeah, they do not have a lot to work with. That is very true. It all starts here, though. They can find some footing into this round, somehow steal it away, maybe build the finances up. It's hard to take something very aggressive here, though, boys. We've got three MP9s and a FAMAS. What do you do? Go for a mid push, a K push, try and steal a kill away. And I can be very aware of their financial situation, presumably going to slow it down and just try and pick them off at range. And of course, a very important round here. Astralis on their map pick, starting oh. to shrink, Hello. starting to flounder. What was that? Just a lane cut out. Roland, lucky to be alive. And let's see where Nip decided to go from here. So they couldn't get that mid control. They are going to leave config to lurk. With a decent amount of util, try to sell that fake. And Nip will go late towards lane. Might even go for the full XE here. Astralis, three defenders on the B side of the map. And what util do they have? One smoke, two smoke, and that's it. So they can try and block. Contact is walking in. I mean, this is where you'd expect the rifle to go off. Oh, oh Stat needs multi-kill, doesn't provide it. They are into the site. Borup perhaps has the opportunity to kick up a fuss. Oh. Look at this aggression from Buzz. It feels like it's all over. <laughs> Ambition. I think it might oh, be now. But Hello. Borup, he didn't stop the plant. It isn't looking good. Head trick will nail him. Had he got a, a frag the second earlier, would have perhaps given Blame F a bit more time to work with, but at least gets himself the first of a must-win clutch. He has to give it a go, a 10-second defuse. It's a sprint. Yeah. He's kind of laughing already if you look at the player <laughs> Kind of like, well, this one I can't really do much with. Give it a, what, give what, it a crack. What can I do? Yeah. Yeah, like, you, you're done for. There's no way to even defuse it anymore. And there we have it, ladies and gents. NIP <laughs> taking the pick of Astralis here. It will be... 15 converted into 16 very shortly as they actually look very commanding in that second half. Astralis dropped off. I, I honestly thought that NIP were going to get taken to the tilt factory again after yeah, they're losing sure. the, 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 the eco in middle. Yeah. I think that was it, the resurgence there. But Astralis just couldn't get back into it overall. And NIP with a great team performance there. We did see some of the impressive performances the likes of Brawl and Config leading the charge, as you might expect. Uh, but still, Astralis, they're giving their map pick up after winning in such convincing fashion in Cologne, boys. That could be uh, alarming signs going forward now. Yeah, Nip hitting back hard. But let's see if they can keep doing it over towards that second map. It is time for us to have a breather, and we'll see you just after this. Great setup, guys. Looks awesome. We're in the process of a rebuild. I'm sure you'd understand. Impressive performance on Tuesday. What was more impressive, however, was the inconspicuous trail you left behind. You people can't help yourselves, can you? Virtual. 47 kills, 23 deaths. Or should I say, four, seven, 23. They're ahead of schedule, aren't they? Guys, what are you talking about? Enough of the bullshit. 4th of July, 2023. The CS2 release date. Jesus Christ. Quite the expert. 
when it comes to the workings of the source engine, aren't you? Suspiciously so. I was thinking, finding an Xbox smoke two days after CL underscore show pause is removed from the game, using six decimal places on a mouse sensitivity console command. Now, I think there's two types of people that can do something like that. Someone with a special connection with Valve? Or a dev themselves. So, which one are you? <laughs> I heard about your little whatever this is. And it got me thinking, wasn't it you two who have flown out to Seattle by Valve? Wasn't it you two who then kept quiet for months without a peep? Wasn't it you two who whined and dined by Gaben himself? Gold coated steaks and champagne toast all around. So boys, when's it coming out? I diffuse the situation, it's lit in the Trebo Nation. No shit. This time I got back up and we gonna slay. I need more from you. All this potential, man. Hey, Harry. Nice pin. How the hell are you? Chad has mistaken me for this dickhead Harry, which seems logical because he also works for ESL and I cast with him regularly. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> of all that went straight <laughs> off of the entire oh, stage. That's, you got, man. <laughs> that's me welcoming you back to Pro League, everybody. Oh, clean. You guys like that or? No. That okay, was cool. how it was for Astralis and Angel. Yeah, and that's, that's a great way to look at it. So, you know, right out of the gate, what do we learn about the series? NFP's better than we thought. Mm -hmm. Or Astralis just started off slow. Freya, what do you think? Uh, we learn what happened when you get more than one NIP player playing well at yeah. one time. Okay, yeah. that's not bad. Device went cold. Config. Not a good opener. Mr. Consistent, where was he? Disappearing. True. Saving. Cold opener. Saving all CT side. Guy, I think yeah. you're yeah. Sorry, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, I thought it. someone else was going to kind of stop. <laughs> okay. uh, dude, no, I mean, uh, I think it's also concerning because, you know, Ancient has so often been like the, the tried and tested battleground for Astralis, right? Then they kind of cop that L back at Cologne. That was all the way in the semifinals versus G2. <laughs> they arrive here picking into it and I was feeling optimistic. But then I think as Hugo says, you know, like you, you see device going a little bit quiet. And for me, that's always been one of the problems for Astralis is while they have these these three kind of newer newer faces to the Astralis organization, uh, they they don't necessarily have like that same level of consistency yet, right? I think and we also, saw them saw them not really have that kind of guy to lift them up out of the uh, out, of, out of the problems. They once the team beats you 16-6, 16-6, the next time you play them, you're gonna go really deep mm. into things and True. sort of you you want to prevent from that. You know, they were humiliated by Astralis, and Astralis is coming into this game, sure, obviously wanting to win and preparing, but I think. You know, NIP was really looking in for some revenge, so they got out, uh, got out swinging. I, I think so it's, it's early, right? Very mm -hmm. early. It's just one map of Counter Strike, but I think it, it kind of. We love to jump to conclusions. We, Jacob. Come we on. do, we do, and Dude. we did yeah. mention it coming into the game as well. I felt like Device playing so well in Cologne, and I felt Ancient working so well for Astralis in Cologne was kind of masking the fact that maybe they're not there yet, right? Maybe we're overestimating yeah. them just a little bit. This is a, a pointing in that direction. It could be that in a couple of hours, Astralis have won this game 2-1 and, and everything I'm saying is put to shame right here. But all I'm saying is if the device is not playing well within Astralis and if the Ancient is starting to be 
a map that people can talk to them, then what do Astralis have to offer right now against the best teams? Not a lot, honestly. So let me ask a rhetorical question that I already know the answer to, obviously. Would we like to talk about Inferno or do something completely not related to Inferno at all? Uh, I mean, you said it's rhetorical, so we're not really meant to answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, <laughs> we're going to bring back the ESL Pong League, the Whoa. EPL, and we're going to start this in sort of like, uh, you know, we got a bracket here. I don't really know who came oh, over wow. and drew this sort no of stuff. No seat qualifier, huh? Yeah, oh. it's, it's not, sort of like a nicer way to say that, well... We suck. Yeah, careful, These guys. Res respect <laughs> underdog, because yeah, okay, as yeah, you've already true, learned in your true. competition okay. today, you can't Shut look up. down on so anyone. So let's, let's get this party started, and let's do it rather quickly by sending you two over there. Our first matchup is going to be oh, yeah. Freya and Ooh. Hugo. Uh, and in the meantime, we can kind of, I guess, reminisce in the greatness that was last season. Harry and the Serbian Spin Doctor, you guys got any uh, recollections? Yeah, uh, I mean, dude, last season's Pong League was a, uh, a thing for the ages, really. I think it's been held to a, a new standard. Uh, I understand that we're working on getting this like fully certified mm -hmm. by the Olympic Commission and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, I think that's it. There's, there's seriously been a lot of interest around this, and now we have you know new challenges. I think this is just the warm up. They I think you know you're always paddles. allowed to. What? You guys carry on. I'll be right back. Up, yeah, Trace, so. take care of that. Oh, it needs uh, something. Yeah. Yeah. Go find some just, I'm, I'm the, I'm the referee. Blunder. I appreciate that, but I no can't problem. do much with hands. Hey, let's here. see if my mic works out here. So yeah, we'll go for some housekeeping while we're here. It's first to eleven, two serves each. Winner goes through to the next round is that all clear any questions there is a red and yellow card system in place if i see any bad sportsmanship or any shit talk in general i feel like there could be a well some just don't cross the line you know keep it friendly and you need to be standing in the middle sir right okay. here for the camera <clears throat> right there all right please uh play for serve that's just so just bounce, bounce it towards hugo whoever gives it up first will be giving up first serve or getting to choose i suppose here we go now then so hugo like to serve Okay. I heard, Harry, I heard Harry explain the rules to Hugo just 10 minutes ago. <laughs> That's the level we're at right now. Okay, well, yeah. good luck to you, sir. Good luck to you, Freya. Please take the first serve. And we are off, ladies and gentlemen, Hugo from Team Strike. Oh, strike, yeah. <laughs> strike. Team <laughs> Strike. That's 1 0, right? Yeah. Wait, sorry, I missed it. I Nobody, should be refereeing. Who yeah. won? Freya? No. Hugo. Okay, fuck, Hugo. Sorry. I, I'm watching now. There's a lot of talk. It's going fine, don't worry. We have a couple of referees All here. Right. Oh, I like mm. this from Hugo. That's all right. Right. Two nice two Prayer nice to serve. Oh, it's me to serve. Yes. Yeah. Now show him the serve. We're going to go way better now. There we go. That's quite, That's not bad at there all. There we go. Here we go. Hey! The first point of the ball to Freya. Let's go. Jesus. He did the one thing he was asked on. It's, it's OK. He's in full keep it in the field. I'm Second service. We're good. We're good. It's OK. It's OK, Freya. Just control your emotions a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> you control your emotions, like this. Jacob. Ooh. Like this. A lot. Yes. OK. Hugo to serve. 2-2. How is this First for 11. I don't know. It's an interesting nice time. Oh, oh, good chance of the return the there. But Hugo side. does take the lead. Three so for, them. for them. For them. For them. For them. Yes. A slammer. Yeah. Oh. oh. Small two. Right. Aggressive. Oh. Right. Someone we'll get, get the ball. The cheeky backhand oh. spike. Preferably not Astralis to deal with. Right. Freya to serve. 4-2 to Hugo. Here we go. Nice oh. rally here as well. The best one we've seen so oh. far. Great shot from Freya. Oh, oh, he hit it. He hit it. He hit it. It's a point for Freya. It's, oh, no. <laughs> Is he hitting home runs right, around this, here? This, this is his oh, biggest dear. marshmallow. Right. He's, 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 he's obsessed head. with hitting the ball no matter what. Like, <laughs> That's a blunder. Look, what That's is this? Uh, 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 okay. Yeah, go on then. Go on with your serve. <laughs> I'll send Mac in there. Tie things up. Get things right. Oh, no, 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 yeah. no, he, he learns from his, yeah, yeah, yeah. He learns nice. from his mistakes. Love it. Nice serve. Ooh. Nice serve. Give Can you serve out the line? Can you serve? Can you? Yeah. 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 Just ask yeah. I'm just asking. Sorry, don't well, explain well, the rules to you maybe, now. Maybe it should have well. gone off the back. I think, I think, no, I think you should go on the back. Yeah, you can't right, serve okay. out the line right here, man. What are you, what are you doing, yes, man? Yes, he can. This is table tennis. tennis. No, it's not no, tennis. No, no, no. The line cheat. is in in tennis. I think what is the, what is the we're going to play on. We're going to play on. Yeah, we're going to play on. We don't, we don't have time. Yeah. We're going to have What's to keep going. Six, three, good. He's on our team, man. I know, I know. It's a lot of pressure here, Jacob. We've got no time. Jacob. Damn. Beautiful. Where'd that come from? Smoke. Oh, so <laughs> Who scored? Smoking on that Hugo. Six four. <laughs> Freya serve. Hey, hey no, oh, no, 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 no. Freya, Freya again. Oh. Six four. Freya serve. Six, you know four. how what you're doing there? Or? Six four. Freya serve. Remember that, remember that time we got an app and you never used it before? <laughs> six four. Six four. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking yeah. about. There we go. This is good. Sorry. Here we go. That's good, Freya. Remember, just Ooh. out. <gasps> Love it. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, Hugo. Seven, Come four. on, baby. Let's go. 7-4. Oh, Respect he's the bands. Choking this one. Respect no, no, no. underdog. This is unchokable. He's got it. He's got it. <laughs> <clears throat> you choked before, Hugo. Oh. 8-4. My four. guy, 8-4. His serve. 
Ooh. Okay. We'll Don't rush it. Yeah, take man. Time. Slow Three. it down. It's Three. fine. It's good for you. Oh, oh dear. Ooh, He's so unlucky. Nine to so six. Close. Touching so distance now. What's that? Nine five. Nine five. Oh God. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> oh wow, shit. Yeah. Lovely. Ooh, match point. Five. Match point Hugo here match in the point. first round of the ESL Pong League. <laughs> here comes the serve. Oh, I can't watch. Hugo looking to close things out, and he's done. Hey, he's done it. Please, oh, please shake them. hands. Please them. shake hands. For them. For them. I know it hurts. For I know it's them. them. For them. For them. And that's for them. We have the bracket. For them. For yeah, them. We can for actually them. update that bracket. Maybe take a quick just look. One if game. Relax, man. Walk over here. Uh, maybe everybody make their way <laughs> back to the place that we normally work. Good job, everybody. Great hustle. That is my iPad. Please, no one borrow it. Uh, yeah, so Inferno is in front of us. Uh, is it going to go quite like that ping pong game, or do we just go into the sort of post show here and catch up with uh, with Hugo? Hugo, how are you feeling after that? I'm feeling great. You know, it was nice to have a true competitor on the other side for the second competition of the day. The first one wasn't really too difficult. Freya really put up a fight today, and well yeah. done for her. Thanks, man. Thanks for those words. <laughs> yeah, it was more an insult to Katie. Thanks to the referee Hugo. as well for coming yeah. out of his break to do that for you. So yeah. appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. to give him a shout <laughs> out. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Henry, what a hero. Thanks for the non-biased referee who definitely did a great well, job of counting the points. Now. Yeah, multiple times, multiple is recounts. The, is he done for the week now? Because he's done the yeah, one I've done all my competitions. No, I mean, this is a full-on bracket. You can go on holiday, man. Oh, bloody good. I'm in Malta. Why not? You deserve it with a win like that. Thank you. So uh, who's going to cut this him. game? Is there I asked if Pimp wanted to jump in and do a Yeah, I think yo. I'm going over that some point. All right. Yeah. Why don't you, uh, you guys roll on out, and then uh, we'll take it into Inferno. Is that cool? Yeah. All right, cool. So start talking about Inferno. Casters get lost. Inferno, uh, well. Uh, is that just Pimp get lost? Or is that just me? <laughs> again, Bye, buddy. again. Bye. Another L oh, for Pimp today. Get in here. Three I'm for three on the day. I'm with all this orange around. Yeah, yeah I'm lucky. The color. Yeah. I just want to remind everybody we did not pick this color for ourselves. So yeah, uh, It suits you so well, Trace. Thanks. True. Wow. I don't know how you to really feel. Oh, that's very color, ominous, Fred. <laughs> wow. I feel like you look the most handle or pale. I can't tell. Color, mate. Yours too. So anyway, Inferno. How do you feel to be in presence of greatness, Freya? Who? All of us, Team Shrike. I mean, you do have four badges. Well, we're working on these. Do we yeah. get a badge for the ping pong? No. Well, I think that, we that's do. just a one off no, match. It's, a tournament. it's part that's of a just bracket. The one it's once, we, once we oh, win it's it, the we winner get it. of the tournament. So when we win, uh, when we win, okay. we'll get yeah, yeah, a yeah, point. Yeah. So we need to win two more for the week. Also, <laughs> you know the... who else needs to win two more? Astralis. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. They want to win the yeah. game, Trace. Yeah. And we're back to Inferno. Take it away. Very well done. Yeah, that is Inferno with NIP and Astralis. So that'll be where we go after this. Anybody want to take any guesstimates if this series ends now? No. In about six hours. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. Nip looked good. Uh, like yeah. Freya said, coming, in, uh, like coming off the break, uh, nice to see more than one player stepping up. The problem for Nip was always, oh, do we have Rez and Brolin at the same time? And the answer was no. But today, not only did we have them, but also Hedrick hitting shots, getting better and better, and uh, Config leading the charge. Yeah, and we're going to lead our charge right over to the commentary booth. And I think they're sitting by, ready to go. You want it, Alex? Charge! Oh, no, 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 no. I, thought, I thought you were saying oh, throw. Oh, oh, like sound uh, oh, yeah, go ahead, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I'm here with the cavalry, and we've had chopped and changed. Hi. Hi, mate. Just getting hydrated just, and situated, as yeah. it were. Got some ribs in me. Yeah. Kind of monster as well. well. Good? Feeling good. Yeah. Do you know how, how yeah. many ribs the human body has? For Jacob Pimp in it. Seventy-eight, I think. I think he's right. Is he? That is right. That it sounds good. Yeah. This, I always wait, said, hang on, I always said 16. I always said 16. <laughs> yeah, I always said 16 myself, but I like his answer. He had conviction behind him. I'm going to say yes, and we'll move on, because uh, we don't talk about ribs and body parts here. You know, it's the only part of the body you can't do anything about. You break your ribs, no, nothing medical, do medical they not? science can do anything about They don't about heal. It. Yeah, well, they do. There's nothing you can do. You can't put it in a cast. Oh, you can't do anything you. about it. You just have to let it ride it out. So it's okay. a real nasty one to break. Have you ever broken a <clears> bone, Jacob? Never in my life, actually. No. Me neither. Let's touch some wood, though. Yeah. Don't Surprising for Jake, because you just did an Iron Man, right? Like, uh, the stuff you get up to, you yeah, think broken I don't like right? crashing my bike, you know? True. Trying to stay up. But you've got the clip in pedals, though, right? I've seen many yeah, videos of guys, like, just one guy cuts you up and you fall over and everyone goes down. That's for newbies, you know? Okay. Yeah, I, also, fair enough. So, yeah. I don't know if anyone's a fan of crashing their bike. Like, it's not something that anyone's... It's like, expensive, you know? Yeah. yeah. Enjoy. I mean, like, Evil Knievel was famous for crashing his bike. I'm not sure he liked it, but that was just kind of his thing. You're on to something. You're on yeah. to something. And so are we, as we head into our second map, Inferno for this one. NIP, a map to the good. They took Ancient off of Astralis. You can see what that's done to the odds at the top of your screen. And let's see if they can carry that momentum through. We've got a lot of util for this T side. Two smokes, two Molotovs. Could be interesting to see where they're deployed. It's uh, some sort of a counter, though, with the Vice with the dual elites in a Ooh. very upfront position, taking out Config nice and easy. 
Yeah, check this one out as well. So those two dual Verrett is going to be set up for success. And oh, play man will take two, maybe three. Ooh. A stat puts it in. And that felt very, I mean, you've already called it like anti a little bit. They felt like they had the perfect setup to deal with that NIP pistol. I like you I like you in a pistol round that you're a bit proactive on the CT side because often you do face a, a, some sort of a rush or some sort of an execute. And you can see that Astralis in this position flashing out banana, device being pushed inside Bola. They're trying to disturb whatever NIP had planned in this position. He was so very ready for that particular piece from Config as well. He knew he bounced his head off the door frame and nice to go for that leap and he was more than ready for it. So yeah, excellent pistol from Astralis and we'll see they can keep it up because they're up against the full eco here. Nothing really invested, not even a single flashbang or an upgraded pistol. So you wouldn't expect much here from NIP as Config will be dropped early on and just using the range to their advantage right now, trying to farm some cash on device if possible. There it is. Take that 300 bucks. Lovely job, Lee. More where that came from. Device is happy to give him the fight. <laughs> Takes Brolin down as well. Oof, Oof, damn. He's double. been headshot nine times and he's still alive somehow, <laughs> somewhere. I don't understand. <laughs> He just got the extra uh, adamantium helmet. Oh, we're actually full uh, team counter right now. We are oh. off to a bad start, guys. Yeah, it hasn't gone well. They've got like four badges. They've won pretty much every game. Yeah. Um, and it's day one, and it feels like the tournament's already over. Well, it's just day one, you know. It is just day one. Just day one. You yeah. know, we'll be talking, we'll be laughing about mm. day one. Mm. I think you're right. At the end <laughs> of There's not many badges five. left, though. That's the only problem. Yeah, well, but there is, left. There's, a, there's a lot of it. Mac like, 10 Expo still hasn't been claimed today. Yeah. Okay. So we've got that. Ace of Spades is gone. Entry Frag is gone. Clutch Minister. Win two clutches. I think that's gone. What defines... Okay, it's gone uh, anyway. I think so. Say, what, I think what, so. Which a cutoff point for a clutch, but I guess that's gone. Diffuser Bomb, that's gone. <laughs> so we've got two knife kills in the best of three. There's been zero knife kills so far, so we can't really do much with that either. Yeah. But there is the first gun round, at least. So uh, we'll see whether NIP can make their first incision. Five AKs across the border, compromised by a best, but uh, a default. Not going to be combative towards Banana, allowing the CTs to have it, potentially. Whoa. Relatively strong, you know, buy coming out of Astralis, considering it is the second second false buy sort of scenario where yeah. you, you get a freebie at it. If you lose this round, you still have money for the next one. So quite a lot of utility device on a mass as well. And I like that he's keeping his utility in hand right now. Good timing right here on the Molotov as well, cutting the two players apart from each other. Config exposed up here in middle also takes an awful lot of damage from the nade. Good Whoa. start for the device, but Config is onto something. Yeah, he is, and he just looks away. You can see lost in conversation, dazed, confused, need a double out of res. He at least gets away after the first. With Buzz gone short side, the rotation through. You got three leading A from this defense, which puts a lot of pressure onto the shoulders of Borob. Finding himself equipped with just an MP9, but he does have a smoke, Jacob. That could be... Used. Could, oh, <laughs> oh, I think that looks a bit of an awkward smoke. I think Brolin's probably got an open invite. If anything, he threw that to get Hold the rotation the coming in for Device, yeah. He just wants to, to make sure the Device can rotate over here, and another player coming in as well. I think it's Blame F, so they've read this pretty well. Borb goes out there, sacrifices himself. What he's hoping for right now is NIP does the execute, which they will, and there's still two additional Astralis players. Wow, they're in the right place. Smoked off for Blame. He'll try and spam through. It's perfect. Perfect bait right now. They're not going to check him. And Device, he has to get a multi-kill here. And oh, oh, empty, no. empty-handed on Astralis. Look at their health. Exactly. HP and timers on their side but unable to convert the frags. It's just stare now from Banana, giving up his position. The bomb to be planted. He knows there's nothing he can do about this one. Even with the low HP players, he'll have to rotate all the way through spawn. At best, maybe denies some economy going forward. Um, but there it is. NIP will be first in their first round here. Quite a convincing one as well. Amber should be the final, final kill. And when you take a look at a round like that there, Jacob, you know, mm. f through your Counter-Strike lens, it looks like Astralis have played that quote-unquote, perfectly. They've been on A when they were considering an A exec. They've been on B when they were considering a B exec. They baited in the rifler. Sometimes you do everything right, it's still not going to go it right. It comes down to the frags, right? right. If, if Device gets that first kill, I think he enables Blame F to be in a better position as well, and Hedrick will probably be focused towards Device instead of CT spawn in this one. So yeah, sometimes you can do everything correct. You can read the game well, even bore up that smoke that bought them enough time to make the rotation. So there was a lot of understanding of the round from Astralis. As you said, almost picture-perfect Counter-Strike. At the end of the day, if you're not killing your opponents, it's not going to be enough. Yeah. Yeah. It does boil down to that. And that's why I'm in the headshot only DMs every day. I've, I've heard, heard of that. I've heard it. Yeah. So Chad actually. said he posted an IP this morning and you were even there the early, I saw the invite. Early hours. Yeah. You were there at the DM session. I was in bed. I uh, really hurt my back swimming. So uh, I kind of had to <laughs> sacrifice my kind of contribution to the DM. I know it's uh, an obligation for it, this camp as it, well. It, it, whilst it may be, I, I, you know, I'm happy to shoulder a lot of it. I think I have more uh, room for improvement, Henry. Are I you think feeling the I don't know. My form is pretty Already, bad right yeah. now. I haven't, I haven't been like, having a lot of confidence in my 
play in about a month. Um, this would be a really good time to turn it around. I need to play to actually get that point. One of the conclusions I've reached is probably going to make me sound like an absolute idiot, but oh. I've felt I've felt that I actually have to be looking looking with my eyes at their opponent at my opponent's heads on the screen, as opposed to looking at my crosshair. Does that make sense? As in, I'm looking at where I'm adjusting to. I'm looking at. I know what you target. mean, but that's I'm not a good sure learning. How. Yeah, you should never. I, I think never look at your crosshair. Exactly. You're looking at your opponents. Yeah. Right. You look and, at your target. And so when I've been playing these these DMs, I found it. It's just helping drill like the the speed by which I can look track the head with my eyes as opposed mm. to with my crosshair. But of course, you know, it's. Uh, it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. <laughs> we'll see. I like the format, though, the fact we get to nominate each member from our camp. Uh, unfortunately, we lost one of our strongest units in the form of Pimp. Yeah, um, dude. That he's was gone a tough now. One. And he got a draw, I guess, against Hugo. That's disappointing. You know, I'm, I'm, it is. Uh, we all know it. Like, yeah, we know you yeah. should be winning that. That's just fine. It was a CS2. I said as soon as it was CS2, we've got the, the handicap. It was the only one. I know. I said that's the only way we lose, and of course it came And it's not only is it CS2, it's Orbs. Hugo, known to be a proficient AWP user and abuser. CS2 as well, where you lose like, the movement, the bunny hops. Yeah. Like, he was camping so much. He was hiding. Yeah, and not I saw you looking. Yeah, you were constantly yeah. searching. Uh, oh, well. It's up to NIP, hunting for these B bombsite defenders. It's Blame F and Borup this time, Blame working in tandem. Four. They're finding all the kills required here. Five versus three. Not much to do with NIP unless Config can blast the doors open. He'll be dropped from Swarm a device and they'll maintain the man advantage. Four and two now. You'd be hard pressed to get the bomb down here unless Rez goes pop off Mo. Perfect time upon the fade. Rez will at least trade, but with the help and the time against him, he may be able to get that bomb plant after all. Scoops it up. If he's daring, he'll just hold it, but he hasn't, and I think they'll just call his bluff. Gonna run him down now. Needs a frag, needs a both, and blame. He will secure it for Astralis. A three to one lead for the Danish roster. Yeah, it was looking like NRP made another idyllic call there. The B bombs die, five players against two, but just couldn't find the opening frags whatsoever. Great crossfire. Let's see if from their POV it was Blame F and Bora finding the kills through the smoke, no less, as well. They managed to pull one back, but it felt like the job was done at this point. A gap Ooh. in that smoke, Jacob. Was that from the, the, the Molotov, or did it some misthrown smoke? Uh, either way, it's it's a massive issue for NIP yeah. in this situation. It, it basically cost them the round. When you get into that bomb side, you still obtain a, a 3v4. I would still argue that T's are favorites yeah. to win the round, but that smoke right there cost them. A life, basically, and it's a free kill for the device, isn't it? It so. is, and that lost him control over over that bomb site. That was not good by NIP. Whether or not it hit a Molotov or it was a failed smoke, let's be easy on the judges. But exactly, it was not good. I'm trying to be more charitable these yeah. days and calling out mistakes. When you do get it wrong, but you're like an how, absolute idiot. Think about so. how complex. <laughs> <laughs> just say that. there may be a chance. There may be yeah. some thinking behind that one. I always try to just give that at the end. Yeah, and then sometimes it is just a complete mess up from the players. They'll admit it. Sometimes we give them too much credit. I don't yeah. envy you guys, man. You know, being a commentator today with this level, with the utility uses by the team, how creative they are. Exactly. It's, uh, it's not easy. You never know. But uh, oh, device oh, missing oh, out oh, on a couple oh, of oh, frags there. Makes up with a ding, but still, Config will find a lot of mid control. A double pit setup though. Buzz instead to be tested, but they're going for the banana split. Extra creamy. And was blame after defense. Should be able to get the first kill. Apparently not. What a beautiful shot that is. Well, they've got everything. Um, Borup is probably cacking his draws here. Oh, it's the MP7 as well. And it's working. Insane. Perfect precision upon the fade. Now he's got to keep himself, yeah, ready to spin. He's worried about Banana. That's the bomb, and that's head trick with the headshot. Should be nothing more to be reported here. Poor Borup was put into an... Oh, well, what's the opposite? An unidyllic, yeah, an unidyllic role and position. Poor guy, isolated and flanked. Config with that win against Blame F, I think, sealing that deal there. The fact Galil just beheads him. Pimp, are you a smoke fan? Do you sit in the fades a lot on your play? I hate it. I absolutely yeah, hate it. I thought you might. I absolutely <laughs> you hate it. You came in the same game as me, and that was like, wasn't really kind of, like, players were, like, were using one ways or sitting in smokes yeah. and stuff. You've got a bit of a bad reputation, but it is part of the modern game now, and it really is quite prevalent. You're going to sit in the smoke, wait for the fade, and you've got like, what? A quarter second advantage over your opponent right. just to get that first kill, and it it shouldn't really have a place in CS, and hopefully in CS2 that. I was just about to say, speaking of, of Counter Strike 2, that's not going to be a thing anymore. With yeah. the way the smokes are working right now, you can't do that anymore, and it's it's going to completely go away. I think people underestimate how how big of a difference that's going to make for the game. I've spoken to some of the the pro in game leaders as well, and they feel like it's going to be a complete new way you have to approach the T side, especially considering you can now nate the grenades as well. So right. a smoke is no longer a wall like we used to. You know, you can do fast execute, you can do basically whatever you want to now as a T player in terms of controlling the pace. Whereas today. 
Bay in, in CSGO, it's a, it's a bit harder. There's right. going to be some really wacky executions in the future. Timing HE grenades with your yeah. like set smokes towards spawn. You throw an HE just as the bomb's being planted. Your AWP is ready on the angle. Like There's going to be some really interesting plays. It's so sad. CS2. It's so sad how we've had maybe three, maybe four show matches, CS2 show matches. And I don't think I've seen a single... It's like, because they're always like for fun, you know, unfortunately. It's always no like one's going to give you that. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to see like a team show match in that sense. I'd say like, let's put some prize money up and then see what's going on here. But... Uh, Soon. Soon, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Soon indeed. As we get into round six here, ladies and gents, second map picked by NIP, currently trading three to two. Uh, difficult buy here for Astralis. They, they have pretty much full sense here with the two M4s, three pistols, and a nice boost. Stair will have to find at least one kill and survive to really justify the setup here. He's got a player beneath him as well. It will be buzzed. So the young guns defending the quad side device will have a deagle watching the apartments. On a. Yeah, they put in everything they could into this round. No money left on, on any of the Astralis players. A little bit on, on device. He wants to save up for a potential AWP in a couple of rounds if needed be. But it's been a very much back and forth game right now. And, and this could be the round that sort of dictates the first half. It could be the breaking point sort yeah. of for Astralis. And, and so the same for NIP here. Okay, well, they're not going to have trouble with Buzz, but they have got trouble with Stag. Ooh. Nearly finds two. Yeah, great effort there. Gets the one. Dink on the second. Lives to tell the tale as well, and for now, still two players residing on that B-bomb side. The same duo, Blame F and Borup. No rotations coming through. 30 seconds here. They can execute in towards B. They can smoke off a Molotov of the key choke points Ooh. here, but a great counter smoke from the CT side. That is a nightmare. They might have to go back towards A. Do they respect it? Yeah, I mean, this is going to be impossible. So you, 15 seconds. You're going to have 10. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to go off the flashes. Flash set up. Can Blame hit the shot? Already a threat is Borup. That's the kill. That's the kill he needed. Nine oh. seconds. Oh. And they've got them both. They will have time with a second <laughs> to spare. They'll plant the bomb on B. Yeah, that was the smoke from hell there. Astralis once again, right place, right time. Had it all set up for them, but just couldn't find those what seemed to be pretty simple frags in terms of the procedure, but nothing connecting with that. 5-7, and NIP crisis averted once again. That's twice now. Twice in this yep. game already in six rounds where Astralis completely read the round to perfection. They use the utility to perfection. They force NIP into a very uncomfortable position, yet they still can't capitalize. I think Borob is going to have a nightmare with that 5-7 in the future. Whew. That's a rough run. They should have won this one, no doubt. The same gap in the smoke in CT spawn. Is that, I need to know why that's happening. I just saw it again. Someone is throwing it, eyeballing it. Um, yeah, because there was no Molotov this time around, right? Yeah. So someone is so like, throwing that smoke. Maybe there's some method to the madness. Maybe they use it as a kind of calculated peak. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's okay. the second time we've seen it on the right-hand side. Not quite covering it. But uh, they win the round regardless. It does not matter. And Pimp did say if they win that round, it's, uh, it's going to be breaking point for Astralis here. They did manage to keep two players alive at least. That's Device and Stare. But... Again, what can you really bring to the table here? You're going to have what, one Desert Eagle for Blame F, USPs otherwise. Another difficult round here. As NIP will have AKs across the board and plenty of money in reserve. Now, not necessarily a disaster just yet, first of all, as I have to point it out. The T-sides yeah. on Inferno, especially on the leadership of, of Blame F, have been more than impressive. I think they've played some of the, the best counters, right? They can play on their T-side on Inferno. So, first of all, as you're looking to get six, seven, eight rounds, keep yourself in the game and then get it done on the T-side. Okay. So, it's not a good start, obviously, for as well as, and, and you do leave the momentum in the hands of, of NIP. But in terms of how the game is going to progress from this point and onwards, I'm, I'm not too worried just yet, first of all. Right. I think uh, I've... Spoken to the Oof. smoke inspector. That one has no gap. And Blame F has found Hampus as well. In terms of making this a threatening one, that has really made things a little bit more spicy. So it's always a great question whether or not Astralis want to try and get the gun of Hampus, right? Try to, to put up a better fight, sort of, or just leave the gun out there. Because NIP probably expects it, but this time around they're leaving the AK-47 Oh, they actually pushed it away. Right there we now. go. Beautiful. That's the only way you can do that. If you leave that on, on the map, you're risking it. It hurts you later on. Same position for Stair. Brave to take uh, the same angle once again, but trying to set up device. He's got the M4 this time. Off angle in the pit. Not trying to commit to the angle, but they're focusing on the arch side. Cavalry is on the way. Buzz and Blame F both heading towards the library here. A chance of the fight, but bear in mind, Blame F for the Deagle. And we've got Buzz with a USP. Not really much they can do to save the day here. It's down to the rifles, lying in wait. Yeah, here comes Brawler. And spotted out by Device. Uh, first frag found for this Astralis defense. No way. No. Oh, he nearly found him with a USP. And now finished off by Blame. That Deagle does do damage. But now they have to get that bomb down quickly. 
Ten seconds left as they extend the clock. Config to punch in the code. It's only a USP, poor Borup. He wouldn't, would he? No. I mean, he's already delivered incredible clutch in a similar round on Ancient, but with no weapon to boast and two to find, it should just be a quick putt in for the fourth here for the Ninjas in pajamas, not giving him anything. He may be getting killed yeah, due to timing. space. <gasps> oh. There was a world where he actually can catches Reds and then gets an AK-47 and maybe wins the round. But, Anything uh, but a USP in exactly. that position right there. Anything. Yep. Oh, my. Well, NIP, once again, an uncomfortable round, but they get the job done. That's all that really matters at this stage. Uh, that was another eco from Astralis after saving two rifles there. Nice crossfire. Good start with Device getting the opening frag. We have overwhelmed all the positions. Leak out as we see the apartments. Arch and Quad completely smothered by NIP. And we've got a Device Orb, but... It's so compromised this fight. They don't have a single helmet, device with no armor, barely no diffuse kits, and barely any utility. This is uh, cracks are starting to form now on the Australis side. This is a desperate situation for them. Device can't be too active with no Kevlar. Oh, he's Perfect. just been gamed. Perfection, you right? You that. put it down with the deep Molotov, you put the one in the middle, and then you put the nade in between the two Molotovs, which is the only position Brolin can be in unless he jumped back. Right, unless he's gone T-stairs and is, has no info banana, he's catching that. He's <laughs> catching that nade. That's brilliant play. Ooh. And Astralis extend their man advantage. Thanks to Device's Orb, just a reaction speed test off of the flashbang. So I guess it's an all-in with the remaining three, right? You've got a lot of utility. Likely executing into an even number on this A site. Well, you absolutely have to win this round if you're Astralis. There, oh, there's God. no two ways about it. It's a five on three in your favor. You've got the setup, but something is brewing here for an IP. They're trying to steal a kill away through the smoke. That's going to be Rez, hoping to find the first incision here. Yeah, Ratty Smoke versus Ratty Smoke. They dropped the one-way boiler, and Buzz dropped his bike. He's even got more for that. Has he got a second smoke? I think I saw... Yeah, he has. Boom. Okay, 30 seconds of a nice little one-way onto short. Going to get uncomfortable here. Yeah, and I fear just waiting for that moment to strike, and it's going to be Buzz picking them off one by one. Should be round up, to be honest with you. 30 seconds here. Might try and just uh, hold on to the little they have, an AWP and the AK. But, uh, yeah, round over. And it will be... Pretty decent for Astralis. I didn't really give up any damage whatsoever. Bear in mind, they entered the round with what? A glass cannon, barely any utility, no diffuse kits. They're going to leave with AK 47s and uh, a load more money injected into the coffers here. So NIP this time will not be scrambling for the bomb. I'll just have to save just that AWP and Hampus' AK. So Astralis, down but not out. Pimp. Speak about a perfect round of Counter Strike. This play right here on Banana with the grenade by Stan, that's beautiful. Device perhaps getting a bit lucky, but he knows his timing. Astralis gets to survive five players, surviving with I think six or seven pieces of utility and switches out the two for masses for AK 47s. That is picture perfect Counter Strike, and it couldn't be any better for Astralis. That also forces NIP into a situation now where their money is not looking too good. They can monster buy, I think, uh, not the best of the best, but this puts NIP under a lot of pressure all of a sudden. Yeah, it kind of just uh, puts the shoe on the other foot. You saw that run from NIP, and I think the way the words of Henry were, it's messy, but it's working. It mm. was like always just hanging on by a thread. Well, seems that thread has snapped as Astralis, uh, astutely highlighted by Jacob, have managed to find a perfect round, which puts it all under question for the ninjas. Do they have a response? Let's see what the call is. Well, Hampus. we've got a head trick AWP on the T side of Inferno. Uh, not a lot of players like to deploy it on this side, but uh, sometimes just to change at the pace, he's got a so good find his opening is picks. He, is he going to go for an opening pick, an opening maneuver? The, the util was a real problem in the previous, so he's just going to post up on mid. Not going to be concerned with all of this horrible battle. Oh, Brolin, Brolin. Stomachs are HG. Not again. <laughs> yeah, not this time. But has a very forward angle here to catch that jump up. I think he's holding for the boost. Normally you boost a player up into this position, so he's aiming a bit weird. Hedrick walking up middle though, getting the kill on stand. Maybe Buzz can answer back. Nope. Config stays alive for now, and Buzz is in a very uncomfortable position. Has to fall back here, but cost him HP, cost him utility, and Astralis are under a lot of pressure right now. Yeah, this is like Config is trying to find some space. He's smoked off towards Arch. He was trying to see if he could sneak through, find a pick and return, but uh, they've got the man advantage. Device holding towards that library side as well. AWP. So, kind of segregated on the A defense. You've got Buzz in towards the headshot position as well, and now the reaction coming through. Borrow trying to play the smoke once again. Yeah, he got caught out by it last time he tried this, but actually, yeah. Through, another yeah. nade. I don't think a problem's been hit by a bullet. That's just double <laughs> HP. Device is a dead man. Punished for the miss. 
And it could be round defining here if Buzz goes down without a fight. That is the A site open. Well, that was just a very uh, calculated round from NIP. Got the opening pick, and they're waiting for the reactions to come through. Not necessarily mistakes, but you know the CTs can't just rest on their laurels and hope that they're going to find the kills there. Holding those key choke points. Device misses a shot. That was round over. As yeah. soon as Device doesn't hit that shot, Config knows he's got a guaranteed frag, and then he's waiting for the CTs to fall into their crosshairs. So it'll be a five on two. Blame F and Borup, as we know, the B players don't have much to say about this one. They've got an AK and an M4 released, and in terms of loss bonus after winning... Just a single round previously, they only get 1,900 into the next round. So they have to save these two weapons here. It'll be another compromise buy. Device worth $1,000. And unfortunately, yeah, they're just going to have the two rifles here. It's going to be a very, very similar scene to what we saw before. On the perfect round, though, bear in mind, that's the one they had uh, not very much to work with whatsoever. Yeah, head trick, though. That was his first opening kill. And it correlates perfectly with his first T-side AWP. So... Impressive to see him find an opening with that. Caught catching stare out. Might get to see it at the start of this. Look at this shot. Oh, he doesn't give him much, does he? Doesn't give him much. That was the missed shot. Like I said, that's pretty much round over. He didn't have to work too hard for it. Would do well to miss that kill eventually. Hampus good awareness towards the apartments. Like we said, is waiting for the reactions. And now you don't have to buy your Astralis. Like Jacob said, this is kind of early days and it's not, uh, we're not hitting the alarm bells just yet, but they'll save two rifles and invest lightly around it. Two it's deagles. also a very conservative buy-in in this situation. They could have forced up. I think so to. as well. I totally agree. Yeah. Um, but they've gone for the very conservative approach. Doesn't mean to say they'll necessarily lose the round. They still have playing up and bore up rifles here, but that's the two B players. To uh, remedy the situation, Borup will be positioned at A here. Bit of a stack on that side of the map, presumably leaving utility for Blame F on the other side, allowing him to push them into the setup here. To some degree, a sign of confidence that Astralis believes so much in the, the T side that it can allow themselves to be conservative here. Device not finding anything this time around with the AWP. Borum and Step playing perhaps with the idea of walking behind this smoke. Config has been over here every single round playing this smoke, and he's been successful with it so far. This scoreboard doesn't do him justice in terms of how much impact he's had. Nice flash. Yeah, that's a straight up counter for Config. Wow. <laughs> he's here in a, and the second this time is a profitable one. Borup's rifles found. Rez quick to the draw. Takes down two. They're heading in towards this A site, or at least they could certainly have a go. The setup is uh, all of Astralis here. Well, the fact you've taken out Borup and you know he's the B player here, you, you know something's up here. There's a fly in the ointment. It's not the usual setup. So it looks like they're still committing towards A here. And the CT is indeed same story. Again, waiting for those reactions. Rez, you need to reload. And Hampus needs a new head. Buzz is taking him down here and is back to a three on three. He's getting a bit messy again from NIP. Lacking conviction. They know they're running into the stack, but they haven't got any other options. They just have to fight through the flame, trying to hit. Oh, and Buzz does nail one. Blame on the Blame side. Could this. he touch? He certainly could. And he's oh. been found. Hedrick diligent on the clears. NIP, they know how important that round it's was. It's kind of one of those rounds, it's kind of a hollow victory when you yeah. fist bump, you're just like, oh, okay, that was really yeah. uncomfortable. We didn't seem to know where we were going. Uh, the calls weren't clear, and it was a chance you could have lost at the blame map in the corner as well. Once again, Astralis set it up perfectly in this situation, right? Because they show Bust with the Deagle up in apartments. They show Stair on show with a USP. And normally you'd think, NIP, you need to react. You need to run back to the other bomb site. But they're very well aware that there was two guns saved. So in their minds, they're thinking, OK, the two pistols are playing together. They're Blame leaving the M4 by themselves. Right. Exactly. That's why we're going into it. So from the outside, it looked like a huh? silly decision by NIP. But they played that perfect. Yeah, dude, that is unusual. I, I mean, they're hoping that NIP are going to be uh Caught off guard by it. Rez certainly not having trouble with the first. He's provided an opening. Buzz thinking he was safe in the graveyard. They're playing Third good counter strike right now in IP. Oh, they certainly are. Oh, 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 oh. As a seventh round looms with a two man right. advantage into Blame, Blame F's all. What have you got for us? A hell of a first shot. Both orbs will strike at once here. Bring us right back to a three on three. It's not going to dissuade NIP though. They'll continue their assault on this side of the map. No rotation in the CT, but they are adjusting their setup. Moving device towards top of middle. And Stair has pushed the apartments as well. Commitment comes through. Blame F doesn't need any more kills. He can buy more time. That'd be great. But it's more valuable for him to stay alive at this point and wait for the retake. But how do you retake with a double offset? That's a good point as well. Position, yeah. That's a very good point. Yeah, Kit is on stair, so he is the integral ingredient. And this Blame, is... oh, he's rewarded. Config goes looking, couldn't work out where he'd gotten off to, and Blame finds more impact. I thought this was a completely dead round for Astralis. It still could be. Oh, a multi out of Hampus. The orbs are gone. Blame will have to save his. 
if just he to can. save face. If he can, yeah. I think he was anticipating a potential hunt, but it looks like they're going to be exiting Banana. He hears all of that and will at least leave with the rifle. I think Config right now is the biggest Hampus fan in the building. You know, he saved his ass right there. Had they ended up losing this round NIP, Config will look back to this decision, walking down CT spawn for absolute no reason whatsoever. Completely unnecessary. It gave Astralis a chance, but Hampus found the right timing and sort of saved Config from the embarrassment. I see, right. I was wondering what you were referencing, but it was that uh, that hunt into Blame F. It could have been the, the one brick that made that wall tumble down. And the thing is, just to note on that double orb setup, it's normally a sign of desperation in the modern game. Like three or four years ago, it was pretty standard for a double orb setup, but for the reasons we just saw, retaking the, some of the hardest bomb sites in CSGO, it's just not too viable. Uh, even with Blame F getting a double kill as yeah, well, right. they still don't win the round. So it's going to be the eco oh, based around. Boost. Yeah, that's an, I've seen this on Twitter recently. I didn't think it was actually viable. Did he get up there? No. Okay, I don't think you can <laughs> shoot while you're up there. I think you're like... Could be Zeusy. Zeus could be Zeusy. That's a good point. I think it might be Zeusy. Because I don't think you have um, control of your aim up there. No. Yeah, I think it's one of them. You're kind of like strafing into an angle. Get yeah. stuck on the polygons. No disrespect to Blame if or Boss for that matter, but when you have an AWP in your hand, give it to Device, even in a route like this. He can play with no armor. He's the best man for the job. We saw Blame if miss a sit -out. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's, that's, that's a scorcher. That is yeah. a satisfying one dig from Borup. Straight to the brain of God. He's got another one in him. You reckon? Yeah. He Watch is this. looking hot. Oh, okay. Nah, maybe not anymore. Well, Hampus is down to 2 HP. There you go. See you later, mate. Payback. Device has got the AWP now, yeah, so Jacob's happy. And uh, I don't think he's going to be seeing much more action in this one as an eighth is coming through. So great haul from NIP as it stands. Bear in mind, Astralis were 3-1 up with winning the pistol as well. In terms of gun rounds, they, they really haven't got any. Um, they've won one, what, not an eco round they forced put into it, but it was like Device with no Kevlar, they had no grenades. It was like not a traditional gun round. So yeah. they are yet to really post an actual gun round victory yet. Um, it's not too bad. As Pim said, like, <laughs> you can get five or six rounds, you're fine. It's like it's, it's not as uh, CT sad as it used to be. Like, we are getting to a bad. point, though, where they need rounds. They need to put yes. on the fifth, sixth, maybe even the seventh at this point. But the more I watch this game unfold, the more I'm thinking NIP is playing well. They're good at dragging out the tempo as well. They've been super, super cool at getting mid control. We've seen Config walking up towards long, more or less unhindered every single round. The one area of the map where they've been struggling a little bit has been Brolan on Banana. But even with that, they've still been able to control the map on the T side. So I think NIP deserves a lot of credit for how they conduct themselves so far. And for Astralis, we did praise them in the beginning. They were stacking the sides correct. They were reading the game. But if you're not hitting your shots, you're not winning the rounds. And, and I think that's the main issue right here, lack of firepower and lack of individual individual brilliance right now coming out of this to Alice players. Well, there's a convincing round for NIP as they confirm the half victory as well. Eight to four, tactical timeout call for the Danes. And uh, yeah, this is the, the point of no return at this stage. If they can't post any more rounds, you are you will start worrying for their prospects here in the series overall. If you are just joining us, it was ancient to kick off the series. That was the pick of Astralis. And after completely pantsing NIP back in Cologne, it was actually NIP that picked up Ancient in a pretty convincing manner towards the end, looking to find the 2-0 as we enter round number 13 here. The buy not too bad for Astralis, not too many caveats. We've got a device orb, bare bones utility, and a three-man setup towards B this time. So adjusting things, maybe getting a little bit more aggressive here, challenging for this control, but... Oh, um, Roland's life, this has just been his life, just getting <laughs> naded to 50 every time he considers taking some early banana info. So device is here this time at least. Yeah. I haven't seen him be too mobile so far in Inferno, so uh, gonna be moving things up, send Borob towards the A site. And device holding CT spawn. Nice grenade. Doesn't oh, it does connect. Oh, yeah, so two of them are completely hamstrung in this round from those HEs. And their attempts are not rewarded. Ballsy. Trying to wall bang. You know Stair has occupied the, the boost on ROPS at least a couple of times. It's crazy how much utility damage Astralis have managed to do throughout this first half and, and gotten so little out of it. A lot of the rounds NIP have been running around with half HP or even down to 20, 25, and yet Astralis still haven't been able to capitalize from, from the good openings to the rounds in this scenario. This time around, though, it's a must win, especially at this point in the game. You're down 4 to 8 against NIP. You lost the first map, so you're in a position right now where you're taking three players down to half HP and more so and, and a couple of the right. players. So already now, I, I'm going to say it, it's a must win round for Astralis. With all of that damage, you're, you're, you're bang on, yeah. Damage doesn't matter too much with the orb. On the front lines, it's Device to take first contact here as well. Again, if he misses that shot like we saw top of middle, he'll be scrambling, trying Thanks. to recover. It's a double bait and switch setup here. Blame F, 
add new boxes, but actually going to be repositioning with the smoke. Here we go. Yeah, the divided smoke with the Molotov through. Device good onto the first. Delivers with the orb. They're trapped. Trapped behind the smoke. Rock and hard place. Device! That's the shot. Surely that's enough. With six seconds left, they're getting the bomb down. Config does nothing on the flank. That could have been round defining. Instead, a two on two emerges. It's Buzz and Bor up the double Bs. He's uh, so scrappy, the these Double rounds. orb. Oh, I, I don't know if you you can, actually. I don't see a world where you're getting through CT. Yeah, neither do they. They're backing away. It's the worst as a player. You know you have to go for the round because you're down 4 to 8. You have to do something. You have to get a couple of rounds on the scoreboard. But you're also well aware that the smart decision is to run away and <laughs> accept that you lose the Bomb round. Bomb at five seconds again. Yeah. I feel you haven't had to pay the price yet, but it's certainly uncomfortable each and every time. But getting away with murder and saving a double orb setup on the T side. You don't see many of those, right. let me tell you. Like, you could actually, you could be in the Australis coach and you could be sitting there, you know, as Kassler is. Okay. Uh, and you could be sitting there going, okay, guys, well, I'd like uh, good utility damage on our CT side. I want good rotates, hmm. good communication. And you could be getting all of that. You could be getting all of that, but NIP still, uh, albeit by the skin of their teeth at times, are boasting nine. There's one thing to keep in mind, though. You called it out, Henry. You said device being on banana, being a little bit more aggressive. That's a good thing. It's a good way to, to start it up and, and change it out. The problem is device stays on that bomb side, And you could see the synergy between the two players. I think it was was a Bob staying with device on the bomb side. They didn't know what to do and how to react when NIP came in with the execute. So while it may be a good thing in the beginning that device is trying something new, if he yeah. doesn't get anything out of it and he's forced to stay in a position where he's normally not comfortable, there could be a, paid, uh, a price to be paid later on in the round. And I think that was what we saw right here. Device did well individually but the two players themselves didn't have any synergy whatsoever. Right. Fast A pop here. We're going to oh. see three players out of the apartment. Smoke down Moto, two flashbangs over the top. A lot of teams run it. NIP looking to open things up once again. It's going to be Hampers trading the device. This is a horrible position to be in. Somehow still alive and oh. kicking. Say it again. Gets the second shot. Absolutely remarkable oh. scene different device. He finds a hat trick as well. Beautiful head trick. The last player remaining. Bomb down. No hope as Device hunts for more. You'd think the worst place for an AWP to be on an abs pop look comfortable is short. You would think. Definitely manages to make himself comfortable. Well, you live and die by the sort of those sort of rounds. Like, it either goes really well or it all falls apart there. And Device, perfect position, it turns out, at the right time. God, that third shot as well is on Brian jumping just to go and get a glimpse as to where he'd repositioned. Now it's time for Hedrick to put on an AWP in clinic. He has to find them both. At the moment, he's found the gap. It is just being jiggled out by... St oh, I think he knows. He does now. Miss shot. Perfect execution. As Astralis, they look to end strong. You said they can recover this. It's not the end of the world, albeit it certainly can feel that way. But with NIP, nine. Astralis, five. And one more round to go of this defensive half. They need device badly right now. It's a massive round, as you said, Henry. It's not a comfortable Whoa. position to be in at all. The third round right here is pure world class from device. The fact that he puts that in the face of Brolin is nothing but world class Counter Strike coming out of device. But the fact of the matter is also that they need him right now. Without device going off right here, it, it feels like NIP is controlling the game, yeah. controlling the pace. They're one step ahead. So, sure, sometimes the individuals can bail you out. We've seen that with Simple, Saibu, and all these great players throughout all these years, and device for that matter as well. But as a team right now, it does feel like NIP is, is more than a step ahead. Well, wow. one more round to go here in the first half of the pick of NIP and Blame F. What a reaction. Finds Brolan there on the 90 degree flick. Maintains the advantage and take any damage there. He's hit Brolan. He's had a rough time at Banana Alex. He's either been bombarded with grenades or taken down early on in the round. So he'll be sent packing early on, but they're going to continue with their push here towards the B side of the map. It's Blame F. Heavily committed, but could be flashed in. He's called for it, I think. He must be. Yeah, flash. Turn. Oh, and he still delivers the frag. Borup sets Blame up for success as Astralis, given a double, make it triple from Blame, holding fast on the B side. Flash is beautiful. The follow-up Molotov to, to capture two NIP players behind the potential refrag. It's perfect counter-strike. Look at the adjustment as well. Right now, you're looking for Blame. He's going to find them both. Oh, <laughs> team kill required. You had to do it. There's no other way about it. Otherwise, they both die. So, a chance here for Rez would be one of the rounds of the tournament. He pulls this one off. He's got 30 seconds, a four on one. I think Astralis have done it. Pimp, they've got six rounds. Six rounds should be enough to make the game competitive, but I still will argue that based on what we've seen so far, based on the eye test, based on how NIP have conducted themselves on this server, yeah. I feel like they're the big winners of the first half. They have been playing really, really well. Way above what I expected coming into the game. Mm. No, I think that, that that's probably going to be our general summation of this series yeah. if it goes this way, is that 
you know, maybe we did underestimate NIP. As that is quite the half. Nine for the Ninjas as they look to close in two. Astralis looking to take us the distance. Vertigo, should we need it? Let's find out together after the break. Pro League is brought to you in part by Intel, Asus Republic of Gamers, DHL, the United States Air Force, 1xBat, Monster Energy, and Gaming Malta. It's time for the DHL Drop. Every week, CSGO talent go head-to-head -to, -head to beat the buzzer. You can join them by typing exclamation point DHL Drop in the chat. Answer the questions correctly to get added to the global leaderboard. The higher you climb, the closer to earning a price you are.
Astralis versus NIP continues here at ESL Pro League Season 18, aka Camp Counter Strike. The coolest place to be right now. We've got a plethora of teams, 32 to be exact, and it's day one, ladies and gents. We've got myself, Henry G, Pim, and Machine joining us for the second half of Inferno. NIP with nine rounds, Astralis on the back foot. Do we think the Danes can do it and actually post a map here, boys? I'm looking There's at you, Jacob. Chance. There's a chance. There's a chance. I think NIP have played some brilliant Counter-Strike so far, both on map number one, but also in this first half on Inferno. So I want to see Astralis play better if I want to give them any chance of beating NIP. So far in this game, it's been all about the, the Swedish organization with the Swedish-inspired team. There's a lot of Danish in chat. I'd like you to try and um, Ooh, yeah? take a look at okay. while we uh, we'll work out what Config's been saying. Config's been talking a lot during that break. Uh, well, I don't know if it's anything of substance, but we are ready to see how this pistol shapes on up only one player defending this v bomb side that's gonna be res up against five astralis players here we're gonna fully execute on the side as well he's ready that might be a killer itself oh, there it is touchdown another anti-strat here in the pistol remember yep. we did see that setup towards boiler with the jewelies before and now pitch perfect grenades taking down res and presumably the round unless hampus can once again save the day he's got four nades here hampus mr hampini Gonna okay, have to be quite kind of the genie, as he doesn't do anything with it. Bit of chip damage, and yeah, he's already in trouble. He's not gonna get a chance to use those nades if he's not careful. Get out of my way! Device takes them down, mowing them down with that Glock, and already looks good for Astralis. They're gonna be sealing this gap right shut. As Head Trick taking a couple on the way out. There is a lot of time on that bomb still, but they've played nice forward position on stairs. Should be very difficult for Head Trick to find anything more. Just gonna look to preserve his life. Couple of kills is all he can hope for in this position. Nothing exciting about the uh, the config chat? Well, it's basically just config giving a backhanded compliment and then talking to himself because no one responded to him. So <laughs> not really to be complete. <laughs> so he tried to banter. And he no tried to banter fighting. about the double orb, you know, saying thank uh, yeah. you for giving us the two orbs. And then he was like giving Well, then he realized, oh, this is probably not. Hey, wait, yeah. the game's not over. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> we haven't had I don't one know, yet. man. It's, it's one of those where you, you all had that friend in a group chat who's like speaking to himself, sort yes. of. And, and this yep. was this was config right now. Okay, config is not with me in the group chat, to be fair. I know how he feels. But uh, I love the anti strike here. Again, set grenades. CT spawn. They came in with a battle plan, and it works out once again as we see both pistols go in favor of the Danes here. That's a good point. I feel like we always discuss that pistol rounds are a little bit random, but I've heard more and more in-game leaders and more and more teams say that they've become less random because they're putting so much effort into doing anti-strats, doing special strats, and, and in general buying more nades or more dual elites to do certain proactive activities. So maybe they're not as random as they used to be in our time, Henry. Yeah, I think you might be onto something there. That could Just be a, a shame. fun in investigative report, you know, taking a look at pistols of yesteryear in comparison to the modern pistol. Well, honestly, back in our days, it was just Rush B, Rush Every round, so <coughs> choose a letter. Yeah. <laughs> right there. No we one coordinates. <laughs> got the force by here from NIP. It did be convict with the MP9. Head trick on those jewelies to start upgrading the pistols otherwise. They've still got themselves a couple of smokes trying to whittle away the clock. And a three man setup here. It's like a three shot of that one. That's yeah. a lineup. Yeah. Lands above him, so he doesn't get blinded, but if they look towards him, they do. Boom. Pop. And nearly crackle. Nearly. Did pretty well to do some damage, but unfortunately it's a 4 on 2 and the last two remaining players for NIP on the other side of the map, so should be job done here. I'm very interested now to put myself in the shoes of Stair, because, you know, I've got the MAC-10, and I know that they're probably on my side. Like, how do I choose to play this? I'm running away? Am I running away? I am. Okay. Well, we need Betches, so he may as well go for it, you know? Ah, that would have been nice, yeah. yeah. So it's four MAC-10 kills in a game. It was in the whole tournament originally. It, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but that was the original premise. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I think we changed it to map, just yes. because that's a bit more... That is exciting. Although I, it can still happen in one round, yeah. it still hasn't happened yet to our knowledge. Yes. So I think we've seen a double MAC-10 at the max. But of course... But the thing is, yeah, track. I'm sure it has. I'm sure someone has got four MAC-10 we kills in a map. It, though, it's like Uno. Yeah, exactly. It's like Uno. Exactly. That's a good way of putting it. Um, so to saving these two pistols, I say that with bated breath because Brolan exploring his options towards the half wall and Stare is sniffing him out. They've got the SMGs. They might as well. Uh, if you get a kill with 600 bucks, otherwise it's not a big deal. You want to kind of have the AKs going forward regardless, but it will be Reds to find a penultimate frag. Bear in mind, this was the force by from NIP. They're full eco in the next round regardless. Nothing they can do about the follow-up round here. Should be Astralis tying things up at 9-9. It saves at least the armor and the 5-7. That's about as exciting as it gets for them. Yeah, great start for Astralis. Oh, hold on. Hedrick did save $4,800, though. He didn't go all in, so it won't change much, but there's maybe you can get an upgrade yeah. in this story. 
a little bit more threatening than uh, the yeah. previous. He gets a deagle. I like that though. I like that he's he's valuing his own AWP that much that he yeah. doesn't want to to risk anything in that regard. Of course, potentially can hurt his team's chance of winning this force buy. But you know, if you're NIP, you already gave you gave yourself a, a great foundation after the first half. So you may as well play it. Uh, I'd say relatively com conservative in in, yeah. in that regard. Makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, head trick at the moment has has been given full responsibility of that B-bomb site. That's not a particularly comfortable roll with a Desert Eagle and three players running at you. We're already seeing the first signs of damage inflicted. Hampus chipped away at in this stack. He's hoping that Hedrick can now <coughs> single-handedly defend this commitment, but Buzz is actually taking a walk in the apartment in a forward position of Rez. Config, he will convert. Finds himself a weapon upgrade. Galil could be passed off to a healthier member. And Hedrick's even been given some help. I think he's getting a helping hand on the boost as well. So Brolin up and over. Okay. Something to be said about this setup. You never know. It is the USP boosted. It's all down to Hedrick, really, the Desert Eagle. If you can find one for the smoke, take the aggro. You never know. And there's the USP. Oh. Doing enough damage, I suppose. It might yeah. lead to a kill. There it is. And uh, that will be the round, unfortunately. Hedrick will be here. Still waiting for Hampus. And he's all the way in T-Spawn. Now, regardless of what happens in this round, it's already been too expensive for, for us to Alice. Lost a lot of utility, lost two players as well. They're supposed to build bank, build momentum. And it feels like even in these rounds where there's no chance for NIP, they still find a way to make them somewhat competitive or at least give us a, a couple of moments where we're in doubt whether or not there is a potential chance of Astralis missing it. So still not seeing the best version of Astralis, but there's also something to be said about the fact that they played a, a poor game of Counter-Strike and it's 9-9. Nine, nine, so right. if they can step it up from this point and onwards, then we may have had another uh, two hours of, of good Counter-Strike to see. Saving the Galil. It's not the best feeling, but it's quite comparable to an M4, some people would say. So you might as well give it a go, keep the money strong. Um, but it is going to be hampers just with that and T-Spawn. Astralis will tie things up at 9-9. Nine, nine. As Pimp said, I agree, it was a little bit too messy, but they got the job done. Three players survive as well. No harm, no foul. And uh, the game is back online here. Looking for that third map of Vertigo. Astralis starting to look better and better as the series develops. And we'll get into a full buy now, finally, for NIP. After force buying the second, they will be using the Galil here in round number 19. I keep my eyes on, on Brolin. We didn't see anything from him on the T side apart from getting naded down to 20 <laughs> HP every yeah, single round. Enough. He didn't find any impact whatsoever. Usually on the CT side is where he does his best job. So Brolin have had a, a poor game so far, but it's going to be interesting to see if he can step it up now that we're switching sides for, for NIP. Playing the banana position again, so I guess he's well aware of how to, to do the same thing against the Stralis. Makes you wonder why he's not aware for it on the T side. Yeah, well, I had to take a chance. And he's down. <laughs> he goes again. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. I'm going to go look at his stats. He's Bye. having a he nightmare. Does. He's below 30, 80 hours. I think it's, it's not oh, good. Wow, respect to Buzz. He tries to breach the double lap setup, and he wins out the duel with a Galil. So Buzz has enhanced their lead. It gets worse for the ninjas in pajamas now. They've lost Hampers as well, and the last two. Now spotted and not, they don't even profit from that boost. Rez gets away with his life. Let's see what uh, the rest of these two can do. Hedrick and Rez lost on B. Bombs go in A. And we might even see a little bit of a hunt considering the coffers. Uh, as you discussed, it was a bit of a, a, a heavy loss in the in the last round. They might be even more conservative here. It's good. Yeah, I feel sorry for Bruno, man. Zero oh. and five. Is he? Yeah. Zero five. After that one is zero Let's five. Let's see this. No is it just a, yeah. oh, that's super unfortunate. I didn't realize it was cleanly through the smoke like that, but still, not ideal. But they do save the AWP at least, and the M4, so not all is lost. You save an AWP, uh, especially in the hands of Hedrick. He can do some unspeakable things on a map like Inferno. Lots of options at the start of the round to get stuck in and uh, try and take matters into your own hands, but... Reds will join him. In terms of loss bonus, they're going to be yeah. getting themselves not a whole load. I think they've oh, they actually got $3,400. Yeah, yeah they lost a pistol. It's right? going to be a buy because Hampers can, can buy yeah, himself right. or drop to a teammate. Oh, regard, it all comes so. back to that Galil, doesn't it? Yeah. They're using the Galil in the first gun round. Still has the extra cash. It's actually, yeah, not too bad. Rez and Hedrick could technically drop. They've got some utility. Uh, I'd say you need a tactical timeout almost certainly here to juggle this one properly. But we'll see if they're that way inclined. Yeah, I would say it feels like a perfect time for a timeout. It Just does. to get yourselves like, situated, right? You've lost that first gun. You've lost the lead that you came into the half with, a 9-6 half. Call up. You need it. Yeah, they've, got, the they've got the weapons all sorted. In fact, it's a beautiful yeah, complexion. Yeah, they've handled it well. 
That's it quite surprisingly. They lost six rounds in a row now in IP, and, and they have to stop it right here, right now, before it gets out of control. Mm. Maybe yeah. he's seeing something we're not. Maybe, again, you're, you're looking towards Poland's point of view and you're thinking, okay, that was random, we can't do anything about that. That's you know? fair enough, yeah. yeah. It, and it kind of was, but uh, again, oh. active and Brolan making up for the previous round, finds the opening frag on Stair this time, and they can retreat. They're not under too much pressure here, suggesting they're pushing down further. They've taken vision away from the T-steps with the deep smoke as well, and Rez can actually rotate with that advantage, leave his utility, and allow Brolan to hold. Thinking about it, though, he's going to collect a smoke, it looks like, and stay with him. That's something I want to give credit to for Brolin. There's a lot of players when you're having a rough game where nothing works out for you that stops playing their own brand of Counter-Strike or gets too scared being aggressive. Not the case for Brolin, not the case for Hetrick here in this situation either, but I played with players who were just like, nah, it's not my game, I'm not going to do the aggressive thing that I normally do on Banana. Right. Brolin has had a nightmare of a game and he's still up for the task, which I think deserves you know, a, a decent amount of credit considering how, how rough of a game he's had so right. far. And, th and that's the kind of move you ask for, right? You say, boost mm. me, I'm going to take a peek. I like that. Shows he's being proactive and undaunted by the uh, the tough game he's had. Now, the remaining three Danes are starting to regroup. And it will mean that there's a uh, discrepancy in favor of Astralis on this okay. site. I don't think this round is necessarily over. That's a very strong gap. smoke. 30 seconds no. here. It would take a bit yeah. of a misplay, but a gap has been found. Brolin should better get himself yet another kill here. They just don't have the time to pre fight this sort of position. But he feels off it. Okay. Nice you can't wait. Yeah, they have to wait. They have to. They got 13 seconds. Oh, gosh, this is tough. Ah, ah, ooh, ooh, ah. Oh, and clean headshots hit. There's no hit, nothing here for Astralis. And Device, yeah, he's hoping to keep hold of his life. They're running at him. He's going to go it. down. He's only got four grand in the bank account. No AWP for Device, at least not on his own dime. Yeah, he can be dropped one, but uh, didn't get any extra cash. I don't think they were going to turn anyway. He'd only missed out on uh, $1,400. So it's not the end of the world. He died after time, Bang. so that's money. That was a lovely play from Brolan. They've had to get to the opening frag. We've got a head trick of the AWP on the other side as well. They had a five on three. Barely any time. Like I said, the incendiary perfectly timed. And they took device down after time as well. Nice little bonus there. They tied things up 10-10. A convincing round there. After having a pretty rough start here. Six rounds in a row against them. Five alive. And you do, it starts with a brawl and opening. You know, let, let's try and put that in the can. Let's see if we True. can get that one running on repeat. He's not. He's he hasn't been dissuaded go. at all, has he? He's more than happy to take those jewels, but uh, keeps taking that nade damage over <laughs> and over again. Yeah, last time I looked, Blame F had over 300 utility damage. I wish there was a way we could figure out how much damage he's taking from the grenades. But right. one that is, you know? that would yeah. be such a stat. Util damage taken. Counter Strike Two. Bring it. Bring it. They're sending device on a T side orb, going searching. So maybe Brolin could be falling victim to this. Whoops, a wobbly nade. But a boost up. And it seems like they are preparing themselves for the defense. Brolin has been given us extra smoke, so he can do that reaction if he feels the pressure. That's the issue for Astralis, though. They're not applying enough pressure right now. NIP is happy to hold their nades. You see the utility still. Yeah. Plenty of smokes, utility. Brian was hit yeah. as well towards Banana with 45 seconds. Nope. Like he might not need backup. No he Banana control, no mid control. You, you have 40 seconds left in the round. Astralis are, are playing on a back foot right now. Yeah. Oh, such a prime position for Hedrick as well. Someone's going to have to challenge him eventually. Can they flash him off? Can he even get him off the angle? No, that's the easiest shot he's going to have all game, and he gets a double. Well, here we go. Five versus three, falling apart, unraveling at the seams here. Astralis will make their way in towards the A bomb site. They don't have much left. A couple of HEs wasted in towards the pit. And yeah, to save this round, it's been an absolute disaster for them. Now will be the time to take a timeout if you're if you're Astralis and if you're Castle to to figure out what you're gonna do for the the next couple of rounds. You can perhaps still buy next round. Loss bonus is not that great, but I guess bus can drop the a fact, little. Yeah, if you've got two AKs and an AWP, uh, you might as well, right? Uh, like, it's enough to justify it. You can get like, a little and borrow up, and then the yeah, device might have to go deagle armor and be dropped the orb, obviously. Yeah. Um, but we'll see Hedrick. Like I said, he's not going to miss that shot, is he? Like, not many players would. Surprisingly, the device is nice. not killing him, yeah. yeah. He was holding the angle, waiting for him, but I guess Hedrick is just faster. Yeah, it, was, I, it looked like it would be a smoke. You kind of saw the shadow, you heard it coming, and it was... I mean, didn't, didn't obscure anything. Smile out of his... I love I love the, the kind of the pride you see on Hedrick. When he yeah, does a good play, he's, yeah. just, he's, he's got... Did I do well? Yeah. Please I, tell I've me. I've done well. Pat well. <laughs> me on the head. Tell me I did it. I'm a good boy. Um, so there it is. Device Orb again, glass cannon. I'm afraid he had to drop Deagle for Stair. 
or maybe a Galil as well. It's, uh, this is a really dicey round. They've had a few of these now. You bring out a device orb just knowing that he has to carry the hell out of this one. Yeah. He'll have to find the opening picks. He'll have to execute around him, see if he can open things up. But it's faster pace this time from Astralis, focusing towards the quad side by the looks of things here. They've got mid control, but the CT's almost allowing them to have it. They're happy just to bleed this round out. Let them use the little they have in terms of grenades, and they'll go and explore their options back at Banana here. Rares to be challenged, but he's being baited in by Head Trick. So even if he just fires off a shot, that could be enough to take the aggro. It's going very well so far, and Blame F, he can't risk going down as well. Yeah. Was an orb shot fired, so they know the setup's different. Brolin responsible for Arch this time, and Borup's the one looking for him. Oh, Set up for success. <laughs> I think, I think he stepped. I think he made a misstep. Yeah, I think NIP heard him in, in Arch and then put up the flash for him. That was oh, a, a misplay dear. by Borup, unfortunately. Yeah, no, that is costly. And at this point, you may as well want to save. You have nothing to throw it apart from a smoke. Device tries to make something happen, but it's not basically in this situation. So This could be three rounds where Astralis haven't found a single frag. This yeah. could be round three where five are live for NIP. Let's check in with the cash. By the time, yeah, this round ends, they're going to be set for uh, the, the end of the game. They'll be running this one all the way home. If this continues, what a, what a juxtaposition from the start, though. You know, Jacob was sitting there telling us, oh, they've lost six rounds in a row. They have to do it something now. Well, they did and have, as this is going to be three sequential rounds with five alive for the Ninjas in Pajamas. It's pretty impressive stuff. When you put it like that, Alex, it kind of does... Uh Kind of set off alarm bells in your mind for Astralis at this point. It's been an up and down series for both teams, but NIP, I agree with uh, Pim's sentiments earlier. They've looked like the more well rounded unit. They've looked like the better Counter Strike team uh, today, at least. Back in Cologne, it was anything but. Astralis manhandled them in a 2 0 fashion. But NIP, they've had time to bring Hampers back into the squad, of course. Like, there's so many Counter Strike events, it's difficult to really kind of innovate and bring your, your strategies up to scratch. And it seems with the extra time they've got garnered now, NIP are looking like a, a dangerous team once again. It's been a while, and Hedrick is slotting in quite nicely. 17 kills to his name. Rez with 15 as well. A name we said was a win factor coming to this series. He's delivering. 15 kills for him. It's good to see Rez playing some decent counters right again. He's the worst way to play for NIP the past three months, which in itself is, is quite surprisingly, considering how good he used to be, how big of a factor he is, how, how much of an X factor he's been for NIP for the vast majority of four years. He's gotten into uh, the fall of his career, sort of. He's transitioned into be uh, a little bit less aggressive on the rifle, a little bit more supportive, but the fact of the matter is right now he's playing some good Counter-Strike and if your floor is risk, then you have a good team and that's what we always discuss when it comes to NIP. You look player for player, pound for pound, we expect more from this team and I think that's why we're so frustrated every time we talk about them that the results are just not backing up the material they have to work with. Well, I imagine it's frustrating from an organizational standpoint yeah. as well because you probably have the same sentiment, like everything looks good on paper. Just got to look good in the server. Right now it does seem that's been the case. It'll be a massive win for NIP oh, to take down Astralis. Not necessarily in the landscape of the tournament. It's still going to be a long, long way until the playoff. But winning against Astralis 2-0 in, in this form. Gone. Jumped on. Already Astralis have managed to find an opening. That's a deviation from the norm. It's round over. Yo, come on. We can't call it yet. Ooh, maybe we can. A ding through the smoke from Hampus. But Blame puts him down. And they are not biting. They are not interested. It really comes down to that. A leaping SMG frag. That's a good call from Blame F coming out here. They, they catch NIP on, on the wrong foot completely. And the reason why I'm saying round over is you have four players locked out of the bomb site just by this one kill from the mech at this point. I think that's Bob's third mech kill, by the way. So let's keep an oh, eye on nice. that. Keep an eye on okay, that. Okay, we can be the first to declare. We're, we've got the microphones here. There's nothing they can do about it. Nope. It comes in. We've got the advantage let's here. Our go. first badge. For team, what's our name again? Team Counter. counter. <laughs> we'll be coming through. I actually have to look down every time. We're Counter. Like Chad team would say Counter. Wouldn't talking Counter. Talk counter. Talking so we're counter, Team man. Counter. I'm Team Counter. That's what you've got to remember. Yeah, okay, easy. Oh, he picked up the M4. Oh. Dude. What a loser. Yeah. I don't know. I, like, I kind of like the M4 on the T side. It feels like something about it. This feels like super snappy. This feels like... because you played Source. Yeah, that's I guess it. you're right. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Source. The Silence M4 was absolutely OP in Source. So, Fantastic. yeah. I always feel like uh, a bit of a star when you're on the T side, showing off a bit. But it, uh, yeah, and it and it's, it does get in the heads when you're dying to a silenced M4 on yeah. the T side. Well then, all right, twelve to eleven. It's Astralis to pull one back. A little bit of a pop play once again. That smoke down to Moto. Try and send out the Mac 10, and it works out for them. But can they hold on to the next round and find consecutive posted here on Inferno? And uh, there'll be no AWP available on the T side. Hedrick will have full cool. control of the map. Yeah, and Brolin, he's throwing aggression into the mix. Now it's perfectly 
uh, seasoned with the util from his teammates. He's playing anti. This is proactive play from NIP as Buzz claims control of apartments. There's not a lot we've seen from Buzz so far in this game. It's a name that we mention quite often on the T side Inferno, but it's been very quiet for Buzz in this entire series, basically. And that's what we discussed as well coming into the game. If Device and Blame F is not playing well, is the support cast to those two players good enough, stable enough, that we actually believe Australis to be a, a contender? Not necessarily for the title, but maybe for a playoff spot or going into a quarterfinal, semifinal. And I think so far what we've seen is, is that we're seeing more more no's than yeses in, in this game, at least. Yeah, well, you want to talk about semi-finals. The upper semi-final of the upper bracket would be Vitality versus Shh. the winner of this. Good grief. I, I don't envy uh, the opponent after they threw orcs around the server. Be execution, boys. 45 seconds, plenty of time to work with. Smokes will go down. Molotovs are plenty. It's Brawlan and Rez to defend. The old guard nice name. preparing themselves there. Second wave. Roland, he's got the incendiary. Does he have a place to stand? He's in the open. A team uh -oh. nade. Take that. Bora, thank you very much. That could cost them, especially because Rez has combined. Uh -oh. He gets two on the spray. Ooh, and it's 13 <laughs> for NIP. Five alive. We've had some pretty hideous rounds this series. I'm not going to lie to you, but that one might just uh, take it all. How does he team nade? How does the fumble? I don't know. About it. You yeah, you got to laugh. You have to. Um, I need the replays. Yeah, that's a tough one. Because we saw Stair get naded off like down to 20 or something. There it is. Oh, oh, he's gone through spawn. Oh. The, com the comms must be off. <laughs> I guess, like, maybe it's just uh, an instinct play. Just got right. to push through the smoke, hope the best. The thing is, just before he runs through CT spawn, a Molotov was put down for NIP. Their second Molotov in that position. So I think Bob went in there thinking there's not going to be a second Molotov. And at that point, he has to do something, which is running into CT spawn and just hoping for the best. Again, the problem for Astralis in this round is they're not dragging out enough utility for NIP. We spoke about it. 45 seconds left. You could do a full B execute. But NIP had so much utility. Yeah. They could keep smoking, keep keep Molotov and keep flashing. And at that point, it doesn't matter what you do with your Astralis. If you're not pushing NIP enough in the beginning of the round, in the mid-section of the rounds, you're allowing them to keep all this utility for the late scenario. And Are they just trying it NIP again? Is too good? Yeah. They're going to hope to steal this round away because they don't have a whole oh. lot here. They've got one player with the safe or purchased rifle and armor here. And they go for the B. I would say execute. It's kind of a B play. Hoping Buzz can just sell something this side of the map. He'll go down and they'll know there's nothing else here. Yeah, Conflict on knife out. Oh my god, that flashbang could be absolutely everything for him. Looking for that quad kill here. It's against Pistol, sure, but still, his return to form here on Inferno has been nothing short of stellar. It looked like he was down and now he was posting nothing on that T side whatsoever. And now coming to life, roaring to life here, as we see another quad kill towards his B side of the map, locking it down. And as Pim said, he's always a player that seems to have ten a tenacity, right? He doesn't seem to back down, happy to play on the front foot here, aggressive, even though he's having a quieter game. And now you can see NIP believing they can do this in a 2-0 fashion. I think I am too. Um, oh, we got intense music as well. Yeah, that signifies the use of their last timeout. So, Castle on the mic. Last 10 seconds where he can impart any wisdom, any feedback. The fact that the only thing that has worked, bar the initial conversions, mm -hmm. was that Poppy Apartments play. You can't run that again. It's not like you can go, right, let's do I what mean, works. You can try, you but... You can try, yeah. but that, I mean, that's... Is that, not, is that not the most condemning thing? Is the only thing that worked? You try it again? Like, oh, it leaves you with nothing. Yeah. If, uh, you, what are you supposed to do on this comeback? You need five rounds. And then IP just need two. Let's I get it started. I think Estralis needs to, to contest Brolan on Banana. He's taking a lot of space. He's been aggressive out there. He's been winning his duels. Something needs to be done about that, because otherwise, Brolan is happy to give up Banana late in the round. But at that point, we get into the same scenario where NIP is just saving their utility. So. If I were Castle, if I were Astralis, if I had any idea of how to take Banana and, and make life hard for Brolin, that could be an opening, but it's not what they're going for here. Whoa! That is what aggressive. <laughs> that is hyper aggressive. Well. Hampus is dead too, surely. And Blade Meth will run him down. Awkward now. Maybe not. Rez has gone for two. Get some both. What's going on, Astralis? Flustered, executed by Rez. One after another. Now up to Buzz. A must-win clutch, but a fumble after finding the opening, and they know, and so does he. Rez, yeah. that's impact. Quad kill from the Swede. Max money in the bank accounts. Astralis off the back of a timeout, left with nothing. 
Very scrappy rounds here. Um, this is not what you usually see at the top level of Inferno, but uh, you can see no love lost between these two teams. Bit of a grudge match now, seeing these uh, teams play time and time again, knowing each other's tendencies. We're seeing those anti-strats inside each other's heads here. And even after the opening frag, it looked like they were absolutely done for, but Rez managing to control the situation once again. Huge spray down from that arch side, and he really has delivered on all fronts here. Hampus loving it, and uh, could be the final round of play here. Looking to take down Astralis 2 and 0. One more round will do him. Hedrick missing out on the first frag, but not dissuaded from the angle. We'll be working in tandem here with Hampus, who still wants to investigate Kill. the problem and takes down the vice in towards the underpass position. Oh, they're just feeling themselves now. You saw yeah. from Config's fight in the previous to Hampus taking that fight. The memo is kill him. Go kill. Kill him with swagger. Yeah, absolutely. Take there the is. peaks. Be relentless. There is a lot of swagger in the NIP side right now. And I mean, Estralis down a man. Deagles, Galils, staring down the barrel of a 2-0 loss. And it's looking the likely to be one. Unfortunately, three Galils and a Deagle. Are you kidding me? To save the day, it would take something remarkable here. And you've got a headshot with the AWP. Do they even have a flash to get him off the angle? They do. It would have to be a hell of a flash, though. Yeah, He's ready him. for it. No, they didn't. So oh, oh, He's still going to be posted. He misses his first. They are going to run at him, though. And Hedrick, he's racking him up, sending Astralis to the lower bracket with do. two orb shots. He stayed calm. That's all he had to deliver at that front. That should guarantee the round. Now, we say should because it's Galil's four versus two. 40 seconds remaining. They've got a smoke, but how do you really get the maximum out of it? If that kill comes through, Config might have sealed the deal here, and indeed he will. 2-0 in favor of NIP here on the first day of Pro League. And what a return to form that is from the Swedes. Yeah, I mean, that's revenge. That is revenge. 1-1 one, one in the head-to-head -head with these new look rosters. Config a big win. Good to see the whole NIP squad delivering as well. Take a look at the frag totals. We talked about Rez, top of the scoreboard with 22 frags. Delivering. Love to see that, right? Yeah. Roland wild. Tenacity, we saw him have a terrible start. We looked at his opening kills. It was like, what, six opening deaths? Yeah. Not, nothing getting done on that first half. He turns it around. High impact from the Swede. And that is going to be a big scalp to take. Now, Astralis are not out by Definitely any means. Not. Into the lower bracket but it is most definitely a, uh, a jewel in the NIP crown, one that they'll be able to boast and perhaps be a bit of a momentum shift for the roster. Taking down Astralis, that will fill you with a lot of individual, independent confidence for the players that, that took part in that. So, boys, it's been are, fun. We, are we ready to throw it over? Yeah, I they think are. we should. I think we should do it. All right, then. We are indeed ready. You waved the magic stick, Yanko. Not only did that send it over to us, but it actually spelt an NIP win in two. You didn't predict that. You thought we were going to three. What happened? The NIP happened. Yeah. You know, they've been playing some great counter strike in this series. People stepping up individually, much cleaner team play. I mean, even in this game on Inferno, they lost both pistols and still made it look easy with the 16-11 scoreline. And yeah, I think they were definitely out for blood after that uh, game in Cologne. Harry, any takes? Anything at all? Give it your uh, yeah, take. no. I mean, honestly, you know, I think it was it was sick to see this kind of you know. Uh, whenever we look at Nip, we always say like you you don't have that kind of grouping, and that was one of the, the group of players that are all like performing well. It's great to see that that kept up. It was Rez here this time, you know, taking his time in the limelight, uh, which is always a treat to uh, to see, especially because he's in my fantasy team. Of so I'm I'm, I, I'm very him. I'm very happy about that. Did after, you put a booster on him? Uh, I think I did. I think I put the quad kill booster on him oh, right near nice. the end. He went and got that 4K. So oh, oh quickly. Oh, I'm quickly. feeling good. Very quickly. Go on, some numbers for us? No, nope. oh. nope, nothing happens. Don't worry, nothing oh, to see here. Did Hang you get one? Because that is one of the. You know what? Go ahead, carry no, on, everybody. Let me just go ahead and grab this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab, anyway, grab the uh, little sheet. Let's. I'm surrounded by oranges again. Where's my, where's my team? <laughs> yeah, like, actually, counter. Out here. Where the hell are? Yeah, there we go. Nice. Nice, small man. I like Thank the you very much, Henry. Too. That I was think really one of the Do you want to check these against the results and see if anything came through for Astralis here? I'll be right back. Or an IP. Who do we have? We don't really care about an IP in the in the badge discussion. We'll invite another day on that. happened. Hello, testing. Hey, man. This thing on. Oh, yeah, it's again. on. Hey guys, how's it going? Great game, wasn't it? What's Excellent up? Wow. Stuff. Oh, good yeah. stuff. Good little run story. We love to see that. Jacob, did you enjoy yourself watching that game? Yeah, that was absolutely great, Trace. I enjoyed myself a lot. I'm sensing <laughs> the levels <laughs> of yeah, yeah. Some vitriol. Yeah. 
Mm. To me, I think one of the most exciting things right now with Nip is, is Hedrick's form. Like he 100%. is getting better and better every event. And considering this guy was a rifler in the academy team, he took over the orb when Monacy left back in Navi Junior. Like I, I kind of doubted him on the AWP initially when he was in this roster. He was very scared. He was playing very passive back when Alexi was leading leading the squad, of course. Uh, but like he is, he's incredible. He's having better and better tournaments every single so time. Yeah, he's putting up huge numbers against some of the best teams that, in the that's world. That's a Proly classic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Hedrick fan. No one saw me coming. Why are you always crawling in? You've done that a few times. Oh, that was a headshot. Oh, that was a headshot. Oh, that was a headshot. Oh, my God. All right. Fair enough. Welcome back. Absolute scenes. Ooh, this is getting hey, Henry, cozy come here, sit in the isn't it? Bleeds, bud. Okay, yeah, okay we'll nice. Just kind of behind that. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, that's right. a good spot. Yeah, it's right there. Just, right there. It's perfect. It's a squeeze. You're it's actually a squeeze, completely off the front. <laughs> hey, how's it going? All Congrats, right, gentlemen. Go. Uh, revenge you. feeling good? Taking down Astralis, yeah? Yeah, I mean, they, they, they slapped us in Cologne, right? So winning now is very nice. Yeah, right. Uh, I felt like you were really like uh, switched on as to what what they were doing a lot of the time, and a lot of the confidence in your boys in that second half when they had like that run of like maybe the gun round, first gun round, pistol, four or five first rounds going against you. What what switched? You just turn it on. Brolin started getting some damage done on B. Uh, no, I think uh, we just had a very good game plan. I yeah. mean, when we played them in Cologne, we had like two hours to prepare for them, like in the morning. Now we had a full like a lot of days, right? Yeah, we knew sure. we were gonna play them so long, so. Yeah, we know how they play. We had a very good game plan. We we know they sure they can win some round. Like they like they did the highlight on short right. Yeah, I know like yep. that's what they needed to win rounds in my opinion. So, yeah, we just had a game, good game plan. We knew what to do. Everyone was dialed in, you know. So yeah, the game plan worked very good. Thanks yeah. to our coach DJL and our analyst Taste. did a very good job here. So. Well, I saw DJL patting you on the back a couple of times. It felt like, you know, you, you, you'd kept to the script. You'd kept to the game. Good plan. boy. Like, good boy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, that's me. It was a little yeah, bit I, I'm used to, you know, he's just my, yeah, he's like my dad, you know, like, yeah, right. whatever he tells me, I do. I, so, I'm, yes, I'm not sir. saying against this guy. Okay. And for, for you, good game, top of the scoreboard, Thank good you. vibes in the tribe. What are you saying? Very good vibes. Yeah? I mean, I think that's a big reason for this win as well. Everyone was feeling good. Yeah. It was very good energy and uh, I feel like everyone did their part. Yeah. Uh, everyone had good individual plays and uh, we played really good as a team. So I'm just really proud of everyone. So it was a team effort for sure. Yeah, up, up next, of course, you got Vitality. Um, oh, they won, yeah? They did, they did yeah, yeah, they did. Pretty Surprise. good. <laughs> yeah, it was a really good thing. But with that said, you know, you said you had all this time to prep for Astralis. You knew Vitality were in your group as well. <laughs> I need to cough and I don't have a button. <coughs> so no maybe problem. we are off. <laughs> no one will notice. Do it. <laughs> so with Vitality being, um, you know, your next opponent, have you got equally as prepared for them? Uh, well, we, we just focused on the first game, of course. We didn't know if we were gonna win or lose, right? Yeah, sure. So, so no, but I think uh, Hasta has been at home working, working a lot. So you get I, the Hasta download tonight? Yeah, I, I think so. I think he'll send us some videos, and then we'll talk tomorrow, you know, before the game. And uh, yeah, I think uh, Hasta and uh, Dan Daniel already has a plan, you know. Because so. you, you played them yeah. back at Copenhagen, right? You played Vitality yeah, yeah, in Copenhagen. We, yeah. and you beat them. We beat so we did. you're feeling good, yeah? Yeah, I mean, we beat them last time. I guess they, they're a bit hungry for the re revenge now. You know how that is. Yeah. So yeah, we, we, we'll just have to step up another level to beat them again. I think. What, what do you think was so crucial when you did take them down in Copenhagen? Because we were coming off, you know, the player break. Everybody was kind of just feeling out the new rosters, feeling out what everyone was bringing into this new season. Why do you think you were able to take them down last time? Uh, I, I think, uh, I don't know, like we've played the Vitality so much, like an IP against Vitality, like during COVID as well, like we played them like eight times in like two months. So we like I, like me against Apex. We played against each other so much. Like I I, I kind of know how he calls, you know. So I call. So like yeah, yeah, we in that game like we were the big underdogs. We had nothing to lose. Like we had some very bad games in the beginning at Blast. Like we we against EG and Complexity and stuff. So everyone was just hyped, you know. And like when, like when you play a better team, like you're more you like you, in there's the less pressure. Less less pressure, you know. You, you want to win more, I guess, kind of. So. Yeah, like we, we felt like, of course, they just won the major, but I mean, we, we're still a very good team and it's a group stage game. Like we let just go and yeah, we beat them. So Talking about playing a better team, would you say it's like easier to read when you're up against a roster that plays kind of within the book, right? That's why when we, especially around the time of the Paris major, we see all these upsets, we see all these underdogs coming in because maybe they don't respect, you know, uh, favorites as, as much as, you know, a team like Vitality, you can kind of understand they're playing by the book. Would you say that's a factor? Yeah, for sure. And I mean, like the teams that yeah play like, by the books, like it's it's easier to play, right? For sure. Interesting. By the book. Yeah, uh, I was I, I was wondering whenever I I see them on camera in like in games or whatever, Config and Hedrick look like they have a good 
vibe together. And and in interviews, oh, Bonfix even said before how like he tries to, you know, keep his like head like keep head trick kind of activated and switched on. Is that is that like a good bond within the team? Is that am I just reading into body language that doesn't exist there? <laughs> Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, like when when I left, when I took my break, like I wrote to like I didn't play with Krelle, but I wrote to Krelle like take care of Daniel. Like he, he needs someone, you know, to push him. Like nice. like a big brother kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Krelle That's really, sort of the vibe. Like a big yeah, brother. Like Krelle is really embracing Just that don't take him out. Him. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> no. exactly. No, so that's yeah. It's Krelle is really embracing the role, like as his you know big brother in that was. So yeah. A lot of dads going on within the NIP right now. Yeah, we're a family. We're a family. Pass this down to Hampus, would you? Yo, okay. Yeah, Hampus, go and draw one of those and. Rest talk a bit as well. Oh, I don't yeah. want to talk. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we, we can pass it around. Yeah, we can right? pass it around. Like, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll, Should I take one? Choose one. Yeah, yeah, go on. Go ahead. It's like a fortune cookie, but multiple fortunes. I don't know what's in it. Fortune there. cookie. What's the segment called? Yeah, the cookie. Uh, okay. Fish, Fish bowl. bowl. Fish bowl. All right. Yeah. Car keys and questions or? No, no, no. There will be no margaritas. Okay. None of that. Is <laughs> that you, Alex? Did you? Yeah. Okay. Alias. Whose handwriting is that? That looks oh, like probably Arabic. Me. Who wrote this? It's probably me. Uh, so that says, tell us the origin of your alias. That's uh, mine. Yep. Sorry about that. Nick. Yeah, your Nick, <laughs> as it were. What do you reckon? Oh, yeah. Rez. Uh, I've probably told this story like 55 times now. <laughs> yeah. You can change it. 56 uh, will be perfect. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Great for you. <laughs> I didn't line this up specifically for Rez. No, like, I think it was when I was like maybe 15 years old. I was called Zippo, like the lighter, you know. Ah, uh, Zippo. Oh, that's yeah, pretty okay, that's okay. good. That's, that's kind of cool. Name. I, I kind of want to go back to that. Fire. Yeah. yeah. You should have kept that in. Yeah. <laughs> you just change it so for a while. Yeah, we'll yeah then I just get tired of it. Uh, uh, then I went to Recipo. Recipo. Made it worse. Much worse. But <laughs> 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 like categorically worse. Then I short down to Rest instead. Okay, you saved that. That's it. It was a clutch. Yeah, it was a clutch. No, I know. What's your What's your Is there a gold Rest slash chance? If yes, what is it? I would say uh, yes. It's the, the 1280, 800, 16, 10. Uh -huh. I mean, you see more than if you have a 4 3. I mean, that's if you see more, it's easier. Yeah. You know, like, wh why not see more? And the sense, I would say, yeah, I play 1.6. I think Nico also plays something like this, and he's the best rifle in the world, right? How so much it has DPI? to be the best. How much DPI in the 400, of course. 1.6, 400. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. But you play <laughs> with turnbinds. <laughs> yeah, I also do play with turnbinds, that's true. He does play with turnbinds. Have you seen him do that before? Wait, what? I like, a, I like a turn. Like by. on the mouse uh, sure. four and five, like I turn left and right. Yeah, it's too like if, to if turn. I, like it's like a 90 I, degree. If I'm going up <laughs> mid, you know, and I know no one, like there's no fight to be taken. Like why, why move my arm when I could press the button to, to turn the corner? <laughs> exactly. Why waste energy on that shit? Damn. Yeah, so Think we, we learned about that's Rez. next level laziness. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's just me. That's just me. Uh, well, cool. I, I guess you guys would probably like to go do what you do after you win. So uh, we'll let you do that. Thank you very much. Yeah. Catch you, bro. Yeah, well, I'll see you next yeah. time. Oh, always nice to be here. Yo, Rez, I'll, I'll see you later, man. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, oh boy. It's a disaster. Watch out for the fish, man. Okay, we're all cool. Everyone's cool. Everything yeah. I think is under control. Okay. I God. think. Um Everyone cool. Yeah. Oh. All right. So let's What's move next? on to uh, what I think is gonna be our final. Best of three of the evening. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah. we have a surprise BO3 lined up. Okay. Hey, look who's back. Is Team. Uh, it is on. There we go. Where's, oh, where's yeah. Max, Max over there training for the 1v1. He's the only one missing right now. Max, come over here. We oh, yo, uh, Trace, not to derail the segment. <laughs> you mean the Air Force aim high? Uh, yeah. Oh, right. oh, my God. What do you think what I'm thinking? It's crazy. Sometimes I have the same know. exact. Is that the telepathy hat? <laughs> and the exact it is. The hat same of telepathy name. brings us to our US Air Force aim high player of the map. I'm pretty sure it's going to be head trick, but uh, I guess in commiserate. Oh, my goodness. Why are we doing all that? Are you okay? Jacob, what? Okay. You trying to flip a microphone again? <laughs> Playing drums hey at the bottom of the microphone. Um, hey guys, go to new mic. Good bad. series out of head trick, though. Isn't that right, Harry? Yeah, fantastic series out of head trick, man. I don't need two mics to double speak this. Uh, <laughs> he was. He, he was lights out, and that and that's great to see. I also like that we got some confirmation on sort of the uh, the, the the bomb between him and Config, and the fact that he's getting yeah. bigged up every step of the way. And look at how it's reflecting Do in the gameplay. Do you think that's a good thing? Was, Hell yeah, I think that's a good thing. I think that's uh, that's positive for everyone involved, you know. And then when you look at this, look, man, it's reflected in the server. Five and zero in opening duels, ten multi kills, and then some other numbers that I can't read because I don't have my glasses. <laughs> on. So hey, yeah. your, your eyes that bad, Harry? My eyes are abysmal, man. I'm going. You he has glasses, bad. but he doesn't wear them. Yeah. Are you thought about context? Just for context, this monitor is 
fucking huge. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I don't have the swear word. It's necessary. I don't have the swear It's a rather big monitor, yeah. We've had some Effers and some Jeffers today, though, haven't we? We've had some worse than that. We've had some Suffers. The sea bomb. Yeah. Define worse than that, because, like, hanging around, actually, I'm looking around right now. I am pretty much out here. Americans use the C word all the time, right? That's true. Just in not a good Australians that take it really personally. It's unbelievable. Why are the two Aussies sitting on the ground as well? Because you're from down under. Because the Brits own these chairs, we sent you off. Fair enough. You guys want to play a game? Yeah. Yeah, go on. I'd love that. I love games. So I'm going to hand these cards to who exactly? I'm the describer. And so am I. Okay. You're the holder. Well, the look, holder. I would like to know that there's the, the contra- will. Wait, so which one am I putting Henry, on my head? Flying blind I can't here, see so. it. I can't us. see it. They're, uh, they're, they're no, upside can't down. Look. They're upside look. down. All right, I can't. Okay. They're, 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 they're hold face down. Right? You hold them up. Okay. But we should sit. No. But you guys should sit near each other. Yeah, let's do a mass change places. Run a fire drill around this whole place. Change places. Should we have a orange and a grey sofa? Straight over there. Get out of there, Yanko. Get out. Get out Confused. of there. Yeah. All right. Okay, no. Come back, come back here, Alex. Okay. Yeah. We figured it out. All right. 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 All right, look at that. Moving to Who's going first? Also, you guys. You guys go first. We go first. Okay, we go first. We go first. All right. Well, off you go then. So, someone explain this? Can you hold the mic for What do you mean we're doing heads up? Uh, no one said the word heads up. Not for me, point. for the viewers' no. chat. No oh, no sorry, yeah, we should the maybe explain the concept. Okay, thank you. There, there was sorry, the whole card situation. Um, yeah, so heads up is... This is the wow. right way up, right? No. Holy no. smoke. <laughs> I don't know. See him, we can see him. There we go. I won't look at the monitor. Oh, do we need a timer? Somebody's got a timer. Is this like right? yeah, someone's got a timer? Yeah, I got one of those uh, devices here. Oh, it's one minute, right? Here, yeah. One minute. Uh, who's yeah, driving this thing? Get sore. Uh, it's definitely not. It's meant to be traced. Don't look at the monitor. How much time are we given? He's going to turn it off. No one can look at the monitor. So one hour, right? And listen, we have one hour to do these. I don't want any interference where I'm describing stuff. All right. Okay, so I'm going to say two minutes on the clock. Is that cool for no, everybody? One, I think no, one, one minute. One minute. Fine, minute. Fine. Okay, trying to make this longer than I'm just kind of doing this. All right, are we ready? We're okay, starting ready, to the batch I'm ready. Now. You have to describe this. Better get this right. Ready? And go. Best pistol in the game. Res. Pistol. Pistol. Best gun in the game. Oh, <laughs> USP. No. Deagle, deagle, deagle. Uh, best player in the world, French. Uh, Zywoo. Uh, Russian opera, slow. Dexter. Uh, James. Uh, female oh. player from Canada, won multiple world championships. Yes. Uh, not the AK. M4, A4. No, A4. no terrorist. Galil. Uh, he lifted the, he brought the trophy out in Riyadh, Polish, big guy. Passion biceps. Uh, fly. Naf. Uh, <laughs> British caster, that's Henry not G. you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Canadian streamer, ex Cloud9 player. Uh... Mike, uh, Trace, his friend, Me? lot of money. Shroud? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> CSGO Observer from Serbia. Uh, Chev? Uh, Jason Jesus. O'Toole. Moses. How much time uh, left? Bearded Serbian. Three, Kassad. two, one. Tesla. Don't. Elon Musk. No, no, no. Yeah. Didn't get the last one. Didn't get the last one. Uh, I don't know. They were like, yeah. Oh, we got through we all of them, right? right. Well, that was pretty what? good. You know when I said I'm the best describer? That was good. That's I mean, that was good. What you said, said Moses in the game. Jason O'Toole. Is that, is that really a game? Is that the game? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. His full name. I don't know. Right, referee. I don't know. We don't have a ref. What? What is the dispute? The timer? Uh, yeah. No, he said Jason O'Toole. Okay, I can see Moses. that one being a I didn't little. Say Moses. Uh, that's I true. He didn't. He didn't say Moses. Yeah. That's the game. Okay. That's fine. All right. Well. All right. Fry, are you ready? Hold the mic for Chad, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Am I am Sorry. I ready? Sorry, Happy. Alex. I know. That's why I'm here. Let am me know I and I will this? start said timer. I don't know who who's doing. Me, who's me, me and Fred. Oh, okay. Me and Fred. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I'm not going to be able to lean in while I'm going here. All right. So all right. Alex, get this as deep as you can, mate. Yeah, that's great. All right. You ready, Trace? Yeah. Yeah. Your timer yeah. starts in three, two, <laughs> go. Phase Ingram leader. Uh, Carrigan. Yep. Okay, you have to be quick. He was just playing. We were just talking about him. No, the other one. Yep. Um, oh god. <laughs> what? Fuck you guys. Um, <laughs> I don't even know. Skip. Pass. Skip. Yep. Um, the, the game that isn't as good as Counter Strike. Valorant. Yep. <laughs> um, supports Furrier, famous footballer. Uh, oh. Neymar. Oh, oh, yeah. Neymar. Um, uh, how do I describe this? Uh, was on OG. Um, Nexa? Uh, no, pass. Nexa? pass. Go, go, go. Next one, next one. Um, great map. Ta just taking out the pool. Uh, wait, how much? Is that a great map? Great map. Yes, CS2 first map. Best map. Uh, Dust 2. Yep. Um, legendary Polish player. We're not Taz? Yep. 
Uh, hi, and the mm, greet you. Uh, uh, war out. Coach of Navi. Blake. Yep. Um, the cards. Oh, the cards. Um, oh, legend who was in the chair in our Two, ears. Two, one. In the chair in our ears. You know, uh, the, the, last the one guy who's calling stuff, you know? Out of time. Um, oh. Well, t- what did it, what, uh, I've, I, I, oh. In the chair, oh. Chad, in, in our ears. In the chair, oh. in our ears. Oh. Oh, Thanks, oh, Alex. Thanks, so well, how many well, did we get? I, not as many as them. Uh, uh, I think another win right for Team Strike. Am I right? Boys? But that was well. We do for them. For them. For them. For them. For them. <laughs> wow. So for that us. wasn't that wasn't like a fun challenge, challenge, boys. Was it? That was a fun challenge. Where is the stash? Let it go. Let it go. Who's the stash? Yeah. 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 Y
Oh, oh, there there yeah. there the so uh, we get the winners games, Movi, Gamer Legion, and Vitality NIP oh. here on the main That's stream. That's a good game. Yeah. Yeah. with the hounds. Ooh. Yeah, I'm big excited. day to kick it off. Panther mm. versus a greyhound. So maybe there's be ants, dolphins, lions, and tigers. <laughs> in Bro, the sorry, dolphin Phantom wasn't Morphs. on form Terrible. today. <laughs> hey, it's, it happens more than you think. <laughs> <laughs> it happens to everyone. So uh, it's and fine. On, it's called note. It's shrinkage. <laughs> oh boy. Hey. Well. Use your own imagination and figure that out on your own time. And if you do, the hashtag ESL Pro League is calling for you. We call it a night. We come back tomorrow. It's day number two. We'll see you there. Good night, everybody. To live through the stereo Coming from where I come from Nothing to fear, yo Everything you see ain't what it appears, though Everything that I built Made that from zero Then added a zero I am my hero You couldn't imagine What it's like in my mind It's beauty and catastrophe At the same time Remember they laughed at me When it was game time Now I know that they mad at me I'm what you can't find I'm not from the day I come alive at night I'm not what you used to Couldn't recognize They all on the ground While I'm taking flight yeah, you're welcome to join me I promise I won't bite Things they say They're never getting me Conscience, prepare for honest, cut off all the nonsense. I'm all in your shock, real wonder who shot you. Go call the doctor, boom like the chopper. Don't you get chopped up? I'm here to stop you. Whoever wants smoke like a roster, break you off proper. Things they say, they're never getting in my way. And even if I make mistakes, I will always see them through. Watch that. Cause I don't wanna play. Close your eyes with me. Pledge allegiance to being a pure rifler, and all your sins shall be forgiven. I've just got news. Source 2 has been delayed for another two years at least. your style. Get your merch at shop.eslgaming.com.